The water phoenix king frowned, and immediately chased after the phoenix king not far away. Wang Xian took the queen of floating water away to take her to the sword and magic universe. During this period of time, he had asked the void dragon body to agree with Lu Lan to help guide the floating water queen. After sending the floating water queen to the sword and demon universe, Wang Xian was ready to immediately go to the universe mentioned by the fallen shadow demon emperor. Go look for opportunities. Lu Lan, I'm sorry to trouble you. In the sword and magic universe, in the holy land of flowing water, Wang Xian rushed over with the floating water queen, and said to her with a smile on his face. Dragon King is polite, this is just a trivial matter. Lu Lan shook his head. Not only did she not refuse Wang Xian's bringing over a disciple who was at the pinnacle of the water attribute universe ruler, but she was happy to do it. They have already experienced Wang Xian's current strength, and with the addition of a Tian Yuan fortune-telling subordinate, their strength is comparable to that of the entire sword and magic universe. Making good friends with Wang Xian now will have huge benefits after the calamity comes. Moreover, Lu Lan and Wu Wang Tian had some discussions, planning to make some transactions with them after the calamity came in the future, exchanging swords and the peace of the magic universe. Okay, then I will put this disciple here, I have something to leave. Wang Xian cupped his hands towards Lu Lan. Lu Lan nodded with a smile. After Wang Xian left the sword and magic universe, he came to the Zhuyuan universe and entered the chaos directly. Immediately afterwards, he and Lin Niu flew in the same direction. Falling Shadow Demon Emperor gave Wang Xian and the others a coordinate. This coordinate can give Wang Xian a clear direction. Years and months are not counted in the chaos, and millions of years and tens of thousands of years pass quickly. Wang Xian and the others didn't conduct any exploration on the way, so they didn't waste any time. Twenty million years later, Wang Xian and the others are getting closer and closer to the coordinates. It's almost there. Sensing it, Wang Xian spoke to Lin Niu and reminded him, we need to be more careful. According to what the falling shadow demon emperor said, this matter has been exposed, and there will be other heavenly origin powerhouses around. It's the Dragon King. Lin Niu nodded. The universe is located in the chaos, if a strong Tian Yuan fortune travels in the chaos, he can also encounter other universes. However, under normal circumstances, a strong Tian Yuan fortune maker would not break into an unfamiliar universe. Every universe is protected by rules. Entering it is purely an act of courting death. However, it would be different if there was a Tian Yuan creation supreme treasure born in this universe. Wang Xian didn't know much about the rules in the chaos, so it's better to be careful. Wang Xian and Lin Niu slowed down and were alert to the surrounding situation. When they flew again for a few hours, they suddenly sensed a terrifying energy coming from the position ahead. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. Immediately afterwards, the sound of roaring continued. Wang Xian and Lin Niu showed surprise on their faces. Boss, there seems to be a strong person at the level of Tian Yu and good fortune fighting. Lin Niu said. It seems to be, let's go, let's go around. Wang Xian spoke, and deviated from the position of the battlefield. Continue to fly forward, and soon two figures who are fighting clearly appear in Wang Xian's sight. These are two huge figures. One is like an octopus with countless tentacles. There are sharp thorns on the tentacles, like a war monster. At this time, the metallic Tian Yuan made a strong person. The other one is Tian Yuan Fortune, which is like a dinosaur, and it is also metallic. They were full of golden light, and they fought extremely fiercely. Both of them are newcomers to Tian Yuan Good Fortune level, so I don't know what kind of hatred there is. Lin Niu looked at it and said. The two Tian Yuan fortune tellers fought together, and they were still talking loudly. Wang Xian and the others only heard a few words, but they didn't know much about it. There are quite a few strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers in the surrounding area. Wang Xian glanced around, and under his induction, there were at least three or four Tian Yuan creatures around. They waited around, not knowing what they were thinking. 
don't worry about them, we'll go straight inside. Wang Xian glanced at it and said. Now everything is based on the Tianyuan Supreme Treasure, the Fortune Supreme Treasure, and Wang Xian is not very interested in other things. The two strong men in front of them obviously have some grievances. It's the Dragon King. Lin Niu nodded, and the two flew straight to the universe ahead. Two more entered inside. This should be the 28th one, right? This is what we know, and there should be a few more that we don't know. Tisk tisk, it's really crazy, I don't know how many people will die this time. At most, some avatars will die, some wear and tear, and those who don't have a whole card dare not enter it. It seems that some day a level monsters entered it, were attacked by the rules of the universe, and were killed directly but such old monsters at the Dao level cannot fall easily. When Wang Xian and the others flew inward. In the surrounding positions, two Tianyuan creations were talking. Looking at their figures with twinkling eyes. In these six universes, things will become more and more exciting. The two sighed slightly. Buzz. At the same time, Wang Xian and Lin Niu entered the six universes. A powerful force of suppression surged towards them. Wang Xian entered here without using the Tianyuan Jade Horn. According to the reminder of the falling shadow demon emperor, it is best not to use this kind of treasure when entering inside. The rules of the universe are far more terrifying than the heavenly creation powerhouses in this universe. When they entered the inside, they only needed to pay attention to the strong Tianyuan fortune inside. Once encountered, you can quickly escape. When a strong Tianyuan good fortune enters another universe, his strength will be suppressed to the point where he is at the peak of the universe's ruler. As for the specific strength that can be erupted, it depends on their respective strengths. After Wang Xian and the others entered, the oppressive power of the universe came immediately. They immediately concealed their aura. If you don't hide your breath, you will be sensed by the strong Tianyuan in this universe. The breath was concealed, and Wang Xian sensed his own strength. The pinnacle of universe domination. At the level of Tianyuan fortune, entering another universe, no matter how suppressed the strength is, it can also burst out the strength of the pinnacle of universe dominance. Next, we have to be careful, don't let the universe's Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse find out, once found out, just run away. Wang Xian reminded Lin Niu. Because of accepting the suppression of this universe, Wang Xian and the others can explode with all their strength. Of course, because of suppression, the strength that erupts will also be weak. But if you escape for a short time, it shouldn't be a big problem. Lin Niu nodded. Wang Xian looked at this brand new universe, at the six universes. In this universe, there are only the five elements and another energy breath, and this energy is very special. Feeling the energy in this universe, Wang Xian murmured. Here, there is a brand new attribute, a brand new energy. It was the first time he felt this energy, and he didn't know what effect it would have. Dragon King, the energy of this universe is indeed very special. Among the energy of the five elements, there is also a stream of other special energy. This stream of energy has a kind of dead silence and a kind of vitality. It's so strange. Lin Niu glanced around, and said to Wang Xian too. Really? Wang Xian nodded. Their strength has already reached the realm of Tianyuan good fortune. Although they are suppressed now, neither their induction nor reaction ability has been suppressed. What is suppressed is pure power. Ordinary Tianyuan fortune tellers are still no match for Wang Xian and the others. Let's go. Let's learn about the situation in this universe. Wang Xian said, he looked at the position deep in the universe, and with a movement of his body, he flew over immediately. Lin Niu followed immediately. The two flew in one direction. Their strength is suppressed, and their speed is much slower. According to the huge area of a universe, it will take at least tens of millions of years to explore the entire universe. But generally speaking, the birth of a heavenly treasure should be at the center of the universe. So, they are going to explore the central location. Buzz. 
Wang Xian and the others were flying, and two hundred years passed quickly. The place close to the chaos belongs to the edge of the universe, and generally there are no creatures to survive. It is also where the energy is thinnest. After Wang Xian and the others flew for two hundred years, Wang Xian suddenly felt something. Etc. There seems to be something down there. Wang Xian spoke to Lin Yu, with a look of vigilance on his face. Now that there is a treasure of heavenly creation in this universe, the strong man of heavenly fortune in this universe already knows that there are strong men of heavenly fortune from other universes coming. They will definitely be wary of their own intruders. Even want to kill them. Wang Xian and the others must be careful. Boss, are there any creatures around? Lin Niu's gaze was fixed, and one single eye shone brightly, looking down. His pupils glowed with white light. Wang Xian stared down, sizing up carefully. When he landed in a position, he flew over immediately. Lin Niu also discovered something, and with a movement of his body, he flew over at the same speed. Chi 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 Chi. From the position below, under the ground, there was a sudden piercing cry. Immediately afterwards, Wang Xian and the others saw that the whole ground shook. Seeing this scene, Wang Xian waved his arm, and someone's energy palm instantly condensed, and he grabbed the position below. Chi Chi Chi. Chi Chi Chi. The piercing cry came again. But at this time, Wang Xian's huge condensed palm directly grasped a piece of land in his hand. With a movement of his palm, the soil in his palm disappeared, revealing the creature inside. When he saw the creatures inside, a look of astonishment appeared on his face. This is... Lin Niu also looked at these creatures with surprise on his face. This can already be called a living being, but eyeballs. Yes, it's the eyeballs. An eyeball with a row of sharp teeth. Somewhat similar to human eyes, black and white. The difference is that it has some more blood-red stripes. There is also a special energy in this eyeball. This should be the unique energy of this universe. What is this? Lin Niu couldn't help asking. I'll check it out. Wang Xian shook his head, and with a movement of his palm, he immediately cast his soul-stirring power. A burst of energy directly entered the body of a special creature with eyeballs. However, a result that surprised Wang Xian happened. Wang Xian's soul-stirring power entered the body of the eyeball creature, but he didn't find any information. He continued to use the soul-destroying power towards the other eyeballs, but it still had no effect. What's going on? Why is the power of dementia useless? Creatures must have a soul. How can they have intelligence without a soul? These living creatures with eyes have no soul? Could it be related to the special energy of this world? Wang Xian murmured. He frowned slightly and checked carefully. The pupils of this special creature caught by him were clearly terrified. Obviously, they are intelligent. Wang Xian's eyes flickered, and he crushed one of these creatures. After killing it, Wang Xian inspected the inside of the creature with the size of a human head and eyeballs. When he saw what was going on inside, he showed a hint of doubt. The inside of this creature is rotten flesh. In Wang Xian's eyes, it is the rotten flesh of a creature that has been dead for a long time. This kind of creature is really strange, but it is similar to the zombies in science fiction movies on Earth. Wang Xian murmured. Boss, this creature is very special. I can sense that there is an energy connection between them. In addition, if they pretend to be dead, they are completely dead. They are not living creatures at all. They are very special. No wonder I didn't sense them at first. To them. At this time, at the side, Lin Niu spoke. Hey? Lin Niu, can you sense that these creatures are connected with energy? Wang Xian looked at Lin Niu and questioned. Boss, my eyes can see, and my pupils can open a state. In this state, any energy appears white, and there is an energy connection between them. I can't sense this connection. I can see, this should be the use of the special energy of this universe. Lin Niu replied. 
Wang Xian nodded slightly upon hearing this. Suddenly, his heart moved, and his brows frowned again. We should have been exposed, we have to get out of here as soon as possible. Wang Xian said hastily. This special energy and special connection reminded him of the power of faith in the universe. These special beings have energetic connections. Then the situation here may have been known by the strong in this universe. In addition, these special creatures should have been deliberately placed here by a strong person, just for monitoring. Even, Wang Xian had a guess, maybe these special eyes are not a complete creature. It's some kind of means of this cosmic powerhouse. Um. When Lin Niu heard this, his eyes froze. When he looked around vigilantly, his expression changed. Boss, there is still this kind of energy rushing towards us. He said hastily. Go, hide your body with all your strength, and get out of here. Wang Xian said quickly without any hesitation. With a movement of his body, he quickly flew towards the distance. Lin Niu hurriedly followed behind. When they had just flown away not far away, tens of thousands of crow-like creatures flew over in the distant sky. In the center of this group of crows, there is a human-like figure. This is the thirty-fourth one, Hui. Above the six universes, a figure stands majestically in the sky. Surrounding him are tens of thousands of crow-like creatures. These crows have pale white pupils and a special aura on their bodies. He looked towards the direction where Wang Xian and Lin Niu were leaving, his eyes filled with a cold look. If you want to covet the treasure of my six-path universe, you don't pay attention to our six-path universe. Hee <laughs> hee, I want to see what waves you can find. With a sneer, his body slowly dissipated and turned into decay. The surrounding crows also disappeared quickly as if they had been cremated. Boss, we are here, we should have been discovered. Wang Xian and Lin Niu quickly flew towards the distance. Lin Niu scanned the back and spoke. Well, this is the universe of the six realms after all. The Tian Yuan fortune tellers here must have made some preparations. In their territory, we are very easy to be discovered, but the other party does not seem to be chasing us. Wang Xian nodded. This universe should have entered a lot of strong Tian Yuan good fortune. Lin Niu pondered for a while and said. Wang Xian also knew it in his heart. The universe is located in the chaotic space, and some strong fortune tellers roam in the chaotic space looking for treasures. As time goes by, they will also meet the heavenly creation powerhouses from other universes. The two meet, there might be a deal or something. This may make many Tian Yuan fortune tellers keep in touch to facilitate transactions. There should be a trading area somewhere in the chaotic space. As for the news that there is a heavenly treasure in the six universes, it should have spread in this area. There are absolutely no less than a few dozen Tian Yuan fortune tellers who have come to the six universes. After all, there are eight or nine combat powers of this level in Zhuyuan universe alone. The number in other universes will definitely not be less. It is a very terrifying thing for dozens of powerful people at the level of Tian Yuan fortune to enter a universe. See if you can find the city or country where this cosmic civilization is located. As Wang Xian spoke, he flew in one direction more cautiously. They are now looking for the city of this cosmic civilization, and then get some news. Otherwise, just flying aimlessly, trying to find the treasure of heaven and earth, is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Boss, there seems to be a city ahead. After the next 500 years, Lin Niu looked at the position ahead with one eye, and suddenly said. After Lin Niu opened that one eye, his eyesight was much, much better than Wang Xian's. Every Tian Yuan good fortune expert has his unique powerful ability. As long as we can find the creatures of this cosmic civilization, we will be able to know the situation of this universe. Wang Xian looked in the direction Lin Niu was pointing at, and sped up a bit. This universe has the attributes of the five elements, so there must be creatures who practice the attributes of the five elements. This kind of creature should be different from the ones encountered not long ago. It should be a normal creature. When they continued to fly forward, 
a city full of vitality appeared in Wang Xian's sight. This is a city covered in flames, and a famous human lives in the city. And some other humanoid creatures. Such as Fireman, Magma Giant, and the like. The creatures in this city are weak, imitate the creatures here, let's go in. As Wang Xian spoke, he came directly to the sky above the city. Flames were blooming all over his body, and his appearance was exactly the same as the creatures here. Quietly entered the city. Buzz. Wang Xian glanced around, his mind moved, and he used his soul-stirring power. In an instant, a stream of information came into his mind. Wang Xian's soul-stirring power can be used against these weak creatures completely silently. And it will not harm these creatures. A stream of information came into his mind, causing his eyes to flicker slightly. Huiwen, Suyuan, Tuyuan, Grassland, Ajin Mountains, Basin of the Dead. Wang Xian checked the messages one by one, muttering in his mouth. These six places are the most important information that Wang Xian has obtained. And these six places are also the core places of the six universes. Huiwen is a land of fire attributes. Suwan is a land of water attributes. As for the last basin of the undead, it is the land of the undead attributes of the six universes. The sixth attribute of this universe is called the attribute of undead. Undead and skeletons are completely different. The undead are the real dead creatures who were then summoned. After being summoned, he possesses spiritual intelligence, but has no vitality, but survives with the support of undead attribute energy. The undead are tireless and know no pain. What kind of strength he had before he died, and what kind of strength he had after being summoned. This is a very special energy. Summon resurrection, dead creatures, what about those eyeball creatures? The use of undead power by undead powerhouses. The creatures in this city are too weak, and they don't know a lot of information. Wang Xian could only make some guesses. In addition, under normal circumstances, Tian Yu and Good Fortune treasures will be born in places with rich energy. In the six treasure lands in the six universes, the possibility of birthing the most precious treasure of Tian Yuan is the greatest. Wang Xian was thinking in his heart. Lin Yu, let's go and continue to drive towards the center. Wang Xian said to Lin Yu, they acted as the creatures of this universe and rushed towards the center. Covered in flames and flying for several years, they came to another city. In this city, Wang Xian obtained some information. Like other situations in this universe. The power of the six universes is divided by tribes. The powerful tribes are all located in those six places. In the Six Paths universe, there are three top-level tribes, and countless strong beings serve these three top-level tribes. And these three top-level tribes are tribes with strong fortune-tellers. Going deeper, with time, Wang Xian obtained more and more information. And when they play the creatures of this universe, they become more and more real. In the case of not being able to sense the strength, even the strong Tian Yu and good fortune couldn't tell Wang Xian and the others. As time went by, Wang Xian and the others got closer and closer to the center of the six universes. It is getting closer and closer to the six treasures. And the tribes and cities encountered are getting bigger and bigger. The entire universe is a little peaceful, and only occasionally can we see wars between tribes. The strength of this cosmic creature is generally much weaker than that of Julian universe. The number of realms dominated by the universe is much smaller than that of the sword and magic universe. However, the comprehensive strength is stronger than the sword and magic universe. Located in a building of the Austrian Fire Tribe, the two figures look towards the outside. These two figures seem to be the same as the creatures of the six universes. But if you look closely at their pupils, you will find that there is a difference. The deepest part of their pupil seems to have a planet. This is their characteristic, the characteristic of the Void Royal Family of the Void Universe. The Void Universe and the Julian Universe have been hostile for three or four calamities. During the last few calamities, tragic and terrifying battles broke out. Overall, there are winners and losers. 
the Void Tower of the Void Royal Family also flew over the sky of Kaishan Primordial Continent. The powerhouses of the Nine Origin Universe also set foot inside the Void Universe. The strength of the two sides is close. As for why the Zhuyuan Universe is hostile to the Void Universe, Wang Xian does not know the reason. At present, once a strong man from the Void Universe meets a strong man from the Zhuyuan Universe, it is usually a life and death fight. Not long ago, twelve ancestor witches overshadowed a strong man from the Void Universe. After receiving this news, the Tianyuan creations of the Void Universe were furious. The two figures upstairs looked down from the window. One of the figures had a glint in their eyes. Is it the breath of Zhuyuan Universe? Another Tianyuan good luck expert frowned slightly and asked the opposite figure. Yes. The figure on the opposite side nodded and narrowed his eyes slightly, if it wasn't close to the distance of 10,000 meters, I really wouldn't be able to sense it. A strong man from the Nine Origin Universe, hey? The face of this strong man from the Nine Origin Universe is a bit strange, and his breath is also different from what we have encountered before. Isn't the quota for the Nine Origin Universe's nine strong fortune men full? Why are there still strong Tianyu and good luck? In addition, the figure next to him is also a strong Tianyuan fortune maker. He doesn't have the aura of the Nine Origin Universe on him, so it should be from another universe. He opened his mouth and continued, with a puzzled look on his face. Those who mix with Zhuyuan Universe are enemies. On the opposite side, the strong Tianyuan fortune said with a cold face, this strange figure may have been made to break through in other universes by some strong people from Zhuyuan Universe through certain methods. Do it. Another Tianyuan fortune from the Void Universe also said in a calm manner. Do it. The figure on the opposite side nodded heavily. Um. However, at the same time, Wang Xian and Lin Niu who were about to enter an upstairs paused slightly. They could clearly sense that someone was staring at them. Moreover, they vaguely felt that these gazes were not kind. Moreover, the energy contained in the opponent's body is somewhat special. Their eyes looked immediately. When they looked, the two figures in that place had disappeared. They can clearly sense that there is an energy on their side. The power of space, be careful. Wang Xian sensed this wave of energy in an instant, his eyes fixed, and without the slightest hesitation, he directly attacked the position he sensed. The power of space. This is the power of space, and Wang Xian is very familiar with the power of space. Now, his void dragon body already possesses the realm of the Ninth Order realm of the Master of the Universe. Apart from the Nine Attributes, he is most familiar with the space attribute. Boom! Wang Xian's arm turned into a claw, and he grabbed it directly. At the same time, his mind was spinning. As soon as you touch the opponent, the opponent will attack directly. Wang Xian asked himself that he didn't offend other strong Tianyuan fortune tellers. Especially in terms of space. Then there is only one possibility. The other party has enmity with Zhuyuan Universe. Void Universe, beyond doubt. There are invaders from other universes, report to your leader immediately there are invaders from other universes coming, kill them. Without the slightest hesitation, Wang Xian roared, and the sound resounded throughout the Austrian Fire Tribe. The strong disciples of all the tribes were slightly taken aback when they heard the sudden voice. Some strong men, feeling the energy coming from here, showed palpitations on their faces. Boom! At this time, Wang Xian's attack has also landed on the position where the Void Universe powerhouse is about to appear. However, when his attack fell, he did not attack those two people. The two powerhouses of the Void Universe forcibly changed their positions during space teleportation. Um. The two Tianyuan fortune tellers in the Void Universe, when they heard Wang Xian's words and saw that Wang Xian was able to predict their positions, showed a look of surprise on their faces. All disciples of the strong retreat, dare to invade our void universe, die. When Wang Xian saw them appearing in another position, he frowned slightly. He shouted again, his body burst, and the flames below him shot up into the sky instantly. 
At the same time, his waves of energy moved all the surrounding creatures to the outside to prevent them from being affected. And the reason why Wang Xian yelled at him so loudly was to prevent him from being locked and chased by the powerful Tian Yuan creation of this universe. Although his behavior will be exposed, at least it can interfere with it. Can create more trouble for the guys in the Void Universe. Wang Xian didn't understand why the other party attacked them so suddenly, but he would definitely not make it easy for the other party. Cunning fellow. Seeing the terrifying flame power erupted by Wang Xian, the two Tian Yuan fortune tellers from the Void Universe looked a little embarrassed. The sneak attack was discovered first, and now the other party has exploded with such a powerful flame power. The attribute of space is also the saying that space is king in all major universes. Even a space attribute powerhouse who has just stepped into the realm of Tian Yuan creation can fight against two of the same level. However, in this six-path universe, their strength cannot be fully displayed. Because in this universe, there is no space energy. They can only use their own stored energy. This will greatly reduce their combat effectiveness. In addition, Wang Xian has the fire attribute in his body, so he can use the surrounding fire attribute energy. Under the ebb and flow, they are one on one, and they are not Wang Xian's opponents at all. Go, guys from Zhuyuan Universe, you wait for us, we won't let you go. Without the slightest hesitation, the two heavenly origin powerhouses of the Void Universe roared and teleported away directly into the distance. Buzz. Their bodies flickered and quickly disappeared. Pursuit. Wang Xian looked at it, and immediately shouted loudly at Lin Yu. Afterwards, they quickly flew towards the place where the two heavenly origin powerhouses from the Void Universe disappeared. At this time, Wang Xian's face was also a little unsightly. Now that this happened, Wang Xian and Lin Niu were completely exposed. Although the two Tian Yuan fortune tellers from the Void Universe were also exposed, their space attributes made it very easy to escape. Buzz. The two heavenly creation powerhouses in the Void Universe quickly teleported away. Wang Xian and the others pursued from behind. A group of disciples of the Austrian Fire Tribe who were full of astonishment were left behind. Located in the depths of the Austrian Fire Tribe, strong men flew out one by one. They looked at the gradually disappearing energy, their faces full of dread and horror. Is this the powerful enemy in the extraterritorial universe that the leader of the Shenhuo tribe said? It should be. The energy that erupted just now is at the pinnacle of the universe's dominance. This is still under the suppression of our universe. I heard that they are all created by Tian Yuan. They are really terrifying. Report it to the Shenhuo tribe immediately. Zhu Yuan universe? And that weird teleportation ability, what is it? Why did they invade us? What is it for? The calamity has not yet come. The powerhouses of the Austrian Fire Tribe spoke with lingering fear. Although their Austrian Fire Tribe also has the existence of the pinnacle of universe dominance, they know that the ones who invaded their universe are all created by Tian Yuan. Fortunately, there is cosmic suppression, which can reduce the strength of the intruders to below Tian Yuan good fortune. They immediately spread the news to the Shenhuo tribe. Boss, who are they? At the same time, Lin Niu asked Wang Xian with a surprised face. It is the creation of the heavenly origin of the Void Universe, and the Void Universe is the enemy of our Zhuyuan Universe. Wang Xian flew quickly, frowning, I don't know the specific situation, but now it seems that when the powerhouses of the two universes meet, it will be a war. Looking forward, he could no longer sense the traces of the two strong men in the Void Universe. Space attributes, in terms of speed, are almost invincible. Just now, Wang Xian's wind and thunder power failed to hit the opponent. Boss, now that our traces have been exposed, where are we going now? Lin Niu asked. For safety's sake, leave this place of fire and go to the grassland. Wang Xian hesitated for a moment, and said. The situation just now may be noticed by the Tian Yuan good fortune experts of the six universes. In case they have a way to find traces and treasures, Wang Xian and the others are still very dangerous. 
Also, be careful of those two fellows from the Void Universe. Wang Xian added, with a trace of coldness on his face. Those two guys from the Void Universe, relying on their spatial attributes, didn't worry about being exposed at all. Lin Niu nodded. If they still dare to attack, the power of wind and thunder must lock them in and make them pay the price. Wang Xian flew towards the grassland, muttering in his mouth. There was a cold look in his eyes. That guy from Zhuyuan Universe has a strong reaction, plus he has the attribute of fire, we can't do anything to him. At the same time, on the top of a mountain in the distance, two strong fortune tellers from the Void Universe spoke. With our strength, it is true that they have nothing to do. Another strong man in the Void nodded and looked to the right, according to the spatial fluctuations, they should have gone to the direction of the grassland. Should we call a senior over? If there are seniors, we should be able to kill them. The Void Powerhouse on the side asked. Those seniors may not come here, our main purpose is also for the treasure of heaven. Another strong man in the Void shook his head, everything should be based on the supreme treasure of Tian Yuan. Ask if there are any seniors in the Lai Yudeo Universe Grassland. If they are there, some seniors should not mind making a move. The Void Powerhouse at the side said slightly unwillingly. In the last calamity, his entire legion and a large number of descendants were all buried in the hands of the Nine Origin Universe Powerhouse. If there is a chance to kill the strong man of the Zhuyuan Universe, he will never give up. Then ask. Is there any senior in the grassland? Another Void Powerhouse hesitated for a moment, then nodded. The Void Universe has only one space attribute, and logically speaking, their entire universe can only give birth to one strong man of heavenly creation. However, due to their strong space attributes, when measuring culpas, the Tian Yuan good fortune masters of the Void Universe will bring their disciples who have a chance to break through into a universe with space attributes. In that universe, occupy the place of that space attribute of the universe, and then make a breakthrough. This also created the Void Universe's aggressive character. The Void Universe can fight against the Zhuyuan Universe without losing the wind. Their strength is very strong. Otherwise, the fallen Shadow Demon King and the rest of the Nine Origins Universe would have wiped them out long ago. The two strong men in the Void Universe moved and flew towards the grassland. They quickly teleport to the front position, leaving some spatial eyes in the void. Once passing through here, it will enter the line of sight of the Eye of Space and be discovered. The Eye of Space is very secretive and difficult to be discovered. Even if they are discovered, they have already learned the information obtained by the Eye of Space. They can also determine the location of the other party. It is difficult for many beings who have just entered the Tian Yuan fortune-making level to discover their secret method. Let's go. After leaving some spatial eyes in the void, the two heavenly origin powerhouses in the void universe left directly. It is also impossible for them to spend all the time with Wang Xian and the others. Wang Xian and Lin Niu were facing forward, they maintained the speed of the universe's fifth order realm. At this time, Wang Xian was covered by the aura of wood attribute, holding a wooden staff. They are very vigilant. Um. After Wang Xian flew for a day, he looked in one direction with a feeling in his heart. Without the slightest hesitation, with a wave of his arm, a wave of energy directly attacked to the right. Bump. In an instant, the sky on the right exploded, and the space attribute overflowed. Space attribute? Are the two guys from the Void Universe still targeting us? Lin Niu looked at it, a flash of anger flashed in his eyes, and he spoke. Well, they should be watching us, let's go, let's take a detour. Wang Xian hesitated for a moment, then spoke. It is not possible to change the destination. Moreover, this guy from the Void Universe wants to deal with him, so why doesn't Wang Xian want revenge? There are five elements in his body, and the energy can be converted into each other. As long as he is not in the land of the dead, he has a great advantage. A strong man who is not afraid of the void universe at all. Moreover, as long as the power of wind and thunder falls on their bodies, it's hard to say who will deal with whom. 
boss, since they want to deal with us, let's play with them. Lin Niu said with a murderous look on his face. Wang Xian narrowed his eyes slightly, play with them, you can let go of Tian Yuan's most treasured fortune. Wang Xian is a person who must report his flaws. Of course, there is a premise that his flaws must be reported. That is, once the other party provokes him, he will definitely make the other party pay a terrible price. The powerful of the Void Universe attacked them and exposed them. Now he still wants to continue murdering them, so Wang Xian will play with them. Even the matter of Tian Yuan's good fortune and treasure can be put aside for a while. Anyway, Tian Yuan's fortune is a treasure, and it is also a matter of luck. Boss, what are we going to do? Lin Niu stared at Wang Xian and asked. First of all, it is necessary to be able to determine the position of the strong man in the Void Universe. Wang Xian's eyes flickered slightly, and he had a plan in his mind. The Lai Yudeo universe is huge, but I estimate that many Tian Yuan fortune tellers are the same as us, and they are all looking for information about Tian Yuan fortune telling treasures here in the Six Treasures. In this case, the chances of encountering other powerhouses are quite high. Lin Niu said, Boss, if we look for it, we should still be able to find it. Um. Wang Xian nodded, his eyes flickered slightly, let me contact other Tian Yuan good fortune experts in Zhuyuan universe. As he spoke, he took out a communication stone plate. The communication stone plate is made by twelve ancestor witches, not only can communicate in chaos, but also in this universe. However, there is not much contact between the Tian Yuan fortune tellers of the Zhuyuan universe, and they all fight alone. It's like coming to the six universes to find treasures. If you really come across Tian Yuan fortune treasure, how will you distribute it? This is a huge problem, and it is impossible for anyone to give up the supreme treasure of Tian Yuan. There will even be fights for the treasure of heaven and earth. In this case, unless it is a special situation, the Tian Yuan fortune tellers of the Zhuyuan universe will not unite. There will be no communication with each other. Wang Xian sent a message to the elf empress Hishan Saint and all the heavenly creatures. Of course, this information was not sent to the Phoenix Emperor. The content of the message is, if they encounter a strong man from the Void Universe, let them know. And Wang Xian also talked about being attacked by them. After hearing the news, the powerful Tian Yuan fortune tellers of the Suan Mu clan, the Queen of the Elves and the Sages of Hishan, immediately responded. The Void Universe has ugliness with them, and Wang Xian wants their information, so they will naturally not hide anything. Even pay special attention to it. The powerhouse of the Void Universe attacked the Dragon King of the Dragon Palace, which may have something to do with us. For the Twelve Ancestral Witches, when they received this message, Wei Wei was a little surprised. Zia Wu, who had a human head and a snake body, raised his eyebrows and said. It's really possible, but after being attacked by them, the Dragon King obviously has his eye on them, and wants to fight with them. Tsk tsk, this Dragon King is really brave, and he will take revenge. An ancestral witch next to him sighed slightly. This matter may be related to us. If the Dragon King wants to spend time with them, then we will give him the empty text, and we can continue to make friends. The Zia Wu in the center spoke. Can. I agree. The Dragon King's current potential has not yet reached its end. His current state should not be at the peak of the Master of the Universe. When he improves again, his strength will be comparable to ours, and the difficulty of his improvement is higher than that of the Universe. It's much easier for Tian Yuan Fortune to be strong, so you can invest in it. All the ancestral witches nodded and agreed. Not to mention their previous cooperation, with Wang Xian's potential, they feel that they can invest and make a good relationship. Okay, I'll send the message to him. The ancestral witch with a human head and a snake body nodded, and sent their message over. Um. At the same time, Wang Xian, who was flying towards the grassland, was surprised when he saw the message from the twelve ancestral witches. The twelve ancestor witches are very honest, 
and they are willing to temporarily use a treasure for themselves. Wang Xian looked at the message with surprise on his face. The treasure of the twelve patriarchal witches can detect the location of the Void Universe powerhouse. Especially in a universe without space attributes like the Six Paths universe. Moreover, the twelve ancestral witches also told him about their murder of the Void Universe powerhouse. Could it be that because the twelve ancestral witches trapped the strong Tian Yuan fortune of the Void Universe, so the two strong men from the Void Universe came to attack us? Lin Niu on the side looked at the message and said. It's very possible, but they chose the wrong target. Wang Xian narrowed his eyes slightly, revealing a cold and serious expression. He didn't care if it was because of the twelve ancestor Wu Kang that he killed them. Since the powerhouses of the Void Universe wanted to attack him, he had to fight back. Wang Xian sent a message back to the twelve ancestral witches. Soon, the twelve ancestral witch returned an address. The twelve ancestral witches are in the Ajin Mountains, let's go find them. Wang Xian said to Lin Yu, and then flew towards the Ajin Mountains. The Ajin Mountains are not very close from here. But after Wang Xian gave up going to the grassland, they didn't hide too much and flew at full speed. Halfway through, they came to a tribe's location and carried out a teleportation. There is a teleportation array in the six universes, and this teleportation array was made by the strong fortune tellers of the six universes. With the teleportation array in transit, it took Wang Xian and the others half a year to reach the Ajin Mountains. Dragon King Not far into the Ajin Mountains, the twelve ancestral witches greeted them, glanced at Wang Xian and Lin Niu, and greeted them with a smile. This time, I would like to thank all the ancestral witches for giving us treasures. Wang Xian thanked them with a smile all over his face. He he, no need, the Void Universe is the enemy of all living beings in our Jiuyuan universe. The ancestor witch in the center shook his head with a smile, and with a wave of his arm, a compass with space attributes flew towards him. This compass is called Kongwen, and it can explore the powerful power of space. In this universe, the effect has been greatly enhanced, and it can be sensed from a long distance. Not long ago, we also sensed a strong man in the Void Universe through Kongwen, put a curse on him, and killed him. The ancestral witch in the center introduced. You ancestor witches are really powerful, you have all kinds of treasures. Wang Xian's eyes lit up, he took it over, and sensed it. Hee <laughs> hee, it's all just trails. Dragon King, you have to be careful when you deal with the strong in the Void Universe. They are good at sneak attack and escape, so you must do what you can. The Zia Wu in the center reminded. I know this. Wang Xian nodded, looked at the twelve ancestor witches, and asked with a smile, I don't know what you, the ancestor witches, can gain from these six universes. There is no harvest at all. We guess that Tian Yuan, the treasure of good fortune, may not have been fully born. The ten-handed ancestral witch on the side shook his head. The twelve ancestral witches did not receive any news about Tian Yuan's creation supreme treasure. They came here earlier than Wang Xian. There are more places to search than Wang Xian. But they haven't found the slightest news about Tian Yuan's creation treasure so far. According to their speculation and induction, Tian Yuan, the treasure of good fortune, should not have been born yet. After Wang Xian chatted briefly with the twelve ancestral witches, they separated. A large number of strong celestial beings gather together, and it is easy to be discovered by the strong celestial beings of this universe. Once spotted, they are very difficult to fight. After all, their strength has been suppressed, and the Tian Yuan good fortune of the six universes occupy the right time, place, and people. In their own universe, they are invincible. Unless there are more than a dozen Tian Yuan good fortunes teaming up to take out their whole cards to besiege a Tian Yuan good fortune in the six universes. Otherwise, it is impossible to fight against them at all. Let's go, let's continue to the grassland. Wang Xian continued talking to Lin Niu. They flew towards the grassland again. The two heavenly creation powerhouses in the Void Universe should be in the grassland. It is impossible for them to chase and lock themselves. 
their goal is the supreme treasure of Tian Yuan. Those two strong men from the Void Universe followed them for no reason. Therefore, Wang Xian judged that they were in the grassland. One year later, Wang Xian and Lin Niu came to the grassland. The prairie of the six universes is a real prairie. There are endless plants, all kinds. Occasionally, you can see some woods and rivers passing through. The entire grassland is exceptionally beautiful and full of rich vitality. The rich vitality of the wood attribute makes this area extremely beautiful. Start the search. Wang Xian moved his palm, took out the Kongwen compass, and looked at the information on it. The reconnaissance treasures created by the twelve ancestral witches are still very effective. In addition, those who have entered the universe of the six realms are usually in the six treasure lands. Therefore, Wang Xian and the others searched here in the grassland, and the chances of finding them were still very high. According to what the twelve ancestral witches said, there are more than a dozen strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers in the void universe, and I should be able to find them. Wang Xian thought to himself, and began to fly over the grassland. He opened a map and searched in a blanket manner. There is a tribe ahead, let's go there. After searching for more than half a year, Wang Xian looked forward and said to Lin Niu. Wang Xian was carrying a wood attribute bow and arrow, and held a wood attribute sword in his hand. There is a wood attribute energy exuding from his body. This kind of dress is very common in the grasslands. The Linyu on the side was covered by Wang Xian Mu's attribute energy, it wasn't created by Tian Yuan, and it couldn't be seen at all. The tribes in the grassland are all located in a large forest. The trees grow into the shape of houses, and at a glance, they are extremely beautiful. Um. However, when Wang Xian just entered the front of this tribe, the empty compass in his hand trembled slightly. On the blank compass, a mass of energy emerged. After Wang Xian saw this change on the empty text, his eyes narrowed slightly. I really didn't expect to find a heavenly creation powerhouse in the starry universe here. The corners of Wang Xian's mouth curled up slightly, and a smile appeared on his face. According to the information displayed on the Kongwen compass, this powerful man of heavenly creation in the void universe is far away from Wang Xian. He's about another spot in the tribe. Between the strong Tian Yu and good fortune, in this six-path universe, both sides are trying their best to cover up their breath, unless they are close to the range of tens of thousands of meters, otherwise it is difficult to find each other. This empty text compass is very powerful. It is worthy of being specially made for the strong in the void universe. However, the detection range of this empty text compass is still limited. Muttering in Wang Xian's mouth, he gestured towards Lin Niu at the side, and then flew towards another direction of the tribe. Just ahead, there are still about 20,000 meters. According to the information on the Kongwen compass, Wang Xian calculated in his mind, and he looked in that direction. Wang Xian didn't do it immediately, and he wasn't even ready to do it himself. It is completely impossible for Lin Niu and himself to kill a strong man of heaven and fortune in the void universe. Therefore, he is ready to borrow strength. The Twelve Patriarch Wu Yukang killed a strong Tian Yu and fortune maker from the void universe. In fact, they didn't kill them themselves. Instead they put a curse on it. This curse can keep his body exposed which attracted the attention of the strong fortune tellers of the six universes, and then came to kill him. Wang Xian doesn't have the ability to curse, but he does have one. Find the enemy in the void. As long as you lock on a strong person in the void universe, you only need to pass the information to the strong person in this universe. As for conveying in this way, Wang Xian already had a plan. As soon as he moved, he immediately flew into the distance and entered the interior of the tribe. Dementor. Wang Xian's mind moved, his eyes fixed on a few powerhouses who were in the first and second ranks of the masters of the universe, and immediately cast the power of soul stirring. Streams of information entered his mind. In the end, he locked on a middle-aged body. This middle-aged grandfather is the elder of this tribe, possessing the power to dominate the eighth order realm of the universe. 
The most powerful leader of this tribe is only at the ninth level of the master of the universe. Okay, let's try. Wang Xian had a plan in mind. He manipulated the middle-aged powerhouse who was in the second order realm of the master of the universe to hundreds of thousands of meters in front of the area pointed by the Kongwen compass. Wang Xian looked in that direction and moved his palm. The void searching power of the beginless saint wing is concentrated in the hands. With a wave of his arm, this wave of energy precisely covered that place. Um. At the same time, on a building in that area, an old man was sitting there drinking tea. Suddenly, he focused his eyes and sensed a wave of energy covering him. The energy is not strong, but he wanted to avoid it, but found that he couldn't avoid it at all. What's the situation? It's not the attribute of the six universes, but the attribute of wind and thunder. He stood up in an instant, and his figure disappeared immediately. He teleported to the position above, but at this moment, he sensed the energy sitting on his body, not the energy of the six universes. There are strong Tian Yuan good fortune nearby, from other universes. There was an icy look in his eyes for an instant, and he quickly sensed the energy falling on him. It's not the power of the curse, it should not be the twelve ancestor witches of the Juyuan universe. He checked it out and thought to himself. But he also discovered that this wave of energy was attached to his body, and he needed to completely eliminate it. Someone is definitely trying to me. He was determined in his heart, and without the slightest hesitation, he teleported to the distance in an instant. Escaped? Really vigilant? Wang Xian's eyes flickered slightly when he saw the strong Tian Yuan fortune maker from the Void Universe leave instantly. In these six universes, no one dares to fight for a long time, otherwise it would be an act of courting death. Although it is said that the strong who have entered this universe have cards, they can all be resurrected. But they will definitely have to pay the price. Just like Wang Xian and Lin Niu, now their trump card for resurrection is the soul returning fetal fruit. Wang Xian is better. After death, the current ancestor tree has been able to directly pull his soul into the dragon palace. Make sure he doesn't die. However, if Wang Xian really fell to death and lost his physical body, he would need a lot of resources to restore his strength. The amount of this resource is very scary. Even, Dragon Palace currently doesn't have the resources to bring him back to the top after his death. Of course, there is another point, if Wang Xian's body can be brought back after his death, then his loss will be very small. It can be recovered without consuming too many resources. Other Tian Yuan fortune tellers also have to pay some price. Unless they really have an unusual resurrection treasure. But this kind of treasure is too little, too little. Tian Yuan fortune of Void Universe sensed that something was wrong, and chose to leave immediately after not finding the opponent who made the attack, without the slightest hesitation. Seeing him fleeing, Wang Xian's mind moved, and he immediately controlled the middle-aged man in the tribe to fly towards the center of the tribe. His gaze was a little dull, and Wang Xian had briefly controlled his mind. Whoosh whoosh! Boom boom boom! At this time, the movement here immediately attracted the attention of the strong men of the entire tribe. The power and influence just now was very terrifying, which made the powerhouses of the entire tribe tremble a little. A strong man flew over. The leader of the tribe also flew over directly, feeling this wave of energy. It doesn't seem to be the energy in our universe. He muttered in his mouth, his face changed. As a tribal leader on the grassland, he still knows a lot about the situation in their six universes now. Moreover, an overlord tribe on the grassland also sent them some news. Are you the leader of this tribe? At this moment, he saw a tribe of people flying over. However, what this clansman said made him slightly taken aback, his face full of astonishment. When he saw that this clansman's eyes were slack, his gaze froze slightly. I am. He immediately opened his mouth to answer, with a nervous look on his face, What did you do to my people? The one who left just now is a strong man from another universe. Here is a beam of energy that can guide the direction of that strong man. 
Give this energy to the strong man of Tianyuan fortune in your six universes. Remember, you must pass this news to the Tianyuan creator of your universe, otherwise, you cannot bear the consequences. The middle-aged voice fell, holding a sharp sword with the power of wind and thunder in his hand. The tip of this sharp sword is pointing in one direction. When the voice fell, the middle-aged expression slowly began to recover. However, the expression of the leader on the opposite side changed slightly. Leader. Leader. At this time, at the rear, a strong man from a famous tribe flew over. Contact the leader of the Juyuan tribe immediately and tell him that he has information about the invaders. The leader didn't dare to hesitate, and immediately ordered. Although he knew that the one who controlled his tribe just now might also be an invader. But the intruder is of great importance, he is not daring to hide this matter, he must report it in time. Otherwise, they will not be able to afford it once they are punished by Master Tianyu and good fortune. They immediately passed this information to the Juyuan tribe. The Juyuan tribe also immediately reported the news to the Tianyu and good fortune expert. A message came from my subordinates, saying that they encountered an intruder, and the intruder also left a beam of energy that can guide the location of an intruder. At the same time, it is located in the void at the center of the six treasure lands. In the sky above, there is an incomparably huge palace. Located in the center of the palace, there are three huge seats. On the throne, there are three figures sitting. One of them, with the golden light all over his body, looked at the information in his hand, and said lightly. Is the news true or false? Shrouded in cocky energy, the figure like an earth giant asked faintly. The news from my subordinates is naturally true. As for the specific situation, I don't know yet, but you can go and have a look. The metallic figure replied. Go and have a look. Although it is said that a large number of Tianyuan fortune tellers have entered our universe, they can't play tricks, and don't worry about traps. In addition, not long ago, the Tianyuan fortune telling expert from the void universe I killed was obviously trapped by other Tianyuan fortune tellers. Among the invaders, there are also many who have hatred and want to use our hands to kill the opponent. Although it is intentional to use our hands to kill people, it is also of great benefit to us. These invaders have treasures resurrected, but their corpses are still huge and incomparable treasures. Even if the attributes are different from our six universes, the energy of the physical body is also extremely noble. The figure full of black and green energy said with a smile. Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, in our universe, we are invincible. Although they come to the treasure of Tianyuan fortune belonging to our universe, if we can leave the corpses of more than a dozen strong Tianyuan fortune, even if the treasure is taken away, we can't lose too much. The giant of the earth attribute nodded. Although all the current situation shows that it is not good for their six universes. But on their territory, are they so easy to bully? Even they have been planning. Planning, looking for the unknown treasure of heaven and earth. And planning to kill the intruders. If they can kill the master level Tianyuan fortune tellers and leave their corpses behind, maybe they will be able to give birth to a new Tianyuan fortune telling in their universe. As for someone who wants to use their hands to get rid of the enemy, they don't care. What they want is the corpse of the strong Tianyuan fortune. That's enough. Even if it is not the original body of the strong Tianyuan fortune, the preciousness is not something they can obtain. Especially the corpse of the control level Tianyuan fortune telling powerhouse. I'll go and have a look. The metallic figure stood up straight away and disappeared in an instant. In less than an hour, his figure appeared on the grassland. As they said, this is their territory, and they can quickly reach each area through the teleportation array. My lord, this energy is suspected to be left by the invaders, and it is said that it can guide other invaders. In that tribe in the grassland. When the strong man of the six universes, the metal nature of the heavenly element, arrives. The tribal leaders knelt on the ground in a hurry, reporting all the situation respectfully. Well, let me see, what tricks are they going to play? 
The metallic Tian Yuan fortune teller moved his palm, held that beam of energy in his hand, and sensed it. Seeing the sharp sword formed by the condensed power of wind and thunder, his eyes shone with luster. The sharp sword points in one direction. He hesitated for two seconds, then disappeared in an instant with a movement of his body. As a strong man of heavenly creation, his speed is not comparable to that of the pinnacle of the master of the universe. Even if it is a master of the space attribute who is at the pinnacle, there is a huge gap compared with Tian Yuan good fortune. Guided by the sharp sword with the power of wind and thunder, the metal-like Tian Yuan creator of the Six Paths universe flies quickly. At the same time, it is located in a part of the grassland. In a dense forest, the Tian Yuan creator of the Void universe stood there. At this moment, he was frowning tightly, sensing the power of wind and thunder in his body. This energy always gave him a feeling of uneasiness. Strange energy is attached to his body, which is definitely not a good thing for him. However, this energy is unusually special, and it will take some time to clear it. At least three or four hours. I have been teleporting uninterruptedly for two hours. This place is very far away from that tribe. First clear this special energy, otherwise, I am afraid there will be a mutation. He murmured. He also knew about the fact that a strong man in their universe was killed by Wu Kang, the twelve ancestors of the Juyuan universe. Fortunately, this energy is not the power of curse. Fortunately, the opponent does not have the strength of the twelve ancestral witches. If the twelve ancestral witch set him up, then he might not want to clear the energy in his body. The strength of the twelve ancestral witches is at the control level. He immediately sat there cross-legged and began to clear the energy in his body. Oh! There really are other universes with strong heavenly creations, and they are of the space attribute. However, half an hour later, a golden figure flew over not far away. He looked forward with a smile on his face. No matter what attribute it is, the corpse of a strong Tian Yuan fortune maker is a huge and incomparable treasure. He narrowed his eyes slightly, and a phantom like a golden leopard appeared behind him. This phantom disappeared in an instant, and attacked the strong man of heaven and earth in the void universe. The speed of the golden leopard is very fast, very terrifying. Um. The moment when the phantom of the golden leopard appeared. Sitting there cross-legged and purging the energy in his body, the void cosmos Tian Yuan good fortune expert saw this scene, his eyes were fixed. Without the slightest hesitation, he teleported away directly. At the same time, his face was full of embarrassment. The strong man of Tian Yuan creation in the six universes is the strong man in the six universes. With a sullen face, after performing a teleportation, he moved his palm, and a scroll appeared in his hand. He immediately opened the scroll. Buzz! In an instant, his figure disappeared again. The teleportation distance this time is very, very far. It even came directly to the edge of the grassland. It is worthy of being a strong Tian Yuan fortune in other universes, and it is worthy of being a Tian Yuan fortune of space attributes. At the same time as he teleported, the strong metal Tian Yuan also immediately chased after him. When he just saw the figure of the strong man in the void universe, his figure had already started to appear illusory. Immediately afterwards, he lost his sense of the powerhouse in the void universe. This is the trump card of all the strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers. There is also a way to escape when encountering the strong Tian Yuan good fortune of the six universes. Can also quickly get rid of his lock. However, the strong man with the metal nature of the six universes and the heavenly origin looked at the Fen Glei sword in his hand. Seeing the direction it was pointing at, it exploded with the strongest speed and drove towards the left. How did I find out? The strong fortune maker of the void universe, Tian Yuan, who was away from the treasure in an instant, came to the edge of the grassland, his face was cloudy and uncertain. His long-distance teleportation treasure is also rare for him. It's hard to get. He didn't have many in his hand. Now I use one, which is somewhat distressed. Is it because of the power of wind and thunder in my body? 
But even if my body is possessed by this kind of energy, the heavenly origin of the six universes shouldn't come so fast. Could it be that this energy is a treasure obtained from the chaos by the Tianyu and fortune tellers of the six paths universe? Or it was obtained from other Tianyu and fortune tellers? I was discovered that after being enveloped by this energy, the six path universe did Tianyu and good fortune rush over here. He guessed, his face was very embarrassed. Some are in doubt, some are uncertain. Feeling this wave of energy in his body, he gritted his teeth and continued to flee towards the distance. Teleport, teleport, and teleport. Soon, he came out of the grassland. If you want to escape, can you escape? In the rear position, the strong fortune tellers of the six universes are also constantly flying. Soon, he felt the aura of a strong man in the void universe, and his eyes were filled with a cold and stern look. Come to covet the treasures of my six universes, and you will have to pay a terrible price. As he said in his mouth, a huge change had taken place in his whole person. Completely changed from a human form to a golden leopard. The golden leopard bloomed with sacred majesty, turned into a golden light, and flew in the sky. His body is a golden leopard. The metal elemental beast broke through to the realm of Tian Yuan fortune, opened up its spiritual wisdom, and possessed the powerful strength it is today. The speed of the golden leopard is terrifying. Soon he got closer to the strong man in the void universe. Seeing the figure of the void cosmic powerhouse in front of him again, his eyes were full of murderous intent. Roar! He let out a low growl, and went straight to kill the strong man with Tian Yuan fortune in the void universe. Damn it, I was locked, definitely because of the energy in my body, if it wasn't for this energy, I would never be locked. Who the hell? He saw the strong Tian Yuan fortune from the six universes chasing up again, with a look of despair on his face. He is sure to escape, but in advance, he cannot be locked by the strong Tian Yuan good fortune of the six universes. Once locked, unless he can escape to the edge of the six universes, into the chaos. Otherwise, after being locked, it is death. Now, he can't escape. I have to do something once. Humph, if you want to covet the treasures of my six universes, die. The surroundings of the strong man in the void universe were shrouded in golden light and completely blocked. The golden leopard appeared directly above him. Damn it, how did you lock me, did you rely on the energy of the wind and thunder? Seeing that he could no longer escape, the strong man of Tian Yuan in the void universe stared at the golden leopard with an embarrassed expression. He is also a strong man of Tian Yuan, so he has no fear of the golden leopard. Hee <laughs> hee, it's really interesting to ask who you have offended. Among you guys, you actually want to use us to get rid of you, but we are willing to be used. The golden leopard flew over, and instead of instantly killing him, he said something coldly. After saying this sentence, he raised his paw, and a golden energy blocked it completely. Puff. Follow closely, kill instantly. After annihilating a strong Tian Yuan fortune, the golden leopard opened its mouth and showed a smile on its face. The reason why he said this matter is also a conspiracy. Tell the powerhouse of the void universe that someone has entrapped you. Golden Leopard knew someone was using them to kill his opponent. But he also hopes that this kind of thing happens more often. They are six universes, willing to be used, willing to take action. After all, if they make a move, they can also reap huge benefits. Moreover, this benefit was not available to them before. They even hope that more and more invading Tian Yuan fortune tellers will tell them the information of other Tian Yuan fortune tellers, and then they will kill them one by one. Jin Bao put away the corpse, sneered, and left directly. Damn it, I was tricked by other Tian Yuan fortune tellers. When the strong man in the void universe was killed, he was located in another universe. Inside a huge void tower, a sculpture slowly opened its eyes with a cold and angry look on its face. Isn't it the means by which the Tian Yuan of the Six Paths universe creates powerhouses? Is there any other strong man with heavenly origin who is overshadowing himself? 
it's very likely that the twelve ancestor witches of the Zhuyuan universe killed General Jing Kong. He had a gloomy face, with a hint of helplessness on his face. He hesitated for a moment, gritted his teeth and decided to continue stepping into the void universe. He is not reconciled. He wants to know who cheated him. Plus, he wants revenge. This time, although he suffered a heavy loss, the good news is that he still has some treasures of resurrection. But this time when entering the Six Paths universe, one has to be more cautious. If he falls again, if he is resurrected again, he will have to cultivate for a long time. He took out a communicator and immediately sent his message to the other heavenly creation powerhouses in the Void Universe. The Void Universe, because of its special reasons, because it can only give birth to one strong man of heavenly creation. After the birth of the first Void Universe Tian Yuan good fortune expert, he established a royal family. Void Royal Family The Void Royal Family was born, the first strong man of Tian Yuan fortune, led his subordinates into other weak universes, and made his descendants break through to the realm of Tian Yuan fortune. This formed the current Void Royal Family, a huge dynasty today. On the whole, the heavenly creation powerhouses of the Void Universe are more united than other universes. More unified. When his message was sent out, the rest of the Void Universe's heavenly creation powerhouses immediately received the message. When they saw it, their eyes were slightly landscaped. Two Tian Yuan good fortune powerhouses were killed in the six universes one after another. Is someone going to target them in the Void Universe? This has to make them be careful. Hey? The energy of searching for enemies in the void has disappeared. Did the Tian Yuan good fortune expert of the Six Paths universe kill it, or did it clear up this energy? At the same time, at the grassland of the Six Paths universe, Wang Xian's mind suddenly moved, he felt something, and whispered secretly. It shouldn't be so easy to clear out my own void finding power and that Void Universe powerhouse is only a beginner. Wang Xian murmured. He didn't think too much, regardless of whether he was killed or not, he continued to search. It's just the beginning now, at least in the pit of a wave of Void Universe powerhouses. As for success, it can only depend on luck. Go, let's continue to search. Wang Xian said to Lin Niu, and the two continued to search in the grassland. They came to the tribes in the grassland and sensed the aura of the tribes. When he came to the fourth tribe, in this tribe, he didn't find the powerhouse of the void universe. However, he sensed the aura of another Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse. At the same time, that strong man also sensed Wang Xian's existence. Wang Xian stared at the old man holding a staff of wood attribute. The old man also looked at Wang Xian. In the end, they each left in opposite positions. Neither side has any animosity. They are not familiar with each other. Now they are all competitors, and they don't know the details of each other. So they don't have any contact. After Wang Xian walked around the tribe, he also left immediately. Walk. Continue to search, and then Wang Xian and Lin Niu searched the entire grassland. It took hundreds of years to visit the entire grassland. After finding no more powerful people from the Void Universe, he rushed towards the water source closest to the grassland. The two original sources of grassland and water are different. The water source can be said to be the ocean. The difference is that the water source here is covered by heavy rain all year round. In the sky above, it rained continuously. From time to time, you can also see a special rainbow. General Mirage has a unique scenery. Above the water source, where the heavy rain is shrouded, there are also tribes. These tribes live above the water, under the heavy rain. They use water energy to build towering and magnificent buildings. Boss, the scenery here is really good. But when they came to the front of a tribe, Lin Niu looked around with a smile on his face and said with a smile, um. Wang Xian nodded. Every universe has some really magnificent, breathtaking places. The water source here really shocked them. The water source is very large, and the area is much, 
much larger than the grassland. The main thing is that above the water source is covered by rain, and below is the ocean. Go in and look for it. As Wang Xian spoke, the two entered the tribe. At this moment, Wang Xian is holding a water attributed sword, and his attire is exactly the same as that of the water source cultivator. The same is true for Linyu under his energy envelope. They entered the tribe ahead, walking on the path of water flow. The rainwater dripped from the position above, and the surrounding positions were buildings formed by the condensed water energy. There are many special items here in the building. Wang Xian and the others looked at it. Buzz! At this time, he felt the Kongwen compass on his body tremble. This made Wang Xian narrow his eyes slightly. In this tribe, there are strong men from the Void Universe. Wang Xian narrowed his eyes slightly. With a movement of his palm, he took out the empty compass and checked the distance. After looking at the distance, he narrowed his eyes slightly. Continue. A smile appeared on Wang Xian's face. But this time, he didn't rush over immediately. Instead, he wandered around and manipulated a strong man in the third order realm of the universe ruler. After Wang Xian controlled him, he immediately led him towards the location of the strong man of heaven and earth in the void universe. It's right in front of you. Wang Xian looked at the Kongwen compass without the slightest hesitation. With a wave of his arm, a wave of energy directly attacked there. Contains the power to seek out enemies in the void. I didn't enter that area in an instant. At the same time, in a building ahead. Two figures sat inside and were talking about something. These two figures are the two who attacked Wang Xian in the first place. Um. At this moment, the two sensed a wave of energy enveloping them, causing their expressions to change and their eyes to freeze. What's the situation? The two stood up immediately, the power of space burst out from their bodies, and they moved towards the surroundings. Crackling. However, at this moment, the power of searching for enemies in the void fell on their bodies. Get the message out. Wang Xian ordered towards the tribal powerhouse who was being manipulated beside him. Boom boom boom. Who dares to make trouble in our Fuhi tribe? But at this time, Wang Xian's attack just now, Wang Xian's attack, has already attracted the attention of this tribe's powerhouse. The strength of the Fuhi tribe is very strong, and there are several powerhouses in the tribe who are at the pinnacle of universe dominance and the energy that Wang Xian erupted just now has the pinnacle of cosmic dominance. This force is already very powerful in their place, very terrifying. A powerful man from the famous and tribe flew out, looking towards this side with a face full of vigilance. Whoosh! And the third order powerhouse controlled by Wang Xian, holding a sharp sword condensed by the power of wind and thunder, immediately flew towards the group of powerhouses. The next situation is the same as last time. Wang Xian didn't hesitate at all, and immediately left and fled. Quietly. No one knows at all, he did it. This energy? It's the energy that General Jing Kong said, it's this energy that fell on General Jing Kong, and then General Jing Kong was locked by the strong man of heaven and earth in the six universes. Damn it, let's run away immediately. At this time, the two strong fortune-tellers from the Void Universe sensed the changes in their surroundings. They sensed the energy attached to their bodies, and their expressions changed slightly. General Jing Kong was killed by the Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse here in the six universes because he was locked by this energy. Can't even escape. Now they also have this energy on their bodies, which makes their faces extremely embarrassed and angry. Someone them. And if they don't escape and fail to clear the energy in their bodies, then they may also be finished. Without the slightest hesitation, the two desperately teleported away. And when they fled. In the sky above the center of the six treasure lands, in the high palace. It's another piece of information. It's not bad. I really hope that the group of guys fight among themselves as hard as possible. The figure shrouded in golden light received a message and a smile appeared on his face. Without the slightest hesitation, he disappeared in an instant. This time, 
he was much faster than last time. In less than ten minutes, they came to the Fuhi tribe through the teleportation array. A smile appeared on his face when he got the familiar sharp sword from the strong man of the Fuhi tribe. According to the guidance of the sharp sword, he quickly pursued and chased the two strong fortune tellers in the void universe. An hour later, he sensed the breath of two figures in front of him. Space Attribute, and Space Attribute There are so many Space Attribute Tian Yu and good luck experts. They should be the experts of the Void Universe. Who would they be? The experts of the Zhuyuan Universe? This is very possible. It has been a long time since the Golden Leopard broke through the Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse. Know a little about some things. For example, the war between the Zhuyuan Universe and the Void Universe. This is known to many powerful people in the universe. But Golden Leopard didn't think too much about it. Although the other party is a strong man in the Void Universe, they don't have space attributes here, but the energy contained in the body is still a huge treasure. If they don't need it, they can trade it. Whoosh whoosh. The next moment, a golden light erupted from his whole body, enveloping the two heavenly creation powerhouses in the Void Universe. It's not good, the Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse from the Six Paths universe is chasing after us, and we will flee separately. Feeling the energy behind them, the expressions of the two Tian Yuan fortune-tellers from the Void universe changed wildly. Without the slightest hesitation, they immediately took out their escape cards. Buzz. Buzz. They took out two scrolls, crushed them in distress, and disappeared in an instant. Jin Mang attacked to the place where they disappeared, followed by the figure of Jin Leopard. If you don't have this sharp sword that can guide the position, you will really run away. Jin Leopard flew over and saw the Fen Glei sword in his hand split into two sharp swords, pointing in two directions respectively, with a smile on his face. He flew quickly in one direction. At the same time, he took out the communicator and sent a message. He chased in one direction. In less than an hour, a gigantic palm appeared on the ground below. Grab the sharp sword that is floating in the air and pointing in one direction. The palm of the hand grasped the sword of wind and thunder, and then disappeared into the soil. Damn it, the energy in this body is hard to get rid of, it's over, if the Tian Yuan good fortune of the six universes chases after it, it's over. One of the Tian Yuan fortune tellers used treasures to teleport over a long distance. But when he wanted to clear this energy from his body, he found that it would take some time. However, this little time will kill him. He quickly took out the communicator and passed the situation on his side to all the experts in the Void Universe. When the powerhouses of the Void Universe got the news, their faces were also full of astonishment. Not long ago, General Jing Kong was murdered. Now two more companions are going to be murdered? This is to kill all the strong men in their Void Universe. This made the powerhouses of the Void Universe show cold killing intent. I was killed, and now I can't enter the universe of the Six Realms. I need some time to recover. Lord Zhen, someone wants to kill all the strong heavenly creatures in our Void Universe. Be careful. An hour later, there was another message from the powerhouses of the Void Universe. After a message came from the Void Universe that a strong Tian Yuan fortune was beheaded. There was news from the second Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse. In a short period of time, four Tian Yuan fortune-tellers in our Void Universe were killed. This is because someone deliberately targeted us and wanted to weaken our combat effectiveness. Damn it, who did it? We must find out, otherwise, we will all be in danger. That guy in the dark seems to be able to determine our location, and why do the strong Tian Yu and good fortune of the six universes arrive so quickly every time, will they join forces with the strong heavenly good fortune of the six universes? The possibility of joining forces is not great. If we join forces, we won't be able to escape so far. Could it be the twelve ancestral witches of the Zhuyuan universe? The Twelve Ancestral Witches have very strange methods and are also very powerful in terms of investigation. General Jing Kong was killed by the Twelve Ancestral Witches, 
but the methods used to kill General Kong Ye and the others are obviously different from those of the Twelve Ancestral Witches. It should not be the Twelve Ancestral Witches of the Juyuan universe. No matter what, we must catch it, otherwise we will be in danger. Now let's leave the six universes and come to the chaos to discuss countermeasures. Find this guy and kill him. The Tian Yuan creation powerhouses of the Void Universe were talking. All of them looked very embarrassed. Although it is said that it can be resurrected after being killed. But resurrection is not so easy, the treasure of resurrection is very precious in the universe. Especially the harmless resurrection treasure. This kind of treasure, among the powerhouses in the entire Void Universe, only one or two possess it. As for the others, they all need to pay some price after resurrection. And after the resurrection, this treasure of resurrection will also disappear. This is a huge weakening of strength in disguise. Therefore, the killing of the four Tian Yuan fortune tellers was also a huge loss to their void universe. The remaining celestial beings in the six universes immediately flew towards the chaos. They want to discuss countermeasures. This time, in the void universe, Eight heavenly creation powerhouses entered the Six Paths universe. General Sora was not reconciled to being murdered once, and rushed over again. However, General Jing Kong and the other two Tian Yuan fortune tellers, who are not as powerful as Kan Jai's resurrection treasure, are still recuperating. The five Tian Yuan fortune tellers quickly flew towards the chaos. It's all here. One by one, the figures came into the chaos and the oppressive force from the universe on them completely disappeared. The two elders in the lead glanced at them and said something lightly. Duke Zhen, we're all here. A great general of the Void Universe nodded. The royal family of the Void, who can be called great generals, are all existences at the level of Tian Yuan fortune. And those who can be called the Duke of Zhen will have the strength to control the level. Among the five people, there are two Zhen Kuagongs, that is, two masters of Tian Yuan good fortune who are at the control level. I've got a solution now. Lord Zhen Guo on the right glanced at them and spoke directly. Master Zhen Guo, tell me. A general of the Void Royal family said respectfully. According to the analysis of the news from Jing Kong Kan Jai and the others, even if it is the twelve ancestor witches of the Juyuan universe who killed our Void Universe powerhouse, it is definitely related to the Juyuan universe. He should have a treasure that can detect space energy in his hand, and he has a special secret method that can lock us. The secret method of the wind and thunder attribute reminds me of a race that our king personally beheaded before two calamities. A special race of the Juyuan universe. That race has the attribute of wind and thunder. Through the treasures in its hands and special blood and energy, it is very restrained in the ability to teleport in space. It is very restrained against our legion in the Void Universe. Our king personally took action to find an opportunity to completely wipe out this race and cut off their blood. The power of this wind and thunder is somewhat similar to the abilities of the two races before the catastrophe. The town on the right said publicly. Um. What he said slightly surprised the other three Tian Yuan fortune tellers in the Void Universe. In that case, it is almost certain that the guys from Juyuan Universe secretly murdered us. General Kong Ye said with a murderous look on his face. Nine Source Universe is most likely. Lord Zhen Guo on the right nodded, I just don't know if it's the powerhouses of the entire Juyuan Universe who are acting, or one or two strong people from the Juyuan Universe. According to my guess, not all the powerhouses in the entire Juyuan Universe are acting. If they are acting together, it may be their twelve ancestor witches. Now, we are going to launch a counterattack, and we must first kill the guy who did it. Lord Zhen Guo on the left also spoke. First destroy the guy who casts the secret technique. This time I will personally act as the bait. I have a treasure in my hand. I am sure to clear and leave that energy. Through that energy, I will find the guy behind the scenes and then destroy it. Lord Zhen Guo on the right said with a murderous look on his face. Master Zhen Guo, are you going to risk yourself? Will this be a little dangerous? We must be fully prepared. 
When a general heard this, his eyes narrowed, and he said. It is necessary to make some preparations and set up some teleportation arrays, which must be able to teleport to the edge of the six universes, so as to prevent the strong fortune tellers of the six universes from joining forces with the people behind the scenes. Others, I will do it myself, there is no big problem. Lord Zhen Guo on the right said confidently. Okay, let us make the teleportation array, Mr. Zhen Kuagong. You choose the location first. A general said. Um. The Zhen Kuagong nodded, and then the group of people discussed again, and entered the six universes again. At the edge of the six universes, they began to make teleportation arrays one by one. It can ensure that they are sent here quickly. Once they are teleported here, they can enter the chaos, and they will not be afraid of the heavenly creation of the six universes. The main thing they need to beware of is the creation of Tianyuan in the six universes. Only they can destroy all of them. Lord Zhen Guo of the Void Universe placed the location in the water source domain. According to their guess, the mastermind behind the murder of them should still be at the source of water. After arranging everything, Lord Zhen Guo of the Void Universe came directly to a tribe in the water source and waited quietly. Stay on the sidelines. There is only one way. But they believe that the mastermind behind the scenes will definitely continue to attack. Wang Xian didn't know that he was already being targeted by the powerhouses of the Void Universe. He also didn't know that the powerhouses of the Void Universe had joined together. Even, Wang Xian still doesn't know if those guys from the Void Universe that he cheated have been killed. It's only been less than a thousand years, and I'm playing with them. A smile appeared on Wang Xian's face. In a thousand years, he met two groups of strong men from the Void Universe. This probability is still very high. The universe of the Six Paths is very big, but the Six Treasure Lands of the Water Source Grassland are not very big. In terms of Wang Xian's strength, they can search the entire area in a few hundred years. And all the strong people of Tianyuan Fortune think that the probability of Tianyuan Fortune's supreme treasure being born in these six treasure lands is relatively high. So most of them gathered in these six treasures. This is also the reason why Wang Xian was able to find the strong man in the Void Universe so quickly. Walk around these six treasures while looking for it, and it won't delay too much the search for the treasure of Tianyuan Fortune. Wang Xian and Lin Niu left from that tribe and shuttled under the water source. Surrounded by sea water, you can occasionally encounter some elemental beasts. Wang Xian and the others did not kill the elemental beasts here. For them, the resources of these elemental beasts are too few. In addition, they are outsiders, it is best not to hunt and kill the elemental beasts here. Wang Xian and the others are wandering around the water source. Because the water source is divided into the upper area and the lower area, the overall area is much larger than the grassland. There are also some tribes that are located below. The water below is very deep, even with Wang Xian's strength, it would take several days to fly up from the bottom. Will the guy behind the scenes show up? As long as he still targets us, it will definitely appear. The place where General Kajaya was attacked was on the grassland, and the place where the two princes were attacked was not far from the edge of the water source. Where we are, the latter should he has never been here, if he continues to deal with us, he will come here. Master Zhen Kuagong, if you can lock the person behind the scenes, you must kill him completely. Even if it can't be wiped out this time, after the calamity comes, it must be completely wiped out. In a tribe in the source of water, a mansion in the territory of this tribe. An old man sat there, watched the content on the communicator, closed his eyes and waited quietly. They're patient, and now they're being watched and fucked. Then they have to kill the behind the scenes staring at them first, otherwise, they will be very dangerous. Therefore, if they don't find the people behind the scenes, they can't continue to search for the treasure of Tianyuan. Time passed day by day. And Wang Xian and Lin Niu were also strolling around the water source. Um. When Wang Xian and the others came to a tribe again, a message was displayed on the Kongwen compass again. 
Seeing the Tian Yuan fortune-telling expert who detected the space attribute again, Wang Xian showed a surprised look on his face. It's faster this time, isn't there any connection between the powerhouses of the Void Universe? It shouldn't be, they belong to a dynasty. Wang Xian muttered, a little surprised. If they were attacked by the strong fortune-tellers of the six universes, it stands to reason that they should be vigilant if the strong ones from the Void Universe were tricked one after another. But now I found one so quickly. This surprised them a little. Is it the Tian Yuan creation powerhouse of the six universes, didn't they attack them? Or was his ability to search for enemies in the Void quickly cleared by them, so he was not locked by the strong men of the six universes? It's all possible. Boss, what's the matter? Lin Niu saw Wang Xian meditating there, and asked curiously. The strong man of the Void Universe was detected again. Wang Xian said to him. Hey? Found it again, so fast? Boss, is there any accident or other special circumstances? Lin Niu asked in surprise. Wang Xian shook his head, it's a little strange. I don't know where the problem is. In short, this is not a good thing. He said, the current situation, something is wrong. There is always a problem somewhere. He was thinking about whether to continue to shoot. You can shoot, but you have to make some preparations. Wang Xian thought to himself, get ready for danger. He thought for a while, and came to the location of the tribal teleportation array. Wang Xian looked around, got some information, and then prepared to act. After he was ready to do it himself, he immediately went to another tribe through the teleportation array. Then quickly leave the water here. As for whether to trouble the Void Universe powerhouse in the future, let's see. Buzz. Wang Xian's body shook, and a ghost clone appeared in a corner, and quickly hid himself. Immediately afterwards, he found a strong man in the realm of Master of the Universe and controlled him. Then it flew towards the locked position of the Kongwen Compass. Arriving at a location hundreds of kilometers away from that location, Wang Xian's eyes were fixed, and without the slightest hesitation, he directly launched an attack. When the attack fell towards that place, Wang Xian felt something. Condensed a sword of wind and thunder, and handed it to the strong man who was controlled beside him. Devil Dragon Transformation In the next moment, his figure disappeared and he came directly to the position of the teleportation array. Walk. Wang Xian said to Liniu not far away, stepped into the teleportation array, and disappeared. Sure enough, it's done. At the same time, at the position where Wang Xian attacked. In that room, Lord Void Universe was enveloped by the power of wind and thunder. Feeling the energy falling on him, he opened his eyes, glowing. Humph, this time, I will completely destroy you. There was a cold look in his eyes, and with a wave of his arm, a teleportation array appeared in front of him. He directly entered the teleportation array and disappeared. Soon, he appeared at the edge of the water source. This energy is the energy that was exterminated in the Jiuyuan universe. It is very difficult to deal with. Even if I want to completely eliminate it, it will take a few days to disappear. The figure of Duke Zhen from the Void Universe appeared and directly destroyed the teleportation array. Feeling the energy in his body, his eyes flickered slightly. With a movement of his palm, a treasure like a spaceship appeared in his hand. This treasure is empty in the middle, slowly covering itself. Immediately afterwards, he separated waves of wind and thunder from his body. He looked at the force of wind and thunder with a smile on his face. Step directly into a teleportation array not far away. The target shoots again, the energy has been obtained, ready to chase, and kill it completely. A murderous voice sounded at the end of the teleportation array. Hey? Lord Zhen, did the guy behind the scenes attack again? When the Lord Zhen of the Void Universe appeared in another area. When a strong man of Tian Yuan who was waiting there heard it, his face showed an excited look, and he asked immediately. Yes, the energy has been sealed by me, 
and no strong person can sense this energy. Lord Zhen Guo nodded, send the news to Lord Tianmen and the others, let them come over. Yes. The Tian Yuan fortune maker from the Void Universe responded immediately. He sent the disappearance immediately. Soon, figures around the teleportation array arrived one after another. In order to prevent being sensed by the strong people of the six universes, they are all in different positions. Duke Xining, did you succeed? An old man came over and asked the Zhen Kuagong of Void Universe. Yes, the energy has been sealed up by me, and it will be up to you, Lord Tianmen. Duke Xining nodded, and with a movement of his palm, the treasure that sealed the power of wind and thunder appeared in his hand. Lord Tianmen nodded, and also took out a treasure. My space pointer can specify the target, as long as it is within the scope of a universe, he can't escape. Tianmen Gong said confidently. A pointer fell into the wind and thunder energy, slowly absorbing this energy. Slowly, the wind and thunder pointer is wrapped around the space pointer, pointing in one direction. Locked. The Duke of Zining next to him asked. Locked. Tian Mengong smiled and nodded. Since that's the case, let's start to kill him completely. The Duke of Zining said with a murderous look on his face. The two nodded, and the three Tian Yuan fortune tellers on the side also nodded with murderous intent on their faces. Walk. As soon as they moved, they immediately flew towards the direction pointed by the space pointer. Um. At the same time, Wang Xian was in another tribe. At this time, he suddenly focused his eyes and felt something. The power of wind and thunder that he attacked has disappeared. He muttered in his mouth and frowned slightly. Is the target's strength this time too strong, or does he have some treasures in his hands? For treasures of this level, the probability of having treasures in his hands is also very high. Wang Xian's thoughts changed all over the place. However, Wang Xian always had a bad premonition in his heart when he thought of the fourth Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse who had encountered the Void Universe so quickly. It was his luck that the first three Tian Yuan fortune-tellers were searched by him. But for the fourth place, Wang Xian always felt a little strange. Especially after the Void Seeker he unleashed was broken. This is a problem, and a very big one at that. It stands to reason that three consecutive Tian Yuan fortune tellers in the Void Universe were attacked, and other powerhouses in the Void Universe should be vigilant and should all know about it. But it also allowed him to meet one so easily at the water source. Combined with the current situation, this is a problem. The powerhouse of the Void Universe definitely has some plans. Did you succeed in killing the three Tian Yuan fortune tellers by yourself? There is a possibility. If so, they should be trying to find a way to deal with themselves. If they want to deal with themselves, how can they be sure of themselves? Only the power of wind and thunder that I released, the rest of me didn't leave any flaws. The power of wind and thunder. Wang Xian's eyes flickered slightly, feeling that he might be in some danger right now. If the powerhouses of the Void Universe really want to deal with him, it may not be one or two, but three or four or even four or five. Among them, there may also be strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers at the control level. First of all, this is all my own guesswork, so I have to make sure. Wang Xian thought to himself, and looked at Lin Yu beside him, Lin Yu, you enter the brood space first, we may be locked by the strong in the void universe. Um. When Lin Niu heard this, he was slightly taken aback with a surprised look on his face. It's the Dragon King. Lin Niu didn't ask any more questions, and directly entered the brood space. With Lin Niu's strength, he can come out of this brood space whenever he wants. And can sense the outside situation. After Lin Niu entered the nest space, Wang Xian did not escape immediately. His body trembled, and he once again caused a ghost clone to hide beside the teleportation array. Then, his real body flew outside. Fly all the way outside to the extreme position of the ghost clone and the main body. In this position, Wang Xian needs to fly for five minutes. Even if it is a space attribute Tian Yuan good fortune expert, 
it will take three or four minutes to reach the position of Wang Xianming ghost clone from here. After coming here, Wang Xian waited quietly here. Time passed day by day. Void Universe, Xining Gong, Tianmen Gong and the others followed the space pointer and flew quickly. Their speed is much, much faster than other powerhouses who dominate the pinnacle of the universe. After all, the space attribute has a great advantage in traveling. Buzz. Ten days later, the space pointer in Lord Tianmen's hand trembled suddenly, which made his gaze fixed. Stop, he's not far ahead. He immediately transmitted the voice, and stared at the position ahead. How far? Lord Zining looked at him and asked. Two teleport distances. Tianmen Gong replied. He has a treasure in his hand that can detect us, we can't get closer. Zining said openly, we must surround him, don't let him escape. Then we will surround the surrounding area and block the surrounding void. Tianmen Gong looked at them and said. Okay, use space energy to interfere with a void, but we must move quickly, our burst of energy is too strong, and it may attract the strong Tianyu and good fortune of the six universes. Xining Gong reminded. No matter how strong the guy behind the scenes is, he still has the power to dominate the peak. If we attack together, we can definitely kill him quickly. The three Tianyu and fortune tellers next to him said confidently. Tianmen Gong also nodded, he is currently two teleport distances in front of us. You go to the other three directions, listen to my signal, and double team him. Once you meet him, you will immediately unleash the strongest attack. Entangle him, as long as he entangles him for a moment, it will be fine. Good. Mr. Zining and the others nodded and assigned directions. Then they immediately began to teleport towards the surroundings and began to arrange. Soon, messages came one after another, and Tianmen Gong pursed his lips. Do it. He gave a low drink and disappeared in an instant. Buzz. At the same time, Wang Xian stood quietly on the water above a part of the water source. When the five powerhouses from the Void Universe surrounded him, a reminder had already been issued on the Kongwen Compass. Seeing the five white dots above, Wang Xian's expression also changed slightly. Five strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers, among them there may be existences at the control level, they really want to kill me, he <laughs> he, and, besides, they have treasures in their hands to lock me in. Wang Xian muttered in his mouth, and his eyes shone brightly. Sensing the rapid attack of the five figures, Wang Xian's figure trembled slightly, and disappeared in an instant. Underworld Dragon Transformation In the next moment, Wang Xian's figure appeared beside the tribe's teleportation array not far away. He stepped directly into the teleportation array and teleported away immediately. Um. Disappeared, he disappeared so quickly, did he discover our siege? At the same time, Tianmen Gong sensed the change of the space pointer in his hand, and his face changed slightly. He looked a little ugly and immediately teleported to the position where Wang Xian was just now. Hey? Tianmen Gong, where are people? Lord Zining and the others teleported over, but they didn't find Wang Xian, with a look of astonishment on their faces. They asked in surprise. Escaped, he discovered our arrival in advance, and the treasure in his hand can detect us in advance. Tianmen Gong looked a little ugly. Can we be found in advance? Doesn't that mean that he has already escaped before we can get close to him? When Duke Zining heard this, he also frowned and spoke. Tianmen Gong nodded, and his face was a little ugly. If this is the case, it is not a good thing for them. Because as long as they get closer, the other party can also find them. In this case, the other party ran away directly. Never try to lock on to each other. He has a treasure to detect our space attributes. Once we get close, he will find us. Tianmen said openly, and looked at the other people. The reconnaissance treasure in his hand is very strong. It is very difficult for us to surround him. Duke Zining shook his head. He should only be able to detect us with the space attribute, 
and should not be able to detect other attributes. A heavenly creation expert from the Void Universe opened his mouth to guess. Um. His words made the others raise their brows slightly. If we can find a strong Tian Yu and good fortune with other attributes to help us entangle the latter, we have a chance to destroy it. A pensive expression appeared on the face of Duke Xining. This is a way. The more powerful people we can find, the better. As long as they can help us entangle the latter, we can quickly rush over and kill him completely. The eyes of the other heavenly creation powerhouses from the Void Universe shone with brilliance. My lords, do you know any strong people? This is a very good way. We can give him some rewards. A strong Tian Yuan fortune asked. I have a candidate here. If we offer some reward, he should not refuse. Tian Mengong thought for a while and said. I'm not sure what to say here. Duke Xining pondered for a moment, and then said. Ask, if it doesn't work on your side, there is no problem on my side. According to my feeling, there is only one person behind the scenes. Tian Mengong said to him. Good. Lord Xining nodded. Even if they can only find one strong person, as long as they entangle them for a minute, they can rush over from a distance. And completely surround it. Tian Mengong immediately took out the communication stone plate and made some contacts. There are some connections between many Tian Yuan fortune tellers. Most of them are used to trade some items. Under normal circumstances, few strong people are willing to do this kind of thing. However, Tian Mengong is sure to call a strong Tian Yuan fortune. He agreed, a strong man in the Yin Yang universe, we need to give them some rewards. Soon, Tian Mengong got the news of the preparations here, and he looked at the crowd, a dark attribute Tian Yuan good luck expert in the Yin Yang universe, new to the level, in the six universes, we are all suppressed at the peak of the universe dominance, the dark attribute entangled the behind the scenes person for a few minutes, there should be no big problem. Good. Mr. Zining and the others nodded, we split his reward equally, and we must kill that guy. In that case, prepare for the next attack. Several people nodded, and then continued to plan the second attack. It seems that the murder I just started should have been successful. Otherwise, the Void Universe would not have allowed five strong men to come to surround and suppress me, haha. <laughs> Wang Xian came to another tribe in the water source through the teleportation array, with a smile on his face. He was not angry at being surrounded and suppressed. On the contrary, this is good news for him. Moreover, facing the encirclement and suppression of the Void Universe this time, he can be said to have escaped perfectly. The Kongwen Compass of the Twelve Ancestral Witches can discover the powerful Void Universe before they arrive. Although they have locked their own treasures, Wang Xian also has treasures to discover them in advance. So, from this point of view, he is safe. He doesn't have to worry about the attack and siege of the Void Universe on him at all. However, you still have to be careful. Wang Xian murmured, now that the Void Universe has been vigilant and counter-attacked, I can't continue to kill the strong men of the Void Universe. That's fine and continue to search for the traces of Tian Yuan's treasure. He said in his mouth, and then flew in one direction. Wang Xian did not release the Linyu, nor did he use the Five Elements grinding machine. These are used as cards. Facing the powerful Void Universe, even if he avoided one of their attacks, Wang Xian still had to be careful. After all, this is a powerful Void Universe. Flying forward quickly, Wang Xian began to stroll around the water source. Time passed quickly again. Decades have passed, and the situation has been calm in these decades, but to Wang Xian's helplessness, there is still no news about Tian Yuan's treasure. Everyone of the Void Universe, he he. It is located in the chaotic space next to the six universes. Five figures were suspended there. At this time, a figure shrouded in darkness suddenly appeared and greeted them with a smile on his face. Light and shadow, the speed is very fast. Tianmen Gong looked at this figure and said with a smile on his face. Hehe, <laughs> just around here, 
there is a heavenly treasure born in the six universes, and I want to come and see it too. The dark figure called Light and Shadow said with a smile. Help us get that guy out first. Tianmen Gong said to him. Of course there is no problem. Even if the other party is in existence at the control level, his strength will be greatly reduced if he enters the six universes. If he is delayed for a minute, there is no problem. If it's a beginner level, it's even easier. Guang Ying said confidently. Entering the universe of the six realms, the strength of the strong Tianyu and good fortune will be greatly reduced. All fell below the realm of Tianyu and good fortune. There is a huge gap between the entry level and the master level. But under the suppression of the universe, this gap is not as big as before. A beginner level opponent against a control level player is suppressed, but he can still fight for more than 10 days. After all, when the energy is suppressed, the damage will also be reduced. Therefore, Light and Shadow has the confidence to restrain a strong Tian Yuan fortune. Hee <laughs> hee, well, since that's the case, let's do it. Tianmen Gong nodded with a smile and gestured towards him. A group of people stepped into the teleportation array again. When they got inside, they took out the space pointer, and then flew in one direction. Guangying, you hold this space pointer, it can guide you where your target is, and we will follow you at the position behind you. When the space pointer has all the information, you notify us immediately, and then go over and restrain the target pointed by the space pointer, and we will rush over immediately from behind. Tianmen Gong opened his mouth to Guang Ying and ordered. No problem. Light and Shadow nodded, took the space pointer, and flew in the pointed direction quickly. Because they teleport directly to the edge of the water source. Therefore, when the light and shadow flew for half a year, there was information on the space pointer. The target is very close, and the space pointer has already reacted. I will rush over immediately and grab it. When Guang Ying saw the information on the space pointer, he immediately reported to Tian Mengong and the others. Okay, be careful. Tian Mengong and the others immediately responded with a message. Hee <laughs> hee, this job is really simple. If you drag a guy casually, you can gain a lot of money, hee <laughs> hee. Besides, it's very simple to restrain a person, and you don't necessarily need to do it yourself. A faint smile appeared on Guang Ying's face. He looked at the line of defense pointed by the space pointer, put it away, and flew over quickly. He covered his figure and flew as if he didn't know anything. Soon, in his line of sight, he saw Wang Xian's figure. At the same time, he felt in his heart that Wang Xian was an outsider, a creature that did not belong to the six universes. It should be him, the strong Tian Yuan good fortune. Guang Ying secretly thought in his heart, looked at Wang Xian, moved his palm slightly, and sent a message. The power emanating from the body is obviously at the novice level. Five experts in the Void Universe killed a novice level Tian Yuan fortune expert, and they still asked me for help? It should be that he has some kind of treasure that detects the space attribute. He <laughs> he. Guang Ying's eyes shone with luster, and he secretly smiled in his heart. Um. At this time, Wang Xian also noticed the arrival of light and shadow in the front position. He also discovered the power of light and shadow at this time. Dark attribute. Tian Yuan is a strong man. Like him, also from other universes. Seeing him sizing him up, Wang Xian narrowed his eyes slightly. Immediately afterwards, he didn't say anything to her, and turned around to leave. After he came to the six universes, he had already met two or three other strong Tian Yu and good fortune. Both parties basically left without saying a word. This time, Wang Xian is not going to deal with him either. My friend, wait, are you a strong wood attribute? At this moment, Wang Xian displayed the energy of the wood attribute with the dragon body of the real dragon. If you don't fight, even the strong Tian Yuan fortune won't be able to sense it. He turned to Wang Xian and said. Hey? What's the matter? 
Wang Xian also had a surprised look on his face when he saw a foreign Tian Yuan fortune telling expert suddenly greet him. He looked over and asked, It's okay, I just happen to have a wood type treasure in my hand, are you interested in making a deal? Guang Ying asked Wang Xian with a smile on his face. He had a friendly look on his face. When Wang Xian heard his words, a look of astonishment appeared on his face. Trade, meet him and want to make a trade directly? This made him slightly puzzled. Buzz. At this moment, he felt the Kongwen compass in his brood tremble slightly, and there was something displayed on it. When he sensed it, his eyes narrowed slightly and his mind changed slightly. He looked at the dark attribute Tian Yu and good luck expert in front of him, and his heart was cold. His thoughts changed in an instant, and with a movement of his palm, he took out the Tai Chi dragon plate directly. Oh? Do you have a wood type treasure in your hand? Then we can make a deal. I have a special treasure in my hand. This treasure is very special. The light and dark attributes are fused together, and its power can reach the peak of the universe. Realm is also considered a rare treasure, you should be able to use it. If you have a treasure in your hand, why don't we make a deal? As Wang Xian spoke, he took out the Tai Chi dragon plate and flew towards him. The distance between them was not very far, but now that Wang Xian flew over, the distance between them is even closer. Um. This treasure. When Guang Ying saw the Tai Chi dragon plate in Wang Xian's hand, he sensed that there was also a surprised expression on his face. Their yin yang universe has only two attributes light and darkness. This Tai Chi dragon dish gave him a very special feeling. A perfect blend of light and dark. They also have this kind of treasure in the yin yang universe, but it is so strong that it is the first one. For him, it is also a miracle. It is indeed a good treasure, I want it. Guang Ying narrowed his eyes slightly, and said to Wang Xian. He wants this treasure. This can be regarded as an unexpected harvest. He smiled in his heart. I don't know what kind of wooden treasure this brother has in his hand. Hearing what he said, Wang Xian smiled, and continued to move closer to him. The distance between the two sides is only about 10,000 meters. This distance is already very close. Brother, don't worry, my treasure is absolutely no worse than yours. When Guang Ying saw Wang Xian approaching, not only did he not notice anything, but the smile on his face grew stronger. Wang Xian is the only one here, with such a close distance, he can hold it even better. Once he gets involved, when the time comes to take this treasure away, the powerhouses of the Void Universe will not say anything. Kill. However, before he finished speaking, Wang Xian let out a low growl. At this moment, he instantly came in front of Guang Ying. At the same time, the Liniu in the mother's nest was also killed immediately. The great mill of the five elements also attacked quickly. Everything is only in an instant. The distance between the two sides is too close. He wanted to involve Wang Xian, but he didn't know that Wang Xian already knew his purpose. Light and Shadow wanted to restrain her. Wang Xian wanted to kill him. Think mentally but carelessly. In addition, the strength that Wang Xian showed was only the strength of entering the realm of Tian Yuan creation. This made Guang Ying less wary of Wang Xian. Moreover, Wang Xian's strength is not clear to the powerhouses of the Void Universe, nor is it even clear who is behind the scenes. Under such circumstances, Wang Xian's sudden attack caused Guang Ying's complexion to change slightly. However, when facing Wang Xian, he did not take it lightly. If Wang Xian finds out that something wants to escape, he is ready to take action immediately. But what he didn't expect was that Wang Xian would attack and kill him directly. How dare! Seeing Wang Xian's attack, Guang Ying showed an angry look on his face. Before he could make a move, the other party dared to attack him. Court death! However, the next moment, he was a little dazed. In the front position, a strong man who also exudes the aura of heavenly origin suddenly appeared and attacked him. In addition, 
a terrifying killer suddenly appeared in the sky above the guy who attacked him. This made his complexion change instantly. A breath of death enveloped it. Three against one. No matter which universe it is in, at the same level, two on one might not be enough to forcefully kill an opponent of the same level. But if it's three to one, it's basically crushing. There is no resistance at all. Even in the Jiuyuan universe, the strong can teleport back to their own gods, and three on one can still kill opponents of the same level. In other universes, even more so. Release the strongest attack, kill. Wang Xian completely locked onto the light and shadow, his eyes filled with violent killing intent. When Kongwen Compass detected the strong man from the Void Universe flying towards this side, Wang Xian knew that the guy in front of him who suddenly wanted to make a deal with him was a strong man from the Void Universe. So, either run away immediately. Or instantly kill it. Run away immediately, it may pursue interference. Therefore, Wang Xian chose to attack. Sneak attack. The other party didn't know the existence of Linyu and the Great Mill of the Five Elements. Under the condition of absolute suppression, Wang Xian wanted to kill him instantly. Let him die. Ho ho. Lin Niu let out a low growl, and a terrifying power bloomed from the horn. Wang Xian stretched out his arm and turned into a dragon's claw, a terrifying energy began to brew inside. Crazy Dragon Star Explosion in the position above, the five elements great mill was spinning, exuding the breath of death. The great mill of the five elements is running, obliterating everything. Damn it! Seeing this scene, Guang Ying's face changed wildly. His body trembled, and all the power of darkness around him was absorbed into his body. Show his real face. His body is somewhat similar to that of a human, but his face is full of black lines which looks very strange. A pair of deep black pupils, if there is an abyss inside. He held a ball in his hand, and blood overflowed from his palm, flowing into the black ball. The ball raised a black defense, completely covering itself. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. In an instant, waves of terrifying energy fell on the black defense. The two consecutive attacks caused the defense to collapse a bit. The last attack hit his body. Ka ka ka. His body cracked like glass, and the dense black lines on his face began to dim. Die. Wang Xian stared at him intently, and rushed directly in front of his eyes. Dragon claw, grabbing directly at his head. Buzz. You wait for me. Seeing Wang Xian's attack coming, Guang Ying showed a ferocious expression on his face. He directly crushed the dark ball in his hand. The dark sphere shattered directly. His body dissipated slowly, and Wang Xian's dragon claws also attacked the air. Hey? Is there a treasure to avoid escape? Wang Xian stared at him with luster in his eyes. He clawed at the fading darkness. Pursuit of the Underworld Dragon As long as the Underworld Dragon pursues, as long as it is locked by Wang Xian, once it escapes, he will be able to teleport past it in an instant. This move was the first time Wang Xian used it. Of course, this trick also has limitations. If the opponent can directly return to his own universe, then the energy of Wang Xian's move is not enough. However, the escape of light and shadow does not directly return to his own universe. Instead, a long-distance transmission was carried out. When his figure disappeared, Wang Xian waved his arm and put the Linyu and the Five Elements Mill into the brood, and his figure also disappeared slowly. Whoosh whoosh. Whoosh whoosh. The moment he disappeared, the five heavenly creation powerhouses from the Void Universe had already rushed over. When they saw Wang Xian's disappearing figure, their expressions changed slightly. Escaped, he escaped with a powerful treasure. Tianmen Gong stared at the space pointer in his hand, and said with an ugly face. Light and shadow seems to have been attacked by him, and escaped. Duke Xining sensed the energy around him, and said, in addition, the behind-the-scenes person may not be alone. There are two auras of heavenly creation powerhouses here. Go, go ahead and chase after. 
Tianmen Gong's expression changed, and he spoke. Buzz. At the same time, in a void in the distance. The figure of light and shadow slowly emerged, and his expression was extremely embarrassing at this moment. Promise the powerhouses of the Void Universe to help contain a Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse. As a result, the treasures he obtained now are not as good as the life-saving treasures he just consumed. The life-saving treasure in his hand is very precious. Even if it is him, there is only this one. Damn it, it, it's a big loss, this time it's a big loss. That cunning guy has such a powerful strength, and that terrifying treasure is not weaker than the fighting power of the strong Tianyuan fortune. He said in his mouth, his face was extremely angry. Buzz. At this moment, he suddenly felt the space behind him tremble. He felt as if something was staring at him, locking himself. At this moment, his face changed wildly, and he flew to the side in a hurry, his eyes glanced behind him. Can you escape? Wang Xian's figure emerged, staring at the light and shadow, his face full of cold murderous aura. You actually have a powerful secret method for tracking. Seeing Wang Xian appearing, Guang Ying's face changed wildly. Without the slightest hesitation, he fled directly into the distance. I will kill you. The beginless Saint Wing appeared behind Wang Xian, chasing after him in an instant. Whoosh whoosh. At the same time, Lin Niu and Wuxing Demo also flew out instantly, surrounded by light and shadow. Oops. Seeing this scene, Guang Ying's expression changed drastically again. His heart was beating violently, he quickly took out the communicator, and sent a message to the strong man in the Void Universe. Flee, escape, you must escape, or you will die. Otherwise, my loss this time will be too great. Light and Shadow ran away desperately, feeling restless in his heart. He didn't expect that this would be the case now. The strong man in the Void Universe asked him to hold a strong man, and it turned out that this is the case now. It was going to make him almost fall. Even now, he can only keep running away. Today I will beat you. Wang Xian looked at the fleeing Light and Shadow with a cold look on his face. Lin Niu and Wuxing Demo one on the left and the other on the right, have already begun to encircle an attack. Incited by the beginless Saint Wing, Wang Xian's speed is faster than that of light and shadow. Just now, Guan Jing Ben was attacked by the great grinding of the five elements, and he was seriously injured, and his speed was somewhat slowed down. Now, facing their pursuit, it won't be long before they can surround them. Moreover, Light and Shadow's escape and his pursuit also made him get rid of the strong man in the Void Universe. The empty text compass can no longer display them. This means that there is not a small distance between the two sides. Run away! Seeing Wang Xian and the others chasing quickly, Guang Ying's forehead was filled with cold sweat, and he kept roaring. If you don't escape, you will really die. He fled desperately. Wang Xian and the others chased after him quickly, attacking him one after another. Buzz. Hey? What? Guang Ying is now being hunted by the behind the scenes. The behind the scenes has two beings who have just entered the Tianyuan fortune making level, and there is a powerful treasure that can burst out the strength of the first time Tianyuan fortune telling realm. At this time, there are five void universe powerhouses. At this time, Tianmen Gong received a message from Light and Shadow, and when he saw this message, his face changed slightly. That Light and Shadow was attacked by the latter just now, escaped through the treasure, and was chased by the latter through the treasure. Two newcomers to Tianyuan, a weapon comparable to those who have just entered Tianyuan, is this the treasure of Tianyuan? When the Duke of Xining heard it, his eyes were fixed. Almost, we have to rush there immediately. Otherwise Guang Ying may be killed, and they are chasing Guang Ying, let's go and kill them. Tianmen Gong said with a cold face. Go, rush over there immediately. The rest of the Tianyuan fortune tellers from the Void Universe responded immediately, and they quickly flew in the direction of Wang Xian and the others. Traces of the Mad Demon Located in another place
Lin Niu stared at the light and shadow fleeing in front of him, he slowed down his speed, and the symbols around him began to change and began to condense together. Phantoms of demon gods emerged, attacking the light and shadows at a terrifying speed. Feeling the attack from behind, Guang Ying gritted his teeth, his body shook, and he could only fight back. Lin Yu's attack slowed down his speed a bit. The resistance of the light and shadow also slowed down his speed a bit. However, the speed of Wang Xian and Yuxing Demo on the side has not slowed down in the slightest. Still speeding up towards the light and shadow. Transformation of the Five Elements, Ocean of Death At the moment when the light and shadow resisted Lin Niu, Wang Xian also let out a low growl. At the side, the energy of the Five Elements grinding mill is running, turning it into a water attribute. And the water energy began to turn into a vast sea, sweeping towards the light and shadow directly. Just withstood Lin Yu's attack, he was about to face the attack of the great grinding of the Five Elements. I can't resist any more, otherwise I will be overtaken and completely entangled. I don't know when the powerhouse of the Void Universe will be able to catch up, it. Seeing the attack of the Great Mill of the Five Elements, Guang Ying's expression was very embarrassing. Blood was slowly oozing from the black lines on his face. A large amount of blood flowed out, covering his body surface. He completely turned into a blood man. He is consuming his vitality to escape. At this time, there is only this way. Three strong men of the same level chased and killed him, and one attacked him, and he could only slow down to resist. Then the other two can quickly catch up. Now the second one is attacking again, if he resists again, then he will be completely entangled. Therefore, now we can only resist hard. Resist. Wow. The endless sea of death swept towards him and landed on him. Washing his vitality. But he had no scruples and did not carry out any resistance. The blood on his body was washed away. His face began to turn pale. Chains of the dragon. Seeing this scene, Wang Xian's eyes were also fixed. He entered the sea of death, and with the help of the power of the five elements great grinding, his speed increased a bit. A chain appeared in his hand, and the chain attacked him. This time, facing Wang Xian's chains, Guang Ying could only resist. If you don't resist, you will be entangled. It's over. Bump, bump. The light and shadow emitted waves of energy, collided with the chains, and the dragon chains collapsed little by little. Whoosh whoosh. At this time, Lin Niu, who had just released the attack and stopped, caught up again when Wang Xian collided with the light and shadow, and when his speed decreased. He moved towards the light and shadow, and attacked again. It's over, it's over, I'm afraid I won't be able to wait for the strong man from the Void Universe to arrive. Guang Ying sensed the scene behind him, with a look of despair on his face. There is no escape. Three against one, and with his own injuries, there was no way he could escape. He has some regrets. Some regretted taking over the task of the Void Universe powerhouse. This time, it's a big loss. This time, it will take billions of years for him to fully recover. Ho ho! Wang Xian saw Lin Yu flying over and continued to attack, and saw that the light and shadow were completely entangled. There was also a low roar of the dragon in the mouth. His body shook, and he directly turned into the body of a dragon and the dragon's tail swept away towards the light and shadow. Buzz! At this time, a message came from the Kongwen Compass in the Brood. The powerhouses of the Void Universe are here. It only took a minute, and they arrived. Very fast. There are still three seconds, three seconds, enough to kill you. Wang Xian stared at the light and shadow, his eyes filled with strong killing intent. I want to kill myself. Help the strong in the Void Universe destroy themselves. There will be a terrible price to pay. Boom. The dragon tail swept away and landed directly on Guang Ying's body. The light and shadow were hit hard in an instant. The attacks of Lin Yu and the Great Mill of the Five Elements came one after another. Ah, I'm not reconciled. 
light and shadow roared in despair. Wang Xianlin Niu and the Five Elements Great Mill flew in front of him at the same time. The Five Elements are destroyed. Liniu's demonic energy. Wang Xian's dragon claws fell at the same time. Puff. Unrivaled power fell on Guang Ying. Break through his defenses and kill him. Damn it, stop it. Kill him. Just as the five Tian Yuan fortune tellers from the Void Universe flew over, they saw Wang Xian and the others beheading the light and shadow. Tianmen Gong and the others' expressions changed drastically, and they shouted loudly. Space attributes are strong, the speed is really terrifying. Wang Xian sensed five space attribute powerhouses approaching, and his face changed drastically. For Wang Xian and the others, the five powerhouses of the Void Universe were almost irresistible. In particular, Wang Xian sensed that among the five powerhouses in the Void Universe, there were two that were much stronger than them. There is no doubt that the level of control exists. With a wave of Wang Xian's arm, he directly put away Guang Ying's corpse. A corpse of Tian Yuan good fortune level, although it is not his core strength, although most of the energy is absorbed by his revived treasure in an instant. However, the energy contained in this corpse can be compared to the original limbs of Aegeation demon god who was chopped off. This is an absolute gem. Escape. Wang Xian gave a low drink, and shouted loudly at Lin Yu. Without the slightest hesitation, Lin Yu directly entered the brood. Wang Xian put away the five elements great mill, moved his palm, and took out a space scroll. This escape scroll was obtained from the void tower. The space scroll can make him teleport a long distance in an instant. Originally, this space scroll could be used three times, but it was used twice in the starry universe. Only the last time left. Buzz. When Wang Xian took out the space scroll, he fled instantly. Um. This is the treasure of our void universe, the treasure that can escape in an instant. Why does he have the treasures of our void universe? Chase. You can't let him escape. Wang Xian's figure disappeared instantly. Tianmen Gong and the others flew over, seeing this scene, their faces sank. Their eyes swept around, and the breath of light and shadow had completely disappeared. Be completely beheaded. The appearance of the figure just now should be the appearance of the dragon of the Zhuyuan universe, and it really is the guy of the Zhuyuan universe. Duke Xining said with a gloomy face. Pursue. He used the escape treasure to escape just now, but the teleport treasure is the space scroll of our void universe, the transmission distance of the space scroll is limited, we can catch up. Be sure to kill it. Tianmen Gong looked at them and said. The other people nodded, and with a movement of their bodies, they immediately chased in the direction where Wang Xian was fleeing. Buzz. Not far from the battle just now, Wang Xian's figure appeared. He checked the Kongwen compass, and it could not detect any strong people in the Void Universe. He looked forward, and with a movement of his body, avatars of ghosts appeared one by one. Fly around in an instant. At the same time, Wang Xian also flew forward. During the flight, once the ghost clone's distance reached the limit and returned automatically, Wang Xian released it again. Avoid being completely surrounded and not being able to escape. Buzz. When Wang Xian flew for ten minutes, the sound of prompting came from the Kongwen compass again. When he saw the above information, his face changed slightly again. In the other party's hands, there is a treasure that can be detected and locked on him from a long distance, and it is difficult for him to get rid of it. Wang Xian's heart sank, and he thought to himself. The distance is displayed on the empty compass and it is approaching here at a terrifying speed. When the distance reached a certain level, Wang Xian's body shook. Devil Dragon Transformation His figure trembled slightly, then disappeared, and appeared on the right side of a ghost clone, replacing it. Afterwards, the reminder of the Kongwen compass disappeared. Hey! His position suddenly shifted from the front to the front right. He should have sensed our arrival. The detection treasure in his hand can detect us approaching. Looking at the space pointer in his hand, 
Tianning Palace noticed that Wang Xian's position was changing rapidly, so he immediately spoke. Traveling a long distance in an instant is either a special secret method or a treasure. The secret method and treasure cannot be used without limit. Continue to hunt and kill. The Duke of Xining said loudly. Tianmen Gong nodded, they turned around and chased quickly. Behind him, the other three Tianyuan fortune tellers couldn't keep up with their speed. After all, Lord Tianmen and Lord Xining are the masters of heavenly creation at the control level. In terms of the use and strength of space power, it is much stronger than them. Even under the pressure of the six universes. The two are chasing quickly in front. Wang Xian fled further ahead and faster. However, after flying for an hour, the prompt message came again from the space compass. It's so fast, I caught up in an hour. Seeing that he was being chased again, Wang Xian's expression changed slightly. He took a deep breath and sensed the information on the Kongwen compass. Buzz. When he sensed that the strong man from the Void Universe was coming, Wang Xian once again used the ability to transform the Dark Dragon, and instantly opened the distance again. Um. Tianmen Gong, who was chasing from behind, was also slightly taken aback when he saw the change in position above the space pointer. On the left, he found us again and fled. Tianmen Gong said loudly, changed direction, and continued to chase. I want to see how long he can escape. Seeing this scene, Duke Xining fixed his eyes and shouted loudly. Chase again. Wang Xian fled again. An hour later, the strong man of the Void Universe was sensed again on the Kongwen compass. No, I'm going to a tribe, and escape quickly through the tribe's teleportation array. When Wang Xian saw that he was about to be caught up again, he thought to himself. He transformed again, opened the distance, and flew towards a water source tribe. As long as you enter a tribe and perform a long distance teleportation through the teleportation array, you can completely distance yourself from the powerhouses of the void universe. I ran away again. This shouldn't be the treasure of escape. It should be the ability he has mastered. He has teleported several times with ease. His teleportation may not need to bear any price. When Tianmen Gong saw Wang Xian pulling away again, his face changed slightly, and he said in a deep voice. Duke Xining's expression also changed, and he gritted his teeth, how about we use the Void Tower to pursue? The Void Tower's energy fluctuates too much, and its size is too large. It may attract the strong fortune tellers from the six universes. Hearing this, Lord Tianmen took a deep breath, hesitated for a moment, and gritted his teeth, okay, there are a lot of strong Tianyuan good fortunes who have entered the six universes, and there are only three Tianyuan good fortunes in the six universes. If there is no tribe, you can use the Void Tower. Okay, chase after him, we must destroy him. Lord Zining's eyes were fixed, revealing a cold expression. Buzz. Located above a piece of water source. A space weapon that looks like a war machine slowly emerges. Void Tower. The war weapon of the Void Royal Family in the Void Universe. The Void Tower is the most powerful weapon in the Netherverse. Being able to get a huge blessing in the power of space for the powerhouses of the Void Universe. Duke Zining summoned the Void Tower and they entered the Void Tower directly. The huge space force caused the surrounding water flow to stagnate. The Void Tower erupted with terrifying energy. As Lord Zhen Guo of the Void Royal Family, their Void Tower is second only to the Void Royal Family King. Lord Tianmen and Lord Xining entered the Void Tower, they stared at the direction where Wang Xian was escaping, and injected energy. Buzz! The Void Tower trembled and disappeared in an instant. The energy of the Void Tower is very powerful, and it will be very obvious in these six universes. But at this time, Duke Tianmen and Duke Xining obviously wanted to kill Wang Xian. He would kill Wang Xian even if he was blessed by the Tianyuan of the Six Paths universe. Plus, they're gambling. The powerhouses who are betting on the six universes will not be able to find them. They had already killed Wang Xian before Tianyuan Good Fortune of the Six Paths Universe discovered them. 
they also have this confidence. With the help of the powerful Void Tower, their teleportation distance is twice as far as their own teleportation distance. Wang Xian was flying fast ahead. However, this time, in just ten minutes, the information of the Void Universe powerhouse was displayed on the Kongwen Compass. This surprised Wang Xian slightly. Hey? How come, how did they come over so quickly this time, how is this possible? Wang Xian's expression changed slightly when he saw this message. Buzz. At this very second, he discovered that the powerhouses of the Void Universe were very close to them. They used powerful treasures. When Wang Xian saw it, his heart sank, his face changed slightly, and he quickly transformed into a ghost dragon. After the transformation, Wang Xian glanced behind, burst out with all his strength and flew directly to the bottom of the water source. The three ghost clones flew towards the surroundings respectively. Boom boom boom. At the rear position, Tian Mengong saw Wang Xian shifting direction again, sneered, turned direction directly, and continued to pursue. The huge void tower is like a terrifying monster, wreaking havoc in the domain of the water source. Even a strong man at the pinnacle of the universe ruler will feel palpitations and terror when he sees it. What is that? What is that? How can it be so terrifying? I don't know, that thing looks terrifying, and the energy it emits is also very strange. Is this an invader from other universes? Absolutely, they dare to be so arrogant in our six universes. The void tower was teleporting when he tore the sky directly and appeared in another area. Not far away, a group of strong disciples from the six universes saw the void tower with shocked expressions on their faces. They spoke loudly one by one with shock and anger. It has been tens of millions of years since the date when it was rumored that there was a Tianyuan creation treasure was born in the six universes. The disciples of many strong tribes in the six universes also knew the news. Seeing this terrifying void tower now, it is natural to think that it is an alien invader. For the intruder, they are naturally full of anger. They immediately spread the news to the strong men and leaders of the tribe. Buzz. Here we go again. Ten minutes later, Wang Xian's expression sank again, and there was another message from Kongwen Compass. The strong man from the Void Universe was still chasing him at a terrifying speed. After all, the transformation of the Dark Dragon is not an ordinary ability, and it cannot be used without restrictions. Just now, it was very easy to perform once an hour. But now it takes ten minutes to cast it, which has a huge consumption. Even at the end, needed some restoration and was not able to use it. This Void Universe uses powerful treasures, and I must reach a tribe as soon as possible. However, according to the information in my mind, the nearest tribe will take half a month. Wang Xian's complexion was a little ugly. Lin Yu, you take the resources and leave first. He started sound transmission directly towards Lin Yu. Now that his strength has improved, the ancestor tree has also received a considerable improvement after absorbing the energy from him. The soul returning wood on the ancestral tree now has an ability. That is, after he was beheaded he could directly bring his body back to the Dragon Palace. Even if Wang Xian is in another universe. This is the power of Tian Yuan fortune treasure. But there is also a prerequisite, that is, Wang Xian's corpse cannot be suppressed instantly. That is to say, if Wang Xian is killed and the body is suppressed by energy, then this ability will be invalid. But even if it fails, Wang Xian's soul can still be pulled into the ancestral tree. It's just a loss of a body. But the loss of body was very huge for Wang Xian. At least, Dragon Palace currently has no energy to return to his current strength again. But fortunately, Wang Xian hunted down a dark attribute Tian Yu and good luck expert. This is a huge amount of energy. So Wang Xian ordered Lin Yu to take the corpse and leave first. Lin Yu should not be locked. It's the boss. Lin Niu hesitated for a moment, gritted his teeth and nodded. He also knew that this was the best option at the moment. Staying, doesn't help much either. 
Lin Niu flew out of the nest and quickly flew in another direction. Wang Xian continued to fly forward. It's not that easy to kill me. He muttered in his mouth, moved his palm, and took out a communicator. This communicator is the communicator of a strong man on the water source of the six universes, and he obtained it. The communicator of the six paths universe is similar to that of the Zhuyuan universe. Through this communicator, they can chat and even have the function of uploading pictures. It's not very difficult when it comes to technology, and the strong Tian Yu and good fortune can figure it out as long as they think about it. It's like the weak earth can make the internet. In addition, the communicator in his hand was obtained from a strong man in the realm of master of the universe. He took the communicator and immediately sent out messages one by one. Ten minutes later, when Kongwen Compass sensed the void cosmic powerhouse again, his body stopped there. Buzz. In less than ten seconds, a piece of void was directly torn apart at the rear. Space splits. The surrounding sea water rushes towards the surroundings. A huge void tower appeared in sight. When Wang Xian saw the void tower, his gaze froze slightly. It turned out that the void tower of the void universe was directly used. This is a powerful weapon of war. Wang Xian murmured, holding the communicator, and completely recorded this scene. In the next moment, he transformed into a dark dragon again and left. Buzz. Wang Xian quickly fled ahead. At the same time, he held a communicator in his hand, and transmitted the picture of the Void Tower in the Void Universe to the communicator of the six universes. Aliens from other universes. Powerful invaders. Enemy of the six universes. At present, Wang Xian and the others are called by the strong disciples of the six universes. Now, there are invaders who are so unscrupulously controlling powerful weapons of war in their six universes so arrogantly, which naturally caused a huge commotion. Countless strong disciples from the six universes cursed angrily on the communicator. And this news also spread to the powerhouse of the six universes, Tian Yu and Good Fortune at a terrifying speed. When the Tian Yu and Good Fortunes of the six universes saw the news, their gazes were also fixed, full of ice-cold expressions. Court Death In the palace above the six treasure lands, two figures flew out and rushed towards the water source at a terrifying speed. So unscrupulously flying over their six universes. This is something the heavenly creation powerhouses of the six universes cannot bear. They must be made to pay. Speed up and keep chasing. Located in the void tower, Tian Mengong saw Wang Xian disappear again, with a gloomy look on his face, we must kill him within an hour or two, otherwise, the Tian Yuan good fortune of the six universes may be killed. Come here. Good. Duke Xining also nodded heavily. They are not afraid of the strong fortune tellers from the universe of the six realms rushing over. Even if they came, they were sure to escape. But in this case, the treasures in their hands will be consumed. Treasures like this that can escape are also extremely precious to those who are strong in Tian Yuan. There are three or four in the hands of every Tian Yuan good fortune expert, which is already a very large accumulation. Buzz. Boom boom boom. The void tower began to vibrate, and cracks began to appear in the surrounding space. The void tower disappeared again, and this time the energy emitted by the void tower was even more terrifying. The teleportation distance is also farther. Three minutes later, Wang Xian was flying ahead, and when he felt something again, his expression changed slightly. How did the speed increase so fast again, bad? Wang Xian frowned. Before the arrival of the Void Tower, he can only teleport again. Buzz. After he disappears, the Void Tower appears. Humph, can you escape? In the Void Tower, the faces of the two dukes of the Void Universe revealed icy expressions. They stared in one direction, and the Void Tower continued to chase after them. Call. No it's not possible to transform into a ghost dragon. When Wang Xian ran away again, he took a deep breath. Next, rely on other methods. We have to rely on our own strength. Buzz. Not long after, 
the warning sound on the Kongwen compass sounded again. Wang Xian's eyes were fixed, and he continued to fly. A few seconds later, the void tower appeared behind him. I found that guy, this time he couldn't teleport away, it seems that this secret method can't be used without restrictions. At the rear, Tianmen Gong saw Wang Xian's figure appearing in his sight, his eyes glowed, and he roared sharply. Direct attack. Duke Xining let out a low growl as well, and landed his palm directly on the void tower. Buzz. On the void tower, a terrifying power of space is gathering. Boom. Immediately afterwards, a force of space bombarded towards Wang Xian. This terrifying speed and terrifying energy made Wang Xian's face change wildly. I can't resist it, I can't resist it at all. He growled, looking very embarrassed. Shadow Dragon Clone When the power of space was about to fall on Wang Xian, his body trembled slightly. The Shadow Dragon Clone of Law and Form The Shadow Dragon Clone can make him avoid any attack. Even if it is a fatal attack. Boom. A terrifying sound came, energy penetrated his body, and Wang Xian appeared beside him. With a movement of his body, he flew forward with all his strength. The power of space fell into the void ahead, causing a large crack in the entire void. Looking at it from a distance, it is extremely terrifying. Damn it, Tian Yuan fortune at the control level, with the help of this big killer, I am no match at all. Seeing this wave of energy, Wang Xian's face changed slightly. Ho ho! With a low growl, he immediately turned into the body of a dragon, and flew directly towards the ocean below. Entering the ocean of the water source, Wang Xian swayed the huge dragon body and flew fast. The Shenlong clan of Zhuyuan Universe, it. Seeing Wang Xian dodging their first attack, Duke Xining's expression didn't change at all and continued to inject energy into the void tower with a cold expression. Buzz. Tianmen Gong on the side also moved his palm, and a wave of energy was injected into the void tower. Immediately afterwards, around the void tower, terrifying space chains appeared. The space chains attacked Wang Xian's body. In addition, the same terrifying power of space pierced towards Wang Xian's incomparably huge body. Boom. The space energy completely locks on Wang Xian, piercing towards him. Wang Xian swayed his huge body to prevent his vitals from being agitated. Puff. In the next instant, the position of his tail was covered by the power of space. A space storm instantly wiped out his tail completely. Wang Xian's body lost a quarter in an instant. However, all this was not over yet, and the chains came to Wang Xian's surroundings in an instant. The chains formed by the power of space seemed to block even the surrounding void. Suddenly, Wang Xian felt that the space around him seemed to freeze. Action is extremely difficult. Crash. The sound of space chains sounded, and chains entered his body one after another, winding towards his body. The strong man who dares to harm my void universe, go to death. When Tian Mengong saw this scene, he roared with a murderous look on his face. Hiss. The space chain entered Wang Xian's body, and the part of the dragon's tail was instantly annihilated. Wang Xian took a deep breath of cold air. Severe pain, face and body trembling slightly. Boom. Wang Xian's body shook, and he directly broke his body to prevent being completely controlled by the space chain. Roar. Wang Xian let out a low growl and a strange flower exuding a special dark light appeared at the position of his dragon horn. The flower of the dark side. Reincarnation on the other side. In an instant, his body was enveloped by a special energy. The dark flower on the other side of the head instantly dimmed. Reincarnation on the other side, body backtracking. The missing part of the dragon's tail. The damage suffered in the body recovers instantly. Reincarnation on the other side, with Wang Xian's current strength, can go back nine seconds. Ho ho ho! Wang Xian's body instantly recovered to its peak. He roared wildly, and cracks slowly appeared on his body. Devil Dragon Transformation 
forcibly performing a transformation of the underworld dragon, blood flowed out of Wang Xian's mouth. This kind of forceful action uses an ability that cannot be used, and this kind of impact is very terrifying. It even caused Wang Xian to be directly injured when he had just recovered to his peak body. And this injury is not minor. However, Wang Xian's figure disappeared instantly. Instantly got rid of the attack of the Void Universe powerhouse. Hey! He recovered from all his injuries in an instant and ran away forcibly. Tianmen Gong and the others saw that Wang Xian had recovered from his injuries quickly and left directly, with a look of astonishment on their faces. He left a bit forcefully this time, he's already injured, keep chasing. Lord Xining's eyes were fixed, and he controlled the Void Tower to continue the fast pursuit. Call. Wang Xian's body was transferred to the ghost clone not far away. He directly turned into a human form, exhaled heavily, and his face was very embarrassed. All the cards are out. Now, Wang Xian has almost used all his whole cards. The strongest ability of the flower of the dark side. This time, the flower of the other side in his hand is almost useless. It will take at least tens of millions of years to recover. The Shadow Dragon's avatar can no longer be used either. The Ghost Dragon avatar can perform it regardless of physical loss. But the Shadow Dragon avatar can no longer be used. Now he has an injury on his body, and it will take him at least a few million years to recover from this injury. If you continue to use the Dark Dragon to transform, the injury will be unimaginable. Even Wang Xian felt that if he used it two or three times, his body would collapse and perish immediately. If you have to, use it forcibly twice at most. If you use it three times, it is probably the same as death. Wang Xian murmured, and quickly flew forward. The ghost clone continued to fly around. With his body injured, Wang Xian's speed didn't decrease too much. However, there is no strong man who has escaped from the Void Universe yet. According to the memory in his mind, it will take more than ten days for him to stay away from the nearest one. It seems that this time it's a little bit more ominous. Wang Xian murmured, and continued to fly fast. Three minutes later, Kongwen's compass showed again, and the strong man from the Void Universe chased after him again. The terrifying Void Tower and its terrifying energy made Wang Xian's face bitter. This time, it's a bit of a loss. The energy erupting from the Void Tower was not something Wang Xian could resist. After all, there are two Tianyuan fortune tellers at the control level in the Void Tower. Wang Xian shook his head helplessly. Devil Dragon Transformation Buzz Wang Xian's body began to collapse, and the vitality in his body disappeared violently. When he was transforming, the surrounding energy squeezed towards him, killing his vitality. Puff. When he dodged, he spit out blood directly from his mouth. Heavy damage, complete heavy damage. It would take hundreds of millions of years for him to recover from this kind of injury without any treasures. But he can only continue to use it, force it. Otherwise, it will be completely finished. Although it can be resurrected, the price required for resurrection is a bit high. Moreover, even if he was seriously wounded and killed himself, he didn't want to be beheaded by a strong man in the Void Universe. If I knew it earlier, I would have brought Ainley here. If Ainley came, I could collect my body. Wang Xian had some fun in his bitterness. If An Lai is in this universe, when he casts the dragon to transform into death, he can bring his body back. In this case, Wang Xian will recover much faster. He can't do it anymore, he is forcibly displaying this transfer ability, chasing after. In the Void Tower, Tian Mengong saw Wang Xian's body start to collapse and start to bleed. Sensing that his aura was rapidly weakening, his eyes glowed, and he said loudly. Boom! The Void Tower continued to roar, and continued to chase towards Wang Xian. But two minutes later, the message of the Void Universe powerhouse came again from the Kongwen Compass. This made him shake his head helplessly. The severe injury to his body has already slowed him down a lot. Just two minutes after fleeing, 
he was caught up. Continue to transform into a dark dragon. If you die, you will die. At worst, you will recover. Wang Xian murmured and gritted his teeth. Buzz. Before the void tower rushed over, Wang Xian performed another dark dragon transformation. Wang Xian only felt his eyes go dark, and his vitality quickly disappeared, followed by his consciousness slowly dissipating. The dragon transformation was successful. But when he transformed, his body fell directly. Precariously heading towards the fall below. He's gone. At the rear position, Tianmen Gong and the others who were chasing over just saw Wang Xian's aura disappear violently. Seeing him forcefully fleeing, his eyes sparkled. Chasing, he is no longer able to escape, completely destroy him. Tianmen Gong shouted with fiery eyes. We are still so unscrupulous in the universe of the Six Realms, really don't take us seriously. But at this moment, a voice suddenly came into his mind. Immediately afterwards, a figure flew over from a very far away. The energy on his body is very strange, giving people a feeling of horror. The whole body looks very stiff. A pair of blood-red eyes stared at Tianmen Gong and Xining Gong in the Void Tower. Not good. When Tianmen Gong and Xining Gong saw the figure flying over suddenly, their expressions changed slightly. If this is in the chaos, if it is in their universe, they will not have the slightest change. But here is the six universes. Here they are, being greatly suppressed. Damn it, run away from here first, that guy has been seriously injured, let's go find that guy after we escape. Tianmen Gong's expression sank, and he opened his mouth to Xining and said. Good. Duke Xining's expression changed slightly, and he nodded. They didn't expect that the Tianyu and good fortune expert from the six universes would come so quickly. However, when a strong Tianyu and fortune came, they could only escape. Even if they are all at the control level, owning the Void Tower. But still not its opponent. Duke Xining immediately controlled the Void Tower and fled towards the distance in an instant. Just want to escape so easily. Let you see the power of the sixth realm of my six universes. Immortal and immortal, resurrected from the dead, the dead of the six realms. The figure suspended in the void stared and shouted coldly. Every time he said a word, the surrounding sky darkened. In front of the void tower, a huge coffin appeared. The entire coffin seemed to block the entire world. Three extremely terrifying coffins slowly stood between the sky and the earth. Each coffin is tens of millions of kilometers in size standing between the sky and the earth, as if to bury the whole world. Three coffins blocked all the paths of the void tower. At the rear, that figure stared at the void tower with blood-red eyes. Hey? What kind of powerful move is this? This move makes me feel a little palpitating, Lord Zining, don't get entangled, just consume the treasure and leave here. When Tian Mengong saw the three coffins that appeared in an instant, his eyes narrowed slightly, and he said with a little uneasiness in his heart. Good. Lord Zining also nodded heavily, and with a movement of his palm, a space scroll appeared in his hand. With a movement of his palm, he stuck the space scroll on the void tower. The entire void tower began to become unreal. Boom. However, at this moment, a coffin suddenly trembled in the center. The whole space also trembled suddenly. A wave of energy that is extremely familiar to Tianmen Gong and Xining Gong poured out of the coffin. Immediately afterwards, the entire space was completely imprisoned. Space, dead silence. Ah! A terrifying voice suddenly came from inside the coffin. The void tower, which was originally teleporting, trembled violently. Teleport failed. What's the situation? How is this possible? What is this? Space Dead Silence, a powerful forbidden technique of our Void Royal family. Inside the Void Tower, the faces of Lord Tianmen and Lord Zining suddenly changed drastically, and they stared at the gradually opening coffin in disbelief. From that coffin, a powerful force of space poured out. The surrounding space completely freezes. 
the entire void tower was also completely imprisoned. The space is dead silent. This is a powerful forbidden technique created by the Holy King of the Void Royal Family. Integrate your body consciousness into the surrounding void and block everything. This move consumes a lot, and it can even be said to be a bad move. If the opponent breaks through, it will suffer heavy damage. Now, why did this forbidden technique and this space energy suddenly appear? This makes them feel a little incredible. Feel a little appalled. Crack. At this time, the central coffin was completely opened. Inside the coffin, a figure appeared in their sight. The general who cuts down the soldiers. When they saw the figure inside the coffin, both Lord Tianmen and Lord Zining exclaimed at the same time. Void Universe Void Royal Clan Conquest General. At the time of the last calamity, the only one who had completely fallen from the Void Universe, the Tianyuan Good Fortune Expert. How could a strong man who was completely dead suddenly appear here? The figure inside the coffin slowly opened its eyes, revealing a blood-red light. His body exudes the power of fusion of space and dead silence. The temperament is completely different from what they remembered. Crack! Crack! At this time, the other two huge coffins on the left and right sides also slowly opened. Two burly figures also appeared in their sight. Dead Heavenly Creation Tianmen Gong watched this scene, his face changed drastically. The dead Tianyuan good fortune. That's right, the strong Tianyuan fortunes in the coffin are all Tianyuan fortunes that have completely fallen. But now, he was summoned out. The most important thing is that these three dead Tianyuan fortune experts still possess the strength of Tianyuan fortune. He also has the secret method of his life. Lord Zining also took a deep breath. The power of the sixth realm of the six universes, the attributes of the dead, the power of the dead, and the special energies in the universe have always been relatively strong, but this kind of power. The Duke of Zining looked a little embarrassed. They have never dealt with the strong Tianyuan good fortune of the six universes. I also don't know that Lu Dao universe, the strong man of heaven and earth, is so terrifying. It was able to summon the dead strong man. This is a little scary. Somewhat powerful. If it is in the chaos, they may be able to leave easily, and even be able to suppress it. But here they are in big trouble. If these three special corpses could keep fighting, it would be equivalent to facing the attack of four strong Tianyuan fortune tellers. With their suppressed strength, they can dodge one, dodge two, but three, or four, they are not sure. This six-path universe is not as simple as we imagined. Tian Mengong's face was not good-looking, and they moved their bodies, feeling that the energy around them was extremely solidified. The power of space in the body is being squeezed by the power of space around it. Master Tianmen, now we can only ask for blessings. Lord Zining stared at him and said. With a movement of his palm, the void tower disappeared directly and entered his body. Tianmen Gong nodded with embarrassment. Next, they are going to flee desperately. As for whether they can escape, it depends on their luck. The two took a deep breath. Start using the whole cards and treasures in your hand. Wang Xian didn't know that the arrival of the powerful man from the six universes saved him from disaster. But at this moment, although he escaped this catastrophe. But the whole body has reached the verge of death. The vitality in his body was so weak that it could almost be said that any living creature could kill him. He was suspended on the surface of the water source, being washed by the waves. He fell into a coma completely. According to this state, Wang Xian will die soon. It won't be long before she will be resurrected at the Dragon Palace. Miss, pay attention, there seems to be a person over there. Time passed slowly, and a few hours later, a group of two people floated on the water and flew forward quickly. At this time, the woman on the right suddenly spoke and stood in front of the woman next to her. The woman next to her has a swollen belly, obviously pregnant. Well, I saw it, it seems to be hurt. The pregnant woman looked at it and said. Miss, this kind of person's identity is unknown, we should leave it alone. 
The maid on the right spoke. It's okay, I've bumped into it, just go over and have a look, if you can help, please help, it's a good deed for Baoer. The woman hesitated for a moment, touched her belly, and said. This. The maid frowned slightly. At this time, the body in front was slowly approaching under the wind and waves. All right. The maid nodded, Miss, I'll go and have a look. The maid flew over, checked her body, her brows were furrowed, and streams of wood attributed energy poured into her body. Miss, this person is seriously injured, almost dying, and now in a coma, it is not so easy to recover. The maid said to the woman. Take it back, it's very close to the tribe. The woman spoke. Miss, you are just too kind. Ah. Miss, miss, I have prepared everything for you, everything for the baby is ready, will the baby be born today? Miss, miss, what else can I do? Is there anything else I can do? The source of water, in a courtyard in the Mulai tribe. The Mulai tribe is located on the water surface, and below the water surface, it is a treasure land. The entire Mulai tribe is extremely beautiful, and the rainwater is constantly dripping from the sky above. There is also a rainbow adding color not far away. A sound came from a room inside. There is a child, about to be born. Outside the room, a middle-aged couple stood there, listening to the voice in the room, there was no trace of joy on their faces. Humph, I didn't expect that I, Mulikiao, would become the grandfather of an unknown bastard, what a shame. The middle-aged man glanced across the room, and let out a cold snort with a bit of embarrassment on his face. Okay, okay, Yinna is our daughter, she suddenly, well, if she wants this child, then this child is the descendant of our family. The woman next to him pulled his arm helplessly. Shameful, shameful. The middle-aged man growled in a low voice full of anger and helplessness. As he spoke, he glanced at the next room again. A seriously injured man suddenly appeared there, has nothing to do with Yinner, right? He asked in a deep voice. No, I've already checked. It's true that Yinner and the others met on the way, so they brought them. When I wake up, I'll ask Xiao Ai to send him away, so as not to cause any gossip. The woman nodded. That's good. The middle-aged man nodded. Ah. Miss, the baby is born, the baby is born. It's a boy, a cute boy. Accompanied by the sound of crying, the sound of surprise followed closely. In the courtyard, the middle-aged couple heard the cry of the child, and immediately looked over. Boom. Boom. However, at the next moment, a roaring sound suddenly sounded. Accompanied by the roar of heaven and earth, followed by a flash of purple light, accompanied by a burst of extremely strong vitality, it will suddenly illuminate the entire sky. No, not the whole sky. But the whole universe. The universe roars. Violet Chi vitality permeates the universe. The world changed color for it. The sudden situation made the middle-aged couple in the courtyard stunned, and they quickly raised their heads to look up at the sky. The whole world is filled with purple energy and vitality. The rain seems to contain powerful energy. All living beings in the entire six-path universe felt a warmth enveloping their hearts. The world is changing for it, what is this? Why does it feel like celebrating? The middle-aged man stood in the courtyard, looking at the sky, feeling the changes in the entire universe, with a shocked expression on his face, and muttering in his mouth. However, at this moment, the sky above the center of the six treasures in the universe of six paths appeared. On the palace, there were two figures sitting there. Suddenly, they raised their heads and looked up, watching the changes in the universe, with shocked expressions on their faces. This is, congratulations to the universe, the treasure of Tian Yuan's fortune is released. Tian Yuan fortune treasure was born, it was really born, what kind of fortune treasure is this, and where is it in our universe? It was really born, and the guys from other universes can't get the treasure of our six universes. 
The two figures stood there, with crazy looks in their eyes, and shouted loudly. At the same time, in various places in the six universes. Ever since the news of the birth of Tian Yuan fortune treasure spread out. There are already 40 or 50 strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers who have come to the six universes. They are all constantly looking for the treasure of heaven and earth. But for tens of millions of years, there has been no news of Tian Yuan's fortune. The sudden change in the universe of the six realms now makes all the strong people feel it. This must be the birth of Tian Yuan fortune supreme treasure. What kind of Tian Yuan good fortune treasure is this? Is it an attack type or another type? Hehe, he, the treasure has been born, we must find it, we must get it. Sure enough, there is indeed a Tian Yuan fortune telling treasure born in this universe. If I can obtain the Tian Yuan fortune telling treasure, my strength will be greatly improved, greatly improved. Quick, look for it quickly, you must get it before all the other powerhouses find out. Tian Yuan is the ultimate treasure of good fortune. All the treasures of heaven and earth are as if they are crazy. The preciousness of Tian Yuan's creation treasure is unimaginable. The Juyuan universe is not weak, but the currently known strong Tian Yuan fortune, except for the cosmic intelligence brain that has not been fully controlled, is the Tian Yuan fortune treasure of the wizard family. None of the other powerhouses possessed the ultimate treasure of heavenly origin. Even if it is as strong as the falling shadow demon emperor, it does not have the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune. For the sake of the supreme treasure of heaven and earth in this universe, he did not hesitate to step inside and search for it by force. This time, all the powerhouses are a little crazy. Even, some of the universe's celestial beings are ready to let their subordinates enter the six universes. Even if the subordinates enter inside, even if their strength is suppressed, as long as they can obtain the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune, all the losses will be worth it. The heavenly creations of the six universes began to act. A group of foreign Tian Yuan fortune tellers are also frantically looking for it. Husband, what's the matter? In a courtyard of the Mulai tribe, a woman turned to the middle-aged man and asked in surprise. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like a bad thing. The middle-aged man shook his head, not knowing. His strength is only at the fifth level of universe ruler. Can't sense what's going on. It's fine if it's not bad, let's go in and see our daughter, let's see the child. The woman nodded and said to the middle-aged man. The middle-aged man scanned the surroundings, nodded and walked towards the house. Um. However, at the same time, it was located in the next room. Wang Xian was lying on a bed. His whole face was pale, and he looked extremely weak. But at this moment, he suddenly opened his eyes. Although he was still extremely weak and could be killed easily, the luster in his eyes was unusually bright. He sensed it, sensed a very sacred, very powerful energy. This energy has an unrivaled sharpness. This is... Wang Xian sat up slowly, looking to the right. On the right is the wall and with Wang Xian's current injury condition, he can't see through the wall. But at this moment, he seemed to be able to see through the wall. It can be seen that there is an extremely powerful treasure only 30 meters away from him. There is a hint of familiarity in the breath. Tian Yuan Fortune Treasure He slowly spit out six words from his mouth. With fiery eyes, he added three more words. Wood Attribute Wood Properties Tian Yuan is a treasure of good fortune. Wang Xian never thought that he would discover Tian Yuan's treasure of good fortune under such circumstances. He stared in the direction of the wall, his eyes glowing with fiery luster. He took a deep breath. Ahem. The sudden severe pain made him look helpless. The injury on the body is too serious, but fortunately he didn't die. How long has it been? Wang Xian came back to his senses and calculated the time. It's been two months. Where I am now, I seem to be in a tribe in the source of water. Did I get rescued? The strong man from the void universe didn't come after him, what's the situation? It seems that I survived a catastrophe. Wang Xian murmured. 
Although it is said that he can be resurrected after death, it is definitely a lucky thing for Wang Xian to not die. And at present, it seems that if you survive a catastrophe, you will have a future blessing. The heavenly element of the wood attribute is the treasure of good fortune. It is absolutely true. It should have just been born and is not too strong. It has a strong ability to hide. If it wasn't for the ancestral tree in my body, if it wasn't for being so close, I would have discovered it. No. Wang Xian thought to himself. There are two types of Tianyuan good fortune treasures. One is the Tianyuan fortune-telling treasure that has just been born and is at its peak. This kind of heavenly treasure is often a very dazzling existence before it is born. Before it was born, it absorbed the huge energy between heaven and earth. It's hard not to be discovered if this kind of heavenly essence is the ultimate treasure of good fortune. The second kind of Tianyuan fortune treasure is very weak after birth, and they will absorb energy little by little to reach maturity. This kind of heavenly fortune treasure often possesses extremely strong concealment ability, making it difficult to be discovered. The treasure is restrained, and only when it is fully mature, will it bloom with brilliance. The treasure of Tianyuan good fortune in the six universes obviously belongs to the second type. Under such circumstances, Wang Xian was able to sense the existence of Tianyuan's treasure of good fortune. Other powerhouses, even the Tianyuan fortune tellers of the six universes, would be difficult to find if they were not within a few tens of meters of the treasure. My luck is really good. Wang Xian moved his palm, and some divine fruits appeared in his hands. In his hand, there are still some divine fruit pills. Moreover, these divine fruit pills are all above the ninth rank of the master of the universe. Wang Xian took it immediately. A wave of energy entered his body, recovering his injuries. But according to Wang Xian's calculations, if he wants to recover to the peak, with the resources in his hands, he can recover almost all of them after five or six million years of cultivation after exhaustion. The strong man from the Void Universe hasn't come, so you can call Lin Niu to come. Lin Niu is here, let him get some recovery items. My injury should be able to recover within 100 million years. Wang Xian thought in his heart. He got off the bed and took a deep breath. Now his combat strength is only at the level of a emperor. There is no way, the injury is too serious, coupled with the suppression of the six universes. He is very weak now. But Wang Xian still walked outside. He was going to take a look to see what the ultimate treasure of good fortune was that day. What exactly is hidden there? He wants to get it. Wang Xian has a deep understanding of the power of Tianyuan fortune supreme treasure. Without the ancestral tree, it would be impossible for Wang Xian to come to this point. Even without the ancestral tree, Dragon Palace would not be so strong now. Several peak dragon species were born because of the ancestral tree. Come on, let me be your mother, little guy, he he, I have some treasures from the Mulai tribe who are born to shape their bodies and lay the foundation for them, come on. Wang Xian walked out of the room and looked in the direction of Tianyuan's treasure. Then I heard the sound of conversation coming from there. In that room. Wang Xian thought to himself, he was sure that it was in that room. But in that room, there were four people, and the strength of these four people was much stronger than him now. Buzz. At this time, Wang Xian sensed Lin Yu's message. One month. Lin Yu replied that he would be able to come over within a month. As long as Lin Yu can rush over, everything will be simple. I hope there will be no accidents. Tian Yuan is the ultimate treasure of good fortune, and it is bound to be obtained. There was a firm look in his eyes. Come on, call mom, call grandma, call grandpa. Yinner, have you decided on a name for Xiobeo? Mom, I've already made up my mind. From now on, she will be called TNC. Godsend, Mulai Godsend, good. Before he has any achievements, he can't be called Mulai. Half a month later, I sent someone to teach him how to practice. Before he has any achievements, he should not go out. Father, Tian Si was just born, 
and he started practicing after half a month. This. Don't talk anymore, the child was born to you, and you have to listen to me in the future. Don't worry, the current teaching is here. At this time, a voice came from the room ahead. One of the male voices carried a hint of majesty and no doubt. All right, I'll listen to you, come, Yinner, take tea and see to see the outside world. A woman's voice came. At this time, footsteps sounded. Wang Xian stood there and saw a couple and a maid came out. A woman holds a child in her arms. But this child is already 70 or 80 centimeters in size. This is normal. As the center of the universe, a child is just born and weighs 7 or 8 caddies. But whether it is a woman or a woman's parents, both have strong strength. Taking out some treasures can make the child grow rapidly. If they want, they can even make the child 2 meters tall in one day. Of course, under normal circumstances, you don't do this. They will let their children grow up from an early age, and it may be a hundred years before they have a height of more than one meter. The baby is just born, and it is shaped to be 70 to 80 centimeters, which also enhances the baby's vitality. Prevent premature death. So babies are born able to run. The woman came out with the baby in her arms, and the baby in her arms looked at the surrounding world curiously with big eyes. Yet. Yet. Suddenly, when he saw Wang Xian, he made a sound and his body began to struggle. Hey? What's the matter, Godsend? Seeing the child in her arms suddenly trying to break free, the woman froze for a moment, then slowly squatted down and put it on the ground. Yet. After TNC was put down, he ran directly towards Wang Xian, spreading his arms as he ran. This caused the women to have a look of surprise on their faces. And at this moment, Wang Xian stared at the child with an expression of disbelief and shock on his face. This. He opened his mouth. Under his induction, the child. It is the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune. Yes. Under Wang Xian's induction, this baby ran towards him, the newly born baby was the most precious treasure of heaven. Absolutely nothing wrong. Wang Xian was absolutely right. This made him feel a little overwhelmed. This is a bit strange. How can this be? How could a child be the treasure of Tian Yuan? Under his stunned and shocked gaze, the child ran up to him and hugged him directly. Wang Xian looked down at him. The child looked up at him. After hesitating for a while, Wang Xian slowly picked him up. A burst of extremely rich wood attribute energy gushed out from the child's body. At this time, Wang Xian sensed that the ancestor tree trembled slightly in his body. The wood attribute energy is absorbed by the ancestral tree. Immediately afterwards, the ancestral tree seemed to stick out a branch and stuck to the child's body. A wave of energy also passed into the child's body. Cluck. Cluck. The child seemed to feel very comfortable and laughed there. Feeling this situation, Wang Xian's face changed slightly. He held the little boy in his palm, and a wave of energy entered his body, checking his condition. Under Wang Xian's induction, he sensed that there was a bud in the child's body. Green shoots. It just grew so abruptly in the body. Although it is very small. It contains extremely pure wood attribute energy. This energy is full of toughness and sharpness. It is completely different from the energy of the ancestor tree. This is not an auxiliary Tian Yuan good fortune supreme treasure. It's aggressive. It's a newly born Tian Yuan fortune telling treasure. It is 100% true that this Tian Yuan fortune telling treasure has actually grown in a child's body and is connected to the child's life. Now, I can take away this heavenly treasure. Wang Xian was determined. Now, he is able to take 100% of Tian Yuan's good fortune treasure away. However, if you want to take this treasure of good fortune from Tian Yuan, it is estimated that this little boy will die instantly. The life of this child is connected with Tian Yuan, the treasure of good fortune. Very strange. This situation is very strange. My son. You are awake. 
I never thought that TNC would be so close to you. Mu Li Yinner looked over, and said to Wang Xian with a smile all over her face. You guys saved me. Wang Xian looked at them and asked. It was our young lady who saved you and brought you here. If it wasn't for our young lady, you might have died. Our young lady said that saving you is also a good deed for our young master. The maid beside Mu Li Yinner said to Wang Xian. Thank you, miss, for saving my life. Wang Xian looked at Mu Li Yinner, and thanked her, feeling something changed in his heart. He was already thinking about how to get Tian Yuan's treasure, but this woman saved him. The most terrible thing is, you still say that you are doing good for your children? This? The child in front of him has the treasure of heaven and earth in his body. To say that Wang Xian did not take it away, in the eyes of others, he must have a brain problem. Even if the treasure of heaven and earth is taken away, the child will die. But for existences of their level, the life of a child is simply incomparable to the life of Tian Yuan's treasure. Not to mention one child, even 100 million, 99% of the strong Tian Yuan fortune will make a move. To be able to cultivate to such a state, which one is not the existence of massacring cities and countries? Which hand is not stained with the blood of thousands of creatures? What kind of existence is Tian Yuan fortune supreme treasure? I have avenged my kindness. Wang Xian felt a little helpless, he never thought that such a multiple choice question would appear in front of him. Others saved him to do good to the child, not to let him kill her child. You're welcome, we're doing it too. Mu Li Yinner shook her head, you are seriously injured, take a good rest, and when you recover, you are doing other things. Thank you for your concern. Wang Xian nodded, and also squatted down to put the little boy down, let's go find your mother. Yet. Yet. But the little boy was not obedient, he still held him with both hands and did not let go. This made him slightly speechless. At the side, Mu Li Yinner saw this scene, shook her head and walked over, Come here, God send, come and kiss your mother. Mu Li Yinner stretched out her hand, wanting to take Tian Si away. Ah! But in the next second, Tian Si cried out directly, hugging Wang Xian and unwilling to leave. Seeing this scene, Wang Xian's mind moved, causing the ancestor tree to hide. The reason why Tian Si got close to him and wanted to be close to him was because Wang Xian had the ancestral tree in his body. The two would attribute Tian Yu and fortune-telling treasures are both in the stage of growth. With the energy transformation just now, Wang Xian could clearly feel the subtle changes in the ancestor tree. This change is a good thing for the ancestor tree. The attraction of the ancestral tree made Tian Si instinctively want to get close to him. All right. God send, don't cry, don't cry. Mu Li Yinner carried Tian Si over and began to comfort her. I'll go to the room to practice and recover from my injuries, so I won't bother you. When Miss Mu Li is free, I'm thanking you. Wang Xian watched, bowed to them, and walked into the room. Okay. Mu Li Yinner nodded, and continued to coax Tian Si. This little godsend can really make a fuss. Come here, let grandma hug her. The woman behind came over and spoke comfortingly. Several people coaxed the child. Wang Xian glanced at it, and his expression changed slightly when he entered the room. After a few minutes of silence, he shook his head helplessly. Forget it, if there is no good way, then forget it, and see if the ancestor tree can get something useful from it after he grows up, even if it is a branch. In the end, Wang Xian decided to let go. He has his own principles, if someone provokes him, he will definitely pay back ten times. But now that the other party helped him, Wang Xian couldn't do the thing of revenge. Although the temptation of Tian Yuan fortune treasure is too great, but my bottom line cannot be touched. And just now, after the brief end with Tian Si, he also discovered that the ancestor tree can also gain benefits when it comes in contact with the Tian Yuan fortune treasure in its body. It's just that the Tian Yuan fortune treasure in his body has just been born, and the effect is not very obvious. Stay here for a while. 
Wang Xian made up his mind, sensed the situation outside, closed his eyes, and began to recover from his injuries. Squeak! A few days later, the door of Wang Xian's room was suddenly opened. This made him narrow his eyes slightly, and looked towards the door. Immediately afterwards, he saw a brain poking in, looking at him with a pair of big eyes. Wang Xian saw it and smiled slightly. Uncle! Tian Si leaned through the crack of the door, looked at Wang Xian, and shouted with a smile on his face. Come in! Wang Xian looked at this little guy with a smile on his face. He checked the time. This is the tenth day of Tian Si's birth. In the past ten days, his body has not changed at all, it is still seventy to eighty centimeters tall and chubby. Hearing Wang Xian's words, he immediately ran over with a smile on his face. Uncle, I feel the most comfortable being with you. Mom keeps teaching me how to read. Tian Si came over, sat directly beside him, hugged Wang Xian's arm, and said. He he, your mother is also doing it for your own good. Wang Xian touched his head with a smile, and a wave of energy entered his body. In an instant, the ancestor tree in his body became restless. In the palm of his hand, a branch fell into Tian Si's body. In Tian Si's body, the wood attribute Tian Yuan fortune treasure is still in the form of a bud. Feeling the breath of the ancestral tree, this bud seems to be very excited, and the branches are wrapped around it. The energy of the same wood attribute, but with some different natures, is slowly blending together. Uncle, the breath on your body is so comfortable, even more comfortable than my mother, why don't you take me out to play? Tian Si hugged Wang Xian and continued talking to him. Hey? You can go out, but we have to play at the door. Wang Xian looked at him, said with a smile on his face. At the same time, he is also sensing the heavenly treasure in Tian Si's body. Because it is in the state of a bud, the characteristics of this treasure of heaven and earth have not yet been revealed. He could sense that the ancestral tree was sending streams of pure wood attribute energy towards the buds. The ancestral tree didn't run directly with energy like the first time, it was feeding back the past and absorbing it back. This is pure feedback. Simply input energy into the buds. That young shoot was obviously very excited, absorbing the energy of the ancestor tree. The energy he can absorb is a drop in the bucket compared to the energy contained in the ancestor tree now. The ancestral tree seems to be raising the bud. Wang Xian didn't stop him. Ancestral tree's behavior should have his own plan. The location by the door is not fun at all, and my mother won't let me go too far. Ten-day-old TNC not only speaks clearly, but also has an IQ comparable to that of a five- or six-year-old child. Although he was a little unhappy, he still dragged Wang Xian to the outside position. It's all rain, nothing fun. Wang Xian led him to the gate of the courtyard, Tian Si looked around and shook his head. Wang Xian glanced, this place belongs to a tribe, surrounded by such small courtyards. Occasionally, some people could be seen looking towards this side, and when they saw Wang Xian, there was a curious look on their faces. Is not fun. Tian Si looked up at Wang Xian, and continued, Uncle, can you take me to play far away? Without your mother's consent, no. Wang Xian shook his head, followed by a wave of his arm, and around them, branches appeared out of nowhere. These branches quickly become a playground. There are various toys and facilities for children to play in the tourist field. Wow, uncle, what's this? Seeing the changes in front of him, Tian Si exclaimed. This is a small ability, and you will do it in the future. Go ahead and play. Wang Xian smiled at him and said. Yeah, there's a tree shaking there, it looks so fun. After all, Tian Si has never seen anything in the world and there are not many newborn children with new minds. He ran over excitedly and started playing. Among other things, these toys made by Wang Xian are something that the six universes do not have. These playgrounds are similar to the Earth Children's Paradise, even adults will feel a little curious when they see them. As a child, 
naturally I couldn't resist it. Uncle, come here, come here and let's play together. Tian Si shouted and waved towards Wang Xian. You kid, you just love to play, don't disturb your uncle. At this time, Tian Si's mother, Mu Lian Er, came out and said to Tian Si. With kind eyes on her face, she looked at this special away game, and then looked at Wang Xian. God send this child didn't bother you. Mu Li Yin Er said. No, Tian Si is very cute, not to mention, you are my saviors, this little thing is nothing. Wang Xian shook his head towards Mu Li Yin Er, and said with a smile. He he, it's because you have a destiny with this child from God. Speaking of which, he is very close to you. When we first spoke, when we first learned something, he said he wanted to find his uncle. As Mu Li Yin Er spoke, she felt a little helpless on her face. She felt that her son seemed to like Wang Xian very much, and kept saying that he wanted to find his uncle. When Wang Xian heard this, he smiled. The reason why Tian Si is close to him is because of the mutual attraction between the treasures of heaven and nature. It is also the wood attribute, which can also be regarded as the origin. By the way, what's your name, is your injury better? Mu Li Yin Er looked at Wang Xian and asked. You can just call me Wang Xian. I'm still in good condition. I'm bothering you for a while. After a while, I will leave. Wang Xian nodded and said with a smile. That's not what I meant. God Send likes you so much. It would be better for you to stay here for a while. Let's talk about it after the injury is completely healed. Mu Li Yin Er shook her head and explained. Um. Wang Xian nodded. He also just said that he would not leave even if he was asked to leave. From Tian Si, Wang Xian had a hunch that he could gain some benefits. Mom, come here, come and play together. At this time, the God-given cry continued. Mu Li Yin Er was a little helpless, but she still walked over with a smile. Wang Xian looked at Tian Si, his eyes flickering slightly. Among the branches of these wood attributes, there are branches of ancestor trees. God send here is equivalent to being close to the ancestor tree all the time. The heavenly essence in his body is the treasure of good fortune, which is equivalent to absorbing the energy of the ancestor tree all the time to grow. Hey, by the way, which tribe are you from, why are you injured so badly this time? At the side, Mulai Yinner's maid came over and asked Wang Xian. There is no tribe, I met a powerful elemental beast last time. Wang Xian looked at the maid and replied with a smile. There is no tribe, then you can stay with us for a while, our young master seems to like you very much. The maid sized Wang Xian up, and then continued, you look pretty good, too. Wang Xian smiled slightly, and immediately asked, by the way, why didn't you see Tian Si's father? Hey? Hey, don't ask this question in the future, especially from our young master and miss. The maid suddenly warned Wang Xian in a low voice. Wang Xian looked at her curiously. I tell you, don't tell anyone else. Forget it, everyone else knows anyway. Seeing Wang Xian looking at her curiously, the maid spoke to him via voice transmission. Our young master has no father. The maid added another sentence. No father. Her words made Wang Xian still have some doubts. So Mulai Yin Er was abandoned? Does this Mulai Yin Er look very beautiful? Those who can make Wang Xian call them very beautiful are generally the most top notch, almost impeccable. And that's true, Mu Li Yin Er's appearance is very delicate. It may be because of having a child, she has a special charm that other girls don't have. As long as you know this, don't ask too much. The maid continued to talk to Wang Xian. Wang Xian nodded, and there was no such gossip. Tian Si without a father is undoubtedly abandoning his wife and son, getting pregnant out of wedlock and so on. Uncle, come and play, come and play. From the position in front, the God sent voice can be heard again. Wang Xian shook his head towards him. Mu Li Yin also whispered something to Tian Si but she didn't call him. 
An hour later, Tian Si was tired from playing, and prepared Mulai Yinner to take her back to her room. Wang Xian returned to his room again, continued to sit cross-legged and recovered. However, within a few hours, Tian Si ran into his house again. I want to sleep with my uncle, not with my mother. Tian Si hugged the quilt and climbed directly onto Wang Xian's bed with a happy face. Okay, go to sleep. Wang Xian saw it and nodded with a smile. Tian Si is in front of him, as long as his mother has no objection, Wang Xian naturally has no objection. The ancestor tree penetrated into his body, and within ten seconds, Tian Si fell asleep. Why? Wang Xian, I'm really bothering you. This child insists on saying that he will sleep with you, so I'm bothering you. Soon, Mulai Yinner's voice came through voice transmission. Hee hee, it's okay. I'll recover from my injuries and it won't have any effect. Just let Tian Si sleep with me. Wang Xian immediately sent a voice transmission. Mu Li Yinner responded, standing at the door, her face showed helplessness and bitterness. The son I gave birth to didn't follow my own mother, but followed an outsider. It made him very sad. If it wasn't born by himself, he doubted if it was his own son. Next, Wang Xian sat cross-legged and continued to practice. There is no sun and moon to recover from injuries. But after Tian Si woke up, he took a look at Wang Xian and went out. After more than ten hours, continue to come back to sleep. Wang Xian didn't know how long he had practiced. On this day, Lin Yu sent a message telling him he was here. Wang Xian opened his eyes, immediately took out a communicator, and replied. Boss. Not long after, the figure of Lin Niu appeared in front of Wang Xian. With Lin Yu's current strength, even if he came in, Mu Li Yinner and the others wouldn't be able to sense it. Boss, your injuries are so serious. You should take these medicines and magic fruits first to recover from your injuries. Lin Niu said to Wang Xian. Give him some resources to recover from his injuries. Wang Xian nodded, took it and swallowed it directly. Although I was injured this time, there will be blessings for surviving a catastrophe. Wang Xian smiled, and then told Lin Yu about his encounter with Tian Yuan fortune treasure. What? Boss, you actually came across Tian Yuan's treasure of good fortune. That treasure turned out to be a little boy, fused with a child's life, what? Lin Niu's eyes widened, with a shocked look on his face. Yes, but Tian Si's mother saved my life, so I'm not going to take away the treasure of Tian Yu and good fortune, let's see if I can get some other good fortune by my side. In addition, help him grow up, and it will be regarded as a good relationship in the future. Wang Xian nodded and said to Lin Niu. Tian Si's mother saved him, and it was also doing good deeds to Tian Si. Then Wang Xian, naturally also want to form a good relationship. The boss is worthy of being the boss. It is rare in the entire universe to be able to do what you, the boss, is worthy of being the boss of my Lin Yu. When Lin Yu heard it, he flattered him. But his face is also full of admiration. To be able to stand in front of a Tian Yuan treasure without any emotion, without greed, is too little to be able to do. A treasure of this level can turn brothers against each other and make father and son enemies. Wang Xian shook his head, okay, then you can wait for my message in the nest. Good boss. Lin Niu nodded and entered the brood. At the same time, Lin Yu also took out some resources. Including the corpse of the dark attribute Tian Yu and good fortune expert Wang Xian asked him to take away. Let's see if there are any treasures in the corpse of the strong man of Tian Yu and fortune. Wang Xian sensed the corpse and looked around. When Wang Xian killed this corpse, he hadn't had time to look at it yet. With a thought, he conducted a search. Get a space ring from the corpse. The interspatial ring was very easy to open. When Wang Xian opened it, he saw the contents inside, with a surprised look on his face. A lot of treasures, how can there be so many treasures on this guy? A gleam of joy appeared on Wang Xian's face. In his space ring, there are many resources, 
some of which contain a huge amount of energy. There is even one of the treasures, the energy contained in it has reached the level of Tian Yu and good fortune. But what Wang Xian didn't know was the reason why Guang Ying had so many resources. It's because Guang Ying doesn't think that it will be dangerous for him to enter the universe of six realms. Moreover, most of the resources are the rewards given to him by the powerhouses of the Void Universe. The powerhouse of the Void Universe invites a Tian Yu and good fortune to help attack the unknown behind the scenes. This kind of task, the general Tian Yu and good fortune expert, is not willing to undertake at all. Tian Mengong and Xining Gong, two master level existences, only found the light and shadow one. Because this task is to find the behind the scenes, it is unknown how many strong Tian Yuan fortunes there are behind the scenes. Once involved, it can already be said to be an enemy. Become sworn enemies. Even, this behind the scenes person may have been created by Tian Yuan of Juyuan Universe. This is also an enemy of Juyuan Universe in disguise. Which Tian Yuan creation dares to offend Juyuan Universe? Guang Ying agrees to accept this task, and the reward is naturally a lot of money. Even for this revenge, five or six Tian Yuan fortune tellers in the Void Universe each took out precious dark attribute resources. These resources are also rare for a strong Tian Yuan fortune maker with a dark attribute. Otherwise, Light and Shadow would not take this risk. But now, all these resources belong to Wang Xian. There was even a corpse left behind. Are these resources enough to improve Tai Chi Dragon Pan? Wang Xian's heart suddenly became hot. The resources in this dark attribute Tian Yu and Good Fortune Corpse were beyond Wang Xian's expectations. Now, Tai Chi Dragon Pan has reached the pinnacle of universe domination. There is still a very long distance to break through. It's even hard to break through. The great grinding of the five elements was able to break through because it had absorbed the God of Elements. The fragment of the God of Elements, this is an existence comparable to the creation of Tian Yuan in the chaos. Under such circumstances, the great grinding of the five elements completed the breakthrough. As for the Tai Chi Dragon Plate, it can also break through by absorbing treasures of this level. Tai Chi Dragon Plate and Five Elements Great Mill, they can break through without shackles. It is because of these two treasures, one treasure is built on the basis of the origin of the five elements, with the five elements of the dragon soul as the core. Complete the breakthrough through continuous devouring and strengthening. The Tai Chi Dragon Plate is constantly breaking through through the heart of light and darkness, and the Yin Yang Dragon Soul as the core. Especially the Great Mill of the Five Elements, when it was conceived in Wang Xian's body, it also absorbed the energy of the Ancestor Tree. This is the reason why the Great Grinding of the Five Elements can easily break through. It is very difficult for any object to reach the level of heavenly creation. But the Great Mill of the Five Elements and the Tai Chi Dragon Plate are somewhat special. They originally belonged to the core of the two top Dragon Kings, the Five Elements Dragon King and the Light and Dark Dragon King. Inside this corpse, there is an incomparably pure source of dark energy, which can be quickly absorbed by the Tai Chi Dragon Pan. These resources are very likely to enhance Tai Chi Dragon Pan. Wang Xian looked at all the resources, his eyes glowed, and immediately placed the Tai Chi Dragon Pan in the brood, making it start to absorb these resources. In addition, this corpse can also be said to be very pure energy. This energy can even be absorbed by Wang Xian, quickly recovering from the injuries in his body but it is too extravagant to use the corpse of a strong man with Tian Yuan to recover from his injuries. Wang Xian was not so extravagant. After absorbing these treasures, if the Tai Chi Dragon Pan cannot break through, then the corpse's energy absorption should be enough. Wang Xian calculated in his heart, looking forward to it. If you can really break through, it will be a huge improvement for your own strength. However, he is not 100% sure. The resources in the corpse were a huge surprise to Wang Xian. He sat cross-legged on the bed and continued to recover from his injuries. With some resources in Linyu, Wang Xian's recovery time can be shortened a lot. Time passed day by day. Tian Si came to him to sleep every night. 
the ancestral tree kept splitting out some energy to nourish the treasure of heaven and earth in his body, and established a connection with it. Occasionally, Wang Xian would play with TNC for a while. In a blink of an eye, it was another half a year. Wu, Wu, Wu. Wu, Wu, Wu. On this day, Wang Xian was still recovering from his injuries. Suddenly, the sound of crying came from the side, causing him to slightly open his eyes. Um. Wang Xian opened his eyes and looked at TNC beside him, seeing him choking and crying continuously, with a smile on his face. God send, what's wrong? Wang Xian asked him curiously. Uncle, I'm so stupid. Seeing Wang Xian, TNC couldn't help but hugged him and continued to cry. Stupid? How could it be? God sent you to be very smart and powerful. How could you be stupid? Wang Xian patted his head and comforted him with a smile. I'm just stupid. Grandpa also said I was stupid. He said that it only takes a few days for a child from other people's family to get started, but it took me a few months to get started. It is said that I am destined to be a weak person in the future, destined to become a grain of sand in the next crisis. TNC raised his head and said to Wang Xian with a grieved face. Getting started with cultivation. Wang Xian was slightly taken aback when he heard his words. Inducted a bit of God-given body. He felt that there was a water attribute energy in TNC's body. This water attribute energy is very weak, not even reaching the level of a god. For children born from the top powerhouses, entry is the level of gods who ignite the fire of gods. In the Mulai tribe, some talented children can get started in a few days. However, TNC needs several months from the beginning of cultivation to entry. In the eyes of some powerhouses, this talent is too rubbish. Somewhat funny. Wang Xian looked at TNC, and listened to the grievance words that he kept saying, and felt a little funny. Mulai has the wood attribute Tianyu and fortune-telling treasure in his body, which allows him to absorb water attribute energy, which is naturally much slower. In particular, this wood attribute Tianyu and fortune-telling treasure has just begun to be born. If it is said that a person with the same life and origin as the Tianyu and creation supreme treasure is slow in cultivation, then no one in the world will be faster than him. It can be said that the beginning of TNC is the end that billions of souls cannot reach. Even the beginning of TNC is envied by even the strong Tianyuan. Even if he doesn't practice, the wood attribute Tianyuan fortune treasure in his body absorbs energy and grows, which can make it reach a terrifying level. At this level, even a beginner level Tianyuan fortune telling expert will not be an opponent. It's a pity that now, the path given by God has gone wrong. Wang Xian thought to himself. But this can't be blamed on TNC's grandfather. In the Six Paths universe, it is different from the Nine Origins universe. In the Six Universes, after a baby is born, he can practice any attribute. Of course, under normal circumstances, it is best to cultivate the attributes cultivated by your parents, so that your talents will be better. As for other things, for example, some people can't cultivate the fire attribute, they can't cultivate the water attribute, there is no such thing. Tianxi's grandfather is the master of the universe, but Tianyuan's creation is the most precious treasure, and he can't understand it. In addition, this Tianyuan fortune-telling treasure has just been born, so he instinctively hides himself. It's not Tianyuan's fortune, it's hard to find out what's going on in his body. That's why it is said that the talent given by God is very poor, and it is difficult to achieve anything in one's life. The road can't let him go wrong. Wang Xian looked at TNC and patted his head, TNC, you are not stupid at all, you were born to stand on top of all living beings. Your future will be something no one can imagine, and it will be beyond the reach of your grandfather forever. He said, looking at TNC beside him, do you understand? Uncle, understand a little bit, am I really not stupid? TNC looked at Wang Xian and asked expectantly. That's natural. The water attribute that your grandfather taught you is not suitable for you. 
I will teach you the method of wood attribute cultivation. Wang Xian said to Tian Si. The method of wood attribute cultivation. Tian Si looked at Wang Xian suspiciously. Yes, it's similar to water attribute cultivation. I'll teach you the basics, and you can try again. Wang Xian spoke to Tian Si, and a message entered Tian Si's mind. The cultivation method of the wood attribute entered Tian Si's mind. Tian Si looked at Wang Xian with doubts on his face. Wang Xian smiled and motioned to him, and Tian Si sat down cross legged in a dignified manner. Then, start practicing. Tian Si is seven or eight months old. On Earth, it is already comparable to the IQ of an eight or nine year old child. Even the knowledge they have mastered is much, much more than that of eight or nine year old children on the Earth. Tian Si sat down cross legged, and when he performed the wood attribute cultivation technique, Waves of energy immediately poured into his body. Even if this is a water source, the wood attribute is relatively thin. But the speed of his absorption is still very fast. Buzz. Soon, the energy in his body trembled slightly, easily entering the realm of a god. Tian Si instantly opened his eyes and looked at Wang Xian in disbelief. Buzz. At this time, Wang Xian sensed that the Tian Yuan fortune treasure in Tian Si's body trembled slightly. Wang Xian narrowed his eyes slightly. When Tian Si had just stepped into cultivation, he discovered that Tian Yuan's good fortune had sprouted and started to grow. From buds, grow directly to the size of a finger. Seeing this change, Wang Xian felt a little pensive. Uncle, how can I practice so fast? I feel that the wood attribute energy in my body has surpassed the water attribute, and I feel that there is a small tree in my body. Tian Si widened his eyes and asked Wang Xian. I said, you are born extraordinary, you are naturally suitable for cultivating the wood attribute, and there is a treasure in your body, if this treasure is exposed, it will give you, your mother and grandfather, and even the entire Mulai tribe great catastrophe. Before you don't have enough strength, you must not expose it, and don't use the wood attribute. I will seal your wood attribute in a way to hide it. In the future, you will come here every day to practice the wood attribute. Wang Xian gave instructions to Tian Si. I, I listen to my uncle. I feel that my uncle is the best besides my mother. Tian Si opened his mouth and nodded heavily towards him. He he, okay. God send, don't worry, at most one or two years, in this universe, you are invincible. Wang Xian smiled at him and said. Invincible. Tian Si couldn't believe it. Wang Xian didn't explain too much to him and patted his head. There are some things I can't tell you now, but you have to know that you are born extraordinary and no one can match you. You need to hide it for a while. You need to hide it for 100 to 200 million years, and keep a low profile and bear it for 100 to 200 million years. During this period, you cannot use wood attributed energy, and don't tell others. If you have any grievances, just keep them in your heart. After one or 200 million years, they will all prostrate at your feet. Wang Xian taught him. Tian Si kept nodding his head on the sidelines. From birth, Wang Xian gave him a kind feeling, sometimes stronger than his mother. He believed in Wang Xian. Okay, next, you live and practice normally. It doesn't matter if you don't have a good water attribute. It doesn't matter if you are said to be poor in talent. Don't take everything to heart. If you have any grievances, you can come to me at night and tell uncle. Wang Xian continued to talk to Tian Si. Good uncle. Tian Si nodded. Okay, continue to practice the wood attribute. When you leave, I will seal your wood attribute. Wang Xian said to Tian Si. In the following time, every time Tian Si came back, he would practice wood attributes by his side. What is the speed of a child who has the treasure of heaven and nature in his body to cultivate? The strength is growing rapidly every day. As he practiced, the Tian Yuan in his body, the treasure of good fortune, grew significantly faster. However, from time to time, Godsend will confide in the meeting, 
and confide in grandpa that he has poor talent. The teacher who taught him also said that he had poor talent. Only the mother would not talk about him. Wang Xian comforted him with a smile, asking him to use his wood attribute power to regain his confidence. Under his teaching, Tian Si was a little unhappy outside, but she quickly let go of it. Buzz. Two years later, in the room where Wang Xian was. A slight wood attribute energy surged, and was directly blocked by Wang Xian. Uncle, I broke through, I broke through, it's great, it's great. Soon, there was an extremely excited voice from within the room. In seven years, Tian Si went from just stepping into cultivation to directly breaking through to the state of immortal god king. In seven years, he directly crossed the realm of the eternal god lord. If this kind of cultivation speed is released, it will cause an incomparable sensation in the entire six universes. But now, no one knows. Wang Xian would not let others know. This is also the terrifying speed of a cultivator who possesses the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune. Even Wang Xian couldn't help being amazed and envious. Born to be extraordinary. Well, faster than I thought. Wang Xian smiled. If mother can know, she will be happier. Tian Si said, but uncle, I know I can't tell mother, he he, now that my strength and physical fitness have improved, my water attribute cultivation has also made me comparable to other talented youngsters in our Mulai tribe, mother, grandpa they are already very happy. With the improvement of God-given strength, physical fitness and the induction of energy, naturally also improved. Although the cultivation talent for the water attribute is still very rubbish, but I can't stand my high quality. A child of the same age as him is still in the realm of gods, but he has already stepped into the realm of kings. What is the concept? Simply not a level. Even if his water attribute talent is rubbish, with the blessing of strong physical fitness, he is comparable to those top genius boys in the Mulai tribe. This also made Tian Si's mother and grandfather very happy for Tian Si's enlightenment for a long time. You can't be proud. No matter how talented you are, you must have a humble heart. Before you grow up, you will always be a weak person, especially God-given you, who are special and cannot be exposed. Wang Xian reminded and taught him again. Uncle, is it because of the little tree in my body? Seven years have passed, and Tian Si has learned more. He turned to Wang Xian, and he also understood some truths. Yes, if it leaks out, the leaders of your Mulai tribe may fight against it. That's why I won't let you tell your mother. Wang Xian has been in shape many times. I know uncle, you told me many times, I always remember. Tian Si nodded and looked at Wang Xian, Uncle, I heard from my mother that when my mother was about to give birth to me, she met my uncle who was injured. It was because my mother saved you that my uncle didn't take away the treasures in my body. Yes, if it wasn't for this reason, I have already taken away the treasure in your body, and if I take the treasure away, the life bestowed on you by God will be gone. Wang Xian smiled and nodded towards him. Uncle is the best for Tian Si. Tian Si doesn't believe that you will hurt me. Tian Si hugged Wang Xian's arm and said with a smile. Seven years later, he is already one meter tall. But in Wang Xian's eyes, he was still a child. Except for some special problems, Wang Xian didn't hide much from Tian Si. Although Tian Si is small, he understands many truths. Wang Xian looked at Tian Si beside him with a smile on his face. With a movement of his palm, he sensed the treasure of heaven and earth in his body. Hey! At this time, Wang Xian discovered that the treasure of good fortune in Tian Yuan located in his body had been greatly improved again. The bud that was the size of a finger at the beginning is now the size of a palm, and several branches have grown on it. The trunk of the decimal wood. Several branched branches. On several branches, there is a huge and pure energy of wood attribute. Under Wang Xian's induction, he found that these three branches contained special energy fluctuations. This is derived from the wood attribute. Heavenly gift, this small tree in your body has three branches, 
and each of these three branches has special abilities. Please sense this special ability. Wang Xian said to Tian Si. Good uncle. Tian Si nodded, followed by a sense, and his body exuded a strong wood attribute aura. Buzz. In the next moment, the illusory shadow of a branch appeared on his arm. After trying three times in a row, Wang Xian sensed it from the side. Uncle, there are two attacking ones, one is hiding the breath, and the one who hides the breath can not only hide himself, but also hide the breath of others. Tian Si quickly replied. Um. Wang Xian nodded, his eyes were shining brightly. The ability to hide the breath is a manifestation of the ability of this Tian Yuan fortune treasure to hide the breath. It used to be passive, but now it can be actively hidden. And this concealment ability is more powerful than Wang Xian's covering him. Under the concealment of Tian Si, unless the strong Tian Yuan good fortune approached him tens of meters and looked at him, otherwise, he would not be able to discover his own situation. It is also impossible to find that there is wood attribute in his body. This concealment method is very powerful. As for the other two attacking branches, they are also very strong. It can be said that Tian Si, who has just stepped into the realm of the Immortal God King, can use these two branches to fight against the existence of the peak of the Immortal God King. This is the horror of Tian Yuan Fortune Supreme Treasure. In the future, after I block the wood attribute energy in your body, I will hide it myself. Wang Xian said to Tian Si. Good uncle. Tian Si nodded obediently. Okay, I just broke through today, so take a good rest. Patting Tian Si's head, Wang Xian said. Tian Si nodded with a smile. In the following time, Wang Xian continued to recover from his injuries. Tai Chi Dragon Pan is also constantly absorbing dark energy, trying to complete a breakthrough. Time passed day by day. More than 90 years have passed by in a flash and now it has been a full hundred years since TNC was born. Uncle, uncle, it's my birthday tonight, and I'm at home. Then come and have dinner with us. At noon that day, TNC ran in and yelled at Wang Xian. Wang Xian opened his eyes and looked at the figure ahead. A hundred years have passed, and today's TNC is about 1.6 meters tall, placed in the Mulai tribe, he is still a small boy. Although TNC is not tall, but after sorting out the wood attribute and water attribute, he has a delicate features. There was an air of nobility exuding from his body. This aura was cultivated by Wang Xian. As the owner of Tian Yuan Fortune Supreme Treasure, Wang Xian has always reminded him of one thing. Be humble, but the arrogance and arrogance in your heart must surpass anyone else. Born extraordinary, I am not weaker than anyone else. Not weaker than anyone else, this is the idea Wang Xian instilled in him. This also made Tian Si exude a confident look. Similarly, being low-key and introverted to others is also a must-have. Oh? Is it your birthday? Wang Xian looked at Tian Si with a smile on his face. Yes uncle, after my first birthday, I have to go to the academy of the Mulai tribe to study, and I will leave my parents and home. Tian Si nodded and said to Wang Xian. In the Mulai tribe, children have to leave home after the age of 100 and enter the academy of the Mulai tribe to study. Uncle, I don't want to leave you and mom, and with my current strength, I don't need to go to the academy to study at all. If there is anything I don't understand, you can teach me, uncle. Tian Si walked to Wang Xian's side and spoke. You have to have your own complete life. I can't interfere with you too much. You have to learn by yourself, meet other people, and have your own friends. Wang Xian said to Tian Si. Tian Si opened his mouth, then lowered his head slightly, I don't want friends. Others say that I don't have a father and I'm a bastard. Um. When Wang Xian heard this, he raised his eyebrows slightly, this kind of person, you just hit him, challenge him directly defeat him, he will not dare to say anything, and this kind of person is not a friend. Tian Si, you have to know that no one is qualified to be your father, so don't be sad because of this. 
TNC doesn't have a father, and Wang Xian knew about it from the very beginning. At first he thought it was because Mu Li Yinner's man abandoned him. Later, he got a message from the maid. TNC doesn't know her father, and even Mu Li Yinner doesn't know who her man is. Mu Li Yinner is not very old, she was named the most beautiful and outstanding woman in the Mu Li tribe, not one of them. But suddenly one day, Mu Li Yinner became pregnant. Mu Li Yinner didn't know who her father was. Just such a sudden pregnancy. At first, Mu Li Yinner's parents thought that Mu Li Yinner was hiding this man. Later, after all kinds of inquiries, I found out that my daughter didn't know how she was pregnant. But such a thing as a woman's pregnancy can't be conceived out of thin air? So Mu Li Yinner's father suspected that there might be a strong person who used powerful means to have a relationship with Mu Li Yinner. Ling Mu Li Yinner didn't notice. Or erase her memory of this period. Mu Li Yinner's father and elders were extremely angry that her own daughter was insulted and she was pregnant with a child. They wanted Mu Li Yinner to abort her child. But Mu Li Yinner was reluctant and forced to give birth. Mu Li Yinner's move and the matter of her pregnancy and childbirth also caused a huge commotion in the entire Mu Li tribe. Thinking that he is an unclean woman, Tian Si is also a bastard. So far, Tian Si is not qualified to have the surname Mu Li. Mu Li Yinner's relatives are so skeptical, and the people of Mu Li tribe think so. But Wang Xian sensed Mu Li Yinner, and made a judgment in his heart. Mu Li Yinner was not insulted. She was pregnant because of a gift from God. In other words, God Send was born on her body. God Send, just like the name, bestowed by God. Without a father, the essence of heaven and earth was conceived in Mu Lian's womb. Um. Tian Si looked at Wang Xian with a sparkle in his eyes, Uncle, I'm leaving first. Let's go. Wang Xian nodded towards him and watched him leave. Afterwards, Wang Xian moved his mind and checked the situation of the ancestral tree. Today's ancestral tree has a palm-sized branch on a branch of its trunk. This branch is full of sharpness. This branch came from the branch of Tian Yu and Good Fortune Divine Tree in Tian Si's body. The ancestral tree conceives and nourishes the Divine Tree of Good Fortune in the body of Tian Yuan. A branch was cut from it a few years ago. This branch has now grown to the point that it is not weaker than the Tian Yuan Good Fortune Divine Tree in Tian Si's body. But after all, it is a section taken from Tian Yuan Fortune Treasure in Tian Si's body, and it cannot be stronger than the mother body in Tian Si's body. However, as long as the Tian Yuan in the body is the treasure of good fortune, it will not resist the intercepted energy of the ancestor tree. Then, this small branch on the ancestral tree will have infinite possibilities. Of course, the ancestral tree is not forcibly taking screenshots of the most treasured branches of Tian Yu and good fortune in Tian Si's body. At the same time as the interception, it will also give Tian Si within the body the energy of the treasure of good fortune. It will also inject its own energy into its body. In this way, it is also of great benefit to the treasure of heavenly fortune in Tian Si's body. After all, both belong to the level of Tian Yuan creation. They are all wood attributes. One is auxiliary and the other is offensive. Although it is not as good as directly obtaining this treasure of heavenly origin, it can also obtain a lot of benefits. A smile appeared on Wang Xian's face. The current situation is still acceptable to Wang Xian. Uncle, come here. In the evening, the voice of God Sen sounded. Upon hearing this, Wang Xian opened his eyes and walked outside with a smile on his face. The courtyard was decorated by Mu Lai Yinner, and it looked very beautiful. Tian Si's grandparents, and some people Wang Xian didn't know. There are more than a dozen in total, including several teenagers and girls. Young Master Wang Xian, sit here. Mu Lai Yinner's maid came up to welcome her and said to Wang Xian. Um. Wang Xian nodded. In the courtyard, the rest of the people saw Wang Xian, and some people showed curiosity on their faces. Tian Si walked over, happily took Wang Xian's arm, and whispered, Uncle, I beat that kid this afternoon, and he never dared to speak of me again. 
Ha ha okay. Wang Xian patted him on the head with a smile, in the future, if someone talks about you, you can challenge him, defeat him, and he won't dare. Uh huh. Tian Si nodded, and then sent a voice transmission to Wang Xian, he he, uncle, if I can use the wood attribute, I can defeat them with one finger. Keep a low profile, when the time comes, let's make a big splash. Wang Xian said with a smile. Tian Si nodded with a smile. Tian Si still has a good relationship with the little brother as always. At the side, Mu Li Yinner's father came over and said to Wang Xian with a smile. Maybe I and Xiao Tian Si are destined. Wang Xian looked at the middle-aged man who was walking over, and replied with a smile. Haha, it is indeed fate. The middle-aged man smiled and nodded. Tian Si and Mr. Wang Xian are too close. As a mother, I am a little jealous. But in the past hundred years, I also thank Mr. Wang Xian for teaching Tian Si and letting him understand many truths. Mu Li Yinner also came over and said with a smile. She was indeed grateful to Wang Xian. After all, Tian Si does not have a father, and Wang Xian is here to make up for the love of Tian Si's father. Although Wang Xian is not Tian Si's father. Today is Tian Si's birthday. Tomorrow you will go to the academy. Is there anything you want? The middle-aged man looked at Tian Si and asked with a smile on his face. Although Tian Si's birth displeased him, he was still his grandson anyway. Moreover, the talent shown so far is very good, which made him accept this sudden grandson a little bit. Without grandpa, I have nothing I need. Tian Si thought for a while, shook his head, and suddenly looked at his mother, Mom, I do have a wish. He said with a sparkle in his eyes. Hey? God gave you what wish? Mu Li Yinner asked Tian Si with a smile. Then mother, you promise me first. Tian Si continued talking to Mu Li Yinner. Okay, today you are the biggest, mom promises you everything. Mu Li Yinner touched his head with a smile, and said. Then let uncle be my father. Tian Si looked at Mu Li Yinner, and said expectantly. His words made Mu Li Yinner slightly taken aback, followed by a slight blush on her face. But soon, she stroked her hair. Stupid child, it's not just because I agree. If you want to recognize your uncle as your uncle, you also need your uncle's consent. If your uncle agrees, mom will naturally agree. Mu Li Yinner pointed to Tian Si's head. Uncle, can you do it? Can you do it? then you will be my father in the future, and no one will say anything about me. Tian Si looked at Wang Xian, and asked loudly with some joy. Wang Xian looked at Tian Si, and then at Mu Lian Er. Seeing him smiling and nodding towards him, Wang Xian nodded. Okay, then you can call me foster father from now on, I can be regarded as watching you grow up. Wang Xian did not refuse, but nodded. Godsend is what he watched grow up. It doesn't matter if you are a foster father. That's great, great. Tian Si shouted happily. Tian Si, when you go to school in the future, when we are away, I will let an uncle wait for me and follow you. He is the uncle's younger brother. Wang Xian looked at Tian Si, and said something to him through sound transmission. He didn't say it to his face. Immediately afterwards, Wang Xian waved his arm, and Lin Niu appeared next to him. In the past, Tian Si was under the induction of Wang Xian and the others, and there was no danger. Now that he is about to go to school, Wang Xian asked Lin Niu to follow Tian Si just in case. In addition, Tian Si now has the strength of the peak realm of the immortal god king. The heavenly element in the body, the ultimate treasure of good fortune, has been greatly improved. The branch with hidden energy grew two more. One can be used to hide Lin Yu. Wang Xian also has one here. The last one, of course, is to hide his own situation. Wu Hu. After Lin Yu appeared, he let out a low growl. He stared at Tian Si with slightly fiery eyes. He knows Tian Si very well. This is a treasure of good fortune that was born not long ago. Lin Yu followed him 
and with the growth of Tian Yuan fortune, Lin Niu was also able to absorb some of the energy and breath of Tian Yuan fortune's treasure. Thereby gaining many benefits. Even if it is to be Tian Si's mount for a period of time in the future, he is also happy. Thank you foster father. Tian Si's eyes lit up when he saw Lin Niu appearing beside him. Lin Niu's shape has changed slightly, and his body looks a little domineering, but also a little chic. Only half a meter in size, more like a pet. But Tian Si also knows that Lin Niu's strength is definitely not weak. For a hundred years, Tian Si lived with Wang Xian, although he didn't know Wang Xian's specific strength. But it can also be guessed that Wang Xian's strength is definitely not simple. For example, Wang Xian blocked the wood attribute energy in his body, even his grandfather couldn't find it. Father, what is the identity of this Wang Xian? He is a God-given adoptive father, is there no problem? Tian Si's birthday party is going on, not far away. One of Mulai Yinner's older brothers saw that Tian Si and Wang Xian had such a good relationship, so he asked his father in a low voice. I don't know the exact identity yet, but Tian Si is indeed very close to him, even closer than he is to your sister. The middle-aged man glanced at Wang Xian and shook his head, in the past hundred years, he has been kind to Tian Si, and he has taught Tian Si some things, so it's not a bad thing so far. However, he seems a little withdrawn. He has been staying in the room to heal his injuries, and his internal injuries are very serious. Several youths on the side nodded, and they walked over to have a brief chat with Wang Xian. Wang Xian also responded politely. Tian Si's birthday passed quickly, and within a few days, Tian Si entered the academy to study. The location where Mulai Yinner lives is at the center of the Mulai tribe. The location of the college is also at the center. Although Tian Si goes to school every day, he will come back every day. After Tian Si came back, he often talked with Wang Xian and his mother about the things in the academy. After a long time, Wang Xian and Mu Li Yinner also became acquainted. Wang Xian, who had been staying in the courtyard, was also called by Tian Si to eat outside with his mother. Time goes by so fast, even a hundred thousand years just pass by in a flash. After tens of thousands of years of retreat, the Tai Chi Dragon Plate devoured all the resources and the corpse of that corpse, yet it still hasn't broken through. Wang Xian looked at the Tai Chi Dragon Plate in front of him, with a helpless look on his face. The difficulty of breaking through the Tai Chi Dragon Plate is somewhat beyond Wang Xian's imagination. According to his estimation, absorbing the corpse of a strong Tian Yuan fortune maker and absorbing so much dark attribute energy and treasures should be able to break through. But still failed to break through. The reason why the Five Elements Great Mill was able to break through so easily last time may be related to the Ancestor Tree. The Five Elements Great Mill contains wood attributes and can absorb the energy of the Ancestor Tree. Basically, it can be said that the Five Elements Mill and the Ancestor Tree grew together. Wang Xian thought to himself. The Great Mill of the Five Elements grew together with the Ancestral Tree, and the Ancestral Tree, as an auxiliary treasure of good fortune, must have special energy. Under the long-term gestation and nourishment of this kind of energy, the shackles that the Great Mill of the Five Elements can break through are much, much less. Tai Chi Dragon Pan will not work. Even after absorbing so many treasures, Wang Xian could still feel that there was a threshold blocking it. This threshold is not easy to break through. More resource treasures may be needed. Shaking his head, Wang Xian sensed himself. One hundred thousand years passed, and his injuries recovered a little. Now he can also explode the strength of the First Order realm of universe dominance. It will take hundreds of millions of years to fully recover. This was the case when Wang Xian had absorbed a large amount of treasures. Send a message to Tian Si. Ten thousand years ago, Wang Xian started to retreat, and told Tian Si at that time. On the communicator, Tian Si sent him a lot of messages. He replied. Speaking of which, Tian Si can be regarded as his half-son. Buzz. Soon, Tian Si sent a message. 
Wang Xian saw it and replied immediately. Young Master Wang Xian, I heard from TNC that your retreat is over. Not long after, Mu Li Yinner's voice came from outside. Wang Xian stood up and opened the door. Yes, it just ended. Wang Xian smiled and nodded towards Mu Li Yinner, then looked at the information on the communicator. TNC said that we want to go to Sui Holo for dinner together, let's go there. He opened his mouth and continued. Well, how long will it take for Mr. Wang Xian's injuries to fully recover? Mu Li Yinner nodded, and asked a question with concern. To fully recover, it will take at least hundreds of millions of years. The last time the injury was serious. Wang Xian replied truthfully. It took hundreds of millions of years to recover from your injuries. It seems that you are very strong, Mr. Wang Xian, and you should have reached the realm of mastering the universe. Mu Li Yinner said in a little surprise. Yes, it has been achieved. Wang Xian smiled and nodded. It's amazing, Mr. Wang Xian doesn't seem to be very old. Mu Li Yinner said in surprise. Being able to reach the realm of universe dominance already belongs to the strong in the six universes. His father, the master of the universe with the strength of the fifth order realm, is also a deacon level figure in the Mulai tribe. The strongest member of the Mulai tribe is only the eighth level master of the universe. It's not young. I haven't seen TNC for 10,000 years. I don't know what has changed in this kid. Wang Xian chatted with Mu Li Yinner, and flew towards the outside position. Soon, they came to the prosperous area of the Mulai tribe. There are people coming and going on the street, and there are shops on both sides. Mother, adoptive father. When they came to Sui Hulo, the handsome TNC inside saw them and immediately shouted loudly. Wang Xian saw that TNC's appearance hadn't changed much compared to 10,000 years ago. However, his strength has now greatly surpassed that of the Void God Emperor. Of course, this is the strength of the Wood Attribute. As for his Water Attribute power, it was only at the first level of Immortal God King. Even if this Bright Realm is placed in the Mulai tribe, it is still top-notch. Beside him, Lin Niu was lying there, and when he saw Wang Xian coming, he immediately called the boss via sound transmission. The improvement is very fast, let's compete for a while after dinner. Wang Xian looked at TNC and said with a smile on his face. Okay, foster father, I am very strong now, and now in our junior college, no one is my opponent. TNC raised his head slightly and said proudly. God send, don't be proud. Mu Li Yinner came over, said to him, then looked at Wang Xian, later, you teach this kid a lesson, don't let him swell. No, mom, foster father will really make me suffer. TNC heard it and hurriedly shouted. This made Wang Xian and Mu Li Yinner smile. Father, you've been in seclusion for too long won't you do it again? TNC moved out the chair for Wang Xian and Mu Li Yinner to sit down, and then asked him. Well, it probably won't happen in the future. Wang Xian shook his head. This time, the reason why he retreated for tens of thousands of years was because Wang Xian thought that the Tai Chi dragon plate might be able to break through. But unfortunately, no breakthrough was successful. This made him very helpless. In the following time, under normal circumstances, he will not retreat again. By the way, I heard that the tribe plans to establish an elite team of the Mulai tribe. Each age group will select a group for full training. Has your academy informed you? Mu Li Yinner asked TNC. Mom, the college has already notified me that I will enter the intermediate college immediately. When I arrive at the intermediate college, I will have resources far superior to others. TNC nodded. Next, God sent, you must practice hard and strive to become the top powerhouse in our six universes. Mu Li Yinner said to him. The matter of calamity is now known to the creatures in the six universes. Now, all tribes are already preparing for the robbery. Concentrate resources and cultivate the strong just to be able to have more hope of survival when the calamity comes. 
Don't worry mom, I will. TNC nodded, and then suddenly asked, By the way, mom, where is my grandfather? I haven't seen him for a long time. Has he retreated too? No, your grandfather followed the other strong men in the tribe, looking for invaders to kill other universes. Mu Li Yinner said to him. Invaders from other universes? Why do other universes invade us? TNC asked curiously. This mother doesn't know much. I heard from your grandfather that it is because a powerful treasure was born in our universe. There are strong men from other universes who want to the treasure. The three adults in our universe are also looking for it. With that treasure. Speaking of which, when God gave you birth, our universe was shrouded in primordial purple energy. According to rumors, that powerful treasure was born on that day. Mu Li Yinner said to him with a smile. Um. It was the first time Tian Si heard his mother say this to himself. He froze for a moment, and looked at Wang Xian who was beside him with astonishment. Wang Xian smiled, but didn't say anything. Father, do you know something? He couldn't help but send a sound transmission to Wang Xian. Now you don't need to know, just live a good life. Wang Xian didn't answer him. Seeing that Wang Xian didn't answer, Tian Si had no choice. But in his heart, there are some guesses. After a meal, Wang Xian and the others went to a place where they could learn from each other, and Wang Xian pointed out the attack method bestowed by God. Afterwards, the three returned home. Time passed quickly again, 100,000 years, 1 million years, 10 million years. Hum. On this day, Wang Xian, who was recovering from his injuries, suddenly felt a majestic vitality coming from his body. A shock force of wood attribute poured into his whole body. This energy quickly healed the wounds in his body. The injury that would have taken 80 to 90 million years to recover is recovering at a terrifying speed. What's the situation? Wang Xian was taken aback by the sudden situation, his eyes widened. He felt the fast healing injury in his body. This energy that healed his injuries came from the ancestral tree. He focused his eyes on the ancestral tree. When he sensed the ancestral tree, his face showed joy. The ancestral tree at this moment has towering branches and leaves. Fruits are growing on it. There is the fruit of returning to the soul, there is the fruit of endless wood, and there is the fruit of taking constant fetus. There are also Narit fruits. Fruits are growing. Each branch contains various energies. In addition, there is a striking branch on the trunk of the ancestral tree. On the top of this branch, there are also more than a dozen branches. These branches possess a powerful force. It is extremely bright and eye-catching on the entire ancestral tree. Even the densely packed branches and fruits around it can't cover the sharpness of this one branch. These did not surprise Wang Xian, what shocked him the most was that on the topmost branch of the ancestral tree, there were fruits that were beginning to condense. Under telepathy, there are more than twenty fruits. Each fruit is the size of a palm. However, these fruits are obviously just grown and not mature yet. The ancestral tree has passed the growth period and reached maturity. When Wang Xian saw that the ancestral tree actually bears fruit, his face was filled with surprise. Once the ancestral tree bears fruit and the fruit is ripe, it means that the ancestral tree will completely enter the mature stage. Into the peak period. The power of Tian Yuan fortune treasure will also be fully displayed. Now, the power of the ancestor tree has been revealed. There was a sparkle in Wang Xian's eyes. Yes, at this moment, he can already sense some changes. The biggest change is the injury. Currently, Wang Xian's recovery ability has reached a terrifying level. Now, if he suffers another serious injury like last time, he doesn't need any treasures. It doesn't take hundreds of millions of years. As long as it recovers itself, it will be fully recovered in tens of thousands of years. This resilience is absolutely terrifying. You know, Wang Xian's injury last time was very serious. Now, Wang Xian's vitality, if it existed before, at the control level, 
if he attacked him ten times with all his strength, Wang Xian would be able to completely wipe him out if he didn't defend himself. Now, at least twenty full strength attacks are required. The strong recovery power allows him to recover quickly after suffering a huge attack. The current Wang Xian, relying on this recovery power, has no problem at all against the two newcomers to Tianyuan Fortune. Because Wang Xian can exchange injuries for injuries in battle now. The two strong men who had just entered Tianyuan Fortune couldn't kill him at all. Even if you are desperate with Wang Xian, it's hard to say who will live and who will die. All of this is under the condition that Wang Xian does not use the Five Elements Grinding Machine. If you use the Five Elements Grinding Machine, let alone it. It's really powerful. The Ancestor Tree is about to enter the mature stage, and I have obtained so many benefits. When the Ancestor Tree has completely entered the mature stage, isn't it comparable to the existence of the control level? The Ancestral Tree is only an auxiliary Tianyuan Fortune Treasure. What about Tianyuan's offensive Tianyuan Fortune Treasure? Is it possible to fight against two master level Tianyuan Fortune Tellers just after reaching Tianyuan Fortune? If that's the case, it's too scary. Wang Xian was amazed in his heart, this possibility is very high. Even if you can't fight against two control levels, it shouldn't be a big problem to fight against one control level, plus one or two beginners. It's a good thing to recover from my injury. At least if something special happens, I can handle it myself. The next step is to cultivate the growth of the godsend. I really look forward to the growth of the heavenly treasure in his body. Wang Xian thought to himself. The promotion of the ancestral tree was a very unexpected surprise for Wang Xian. Maybe it's because of the catalysis of Tianyuan's creation in Tianxi's body, or maybe the energy absorbed by the ancestor tree is enough. The ancestral tree was promoted and the injury recovered. Increased strength. The current Wang Xian's strength is already terrifying. Wang Xian himself and the great grinding of the five elements can contend against the existence of the control level. If Linyu is added, the strength will be even stronger. It's going to be easier now. Wang Xian stretched his waist, with a smile on his face. You don't need to recover from your injuries all the time. Wang Xian came out of the room and looked around. Young Master Wang Xian, why did you come out suddenly today? At this time, Mu Li Yinner saw Wang Xian and asked him with a smile. Although Wang Xian has been staying here, he has not been out of the room for a long time, and has always been in the room. Seeing Wang Xian coming out suddenly today, Mu Li Yinner asked curiously. The body is fine now. Thank you Miss Mulai Yinner for taking care of me during this period of time. Wang Xian thanked her. Young Master Wang Xian is too far-fetched. You are a God-given foster father, and we are naturally relatives. What's more, I haven't taken care of anything during this time. Mu Li Yinner shook her head. Miss Mulai Yinner, I won't bother you from now on, I'm going to live outside. Wang Xian said to Mu Li Yinner. Um. When Mu Li Yinner heard his words, she was slightly taken aback, young master Wang Xian is going to live outside. It's okay, it's fine if you stay here, and God send is here, we can still have a meal together. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you Miss Mu Li Yinner, but living here is always a bit inconvenient. Wang Xian shook his head. Living here is indeed somewhat inconvenient. This, then Mr. Wang Xian has a place to live. Mu Li Yinner looked at him and asked. I plan to buy a house near TNC College and live there. When TNC fully grows, I plan to go to other places. Wang Xian replied. Go to live next to the college? You are not familiar with the place here, how about I help you find a house? Mu Li Yinner said to him. Okay, Miss Mu Li Yinner, please. Wang Xian nodded. No trouble. Mr. Wang Xian, you are welcome. Mu Li Yinner shook her head, let's go, I'm familiar with the place, I'll ask someone to help you. Wang Xian nodded, followed Mu Li Yinner and walked outside. The location of TNC Academy is not too far from here. It takes about half an hour to fly. 
My friend said that there are houses here for rent. Mu Li Yinner looked at the communicator and said to Wang Xian. Good. Wang Xian nodded and followed her to continue walking forward. Located around Mu Li Tribal College, it is a bustling area. There are various shops here. However, the upper floors of the shops are habitable. Generally speaking, this place is not as good as Mu Li Yinner's room, it is more suitable for living. There were many pedestrians around, and the two came to the front of a shop. Look at this house, it's full of shops, and above the shops are people living. The environment is not as good as mine, but it's more prosperous, and it's very close to the college. This shop is rented out. It is 500 square meters and the top is 1000 meters high. You can arrange it yourself. Mulai Yinner introduced a house to Wang Xian. Can. Wang Xian looked here and nodded. At that time, he will make some arrangements in the house and make some formations. As for the location, he didn't care much. Well, okay, the merchant will come over soon, let's wait. Mu Li Yinner said. Hey, isn't this Mu Li Yinner? Oh? This one? Hee <laughs> hee, could it be the father of your child? At this moment, a teasing voice suddenly came. The sudden words made Wang Xian and Mu Li Yin are slightly taken aback. As expected of the heavenly girl of our Mulai tribe, she gave birth to a son at a young age, haha, <laughs> walking ahead of all of us. Another teasing voice came. On the right, five or six women came over. Holding weapons in their hands, they raised their heads slightly, and looked at Mu Li Yin and Wang Xian with a mocking look on his face. Ignore him. Seeing them, Mu Li Yinner frowned slightly, and whispered to Wang Xian. Completely ignore the five or six women. Tisk tisk tisk, Mu Li Yinner, have you found the father of the child, or are you looking for a stepdad for the child? You are making others want to be a father. Seeing Mu Li Yinner ignoring them, the women didn't care, they still laughed and made sharp voices. There's a lot of nonsense. Wang Xian glanced over them. The strength of all the people is at the first level of the universe venerable. He glanced over, and an invisible coercion enveloped them. In an instant, the faces of several women turned pale, and their faces were filled with cold sweat. Wang Xian glanced at them again, and looked away, and the coercion on them disappeared instantly. Okay, okay, Mulai Yinner. Several women felt the coercion disappeared, and their faces changed drastically. They stared at Mu Li Yinner, said with gritted teeth, and then left in a hurry with dark faces. Obviously, the coercion that Wang Xian gave them with a look made them feel a little terrified. They knew that Wang Xian's strength was very strong. This makes them a little jealous. Thanks. On the side, Mu Li Yinner was slightly taken aback when she saw this scene looked at Wang Xian in astonishment, and hesitated for a moment, what level is your strength? It's so strong. It doesn't feel like an ordinary universe master. Mulai Yinner's strength is at the second level of the universe venerable. In fact, Mulai Yinner was very young in the Mulai tribe. Those of her generation never got married and had children. Even for their generation, it will be considered normal to get married and have children in hundreds of millions of years. She was totally an accident. Wang Xian said that his strength has reached the realm of the master of the universe, but he feels that Wang Xian's strength does not seem to be an ordinary master of the universe. The seventh level of master of the universe is not bad, it is more than enough to teach godsend. Wang Xian smiled and replied. Hearing Wang Xian's strength, Mu Li Yinner opened her mouth with a shocked look on her face. The entire Mu Li tribe, in the realm of the ruler of the universe, is already considered a core powerhouse, and has a lot of privileges within the tribe. But the strongest member of the tribe is only the 8th level master of the universe, and his father is only the 5th level master of the universe. This young man who was saved by himself turned out to be at the 7th level of universe ruler? This? He couldn't believe it. It is a great fortune for such a strong person to teach TNC carefully. Thanks. 
Mu Li Yinner's eyes flickered, looking at Wang Xian beside her, she couldn't help saying thank you. Wang Xian's strength simply exceeded her expectations. This is incredible. Wang Xian's strength, in their Mu Li tribe, is also a top existence. Don't thank me, you saved my life. Compared to these, what I did was just a small thing. Wang Xian smiled and shook his head. You can teach TNC, it is really a lucky thing for TNC, no wonder TNC's strength has improved so fast now, it turns out that you are helping. Mu Li Yinner said gratefully. When TNC first started practicing, his talent was very poor. Later, for unknown reasons, her strength suddenly improved by leaps and bounds. At that time, she was still happy for a long time. Now it seems that Wang Xian may be helping behind the scenes. With such a powerful strength of Wang Xian, helping TNC to practice day and night, the improvement is not too scary. The powerhouse who dominates the seventh level of the universe constantly teaches, and the whole Mulai tribe can't find a second one with such treatment. I didn't help much. When Wang Xian heard it, he knew that she had misunderstood it, so he shook his head. Mu Li Yinner smiled. Miss Mu Li Yinner, do you want to rent a house? At this time, before Mu Li Yinner could speak, an old man came over and spoke. The topic changed. Next, Wang Xian bought the shop directly. In the Six Paths universe, Wang Xian got some currency from this universe. Moreover, under normal circumstances, currency is a resource, as long as the value is similar the other party will agree. Thank you, Ms. Mulai Yinner, for today, please have a meal with me. Wang Xian said to Mu Li Yinner. Okay. Mu Li Yinner nodded, and the two went to eat. Wang Xian moved here and spent the whole day at leisure. Tian Si often came over, called her mother, and the three of them ate together. It's also very interesting for Tian Si to talk about his affairs in school. Time passed quickly. Thousands of years, thousands of years passed. TNC has grown from a child to a big boy. The heavenly element in his body, the treasure of good fortune, is also rapidly improving. During this period, Wang Xian also returned to Dragon Palace to stay for a while. With Inli, it is very convenient to go back and forth. Mom, adoptive father, tomorrow our college will hold a trial. After the trial, the top ten will be selected to participate in the six-way competition. This time I will definitely be able to get the top ten, and then I will shine in the six competitions, and then I will let everyone know that my mother has such a good son like me. Ninety million years passed. For the Mulai tribe, a child has to stay in the academy for at least two hundred million years since entering the academy. For powerful cultivators who generally have more than 30 billion lifespans, 200 million years in the academy is not much. Okay, mom doesn't ask you to get any name, as long as you can be safe. Mu Li Yinner looked at TNC and said with a smile all over her face. That can't be done. I want to get a good ranking, and I will protect you, mom, in the future. TNC shook his head, and said with firm eyes, the dean said that the calamity will come in more than a billion years, and it will be a shocking battle. It is difficult for the weak to survive. I will have a strong one at that time. Strength, protect mother. Okay, mom is very happy to have you say that. Mu Li Yinner nodded happily. When will the Six Paths competition be held? Wang Xian asked Tian Si. The dean will start 10 million years after our experience. TNC looked at Wang Xian, Father, my cultivation speed is much slower now, and I still want to win the championship. It seems a bit difficult now. Now, in terms of water attribute cultivation, TNC has reached the third level of the universe venerable. In the Mulai tribe, he is a proper top Tian Jiao. At present, TNC belongs to the pillars of his generation, even if he is much older than him his strength is not as good as him. The Mulai tribe, the most outstanding existence in the past billions of years. It is favored by the strong in the academy. 
The upcoming Six Paths competition is held jointly by the Six Paths universe and the two tribes. And these two big tribes are the two tribes that have the strong fortune of Tian Yuan. This time the six-way competition. To put it bluntly, it is the same as the Jiuyuan Universe Sword and the Magic Universe, both of which are preparations for the coming of the Calamity. Use the last time to train another batch of top-notch experts to deal with the coming Calamity. If you get a good ranking in the Six Paths competition, you can enter the top treasure land of the Six Paths Universe. For any participant, it is a great honor to get a ranking. The proud sons of all tribes in the entire Six Path universe all participated. However, the cultivation of the water attribute of Godsend has reached the third level of the universe venerable, and it is even more terrifying in the cultivation of the wood attribute. Now, it has broken through to the third order state of universe master. It has reached such a level in less than 100 million years which can be said to be extremely terrifying. Of course, this is all because of Tian Yuan's fortune. Normal, you will get slower and slower in the next practice. Upon hearing his words, Wang Xian replied with a smile. He forcibly cultivated the water attribute, because he had the realm of the wood attribute, which made him practice faster. But when the realm of the water attribute gets higher and higher, the speed of cultivation will also become slower and slower, and in the end it will lag behind others. This is really normal. The water attribute is just a means of covering up. It's just that Wang Xian wants TNC to have a complete life, a complete childhood and experience. It's okay, Godsend, don't tire yourself out. Mu Li Yinner at the side asked happily. She is also very happy about her outstanding son now. The mother is more expensive than the child, and it is the same in the Mulai tribe. The three chatted while eating. On the second day, TNC participated in the training of the academy. The instructors of the academy, take them to a training place, let them practice and fight with elemental beasts. Wang Xian didn't pay too much attention to this. Lin Niu has always been by TNC's side, or hidden in his storage space. Where there is danger, there will also be Liniu. Master Holy Father, there is no news yet. It has been 100 million years. Could it be that this treasure has already been obtained? The source of water, a place in the sea of whirlpools. In this area, there is heavy rain above, and the sea below is a terrifying vortex. Located above a vortex, two figures stood in front of an old man, and reported. More than 80 million years ago, the Tian Yuan fortune treasure was born. The hidden energy of this Tian Yuan fortune treasure is very strong, and it is difficult to be found. In addition, various detection treasures have been placed outside the six universes. Once someone get it, take it out, and you will be discovered immediately. As for the six universes, they are still looking for the treasure of Tian Yuan, and it is unlikely that they will get it. The old man said lightly. Holy Father, we have been searching for 80 million years now, and now six universes has formed a strong team, and many of our strong men have been hunted down by them. This is not the way to go. In the Vortex Sea area, two figures knelt respectfully in front of an old man and continued to report. Look for another 100 million years, and if there is no harvest after 100 million years, then leave. The old man stood in the sky above, and said lightly. Yes. The two kneeling on the ground did not dare to resist in the slightest, and responded immediately. Search carefully. After 100 million years, if you let me know that half of you are still alive, I will ask you to. If you can find the information of the treasure, the next battle of calamity will not let you have any accidents. The old man suddenly looked at them and said calmly. His words made the bodies of the two kneeling on the ground tremble violently, and a look of horror appeared on their faces. The old man turned his eyes away from them and flew directly into the distance. The two kneeling on the ground looked at each other, their faces extremely embarrassed. The father's order had been given, and they knew they had no choice. In the next 100 million years, we must search carefully. And search hard. It doesn't matter how much you sacrifice. Otherwise, 
if they didn't search extensively, didn't find treasures, and if half of the people were not killed by the powerhouses of the six universes in the end, then they might be the last ones to die. They have no doubt that in the end the father will destroy them. The two figures stood up slowly and flew towards the distance. In the front position, the Holy Father looked around and sensed energy fluctuations in front of him, so he slowly stretched out his hands. A luxurious dress of light attributes was draped over his body, making his figure completely concealed. Captain TNC, this time it's up to you to hunt and kill the crackling turtle. Okay, let's strive for everyone to have no casualties this time. In the position ahead, TNC and more than a dozen academies of the Mulai tribe are flying quickly. Today's TNC, as the most outstanding disciple of the Mulai tribe, exudes strong self-confidence. A handsome face with a comfortable smile on his body. Among the dozen or so students around, it was obvious that he was the main one. And hundreds of kilometers in front of them, the Holy Father glanced at them all. Soon, the distance between the two sides was only a dozen kilometers, and this distance was still approaching. God gave them more than a dozen students, but they obviously didn't see or feel the existence of this Holy Father. They continued toward the flyer ahead. Um. And as they approached, Lin Niu, who was lying inside the space item bestowed by heaven, suddenly opened his eyes. That single eye looked out. He looked at a figure not far away, his eyes shining brightly. In order to prevent being discovered, Lin Niu didn't look too much and turned his eyes away. He hesitated for a moment, took out the communicator, and sent a message to Wang Xian. Boss, we have just met a strong Tian Yu and good fortune man with a light attribute, and we haven't distanced ourselves from him yet. After Lin Niu sent the message, he waited quietly. He also didn't notify Tian Si, and didn't let Tian Si leave. Because the strong Tian Yu and fortune in front is too close. Tell them, but it will attract the attention of the strong Tian Yu and good fortune. Tian Si possessed the supreme treasure of Tian Yu and fortune in his body, but even if he was a strong Tian Yu and fortune, he would not be able to detect what was going on inside him unless he was within a few tens of meters of Tian Si. Therefore, Lin Yu did not act rashly. According to the direction and location of their flight, God sent them to stagger with that old guy, with a distance of four to five kilometers, so they should not be found. Lin Niu looked ahead calculating in his heart. Lin Yu now possesses a branch of Tian Yu and fortune treasure in his body, which is also very powerful in terms of concealment. In the same way, only those who are strong in Tian Yu and good fortune can discover it if they approach him tens of meters. As long as you don't stare at the other party, and don't make the other party feel something, the other party will not be discovered without the treasure investigation of the Tian Yu and good fortune level. More and more Tian Yu and fortune tellers have entered the Six Path universe. Where is the treasure of Tian Yu and fortune hidden? The probability of obtaining the treasure is a bit low. However, even if the chance is one in ten thousand, I can't give up and search here for another one hundred million years, otherwise, I'm really not reconciled. The Holy Father paced in the air, muttering in his mouth. Feeling a little unhappy. He glanced around and once again glanced at a location not far away. There, God gave them more than a dozen students, who were constantly discussing and making plans for the next experience. Noisy. When the Holy Father heard this, he waved his arm a little irritatedly, and an invisible energy enveloped them towards God given them. Grass. Meanwhile, just a few kilometers to the right, Lin Niu sensed that the light attribute Tian Yu and fortune-telling powerhouse suddenly made a move, and his face changed slightly. Damn it, this guy obviously didn't sense Tian Si, and he didn't sense me either. He just wanted to kill Tian Si and them. There was a cold look in Lin Niu's eyes, and he sent a message to Wang Xian instantly. Buzz. In the next moment, Lin Niu's figure appeared directly beside Tian Si. A surge of energy surged from his body. The energy directly knocked a dozen or so students beside TNC into a coma. A wave of energy enveloped them, and then put them away. At the same time, 
a wave of energy enveloped Tianxi's body. Boom! Immediately afterwards, a wave of energy fell on the defensive cover. The sudden change, Linia's sudden appearance and attack made Tianxi, who still had a smile on his face, completely froze. He looked at Linyu in astonishment. There are strong people who want to kill you. Lin Niu turned to the stunned Tianxi and said. Xiao Niu, you can talk. Tianxi looked at Linyu who suddenly spoke, with a look of astonishment on his face. This was a pet given to him by his adoptive father on his first birthday. At that time, the adoptive father said that he was his younger brother, and he followed him to protect his own safety. Nearly 100 million years have passed, except for a slightly cute appearance, Linyu has not shown any difference. Now he suddenly made a move and spit out words. This surprised Tianxi very much. Let's get out of here directly. Lin Niu was a little speechless about Tianxi's title. But this time is not the time to talk to Tianxi. Now the other party has not discovered the situation in Tianxi's body. Get out of here immediately, get rid of it. Walk. As Lin Niu said, he immediately grew bigger, with a body of about 10 meters, making Tianxi sit on it. Afterwards, Lin Niu quickly flew towards the rear. Um. At the side. The Holy Father waved his hand casually, but he didn't look at the dozen or so teenagers at the side. In his opinion, he just waved his hand to wipe out a dozen noisy ants. If you are in a bad mood, so what if you run over a few ants? However, when he saw that his attack was blocked. Seeing the sudden appearance of a strong man with the appearance of a monster, a look of astonishment appeared on his face. That's it. That monster beast expert is a Tianyuan fortune expert. The energy he uses is not from the Six Paths universe. What's the situation? The Holy Father narrowed his eyes slightly. It's a bit strange, very strange. Why would a strong Tianyuan good fortune follow a kid who is only at the level of the Supreme Master of the universe, and protect him all the time? Impossible. How can a strong Tianyu and good fortune want to secretly protect a boy from the six universes, and let him sit on his body, there is absolutely a problem. His eyes were shining brightly, and thoughts were spinning in his mind. The light covers the earth. Shang Hui stares at the earth. The Holy Father also did not hesitate at all, with a movement of his palm, a staff appeared in his hand. His pupils glowed brightly. The energy in the pupil is injected into the hair opening. A wave of holy light enveloped the front in an instant. The speed is fast, much faster than Linyu's. Roll. Lin Niu let out a low growl when he saw this holy light enveloping them. On his scales, devil-like symbols went directly to the sky. A blood-red sky formed. The sky curtain directly blocked the sky behind. Tsitsizi. The light collided with the sky, and the sound of sizzling kept ringing. Condensation. The Holy Father moved, stepped on the holy light, and quickly chased away. At the same time, the holy light above him condensed into a gigantic eye of holy light. The huge eye of holy light instantly dispersed into countless pupils. The pupils covered Linyu in all directions, like countless moths flying towards the flames. The pupil of evil. The flower of the pupil. Lin Niu sensed the situation behind him, and his complexion changed slightly, and energy also burst out from one single eye. Behind him, the illusory one eyed condensed. Suspended in the sky. In the center of this one eyed eye, there is an incomparably gorgeous flower. The weird and evil pupils exude a strange light. Tian Yuan Hua, you are a strong man of Tian Yuan Hua and you actually protect a kid in the realm of the universe of the six universes. Seeing Linyu's terrifying attack, the Holy Father's face changed slightly, full of solemnity. His own strength belongs to the veteran Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse. Beginner level, veteran Tianyuan fortune. That is to say, he can fight against two strong men who have just stepped into Tianyuan fortune. However, according to his induction, Linyu's strength is not much weaker than him. Although Lin Niu stepped into Tianyuan good fortune not long ago. 
but his ascension absorbed all the memory and energy of the Aga Heavenly Demon God. Aga Tian Mashan is the old-fashioned Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse. I still need you to take care of my work, I warn you, get out immediately, otherwise, don't blame me for being rude. Lin Niu glanced at the Holy Father, and said with a murderous look on his face. Can you make a Tian Yuan good fortune willingly guard by a kid's side? Then. The Holy Father didn't care about the majesty of Lin Yu, and a fiery luster slowly bloomed in his eyes. It doesn't take a second thought to know that a strong Tian Yuan good fortune is guarding the side of a boy of the six universes, it is absolutely weird. What kind of situation can make a strong Tian Yuan good luck do such a thing? Only when it comes to great treasures. Ready to come out. The Tian Yuan fortune telling treasure of the six universes. Light, everywhere. The Holy Father's body immediately burst into bursts of light and the entire piece of light directly enveloped the world. It also wrapped Lin Yu in an instant. Lin Niu saw that violent energy surged from his body, supporting a surrounding field. Tian Yuan Fortune, Maverick is actually a Tian Yuan Fortune level existence. At the same time, Tian Si on Lin Yu's body was completely dumbfounded. He felt the terrifying power of Lin Yu and the Holy Father in front of him. Hearing their words, my heart was overwhelmed. Tian Yuan Fortune, what level of existence is this? This he knows. That is the supreme existence. It is the most top level existence in the entire Six Path Universe. According to the president of the college, in their six universes, there are three supreme adults. These three adults are the strongest in their six universes. And the realm of these three adults is the realm of Tian Yuan Good Fortune. And the maverick who has been following him for nearly 100 million years and has never made a move or talked to him is actually Tian Yuan. How dare he believe this? This simply shocked him. That calf is a strong man of Tian Yuan creation, isn't his adoptive father also? Maverick is the younger brother of his adoptive father. This? Hey? This, this, how is this possible? That little guy actually has a treasure of heavenly fortune in his body, and the treasure of heavenly fortune from the six universes is actually in his body. At this time, a slightly crazy voice came from the front. The Holy Father stared at Tian Si, his eyes were full of greed, passion, and madness. Tian Yuan is a treasure of good fortune. Tian Yuan's treasure of good fortune is actually right in front of his eyes looking for treasures of 100 million years by myself. It was discovered by myself. Feeling the gaze of the Holy Father, Tian Si was startled, and a wave of fear and horror flooded into his heart. Facing the eyes of a strong man with Tian Yuan fortune, he couldn't bear it at all. Hey? Damn it, it was discovered. Seeing Tian Si's identity exposed, Lin Yu's face changed slightly. This is not good news. At present, Tian Si has not yet grown up, and if their identities are completely announced, they will not be able to keep them at all. A heavenly treasure is in his body, but you didn't take it away. Is there any special reason? The Holy Father continued to speak, breathing slowly and quickly, or, wait for me to take it away. Wishful stuff. When Lin Niu heard his words, his eyes were filled with violent killing intent. He didn't continue to run away, and slowly raised his head. Devil God, flower of death, explode. Located above him, the eyes with blood-red flowers in the pupils bloomed one by one. The petals directly attacked the Holy Father. Sacred Bell, today I will fight you to death and obtain amazing fortune. The Holy Father was extremely fanatical, and with a wave of his arm, a clock of the of light was suspended in the sky. The divine clock of light grows bigger, covering the whole world. Lin Niu saw that the other party wanted to trap them with the divine clock, his eyes flickered, and he did not dodge. There was no attack on the divine clock. Boom boom boom. The impact of energy and mighty power continuously roared in the divine bell of light. The Holy Father of the Tian Yu and good fortune level with the light attribute kept bombarding Lin Niu with fiery eyes. After fighting for more than 20 hours, 
he has already been able to realize that Liniu is not his opponent. Especially in the life and death fight at the beginning, although he was injured, he still occupied the top. This filled him with excitement. Even if he was seriously injured, he would still take away this treasure of good fortune today. Bring it back to your own universe. In that case, one's own strength can be greatly improved. In the face of the coming of calamity, there is no fear. Fighting continued. TNC, who was on Liniu's body, was lying on his body, his face still full of shock. He can only see the mighty energy around him. Feel like a leaf in the ocean. Death is possible at any time. Now, he also understands his current situation. TNC is a smart person. According to the information he knew, he had a clear understanding of himself. In the six universes, there were invaders from other universes 100 million years ago. His grandfather was even confiscated and joined a team hunting the intruders. And these intruders, even the three adults of their six universes, can't do anything, their specific strength can be imagined. He also knew the purpose of these intruders entering the Six Paths universe. It is to seize a treasure of the six universes. As for what kind of treasure it is, the strong disciples of the six universes don't know. Now he understands that he is that treasure. Once he is discovered, he will be killed, and the treasures in his body will also be taken away. This made his body tremble. It's no wonder the adoptive father didn't let me reveal the wood attribute, no wonder the adoptive father put a seal on his body. TNC knew something in his heart. He looked at the Liniu, his expression changed. Uncle Maverick, should we run away, you are injured. TNC said to Liniu. Do not worry. Lin Niu sent a sound transmission to him, said something, and continued to face the attack ahead. Ho ho. After dozens of minutes, Lin Niu suddenly roared. If you want to fight with me, let's see who lives and who dies today. Lin Niu became violent in an instant, instead of passively continuing to defend. All kinds of symbols on the scales of his body shot out from the body, and these symbols turned into strange and terrifying phantoms. One phantom, like a demon god. Ha ha ha, okay, okay, let's decide whether to live or die, ha ha. Seeing that Linia was going to fight him to the death, the Holy Father laughed wildly. His eyes glowed, and he went straight to Linia, fully attacking in melee. Boom boom boom. Linia confronted him, and the terrifying energy impacted the flesh and blood of both sides. In less than five minutes, wounds appeared on their bodies. According to this kind of tragic battle, I am afraid that it will not be long before there will be a winner. Buzz. However, at this moment, a figure flew over quickly from the outside position. Wang Xian was standing in front of him, looking forward, his eyes were shining brightly. The veteran Tian Yu and good luck expert is slightly stronger than Lin Yu. If you add yourself and the five elements great mill, you should be able to kill him. Wang Xian murmured. His eyes were fixed, and grey energy flickered in his pupils. This divine clock with a light attribute turned out to be a fragment of a shattered heavenly treasure. Wang Xian looked at the divine clock. Tian Yuan's treasure of good fortune is not indestructible. Control level. Avenue level, if you keep attacking a Tian Yuan treasure, you can break it. Especially Tian Yuan Good Fortune Supreme Treasure, which has not yet reached its peak. It can be said that the treasure of Tian Yuan Fortune is the same as the strong Tian Yuan Fortune, and it can also be defeated. But the difference is that the treasure of Tian Yuan Good Fortune can only be smashed, not completely wiped out. The shattered Tian Yuan Fortune treasure still contains some power. If you can find all the fragments and spend a lot of time and energy on breeding, you can still recover. Whoosh! In the next moment, Wang Xian came to the top of the Divine Bell of Light. With a wave of his palm, the five elements grinding machine appeared beside him. The fragments of the Star Field, the Book of the Forbidden Water Curse, and the fragments of the two Tian Yuan treasures also appeared in his hand. Boom! In the next moment, 
Wang Xian controlled the fragments of the star field and the Book of Water Forbidden Spells, and they all bombarded towards the Divine Clock. At the same time, the Great Mill of the Five Elements also unleashed a powerful attack, heading towards it. Boom! The sudden attack caused a huge gap to be quickly broken through the entire defensive cover of the Divine Clock. And, the rest of the way, the energy shields are starting to crumble. Pfft, it's not good, there are other Tian Yuan fortune tellers coming. At this moment, the Holy Father who was fighting with Linyu suddenly sensed that the defense of the Divine Clock had been breached. Shen Zhong suffered a huge attack, his expression changed drastically, and he couldn't help spitting out blood from his mouth. The Divine Clock was conceived by him and became one with him. If he was severely injured by the attack, his body would also be injured. It's like a gift from heaven, taking away the treasure of heaven and fortune in his body also means the end of his life. Ho ho, die. Lin Niu's eyes glowed with brilliance, and the horn on top of his head burst into blood-red energy, directly charging towards him. Stop it, there are foreign Tian Yuan fortune tellers, if you fight with me, you won't get a good result. The Holy Father saw Lin Niu fighting towards him, because under the impact of the Divine Clock, his body also suffered an impact. This made him look very embarrassed. In such a short period of time, a strong Tian Yuan fortune discovered this place. My luck is so bad. Kill. However, at this time, a cold voice came into his ears. Located in the sky above, after Wang Xian broke through the defense of the Divine Clock, his arm immediately turned into a dragon's claw. The terrifying dragon claws, carrying destructive energy, grabbed his body directly. Melee Wang Xian also completely engaged in melee combat, a completely desperate style of fighting. Oops, are you in the same group? He saw Wang Xian attacking him directly, with a look of shock and anger on his face. He didn't expect that Linia would have a helper. Roll With a low growl, he waved the staff in his hand. The sharp thorns on it, like laser light, greeted Wang Xian. Wang Xian didn't dodge at all, and the dragon claw still attacked. In the rear position, on the Five Elements Great Mill, the heads of five dragons are intertwined, forming a multicolored dragon head. The dragon's head, the dragon's head, attacked this bright attribute Tian Yu and good luck expert. Damn it, they want to fight me. When the Holy Father saw that Wang Xian was facing his attack, he did not dodge in the slightest. When he was about to completely fight against him, his face changed drastically. He is confident that he will kill Lin Yu, but now that there is another strong Tian Yu in fortune, he is definitely not their opponent. In this case, once you continue to fight, you will die 100% yourself. To escape. However, if you want to escape, you must get rid of their attacks. Boom. At this moment, Wang Xian's dragon claw collided with the staff in his hand. Terrifying energy rushed towards the surroundings. The rain in the sky evaporated instantly. Even the sea water below was annihilated by the energy and disappeared. The flesh and blood on Wang Xian's dragon claws instantly became bloody, and the claws almost fell off. However, the Holy Father was not happy either. Their battles are completely close combat, and their bodies are the first to be impacted by energy. The arm holding the staff collapsed immediately, and the flesh and blood disappeared, leaving only pale bones. It also looks extremely tragic. Buzz. But at this time, the Great Mill of the Five Elements followed closely behind Wang Xian. The colorful dragon head attacked him. The distance between the two sides is too close. Originally, he was fighting with Lin Yu, and he was going to end the battle quickly, so he suffered many injuries, not minor ones. Now that Wang Xian came out suddenly, he couldn't dodge it at all. After dodging Wang Xian's attack, the attack of the Great Mill of the Five Elements also fell on him. Boom! The Five Element Dragon Head landed directly on his body. The Holy Father's eyes were about to split open and a dazzling white light burst out from his whole body. Take out a divine herb and put it directly into your body. Boom! 
The five element dragon's head landed on his body, and the position of his chest burst out with a powerful brilliance. A bright shield, with patterns tattooed on it, resists the front. But although it withstood the attack of the five elements dragon head, its body fell violently downwards. Lin Niu stared at this scene. Fighting, don't you want to fight? Ha ha ha, let's see who dies today, it, let you be arrogant. Lin Niu raised his head slightly, and the blood-red energy all over his body began to gather. Behind him, a phantom of a demon emerged. The demon god slowly spread out his arms, and embraced the Holy Father. The threat of death enveloped the Holy Father again. Ah! Seeing the successive attacks, the Holy Father roared fiercely. The magic staff that fell to the side instantly came to the sky above him, and the staff turned into a defensive cover, covering it. Boom! The embrace of the demon god envelopes the Holy Father, and the great terror takes place within it. Countless devils are biting him inside. With a movement of Wang Xian's body and a wave of his arm, he cast the lock of the fragments of the star field. At the same time, stars emerged one after another, connecting the city with a line. Buzz! The energy of the demon god's embrace slowly began to dissipate. With a wave of Wang Xian's arm, stars containing terrifying power attacked the Holy Father one after another. This, Foster Father, Foster Father is here. From Wang Xian's arrival to his attack, everything happened in an instant. Tian Si, who was lying on Lin Yu's body, saw Wang Xian's figure, his eyes widened, and a look of surprise appeared on his face. Seeing the terrifying stars lined up in a row with no end in sight, his face was also full of shock. My adoptive father is 100% a strong Tian Yu and good fortune. The world's top powerhouse. You should die, you should die. If you dare to kill me, I will spread the news that you have obtained the treasure of heavenly creation. The Holy Father saw a series of terrifying attacks coming towards him one after another, his tragic body trembled violently, and he roared loudly. Kill him with all your might. Wang Xian stared at the Holy Father with a cold look in his eyes. Tian Si was discovered by him, no matter what happens next, he must never let it go. On the contrary, after beheading him, he would be resurrected in his own universe, even if he rushed over, it would take him a long time. As for saying that he will announce the matter of godsend. Wang Xian felt that the possibility of this was very small. Now, kill him and buy more time. As long as Tian Si grows up, he will not be afraid of anyone, and it will be impossible for other strong men to take away the treasure of Tian Yuan from him. It's the boss. Lin Niu immediately responded loudly, and energy began to brew in his body. When the attack on the planets is over, Lin Niu will launch another full blow. Ho ho! The Holy Father heard Wang Xian's words and saw the terrifying stars. Sensing his own body, he let out an extremely angry roar. With a movement of his palm, a special thread of light appeared in his hand. This long line flew towards the distance in an instant. The speed was so fast that Wang Xian and the others couldn't react at all. When the stars were about to fall on him, his body disappeared immediately. Um. Seeing this scene, Wang Xian narrowed his eyes slightly. He knew that existences of this level had some means of escape. Otherwise, they would not dare to step into the universe of six realms. But it's a pity that at the beginning of the fight with Lin Yu, he was attacked by him, and he was severely injured. The strength of a body is now less than 50%. I want to escape. Pursuit. Wang Xian let out a low growl at Lin Yu, and chased in the direction of that bright line. You guys wait for me, wait for me, Tian Yuan creation supreme treasure belongs to me, belongs to me. The Holy Father is fast fleeing on top of that ray of light. His face is full of ferocious look. This time he failed, he still has a chance. He must get Tian Yuan, the treasure of good fortune, into his hands. Bump. However, at this moment, the sound of impact suddenly came. Located in front of him, a five-element energy blocks the fast flight of the thin line. Seeing this scene, 
the Holy Father's face changed slightly. He recovered from the thin thread state, waved the staff in his hand, and threw it forward. Boom! An invisible energy shield appeared, trembling slightly under his attack. Boom! Seeing the trembling of the energy shield, his arm burst into brilliance, which spread to the top of the staff, and he continued to attack heavily with his teeth gritted. Ka ka ka! Cracks began to appear in the energy shield. He raised his staff again and continued to attack. Attack if you want to attack, can you escape if you want to escape? At this time, at the rear, Wang Xian and Lin Niu were standing on top of a star, and they flew towards this side quickly. Boom! Wang Xian held the five elements grinding mill in his hand, and with a wave of his arm, the five elements grinding mill turned into a terrifying weapon and threw it at him. Damn it! When the Holy Father saw Wang Xian and the others chasing him, his expression changed drastically again. Break it! The Holy Father stared at the invisible energy shield ahead, paid the price, and attacked again. Blood flowed out of his body unstoppably. Bump! But this time, the energy shield in front was broken by him. Boom! But at this time, the attack of the Great Mill of the Five Elements has arrived. He gritted his teeth, stared back with blood-red eyes, and two holy lights burst out from his pupils. The holy light turned into phantoms of countless creatures, attacking towards the Great Mill of Five Elements. Whizzing! Whizzing! Come on, keep fighting, don't run away! Lin Niu and Wang Xian rushed over quickly. Lin Niu stared at the Holy Father, and roared fiercely. One left and one right, they attacked and killed the Holy Father at the same time. I remember you, you wait for me, I will make you pay ten times and a hundred times the price. Seeing this scene, the Holy Father was extremely embarrassed. He opened his mouth in distress, and a cross appeared in front of him. The cross slowly began to melt, and in front of him, a black hole appeared. With a movement of his body, he directly entered the black hole. The moment he entered it, the black hole disappeared. Hey! Boss, this guy has so many tricks, he actually let him escape again. Lin Niu saw the Holy Father running away again, his expression changed slightly, and he said. I'd like to see how many hole cards he has in his hand. Wang Xian also raised his eyebrows. He didn't expect this guy to have cards and treasures. Wang Xian's body trembled, and the Void Searcher sensed the position and distance he fled. Pursuit of the Underworld Dragon In the next moment, Wang Xian's eyes narrowed, and a black hole also appeared in front of him. Wang Xian looked at Lin Niu, Lin Niu moved and flew directly into the black hole. He also followed closely behind. Buzz! Above the fire source! In the position below, raging flames soared into the sky, making the entire void glow red. Countless flame spirits are floating in the surrounding void, looking extremely magnificent from a distance. A black hole suddenly appeared out of thin air. In the next second, a figure covered in misery, blood flowing, and emitting light attributes slowly came out of the black hole. He was panting heavily, his face was extremely cold and full of murderous intent. You wait for me, wait for me. He said with a murderous face. This time, two treasures were consumed, which was not a small loss for him. His expression kept changing, thinking about what to do next. Buzz. But at this moment, a black hole directly appeared on his side. When the black hole appeared, he was taken aback, with a look of horror on his face. Let me see if you still have a hole card to escape. Wang Xian's voice rang in his ears, and the Holy Father saw him and Lin Niu emerging from the black hole, his heart sank. Boom! Without the slightest hesitation, he fled towards the distance in an instant. Find the enemy in the void. Da Yi Tian Long! Wang Xian let out a low growl, and in the sky above, a huge dragon with millions of kilometers was directly suspended in the void. The terrifying dragon is attacking the Holy Father. Whizzing. Lin Niu locked his eyes on the Holy Father, moved his body, and chased him away at the same speed. 
ah! The Holy Father saw that he was locked. With his current injuries, his speed has been greatly reduced, not as fast as Wang Xian and Lin Niu. And the chassis in his hand has also been completely consumed. Entering the Six Paths universe, he only brought two chassis. In his opinion, with two chassis, even if he meets a strong Tian Yu and good fortune from the six universes, he can escape. What's more, bring more chassis, if he really falls, the loss will be too great. Too big for him to bear. Now, he has no chassis. What should I do if there is no chassis and I can't escape? There is some despair in his heart. But at this time, Wang Xian will not let him go. The Daoyi Tian Long in the sky has landed on top of him. Lin Niu also quickly pursued it. In the hands of Lin Niu, it is also holding the Five Elements Great Mill. It's over. Seeing this scene, the Holy Father felt a little powerless. Now, at best, he can resist the Divine Dragon in the sky. Lin Niu's attack, he couldn't resist it. Not to mention, there is also an attacking treasure comparable to Tian Yuan fortune. Boom. Boom. A series of attacks overwhelmed him. Located in the center, there was still bursting bright energy shining at the beginning. But soon, this ray of light slowly went out. This is the universe of the Six Realms, and the universe of the Six Realms does not have the attribute of light. Fighting here, he is naturally weaker than Wang Xian. Coupled with Linnea's five elements great grinding, without serious injuries to the chassis, his vitality quickly disappeared. Sensing his rapidly disappearing vitality, Wang Xian showed a smile on his face. With a movement of his body, Wang Xian flew over. With a wave of his hand, the energy shock dissipated, revealing a corpse, which was quickly falling towards the lower position. Wang Xian flew over and collected all the blood from the corpse and the surrounding area. The blood of the strong Tian Yuan fortune is also an incomparably precious treasure. Dead, haha, boss, we have killed another Tian Yuan good luck expert. When Lin Niu saw it, he laughed and flew over, with an excited look on his face. Father, father, you, you killed a strong Tian Yuan good luck. When Tian Si saw this scene and that corpse, his face was full of shock. Today, he was shocked too much. So much so that he is now at the source of the fire, and he didn't even notice it. A strong Tian Yuan fortune was beheaded by his foster father. This simply overturned his cognition. Although he was killed, a strong man of this level has resurrection treasures, but he will have to pay a huge price if he kills them. Wang Xian smiled, put the corpse away, looked at Tian Si, and answered. It's too powerful, foster father, you are simply too powerful, the battle just now was terrifying. Father, I didn't expect you to be so powerful, so powerful. Tian Si's eyes widened, some couldn't digest these things, and some continued to exclaim incoherently. Now you should know something. Lin Niu and I are not creatures from the six universes. We belong to other universes. Of course, this light attribute Tian Yuan fortune maker is also from other universes. When we enter this universe, we will be suppressed by the will of the six universes, and our strength will be suppressed below that of Tian Yuan good fortune. The battle just now is nothing. Okay, let's go back as soon as possible now to avoid any accidents. In addition, we have to make some preparations next. Wang Xianfei came to Linnea's side touched Tian Si's head, and said with a smile. Father, no matter which universe you are in, you are my foster father. I was raised by you and my mother since I was a child. Mother and you are the closest people in my life. And I also know that foster father, you really treat me well and want to protect me. Tian Si listened to Wang Xian's words and said to him seriously. He will never forget that when he was just born his cultivation speed was slow. It was my adoptive father who told me that I was born extraordinary. Teach yourself to practice the wood attribute. I will never forget that when I encountered some problems, it was my adoptive father who taught me. Not to mention, everything the foster father is doing now is for his own good. 
if it weren't for the righteous father, I'm afraid he would have been discovered and killed by some strong men. In addition, with the improvement of his own strength and the growth of the treasure of heaven and earth in his body, he also knew why he was so close to his adoptive father since he was a child. Because he vaguely felt that in the body of his adoptive father, there was also a treasure with the same attributes as his body. Now that he has grown up, he can think clearly about many problems by himself. Hee <laughs> hee, let's go. Wang Xian smiled, and quickly flew towards the water source with Tian Si. Father, is this the source of fire? We came here directly, and it is very far from the source of water. Father, your speed is so fast, so scary, when will I be able to have such a fast speed? Not good, adoptive father, a dozen of my classmates and I are going to hunt elemental beasts, what should we do now? Tian Si sat on Liniu's body, glanced around, and spoke in surprise. I'll take care of what you've experienced, and I'll just transfer some memories directly into your classmates' minds. Wang Xian replied to Tian Si. Modify memory? Is it so powerful? Tian Si asked in surprise. As long as you have cultivated this type of ability, it's very simple for the strong to cast it on the weak. Wang Xian nodded. There's this kind of thing, it's kind of scary, father-in-law, what if someone modifies my memory? No, you have the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune in your body. Even the strongest of Tian Yuan fortune want to obtain such treasures crazily. With your current strength, even the strongest of Tian Yuan fortune will not want to modify your memory. The heavenly essence in your body is a treasure of good fortune, and has some ability to protect itself. Tian Si chatted with Wang Xian, and they quickly flew towards the water source. From here to the water source, the distance is still very far, at least a month. This is still the case of passing through the midway teleportation array. God gave them ten years to practice, so this month has no effect on them. Damn it, the treasure of Tian Yuan good fortune, the treasure of heavenly Yuan good fortune, was actually in a boy's body that day completely fused with that boy, the treasure of heavenly you and good fortune, was born, and fused with a young boy. Besides him, there are actually two powerful Tian Yuan fortune tellers guarding him. What are those two Tian Yuan fortune tellers doing? Why didn't they just take the treasure away? When Wang Xian and the others were on their way, at the same time, they were located in a universe. The center of the huge basin is shrouded in bright energy. In the sky above, there are countless light elves flying. Located in the center below, an old man sat cross-legged there. The old man's body was illusory, and gradually began to solidify. He made a low voice, and his face was very embarrassing. He was just beheaded by Wang Xian and the others, an existence of the level of good fortune of the light attribute Tian Yuan. After death, he resurrected in his own universe. This resurrection cost him a lot. Moreover, his own corpse is also an incomparably huge resource. Inside that corpse, there were two weapons of his own. A shard of Tian Yuan fortune, a powerful weapon. They were all his treasures, and now they are all gone. Now, even if he recovers completely, he will not be able to return to his peak combat effectiveness. Tian Yuan fortune is the ultimate treasure we can't just forget about it. Now the surroundings of the six universes are guarded by other Tian Yuan fortune experts. With all kinds of powerful detection methods, it should be difficult for them to take the treasure out. However, their strength is much stronger than myself, and I am not an opponent at all. He muttered in his mouth, his face changed, and he kept thinking. It seems that we need to find some helpers. He was silent for tens of minutes before speaking. He is not an opponent himself, he can only find other strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers to cooperate with. This is also impossible. It's here, God sent you to continue your training, and come to me after it's over. More than a month later, Wang Xian and the others came to the water source again. He said to Tian Si. Yeah, good foster father. Tian Si nodded. Then Wang Xian left directly, while Lin Niu continued to follow Tian Si. 
but this time, in order to prevent accidents, Wang Xian didn't leave too far away. Instead, he came to a location not far from Godsend. There is no difference between the place where I live temporarily and here. Arriving at a seabed in the water source, Wang Xian moved his palm, and the corpse of the strong man of the bright heavenly origin appeared in front of him. Light a tribute. Wang Xian's eyes shone brightly, and he's an old-fashioned Tian Yuan fortune maker. With a movement of his palm, he searched the corpse and found a space object. In this spatial object, Wang Xian found a fragment of Tian Yuan creation, that is, the divine clock of light. In addition, there is a staff and some resources of light attributes. There are not many resources, but the value of the staff of light and the fragments of Tian Yuan fortune is very high. The staff is obviously forged from treasures found in the chaos, and it cannot be compared with innate treasures. Now that I have the corpse of an old Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse with a light attribute, and a magic staff, can the Taiji dragon plate make a breakthrough? Wang Xian had some expectations in his heart. Last time, the Tai Chi Dragon Pan absorbed a large amount of resources and treasures, and even the corpse of a strong Tian Yuan fortune maker failed to make the Tai Chi Dragon Pan break through. Absorbing another one this time, should be able to break through, right? Once he breaks through, Wang Xian's combat power will be greatly improved. It's not so easy to get the corpse of a strong Tian Yuan fortune. It's absolutely precious. As Wang Xian said, he took out the Tai Chi dragon plate and ordered it to devour it. Then he looked at the divine clock of light. After looking around, I have some understanding. This divine clock of light belongs to the treasure of defense and trapping human beings, and its power is similar to that of star field fragments. It is weaker than the Book of Water Forbidden Curse. The Book of Water Forbidden Curse in Wang Xian's hands belongs to two-thirds of Tian Yuan's creation treasure. Compared with a complete Tian Yuan fortune, there is a huge gap in power between the fragments of Tian Yuan fortune treasure. Even the Book of the Water Forbidden Curse in Wang Xian's hands is a two-thirds part of a Tian Yuan good fortune. But in terms of power, there is still a huge gap compared with the complete Tian Yuan creation. This gap is more than ten times. However, Wang Xian possessed three shards of Tian Yuan Fortune Supreme Treasure, and he already had a great advantage in a battle of the same level. However, facing the veteran Tian Yuan Fortune Telling Powerhouse, the advantage may not be very great. Veteran Tian Yuan Fortune Tellers, who have explored the chaos for tens of billions of years, generally have a lot of cards in their hands. The reason why Wang Xian was able to kill the strong Tian Yuan fortune these two times was because they didn't take all of their trump cards. Father, our experience is over, I'll go find you right now. Two years later, Tian Si sent a message to Wang Xian. When Wang Xian saw it, he moved back to the place where he lived. Not long after, Lin Niu rushed over with Tian Si. How's your experience going? Seeing Tian Si coming, Wang Xian asked with a smile on his face. Hey, adoptive father, in our entire Mulai tribal college, except for two students who are much older than me with better grades than me, everyone else is inferior to me. Tian Si said with a little pride, and in a battle of the same level, I am completely invincible, but this is all because of your good teaching father. Wang Xian smiled when he heard some flattering words from him. He grew up watching Tian Si and he knows Tianxi's character and some habits like the back of his hand. Although he is nearly 100 million years old now, in front of him, he is just a child. Sometimes I will show off my proud achievements. Will flatter. There is almost nothing to say to him. Come sit down and let me tell you something. Wang Xian gestured to the seat in front of him, and said to Tianxi. Father, do you want to tell me everything? Tian Si looked at Wang Xian with a look of expectation on his face. Although he had guessed a large part of it, he still hoped to learn the real situation from Wang Xian. Wang Xian didn't answer him, and with a wave of his arm, a wave of energy completely surrounded the surroundings. More than 90 million years ago, I came to the universe of six realms, so it has been close to 100 million years. 
Wang Xian took out a teacup and poured a cup of tea. Tian Si looked at Wang Xian and listened carefully. I come from the Nine Origins universe. In our Nine Origins universe, a senior said that the Six Paths universe will have the supreme treasure of heavenly origin. You may not know about the supreme treasure of heavenly origin, but you just need to know that it is the most top-level treasure in the universe. Not long after I got the news, I rushed over. I heard that this news was predicted by a powerful Tianyuan fortune-telling expert. There are many experts who know this news. Many heavenly creation powerhouses from the universe have rushed over. As for the exact number, I don't know, but up to now, there must be no less than 50 or 60. All the powerhouses are all for the treasure of heaven. Wang Xian looked at him and spoke quietly. At least 50 or 60. Are they all at your foster father's level? When Tian Si heard it, his eyes widened slightly. Some are stronger than me, and some are weaker than me. Father, I am the leader of the Dragon Palace of Jiuyuan Universe, the king of the Dragon Clan, but according to the information I have received, the so-called three adults in your six universes seem to be all the strong ones who have just entered Tianyu and have not existed for a long time, and most of the coming Tianyuan are not weaker than your three adults, or even stronger. However, this is the universe of the six realms, and the calamity has not yet come. If we enter, our strength will be suppressed. Wang Xian said to him. You need to know this in the future. I'm mainly telling you about the preciousness of Tianyuan fortune treasures. Wang Xian looked at him, in Zhuyuan universe, Foster father belongs to the Shenlong clan, and in the past, the Shenlong clan experienced an extermination once, and I only rose later and established the Dragon Palace. In the glorious period of the Shenlong clan, there were hundreds of thousands of strong men in the realm of universe dominance, many powerhouses in the pinnacle of universe dominance, and even a legendary dragon king who ruled in the pinnacle realm. In addition, the Shenlong family has a Tianyuan fortune an old brand, a Tianyuan fortune that is stronger than the beginner level. And the Shenlong clan was exterminated because they competed with another peak race, another race that possessed the existence of Tianyuan fortune, for a treasure of Tianyuan fortune, and both died. This is the preciousness of a heavenly treasure. Wang Xian looked at him and said. When Tian Si heard this, he opened his mouth slightly, his face full of disbelief. Then, the adoptive father, if I am discovered, what will happen? He couldn't help asking. There is only one result, stripping away the treasure of good fortune in your body. Wang Xian looked at him and said, You are one with Tianyuan's creation supreme treasure. It's not because of any other reason that you don't have a father now, but because you were born, and you came directly into your mother's belly. This. Tian Si was a little dazed when he heard this. This matter is a very big secret to him. When I was young, some children said that he was a without a father. It turns out that everything is because of this reason. Wang Xian drank tea, waiting for him to digest the news. Then my mother, adoptive father, should I be more careful in the future so that no one can find out? Tian Si opened his mouth, frowned and said. You've been exposed. That strong Tianyuan fortune will not give up, but you can buy some time now. As long as you can step into the realm of Tianyuan fortune, then there will be no problem. In addition, I gave you the fruit of the reincarnation, which is the fruit of resurrection. If you are killed, you can be resurrected. In addition, I will give you a branch of the soul returning wood later to see if it can absorb and grow the heavenly treasure in your body. If it is possible, you can be resurrected directly after you die in the future. Wang Xian said to him, I can bring you back to my universe now, and make you grow to the realm of heavenly creation, but in life, there are always some difficulties. From now on, you live normally. If you really die, then go back to my universe, honestly upgrade to the realm of Tianyuan creation, and come back to take revenge in the future. The most important thing is that you are a creature of the Six Paths universe, and you will be suppressed if you enter the Nine Origins universe. Here are your relatives and your tribe. Wang Xian looked at him and patted his head. 
the last sentence is his sincere words. He has now regarded TNC as his son. The root of TNC is in the six universes, where mother, grandparents, relatives, and friends are all here. It would be unfair to take him away. Wang Xian still has no children of her own. For nearly 100 million years, he has been playing the role of God-given foster father. Without his father's gift, Wang Xian is equivalent to his father. Also shoulder the responsibility. Guide him, teach him. In Wang Xian's eyes, this is the child he watched grow up. Father. Tian Si listened to Wang Xian's words and looked at him with a moved expression on his face. He couldn't help but knelt on the ground and kowtowed to Wang Xian a few times. Father, from now on, I will practice with all my heart, and I will be promoted to the realm of good fortune as soon as possible, and I will follow my father in the universe in the future. Tian Si turned to Wang Xian and said heavily. He he. Wang Xian looked at him, smiled, and then shook his head at him, Next, your first task is not to cultivate, but to live. By the way, you are about to be hundreds of millions of years old, so you can find a girlfriend's, look for friendship, enjoy family and love, and live a good life. As the father of a child, Wang Xian doesn't want him to practice all day long. He even hopes that he can make some friends, meet some people, and have a relationship. Enjoy family affection. Live a full life. Once it reaches the realm of Tian Yuan creation, these things will be lacking instead. Ordinary cultivators would not dare to make friends with strong Tian Yuan good fortune. There is no such thing as true love in Tian Yuan. There is not much pure love. Take advantage of this time to be young, but to enjoy it. As for TNC's promotion to the realm of Tian Yuan creation, it can be of great help to him. Wang Xian didn't care about this. What a joke, he, Wang Xian, needs his own children to fight side by side with him. He wants to use his own strength to create a piece of sky. This, foster father, this, this. TNC opened his mouth, not knowing what to say. Just live a good life and see if I can find a daughter-in-law for my adoptive father. Wang Xian stood up, patted his head, and said with a smile. This, adoptive father, I don't have a girl I like yet. Tian Si stood up with a slightly red face. Don't worry, if you encounter it, go after it boldly, don't be afraid. Wang Xian smiled and said to him. Tian Si opened his mouth and smiled, but did not speak. Soon, Mu Li Yin rushed over, and the three of them had a meal together. This time, the experience of the Mu Lai tribe is over. In the next period of time, Tian Si will be arranged to practice for millions of years in a cave in the tribe, and then participate in the Six Dao Universe Martial Arts Conference. Six universes are starting to prepare for the next calamity. Start to select some elite disciples. Tian Si stayed at home for a year and then began to practice. The Tai Chi dragon plate itself has absorbed a lot of power. There is only one shackle, and now there is a corpse of a strong man with a bright attribute of heaven and earth. With some resources, it should be fine. After Tian Si entered the paradise paradise to practice, Wang Xian began to study the Taiji dragon pan. The improvement of the Tai Chi dragon plate is very important to Wang Xian and to dragon palace. After all, the improvement of the Taiji Dragon Pan is equivalent to Wang Xian's combat power at the level of Tian Yuan Fortune. A combat power at the level of Tian Yuan Good Fortune is very terrifying. The entire Jiuyuan universe is just nine people. If the Taiji Dragon Pan is improved again, it is equivalent to having four strong Tian Yuan Fortune Tellers on my side. Comparable to two mastery levels of Tian Yuan Fortune. Perhaps only the fallen shadow demon king can suppress Wang Xian and the others. As for whether Wang Xian and the others can be beheaded, it's hard to say. Moreover, this is of great help to the dangers that may be faced next. Wang Xian helped Tai Chi Dragon Pan to absorb the energy of the corpse, and helped it absorb the energy of that staff. Time is also passing fast. Buzz. Five million years later, a deep voice came from the Tai Chi Dragon Pan. 
the two dragons are constantly intertwined and blended together. Waves of powerful aura came out from the Tai Chi dragon plate. With time, the light dragon and the dark dragon slowly merged together. Two divine dragons merged into one divine dragon. Ho ho! When the two dragons are completely fused together, a special dragon appears. The Yin Yang Divine Dragon, which was full of light energy but possessed black dragon scales, appeared in front of Wang Xian. The power of light and darkness, perfectly blended together. Slowly, the dragon turned into a disc. Yuan Pan, the whole body is pitch black, but exudes a dazzling white light, as weird as it looks. Wang Xian sensed the energy on the Tai Chi dragon plate, and smiled on his face. Finally, a breakthrough. It put a smile on his face. Breakthrough of the Tai Chi dragon plate, the strength has greatly increased. Wang Xian said with a smile all over his face. This is very good news. The breakthrough of the Tai Chi dragon plate is a little difficult to say, but it is also a little simple to say. Along with the breakthrough of the Tai Chi Dragon Plate, Wang Xian had an idea in his mind. The formation of these two treasures, the Great Mill of the Five Elements and the Tai Chi Dragon Plate, may be a follower of the Shenlong clan. Including Wang Xian's ability to become a Nine Source Dragon, it may be the arrangement of the Once Peak Dragon clan. Otherwise, how could there be so many shocking treasures on such a small earth? This may be the arrangement of the Shenlong family before their demise. Arrange the origin of the five elements and the power of yin and yang to make them into treasures, which can be promoted to Tianyuan good fortune. It is arranged that the ancestral tree will be discovered and obtained by the inheritors of the Shenlong system. Arrange for the inheritors of the dragon to evolve into the dragon of Zhuyuan. If not, why didn't the Lord Water God Dragon of the Shenlong clan leave his inheritance to the inheritors of the Shenlong? How about making it break through to Tianyuan good fortune with the water attribute? This may be a follower of the Water Dragon of the Dragon clan. Because she was worried that after her fall, there would be someone with a strong water attribute who would break through to Tianyuan fortune and occupy the place of the Shenlong clan. That's why it's arranged like this. If this is the case, that Lord Water God Dragon is really powerful, but at present, I have completely exhausted the foundation of the Shenlong clan. Wang Xian thought to himself. But what Wang Xian didn't know was that his guess was wrong in some places. But Wang Xian didn't think too deeply, he was able to get to this point, and Wang Xian relied on his own hands. The most important of these is to subdue Linyu. Next, it's time to wait for the day when God Send is in danger. We must make some preparations and let Ainli come over. Wang Xian put away the Tai Chi dragon plate, muttered in his mouth, and walked outside. He had a premonition that the light attribute Tian Yuan fortune maker who was killed by them last time was coming. The breakthrough of the Tai Chi dragon plate made Wang Xian relax. For the next period of time, he wandered leisurely in the Mulai tribe every day. Tian Si is practicing, and Tian Si's mother, Mu Lian Er, is also practicing. Mu Li Yin Er is very young, and she cannot fall behind in her cultivation. Otherwise, there would be no status in the Mu Lai tribe. Any tribe is based on strength. Strong strength means high status. Even if there are powerful elders, one's own strength still cannot be left behind. Otherwise, others will not respect you because your father is strong. Mulai Yinner was in the Mulai tribe, and she was once a generation of heavenly daughters with outstanding talents. Even now, her talent is very powerful in her generation. Strength is also at the top. However, after TNC was born, he kept a low profile a lot. It's okay not to be low-key, there are too many gossips in the tribe. Father, I'll be at your house soon, I have something to tell you. Tens of thousands of years have passed, and on this day, God Sen sent a message. When Wang Xian received his message, he smiled and replied immediately. Father. Ten minutes later, a divine voice sounded in the room. Come in. Wang Xian said to him, Tian Si opened the door and entered. Lin Niu also followed beside him, his eyes shining brightly. 
Father, I have something important to tell you. During the period of my cultivation, the treasure in my body has grown a little more, and it has also grown a powerful skill and grown a few branches. Tianxi walked up to Wang Xian and said excitedly. Oh? Let me see. Wang Xian raised his eyebrows, put his palm on Tianxi's body, and sensed his situation. The realm of the water attribute, the fifth order realm of the venerable universe. The realm of the wood attribute, the realm of the fourth order master of the universe. The universe dominates the fourth order realm. Speaking of this strength, it is already considered an elite existence in any universe. And the heavenly element in his body, the treasure of good fortune, has been growing with the improvement of his strength. The tree in his body is already tens of meters in size. There are many branches on it. Among them are the branches of the soul returning wood. The branches of the soul returning wood grow completely on it. In addition, there are hundreds of branches. Each branch has different abilities and different attack methods. Regardless of the fact that TNC's current realm is only the fourth order realm of the master of the universe, if he really fights, the eighth order realm of the master of the universe may not necessarily be his opponent. The attacking Tianyu and fortune telling treasure is very terrifying. Of these hundreds of branches, most of them are known to Wang Xian. But compared to before, there are more branches. At the root, there are a lot of dense roots. At the top position, there are two very eye-catching branches. These two branches are somewhat illusory, but they are also very eye-catching among all the branches. Father, this new branch is very powerful, I call it the Shen Mu, I'll cover it up for you. As Tian Si said, with a movement of his palm, an illusory branch appeared in his hand. Holding the branch, he moved his body, and a figure exactly like him appeared in front of him. Seeing this figure exactly like him, Wang Xian raised his eyebrows slightly. Buzz! Tian Si waved his arm, and waved towards the figure that was exactly like him. A very common attack. The identical body was located 10 meters away, and it seemed that it could not be attacked at all. But in the next second, the grey branch fell directly on the body that was exactly the same as his. Bump! That body, under this attack, split open directly, and the vitality in the body completely disappeared. Then, it slowly disappeared. Oh! Wang Xian sensed from the side, with a look of surprise on his face. In his induction, whether it is the body that is exactly the same as his, or the grey branches of the Shen Mu, they are all very strange. Hit the Shen Mu branch, wave it casually, the branch seems to be able to teleport, appear in front of the target, and hit it directly. There is no way to hide. And that body was exactly the same as TNC, in Wang Xian's view, the wood attribute energy in his body was not the slightest difference from his own. It is somewhat similar to the ghost clone, but it is also somewhat different. This body has exactly the same strength as TNC, even equivalent to a clone of TNC. Moreover, the energy of this body comes from the position of the root of the treasure of heaven and earth in his body. Sharp. Wang Xian praised without hesitation. Hey, father-in-law, as long as I hold it, I have an attack range in my heart. Within this range, I can attack whoever I want, and the attack will drop instantly. In addition, the clone I just had, I gave it the same root, because it comes from the power of the roots, and now I can use the roots to create a clone that is exactly like me, and has the same strength as me. Even, these avatars, I feel like I am myself. Now, I can create three avatars. TNC said excitedly. In addition, Yufu, Tongan Chen also has an attack method. Similarly, Tongan Chen has an attack range. Within this range, I can make the roots enter the enemy's body, absorb the vitality in his body, and even manipulate the body of the enemy. He went on to add. These two skills are very powerful, and the power of Tian Yuan fortune treasure has begun to appear. When Wang Xian heard this, he was also slightly amazed in his heart. He deserved to be an attacking Tian Yuan fortune-telling treasure. It can be cloned directly, 
and three clones with the same strength as itself can be separated. If he breaks through to the realm of Tianyuan fortune, and then separates into three clones, it is equivalent to being able to compete with four beginners of Tianyuan fortune. As for the hitting Shen Mu, it is also powerful. I'll check it out in detail. As Wang Xian said, the energy of the ancestor tree entered Tianxi's body. When the energy of the ancestral tree touched the supreme treasure of good fortune that day, the sacred tree of good fortune and treasure of heaven was obviously very happy. Speaking of which, TNC was raised by him. The sacred tree in his body was also raised by the ancestral tree. Instill the energy of the ancestor tree in him since he was a child, otherwise, it would not be possible for him to grow so fast. Each branch is entwined with the energy of the ancestral tree, as if welcoming. With the energy of the ancestral tree, Wang Xian sensed the newborn Shen Shen tree and the roots below it. When he touched the roots, an original breath came over. These roots are very important to this sacred tree. Even this sacred tree, the strongest part. This is some information obtained by Wang Xian. Immediately afterwards, a very possible message suddenly flashed in his mind, making his eyes shine. Wang Xian sensed the treasure of heavenly fortune in Tianxi's body. Sensing the root of the same root. There is an idea in his head. The same root produces the use of this ability. According to what Tianxi said, and Wang Xian used energy to sense. Tong Jens Hung can enter a person's body and control it perfectly. Able to absorb his vitality and make it a part of himself. What would happen if Wang Xian ordered these roots to enter his body but didn't attack him? Could it be that through these roots, Wang Xian can block his own breath 100%? There was a sparkle in Wang Xian's eyes. With a thought, a branch of the ancestral tree emerged from his palm, and a branch entered Tianxi's body. Come to the root of the sacred tree. The branches of Wang Xianling's ancestral tree are wrapped around the roots of the sacred tree, sensing the energy above. TNC, you can use the same root growing ability on the branch that entered your body. Wang Xian tried it, but it didn't work. This is because he cannot control the divine tree in TNC's body. Good foster father. TNC nodded, his heart moved, and he used the ability of the same root. The roots in his body entwine towards the branches of the ancestral tree. A stream of aura belonging to the divine tree surged towards the ancestor tree. The sacred tree did not attack the ancestor tree, and when this energy entered the ancestor tree, the ancestor tree did not resist. Soon, when the energy of the ancestor tree was covered by the energy of the same root, the energy of the same root rushed towards Wang Xian's body. Soon, he narrowed his eyes slightly showing a hint of excitement. He felt that the power of the six universes to suppress him was getting smaller and smaller. Gradually, the oppressive force disappeared completely. It seems that the entire six-path universe now regards itself as a creature in the six-path universe. Wang Xian narrowed his eyes slightly, and with a movement of his palm, he pulled the energy from the same root and rushed towards the body of Lin Niu beside him. One by one, the roots came to Linyu. Hey? Boss. When Lin Niu saw the roots entering his body, he didn't stop him either. He looked a little surprised. Wang Xian didn't explain, but soon, Lin Niu's face showed excitement. Boss, I sensed that the suppression of the six universes disappeared, completely disappeared. Lin Niu stared at Wang Xian, widened his eyes and said. Wang Xian nodded hesitated for a moment, moved his palm, and a ball appeared in his hand. This ball contains extremely terrifying energy. Contains the energy of Tianyu and good fortune. However, Six Paths Universe did not attack him in any way. The sacred tree in Tianxi's body is the supreme treasure of Tianyu and good fortune bred by the Six Universes, belonging to the Six Universes, and the same root attack of the supreme treasure of Tianyu and good fortune can control the opponent 100%. Dot. The roots of the same root enter the body, which is equivalent to being manipulated by the divine tree, which is equivalent to becoming a part of the divine tree. The six universes will naturally not attack the divine tree. Wang Xian muttered in his mouth, 
his eyes were shining brightly. This is great news for Wang Xian. Because once Wang Xian and the others can explode their peak fighting power, even if it is the Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse of the six universes, Wang Xian and the others will not be afraid at all. As for the situation of Godsend, Wang Xian has always been most worried about not being discovered by the heavenly creation powerhouses of other universes. Instead, Wang Xian was worried that TNC would be discovered by the Tianyuan good fortune experts of the six universes. Although it is said that TNC is a creature of the six universes and their disciple. However, Wang Xian didn't believe it at all if they were not tempted by the supreme treasure of Tianyuan. When the strong Tianyuan good fortune of the six universes encounters a gift from heaven, it is very likely that they will take away the most precious treasure of Tianyuan good fortune. This was what Wang Xian was most worried about. Once they found out about the heaven sent situation and wanted to take away the treasure of Tianyuan, Wang Xian had no way of doing it. Is irresistible. Now that they can eliminate the suppression of the six universes, Wang Xian can completely protect TNC in the six universes. He was thinking in his heart, and with a movement of his palm, the five elements Great Mill and Tai Chi Dragon Plate also appeared in his hand. Tongan Chen entered into the Great Mill of Five Elements, and soon the suppression of the Great Mill of Five Elements by the Six Paths universe completely disappeared. Entering the body of Tai Chi Dragon Pan also completely eliminates the cosmic oppressive force. This made Wang Xian show a satisfied look on his face. Father, what's the matter? Tian Si looked at Wang Xian's expression and couldn't help asking. Ha ha, nothing. Wang Xian laughed, but did not tell him the good news. Next, practice hard, live well, don't worry about anything, the sky will fall, and foster father will support you. When I succeed in cultivation and the sky falls, I will help my adoptive father to hold it up. Tian Si made a heavy promise to Wang Xian. Don't worry about cultivating now, as long as you can cultivate to the realm of Tianyu and good fortune in two to three hundred million years, it is enough to focus on life. Wang Xian patted his head and said with a smile. It's foster father. Tian Si nodded, Father, I will go to the dungeon in Tuyuan to participate in the Six Paths Conference in a while. I estimate that I will stay there for several million years. Will you go, father? You're going to stay there for a while, of course you have to pass. Wang Xian nodded. Tian Si is also going to participate in the Six Paths Universal Martial Arts Conference. At that time, all the powerhouses and disciples of Tian Jiao from the entire six universes will participate. There are not only battles at the level of Godsend, but also battles at the level of Masters of the Universe. Once you can get a good ranking, there will be a lot of treasure rewards. This time, the Six Paths Conference was jointly held by three Tianyuan good fortune experts from the Six Paths Universe. The treasures and resources rewarded are so powerful that they will exceed everyone's imagination. Even, if someone is really talented, he will be cultivated by three heavenly creatures. Uh huh. Tian Si nodded heavily upon hearing Wang Xian's words, with a happy look on his face. Father, let me call my mother, let's go have a meal together and play together for two days. Then God Send continued. Wang Xian smiled and nodded. In the next few days, Wang Xian and Tian Si walked around the Mulai tribe. A month later, the Mulai tribe was already preparing to lead the strong disciples to Tuyuan. For the Six Paths Conference, many strong disciples from the Mulai tribe will participate. In fact, all the strong disciples can participate in the Six Paths Conference. According to the age group, a stage will be set up. In the beginning, you need to get a ranking in the arena. Only after you have a ranking can you really participate in the Six Paths Conference. At that time, the strong disciples of each age group and strength group will start a formal competition. The powerhouse who dominates the pinnacle of the universe will be the referee. This Six Path Conference will last for millions of years. Father, here. Mulai Tribe, in front of the main city. A group of strong disciples from the Mulai tribe were suspended in the air. There are tens of thousands of strong disciples. 
Some of these strong disciples are participating in the competition, and some are watching the excitement. Tianxi stood there with his mother and some elders, and when he saw Wang Xian flying over, he waved excitedly. Um. Wang Xian flew over and nodded towards him. Young Master Wang Xian. Seeing Wang Xian, Mu Li Yinner greeted him with a smile. Wang Xian nodded towards her. Hi, Mr. Wang Xian. Hi, Mr. Wang Xian. At the side, Mu Li Yinner's brothers greeted Wang Xian. Wang Xian responded politely one by one. Mu Li Yinner knew that Wang Xian possessed the strength of the Seventh Order Universe ruler. He also told his family the news. After all, as Tianxi grows day by day and has outstanding talents, his family attaches great importance to Tianxi. Naturally, he also needs to know more about his adoptive father. Mu Li Yinner didn't hide anything, and told her relatives directly. This shocked his elder brother and parents. At the same time, they also knew something in their hearts. Godsend is able to have today's achievements, has the proud son of heaven who has not been born in the Mulai tribe for tens of billions of years, and has a great relationship with his adoptive father. After all, TNC has always been taught by his adoptive father. It is very possible for a strong man at the seventh level of the universe ruler to teach almost every day that he can possess such strength. And the seventh order state of the universe ruler, this strength, in their Mulai tribe, is also top-notch. The only one who is stronger than him is the leader. This also made them have an unusual respect for Wang Xian. Even, they were a little skeptical at first. Could it be that Wang Xian made their sister's belly bigger, deliberately looking for an opportunity to get closer? Otherwise, how can a strong man who is the ruler of the universe at the seventh level be so good to godsend? But after observing for a long time, they also know that the possibility of this guess is very small. This is Mr. Wang Xian, right? Thank you for your teaching to God. In the front position, several elders of the Mulai tribe looked Wang Xian up and down, and greeted Wang Xian with a smile. Elders, you're welcome, Miss Mulai Yinner saved me, I teach TNC, it's just a trivial matter. Wang Xian smiled and said to the elders of the Mulai tribe. The strong man of the Mulai tribe knows some of his own strength, so he is not surprised. Let's go, let's go. Several elders smiled and nodded, and then a group of people flew in one direction. I really didn't expect it. At a location not far away, more than a dozen women gathered together, they looked in the direction of Wang Xian Mulai Yinner, their faces were a bit ugly. Wang Xian showed the strength of the Seventh Order Universe Ruler. This is much easier for Mulai Yinner's life in the Mulai tribe. Back then, Mulai Yinner was pregnant with a gift from heaven, which caused quite a stir in the entire Mulai tribe. Women's chastity is still very important in the Mulai tribe. Especially when Mulai Yinner was pregnant suddenly. As the daughter of heaven in the Mulai tribe, she was the most beautiful girl in the Mulai tribe. The most important thing is that at the beginning, the elders of the tribe deliberately wanted to match Mu Li Yinner with the woman of another tribe leader. At that time, even Mu Li Yinner's father agreed with this very much. But because Mu Li Yinner was pregnant suddenly, she could only let it go. Even, the elders of that tribe still have huge dissatisfaction. But now with the rise of TNC and the appearance of Wang Xian, people in the tribe dare not ridicule Mu Li Yinner. Not to mention that TNC is a bastard. Father, have you ever been to Tuyuan? TNC was beside Wang Xian and Mu Li Yinner, slightly excitedly asked him. This is the first time TNC has traveled far and away from the source of water. No. Wang Xian shook his head. Mom, what about you? TNC looked at his mother again and asked with a smile. I haven't been to Tuyuan either. This time we can take a stroll there. The Tuyuan dungeon we went to is the most prosperous place in the whole Tuyuan and the main city of the Suinta tribe. Mu Li Yinner also shook her head. Then let's have a good time there, Mother, why don't we participate in the Six Paths Conference together this time, Mother, you are very powerful at your age. Godsend continued. Me? 
Speaking of which, if I were to participate in the competition, I would only be one year older than you, but mom, my strength is only one level higher than yours. This time, it's a competition of the strongest in the entire Six Path universe. I can't even rank number one. Heaven gave you a chance to get a good ranking. After all, you are not even 100 million years old. At your age, you are outstanding. Mu Li Yinner shook her head, smiled and said to Tian Si. Mom, you are not very old, if you participate, you can also get a ranking. God Sen said. The three of them were talking and hurrying. However, when Wang Xian followed Tian Si and rushed towards Tu Yuan Daiken. Located in the chaos at the edge of the six universes, a figure exuding the power of light flew over. He looked forward to the position. In front, there were six figures floating quietly in the air. Seeing the bright figure in front, their eyes shone with luster. Bei Fushin, are you sure you know the location of Tian Yuan's treasure? Among the six people, one of them, who also exuded the power of light, asked Biba Fushin. His eyes were full of anticipation. I have to tease you, the heavenly treasure of the six universes does not exist somewhere, but in the body of a young man. And in that boy's body, there are still two strong Tian Yuan fortune guards. I don't know why they didn't take it away. Biba Fushin glanced at them and said directly. If we get the Tian Yuan fortune treasure, how will the seven of us distribute it? One of the strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers asked with flickering eyes. I sensed that the Tian Yuan fortune treasure is of the wood attribute, and the Tian Yuan fortune treasure of the wood attribute can branch out some branches. The treasure belongs to me, but I guarantee that you will be satisfied with the specific reward. Bai Bei Fushin glanced at them and said. Six figures hesitated for a moment, then nodded slowly. It is obviously unrealistic for seven figures to be divided into one heavenly treasure. Knowing this news, it is naturally impossible for Baek Fushin to give up this treasure of Tian Yuan fortune. But if this is a Tian Yuan fortune tree, then it will be easy to divide. As for whether there will be disputes between them, it will all have to wait until the treasure is obtained. Now, at least come to an agreement first. This is the dungeon. Rush from the water source to the dungeon of Tuyuan, and transfer through the teleportation array in the middle. Four years later, the Mulai tribe's team came to the dungeon. Everyone in the Mulai tribe stood in a huge teleportation square, looking around. This dungeon looks so majestic. Any building is tens of thousands of meters high. Above that, there are some strange birds and beasts flying. It's so magnificent. Standing on the square of the teleportation array, Tian Si looked around, his face full of shock. The Suintu tribe has been called the first tribe, which gives people a shocking feeling. Mu Li Yinner also glanced around with flickering eyes, with a trace of amazement on her face. Mu Li Yinner's knowledge is not much more than Tian Si. It is also the first time she has come to the Suintu tribe. The Suintu tribe is extremely powerful. Look at the birds and beasts flying in the sky. They are powerful elemental beasts. The Suintu tribe has raised several powerful elemental beast races. The Earth Dragon Army of the Suintu tribe is the most powerful elemental beast in our Six Path universe. A powerful ground combat core, powerful and invincible. At the side, Mu Li Yinner's father introduced to Tian Si with a smile on his face. Now Tian Si can be regarded as a treasure of the Mulai tribe. As his grandfather, at this time, he has no opinion at all about Tian Si's birth. There is even a feeling of knowing that it is not a blessing. Tian Si heard it, nodded, and looked around curiously. In the surrounding positions, there are many strong disciples from various races. The strength of the Mulai tribe is not bad, but there is still a huge gap from the top tribes. This time, not only the tribes from the six treasure lands arrived, but also all the tribes located in the periphery. However, compared to the tribes in the six treasure lands, the other tribes are also much weaker. Let's go, this time the Six Paths Conference, the Suintu tribe has prepared a place for all the tribes to live, let's go there first. 
In the front position, an elder of the Mulai tribe swept towards everyone and said. Afterwards, a group of people followed the elder and flew towards a part of the dungeon. The entire dungeon is huge, and the buildings made of soil exude a heavy atmosphere. In some buildings, there are also powerful battle fortresses, which is not easy at first glance. Has been flying toward the inside. Soon, in the center, there is a basin. A huge basin. In the center of the basin, there is a gigantic arena. Around the arena, there is also a small arena. And around these basins, there are soil holes. The earth caves are densely packed, and there are still people coming in and out. This time the Six Paths competition will be held here. Around this basin is an underground palace. We live in holes in the earth. The elders of the Mulai tribe spoke. At this time, a strong man from the Suintu tribe flew over and led them towards a hole in the earth. Although it is an earth cave, it looks extremely majestic. Exuding a heavy atmosphere, and the soil cave with earthy yellow luster, it gives people a luxurious feeling. Entering the interior of the earth cave, it is extremely luxurious, with a huge living room. In the depths, there are luxurious rooms. There are tens of thousands of rooms in one earth cave. Every room is extremely spacious. Every one of the Mulai tribe, you will live here for the rest of the time. This is the center of our Dujan and the safest place. In our Dujan, any internal fighting, especially fighting, is prohibited. Once there is a fight, it doesn't matter right or wrong, just kill it directly. If there is a grievance, you can go to the ring to resolve it. In the ring, you can live or die. The strong man from the Suintu tribe reminded everyone in the Mulai tribe. Okay, thank you little brother. The elders of the Mulai tribe nodded with a smile. In the dungeon, they naturally dare not have any presumptuousness. After all, the Suintu tribe has strong Tian Yu and good fortune. Well, not far from the Six Paths Arena, there is a street where you can trade any items, and you can also have some fun and entertainment. At present, the Six Paths competition will not start until a hundred years ago. You can stroll around. The middle-aged strong man from the Suintu tribe continued with a smile. The elders of the Mulai tribe nodded. Everyone find a room, you can go around, remember, don't cause trouble here. The people of the Suintu tribe left, and the elders of the Mulai tribe said to everyone. Father, mother, let's go out to play later. Tianxi immediately said excitedly to Wang Xian and Mu Li Yinner. Tianxi was very excited when he went out for the first time. No problem. Wang Xian nodded, and Mu Li Yinner beside him also responded with a smile. Soon, several people walked out of the cave and flew outside. There are so many people and it's so lively. Together with Wang Xian and the others, there are other people from the Mulai tribe, and a group of people are strolling here. Wang Xian glanced around. There are quite a few strong men in the Dujin, Wang Xian sensed it quietly, but did not sense the breath of the strong man from Tian Yuan Fortune. Tian Yuan Good Fortune experts from other universes should not dare to come here. Wang Xian thought to himself. After all, this is Dujin, the main city of a tribe of strong Tian Yuan Fortune. Moreover, after the Six Day O contest begins, there is a high possibility that a strong Tian Yuan fortune will descend. It can be said that this place is very dangerous for them. Moreover, the Suintu tribe should have made some preparations for those who are strong in Tian Yuan. Although the strong Tian Yuan fortune is very strong, in the six universes, about ten powerhouses who are at the peak of universe dominance can almost kill one Tian Yuan fortune. After all, Tian Yuan creation would be suppressed here. Of course, the strong Tian Yuan creation has cards, and the possibility of killing them is too small. Wang Xian possesses the treasure in his body bestowed by heaven to hide, unless the Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse is hundreds of meters away from him, otherwise, he will not be found. Next, a group of people went shopping in Dujin. There are also more and more disciples of strong men in Dujin, and disciples of strong men from various tribes have also arrived one by one. 
Wang Xian hangs out with Tian Si Mulai Yinner and the others every day, but it is very leisurely. Boom boom boom. One day a hundred years later, the roar of an earthquake sounded from the ring of the six-way competition. Tian Si, it's about to start, let's hurry over there. A voice sounded, and Mu Li Yinner's voice came from outside. I'm coming. Tian Si came out of the room, and everyone immediately walked outside. Located in the surrounding position, in the huge cave in the basin, a disciple of a strong man came out. In addition, there are a large number of strong disciples flying over from the surrounding positions quickly. The six-course competition has begun. Wang Xian followed Tian Si out of the cave, scanning the surroundings like a spectator. Six universes, disciples of all powerful tribes began to gather. Each of them exudes a variety of different auras. A proud young man with his head held high. A heroic woman. A calm middle-aged man. The famous Tian Jiao with a head and head. The Six Paths Conference gathered almost the elites of the entire Six Paths universe. The strong men of each tribe led their disciples to the surrounding areas of each ring. The strong disciples of the Mulai tribe also came to a place and stood there looking around. Next to them, there were also many strong disciples from the tribe looking at each other. Soon, most of the tribes gathered and stood up. Buzz! Buzz! Located in the center of the front, there are stands one by one. There are chairs on it. Obviously in the upper seat position. There, figures wearing cocky robes and emitting a strange black light flew towards the seat of the superior. There are 50,000 to 60,000 strong disciples. Some young disciples had arrogance and pride on their faces. That is the Suintu tribe and the dead tribe, the existence that stands above all tribes. Beside Wang Xian and the others, Mu Li Yinner's father introduced to them in a low voice. The two major tribes stand tall in the IQ of all tribes. There are strong fortune tellers sitting in the town. The strongest in the tribe also existed the most. The strong disciples of the Suintu tribe and the dead tribe arrived, and everyone around looked at them. Around the entire arena, there are tens of millions of strong disciples. The number of people in the Mulai tribe is quite small. The disciples of all tribes have arrived, right? In the seat of the seat, in the center of the Suintu tribe, an old man with a cane and a special hat on his head glanced at the people of the dead tribe, looked around, and asked lightly. Report to the leader, all have arrived. In the front position, a middle-aged man bowed and reported loudly. Now that we're here, let's start. Many people may not know me. Let me introduce myself. I am the leader of the Suintu tribe. This six-day-o conference is held under the order of the three adults, and it will be held in the dungeon. The purpose of this Six Paths Conference is to select powerful and potential disciples for our Six Path Universe to cultivate. This competition is related to our entire Six Path Universe. There is no concept of tribalism. Those who can achieve success will receive the training prepared by the three adults. Treasures and Resources All strong disciples, don't hide anything. As long as you have the ability, you will be able to obtain opportunities that you can't imagine. The leader of the Suintu tribe spoke, and the voice reached everyone's ears. Around, the strong disciples of all the tribes heard it and stared. Tens of thousands of eyes fell on the old man. It was the first time for many strong disciples to meet the leader of the Suintu tribe. He didn't expect that this person was the leader of the Suintu tribe, the pinnacle of the ruler of the universe. Hearing his words, many disciples of strong men with great ambitions showed excited expressions on their faces. Once the Six Paths Conference this time can achieve success, it can be said to become famous all over the world. As long as you can make achievements, you will be famous all over the world. Not to mention that there is still a great opportunity. How could this not make them feel uneasy? Even TNC's eyes were shining with luster, watching with fiery eyes. The six-way competition is divided into age groups, divided into the God of War group, the Tianbang group, the Tianjiao group, the Dragon and Young Phoenix group, 
and the God of War group can only be participated by those who are strong in the universe. There is an age limit, and the early competition is relatively simple, and each group has a thousand places. After competing for the one thousandth place, you can participate in the next real official competition. As long as you enter the one thousandth place, there will be rewards. The higher the ranking, the better the rewards will be. The leader of the Suinta tribe continued to introduce to everyone. Okay, let's make arrangements for the next details, and the selection will officially begin. The leader of the Suinta tribe didn't say much, he looked aside, and disappeared in an instant with a movement of his body. In the quota competition, there are no rules for the competition. Those who think they have the ability to enter the top 1000 should come out and report their name, age, and level. Those who are not convinced can challenge. For the time being, take the top 1000 people in each competition group as the quota, challenge them, and occupy the quota. A strong man from the Suinta tribe continued. Heavenly gift, go up, you are old enough to join the Qianlong Young Phoenix group, investigate with us, the Qianlong Young Phoenix group is enough to be ranked in the top three with your fifth order state of universe venerable. The strong man from the Suinta tribe fell, and Tianxi's grandfather immediately gave instructions to Tianxi. The strength bestowed by God is the strongest in the Mulai tribe for tens of billions of years. Even looking at the entire universe of the Six Paths is terrifying. At such an age, the fifth level realm of the universe venerable is almost invincible at the same level. It is possible that only the Suinta tribe and the dead tribe can appear higher than the heaven-sent realm. With the strength bestowed by God, even in the Tianjiao group, they can get a good result. It's Grandpa. Tianxi nodded and glanced at his mother and Wang Xian. Follow your heart, you can be low-key and humble, or you can show your sharpness. Wang Xian looked at Tianxi and said with a smile on his face. Father, this kind of scene will disappear in the future, right? When Tianxi heard Wang Xian's words, he glanced around and asked. No, unless you have a bad taste. Wang Xian smiled and shook his head at him. Hey, that's good. From today onwards, I will let the entire six universes know me, Mulai Tianxi, and make my mother proud of me. Tianxi held his head up, smiled at his mother, moved his body, and flew towards the arena of Qianlong Chifeng. Around the location, there are also a large number of strong people flying over. Among them, the Mulai tribe also had other strong disciples, and they flew towards the rings one by one. However, everyone in the Mulai tribe is optimistic about it, and it is still a gift from God. Tianxi landed on the ring of Qianlong Chifeng, and there was also a person of the same age flying over around him. Mulai tribe, Mulai godsend, the fifth order realm of the universe venerable. Tianxi stood on the ring, glanced at the flying opponent, and smiled slightly. He cupped his hands and said confidently to everyone. From the position below, Wang Xian saw Tianxi standing on the stage with a confident face and a smile on his face. There is a feeling of an old father seeing his son grow up to be promising. This is youth, this is youth. Um. Hey? The strength of the fifth order state of the universe venerable. Tianxi stood on the stage where Qianlong Chifeng was standing, and after reporting his own strength, he was located around him. All the disciples heard it and looked at him with astonishment. The arena where the dragons and young phoenixes compete, all of them are under 200 million years old. At this age, in the arena, most of the strength has just stepped into the realm of the universe lord. At a glance, there are very few who are in the third order realm of the universe venerable. Not to mention the fifth level of the universe venerable. This is in the entire arena, and there is not even one at present. Mulai tribe, the fifth level strength of the venerable universe is so strong. He is definitely in the top three in our group. Basically, how did this guy cultivate? Why is his realm so high? The most important thing is that he is not from the dead tribe or the Suinta tribe. Wow, this realm is much higher than ours, right? Some teenagers glanced at Tianxi, who stood out from the crowd, 
with expressions of envy and respect on their faces. In their arena where the potential dragon and the young phoenix are, all of them are the top teenagers in the six universes. They come from various tribes. Each of them is one of the best in their own tribe. But now some are hit by godsend. Well, yes, it's really good to have such strength after more than 90 million years of cultivation. In the center of the arena of the Qianlongcha Feng group, an old man was suspended in the sky. He glanced at TNC, nodded, and praised without hesitation. Hey? What? He has cultivated for less than 100 million years. No way, only half my age, so strong. Hiss, it's so terrifying. Everyone in the surrounding area was slightly startled when they heard the old man's words. I really didn't expect it. I thought I was an invincible existence in the same generation. I didn't expect this brother to be so strong. Ha ha ha, this is interesting. At this time, a young man flew over from the seat at the front. Beside the boy, there are hundreds more. The boy in the center is a full three meters tall, full of explosive muscles. It looks incredibly thick. He looked at TNC and said with a big smile. Invincible in the same generation? You are too Zhang Tong from the Suintu tribe, right? Your strength is good, but you are not my opponent. Wow! A group of teenagers from the Suintu tribe flew over, located at the property of the dead, and a group of teenagers also landed on the ring. The leading young man swept to Jiang Tong and TNC lightly. Both of you will not be my opponent. He said confidently and proudly. At the position of his neck, hung a human head shining with black light. The black light reflected his pale face, making it look extremely strange. You two are so small, I will slap you away with one slap. To Jiang Tong saw the young man flying over with his eyes, opened his mouth and shook his head in disdain. Tian Si glanced at them, and when he heard what they said, a smile appeared on his face. Two universe venerables who are in the fifth order realm, if they join forces, they can barely compare with me. With a movement of his palm, the water in front of him condensed, and a sharp sword appeared in his hand. Tian Si spoke lightly. It seems to be talking about a very easy thing. As soon as he finished speaking, the young man from Tijiang Tong and the tribe of the dead froze for a moment, focusing his eyes on him. Ha ha, I thought I was confident enough, but I didn't expect you to be more confident and arrogant than me. Tu Zhang Tong stared at Tian Si and laughed. He narrowed his eyes slightly, walked straight towards Tian Si, looked him up and down, and slowly stretched out his huge palm. Very good, let's get to know each other. Tu Zhang Tong walked over, stretched out his hand, and said lightly to Tian Si. Tian Si smiled and reached out to shake his hand. Um. Around the position, all the teenagers focused on him. This is obviously an open and secret struggle. A pair of huge palms and a pair of small hands were joined together. Buzz. Immediately afterwards, everyone felt that waves of energy began to brew in their palms. Some of the weaker ones couldn't help but took a step back. Tian Si and Tu Zhang Tong looked at each other with a smile. The body shapes of the two are a little out of sync. But soon, the smile on Tu Jiang Tong's face began to disappear. Hiss. Five seconds later, he hastily pulled out his arm, and the huge arm was trembling constantly. He stared at Tian Si, his face constantly changing. Very nice. Tian Si looked at him, smiled, and said something. Yes, yes, I really can. It seems that if I want to beat you, I need to show all my cards. To Jiang Tong's face changed slightly, and he said to Tian Si with a serious face. Looking forward to the duel. Tian Si also smiled at him. Ha ha, good, I'm looking forward to it. That's what makes it interesting. It seems that this time the first place in our group will be divided between the two of us and this little boy. To Jiang Tong laughed and said, very forthright. Stupid. The young man from the tribe of the dead turned dark when he heard Tu Jiang Tong addressing him, and cursed directly. 
Tu Zhang Tong heard it, but didn't care. That guy named Mulai TNC is so handsome. Facing the two arrogances of the Suinta tribe and the dead tribe, he didn't lose the slightest bit, and even had the upper hand. It's really handsome. I didn't expect him to be able to compete with Tu Jiang Tong and the others. It's amazing. Some teenagers looked at the three of them, discussing in low voices. Some girls looked at Mulai TNC, and even had stars in their eyes. It's a bit high profile. At the position below, Mulai Yinner kept looking at TNC, and when she saw this scene, she frowned slightly and said. Hee hee, people are not frivolous and waste youth. When Wang Xian heard this, he smiled lightly, but didn't care at all. This is the temperament that a teenager should have. Modesty, confidence and pride. Genius boy, of course you have to show off. On the side, Mu Li Yinner's father also said with a smile, his face was full of joy. Yinner, you should also go to the arena to compete and learn, the calamity is coming, and you have to improve your strength next. Mu Li Yinner's father said to her, see if I can get a good result. I'll try, but I'm afraid it's a bit difficult, there are too many strong people. Mu Li Yinner spoke. In other arenas, there are very many Tian Jiao experts. In the Tian Jiao group, the strong ones have already reached the peak of the universe venerable. She is much worse. However, you can also try. Next, the Six Paths Conference officially began. The strong disciples of the four groups also began to compete for the place of 1000. This big competition in the six universes lasted for a long time. Even, this Six Paths Conference will be held for a million years. The battle between the strong often takes a long time to be able to tell the winner. Coupled with the fact that the strong disciples and Tian Jiao from the entire six universes are participating in the competition, it will naturally take longer. It will take hundreds of thousands of years to select just 1,000 places. In addition, the most important thing is that after the four groups have selected the top 1,000 players, the next competition will not be held at the same time. Instead, for example, the Qianlong and Young Phoenix group will determine the top 500 first, and then the Tian Jiao group will determine the top 500. If it is not carried out at the same time, the time will naturally be longer. The powerhouses of all the tribes condensed their energy into a seat, watching and discussing there. The battle between the strong is also a great reference for others. This is also an indication of the holding of the Six Paths Conference. As time passed day by day, Wang Xian sat down and watched. For TNC, it is easy for him to enter the top 1000. You can even go right in. After hundreds of thousands of years of selection, the official competition begins. From low to high, the top 500 will be determined first by the Qianlong and Young Phoenix group. And when the decision is made this time, TNC will also have a battle. Combat is very simple for TNC. Even as soon as he came on stage, he surrendered directly to the convenience. No way, the level gap is too big. After a duel from TNC, he relaxed and came to Wang Xian's side. Mom entered the top 1000 of Tian Jiao group, I wonder if I can enter the top 500. The top 500 were determined for the Qianlong and Young Phoenix group, and the Tian Jiao group was next. Mulai Yinner has entered a thousand and is about to start the first battle. It's not a big problem for your mother to enter the top 500. Wang Xian said to TNC. Although Mulai Yinner's strength is not very strong, the Mulai tribe can still be ranked in the top 50 among all the tribes. And Mulai Yinner, in the Mulai tribe, can rank among the top three in this generation. The top 50 tribes, the top three names, and entering the 500, is not a big problem. And Wang Xian also felt a little bit, Mu Lian Er entered the top 500, it's not a big problem. It is not enough to enter the top 300 from the top 500, it will be more difficult. It is basically impossible to enter the top 100. The Suinta tribe and the dead tribe, these two big tribes, the elite and the arrogant, will occupy a large part. 
plus some other powerful tribes. Just as Wang Xian expected, Mu Li Yinner easily entered the top 500. Next is the combat effectiveness of the Tianbang group and the God of War group. These two levels of competition are all strong players at the master level of the universe. God sent them to look at it for a while, and then left. No way, I can't see their fighting moves clearly. Can't see through their energy. Completely confused. Wang Xian also played with TNC for a while, and then went back to the room to rest. And in the next few days, TNC made some friends. It may be that the heroes cherish each other, but he has become friends with Tijiang Tong. In addition, there are some young Tianjiao from other tribes. After all, teenagers have a common language. Although Wang Xian is not very old, there is still a lot of generation gap between TNC and Wang Xian. For the next period of time, TNC played with the friends he made. The game goes on. Time flies. In the second round, TNC easily entered the top 300. Mu Li Yinner barely entered the top 300 despite her injuries. It is estimated that she can only go so far. I found it. It's really troublesome to find someone here at the water source. And while the Six Paths Assembly was being held, Located at the source of the water, Bibai Fushan and six other Tianyuan fortune tellers are hiding in a place in the Mulai tribe. Bai Fushan wrinkled his face with a faint smile. The last time, he only saw the face given by God, and it was very difficult to find just one face among the tens of billions of tribesmen in the entire water source. In addition, their luck was not very good, and it took a full hundred thousand years to find it. I found it. I found it, but now there is a huge trouble. The boy is now participating in the Six Paths Conference. The Six Paths Conference is a grand competition in the Six Paths universe. They are preparing for the arrival of the Calamity. The dungeon where the Six Paths Conference is held is the main city of the Suinta tribe. The three Tianyuan fortune tellers from the Six Paths universe should all be paying attention there. In addition, for hundreds of millions of years, because of our entry, the Six Paths universe is also important to us. Great defense. The current dungeon is definitely a dragon's pond and a tiger's den. If we enter it, there may be great danger. A Tianyuan good fortune expert frowned and said. When Bai Beifushan heard it, he also showed a pensive look. Now this is really a huge problem. A group of strong Tianyuan fortune tellers covet the supreme treasure of Tianyuan fortune from the six universes. The Tianyuan fortune tellers of the six universes naturally hated them to the bone, and even formed a hunting team to search for their traces and then hunt them down. Especially now, the Six Paths universe is holding the Six Paths conference, and the venue is the most secure place in the entire universe. They entered here and it is very likely that they were found and killed just after passing by. There is a way, we can try it. After a long silence, Bai Beifushan looked at them, we can spread a message that the treasure of Tianyuan creation is in Tuyuan, and attract the powerful Tianyuan creation of other universes to go there. In this way, it can disperse some of the combat power in the dungeon, and it can also disperse the strength of the three heavenly creation powerhouses in the six universes. Um. His suggestion made the other six Tianyuan fortune tellers slightly frown. Ye Chong Meng Duo, this method is currently the best method, and at present only we know the information of Tianyuan fortune treasure, we have a great possibility of success. Bai Beifushan continued to speak. Okay, let's do it your way. One of the strong Tianyuan good fortune nodded and agreed. This is currently the best choice. Attract other Tianyuan fortune tellers to Tuyuan. They took the opportunity to enter the dungeon. Because they know the specific news about the Tianyuan fortune treasure, their advantage is very great. Other Tianyuan creations are still looking for a needle in a haystack, but they have clear goals. A group of seven people discussed for a while, and quickly flew in one direction. There is news that the heavenly treasure of the six universes is located in Tuyuan. Is the news reliable? It's not very reliable. This is from a strong man of Tianyuan fortune. 
he said that he sensed the existence of the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune. Is it in Tuyuan? Why did he release the news? The Tian Yuan good fortune expert did not hide anything. He said that the six universes in Tuyuan are currently holding a six path conference, and the defense force is very strong. If he goes to search for it alone, he will be discovered by the Tian Yuan good fortune expert of the six universes, so that's how he did it. Oh? How likely do you think this is? The probability is 50% that the Six Paths universe held the Six Paths conference in Tuyuan. Maybe it's because the powerhouses of the Six Paths universe also sensed that the treasure of Tianyuan's good fortune is in Tuyuan, so they deliberately held the Six Paths conference there to concentrate their strength. Let's look for it, and the other strong man who released the news may already know the location of the treasure of Tianyuan fortune and wants us to go there to share the combat power of the six universes. It is indeed possible, even if it is only a 50% possibility, we can't give up, we must go and have a look. Okay, it is estimated that the Tian Yuan fortune tellers in the entire six path universe will all go to Tuyuan. It has been 100 million years, and no one will give up this opportunity. At the same time, somewhere in the universe of the six realms, Two strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers were talking and discussing there. After discussing for a while, they flew directly in the direction of Tuyuan. At the same time, in other places in the six universes, a strong man named Tian Yuan Good Fortune also drove towards Tuyuan. Nearly 60 or 70 Tian Yuan Good Luck experts gathered in Tuyuan. A storm gradually blew towards Tuyuan's location. Time passed day by day. The Six Paths Conference continued. Now that Tuyuan is the place where countless strong disciples from the Six Universes gather, its defense is naturally extremely strong. Almost half of the top combat power of the entire Six Path Universe is here. In addition, two of the Tianyuan fortune tellers have been sitting in the sky above Tuyuan. A group of strong Tianyuan good fortune entered the soil and immediately some strong people were discovered by the strong men of the six universes and Tian Yuan good fortune. The war broke out immediately. A group of strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers can still resist and confront the strong ones who are at the pinnacle of the universe masters of the six universes. When encountering the Tian Yuan good fortune of the six universes, the only thing to do is to flee quickly. The strong defense of Tuyuan also made some Tianyuan good fortune experts guess that the treasure of Tianyuan good fortune is very likely to be here in Tuyuan. This also makes them even more reluctant to give up this place. This made the whole land a little turbulent. However, the changes on Tuyuan's side did not cause any waves in the dungeon. Here in the dungeon, the strong Tianyuan fortune has yet to set foot. At present, in the entire land, the dungeon is the safest place. The competition continued, and in the fourth round, 150 people were selected from 300 people to enter. In this battle, TNC still easily entered the top 150. However, in this match, Mu Li Yin are stopped in this battle. Lose the opponent. In the case of the challenge later, I was not able to challenge successfully, and finally failed completely. It's over, it's over, it seems that this time the first place in our Qianlongcha Feng group will be won by God, you are too evil, you have fought three times in a row, and I have lost. In a sparring field in the dungeon, a group of more than 30 teenagers stood on the ring. Among them, Tu Zhang Tong, who was three meters tall and extremely burly, stood in the center, looking helplessly at the figure in front of him. And on the opposite side of him, it is naturally a gift from heaven. Not far away, Gui Sankian also looked at TNC with frowning, then shook his head, with a hint of helplessness on his face. Three thousand ghosts are the strongest of the young generation of the tribe of the dead. After the three met for the first time, heroes cherished each other, and there was a common topic among the teenagers, so they walked together. These hundreds of thousands of years have passed, although they have participated in the competition again and again, but neither side has met. This made them all a little itchy, a little young and energetic, and no one was convinced. So they dueled in private. But they fought three times in a row, each time God send one, 
completely suppressing to Jiang Tong and Gui Sankian. This made the faces of the two of them full of helplessness. Hey, it's a promise. How about the next time the two of you join forces, I'll see how far you can push me. Tian Si cupped his hands towards him and said with a smile. Tian Si, are you looking down on us? How much strength did you use to fight to Jiang Tong just now? Gui Sankian asked Tian Si with a speechless look on his face when he heard his words. 4% Tian Si smiled lightly. 40% It's only 40%. Since I was born, my grandfather has been teaching me. You must know that my grandfather is a strong man in the Ninth Order realm of the ruler of the universe. With the treasure in my hand, sometimes I can leapfrog. And fighting, is it not as good as you now? To Jiang Tong widened his eyes and said. I was also taught by a strong man. I really don't know how you can be so perverted. Ghost Sankin shook his head and said speechlessly. Hey, you are taught by a strong man and I am also taught by my foster father. My foster father is very powerful. Tian Si smiled slightly when he heard what they said, with a proud look on his face. Just kidding, he knows his adoptive father, but he is a strong man in the realm of Tian Yuan creation. The Tian Yuan good fortune expert has been teaching himself, how could he not be as good as your opponent? Even, if I show my true strength, I can scare you to death. Tian Si secretly smiled in his heart. It's amazing, Godsend, you are really amazing, it seems that our champion is you. At the side, a girl flew to Tian Si's side with eyes full of love, and looked at him with a pair of bright eyes adoringly. The girl is about 1.65 meters tall, not very tall, with a ponytail, full of youth and cuteness. Hey, no, maybe some of us are hiding our strength in a low-key way. When Tian Si saw the girl, he scratched his head and showed a shy smile. It's not fair. This time, the prettiest Gong Cheng Miao Miao of our youth generation actually likes this guy. Damn it, I'm a little envious. On the opposite side, to Jiang Tong watched this scene, the corners of his mouth twitched, feeling a little sour. Hey, big brother to Jiang Tong, don't even think about you, big guy, my sister won't like you. Godsend and my sister are the real match made in heaven, a man with a talent and a beauty. On the side, a teenager said with a smile. Xiaoer, don't talk nonsense. When Gong Cheng heard his younger brother's words, his face turned red, and he turned his head and glared at his own younger brother. Hey, okay, don't talk, don't talk. Seeing his sister attacking him, the young man smiled and said immediately. Hey. I can't be envious, I'm really a winner in life. Ghost Sankin looked at them and said with a smile. The first place this time should be a gift from God. Shouldn't be able to run away. TNC is still powerful, especially the sword technique, it is really terrifying. I watched from the side, and I felt terrified. The surrounding teenagers gathered around and said to TNC with a smile. Hee <laughs> hee. It was all taught by my adoptive father. Tian Si said with a smile. No, it's God who gave you great talent, otherwise, someone else wouldn't be as good as you. Gong Cheng aimed at him and bit his head. No, there is no adoptive father, and there is no me now. Tian Si looked at Gong Cheng and shook his head seriously, my foster father watched me grow up and taught me a lot. Oh? Then your adoptive father must be very powerful. Gong Cheng looked at him with his head tilted, and asked with a smile. Yes, I have the opportunity to take you to meet my adoptive father. Tian Si said with a smile. Okay. Gong Cheng squinted his eyes and answered with a smile. Hey, then find a chance. Tian Si nodded. Okay, okay, don't show your affection, let's go. I will take you to a fun place in the dungeon today. Tu Zhang Tong said loudly. The crowd laughed, and then flew outside. Time passed day by day again. Miss Mulai Yinner, are you there? Wang Xian wandered around the dungeon for a long time, sitting in the room board. On this day, 
a voice suddenly came from outside the cave. When Wang Xian heard this voice, he didn't pay attention. Buzz! But at this time, he received a message from God. Seeing this message, a smile appeared on his face. Get up and walk outside. I don't have time, sorry. Miss Mulai Yinner, you have rejected me ten times, you can't refuse me again this time, let's have a simple meal. Yes, Yinner, there's nothing wrong with having a meal, and we're still with you. When Wang Xian walked outside, he immediately saw a burly young man talking with three women. Among them was Mu Li Yinner. After Wang Xian glanced at it, he nodded towards Mu Li Yinner, and continued walking outside. Arriving at a restaurant informed by TNC, Wang Xian walked over to a box on the top floor. Father! As soon as he came to the door, TNC opened the door directly, and shouted at Wang Xian with a smile on his face. Um! Wang Xian looked at TNC's appearance, nodded with a smile, and looked inside. Hi, uncle! Inside, Gong Cheng looked down slightly but raised his eyes, and shyly shouted at Wang Xian. Hee hee, the kid has good eyesight. Wang Xian took a look at Gong Cheng, patted him on the shoulder, and walked inside. Hey, Yufu, let me introduce you, this is Miao Miao, Gong Cheng Miao Miao, also from our water source, from the Juhi tribe. Tianxi began to introduce to Wang Xian and the others, Miao Miao, this is what I told you, my adoptive father. Girl is good. I don't have anything other than a meeting. Just take a simple amulet. Wang Xian looked at Gong Cheng and took aim, and with a wave of his arm, an amulet floated in front of her. Thank you, thank you uncle. Gong Cheng sensed it quickly, and didn't put it away immediately, but looked at TNC. Take it, foster father is very kind to me. TNC looked at Gong Cheng and said with a smile. Why didn't you call your mother over? Wang Xian sat down and asked TNC with a smile. Hey, adoptive father, if I dare not tell my mother, I will tell you first. TNC smirked. Wang Xian smiled, glanced at Gong Cheng, and sensed it. The strength of the fourth order realm of the universe venerable, Gong Cheng looked at it, also belonged to the top Tianjiao of the same generation. She looks sweet and beautiful and Wang Xian is very satisfied with it. In addition, the Juhi tribe is also a large tribe, much stronger than the Mulai tribe. Although the Nine Rivers tribe does not have a Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse. But in the water source, the Juhi tribe is the most powerful existence. Among the tribes, it can be ranked in the top five. There are many existences in the tribe who are at the pinnacle of universe dominance. TNC made a girlfriend which made Wang Xian, an old father, very pleased. Taking advantage of the present time, it is also good to enjoy it. Wang Xian had dinner with them, and after chatting for a few hours, he left directly. There is still some generation gap with young people. The peaceful life continued, and occasionally went to watch TNC's games, and Wang Xian stayed in the room all the time and the competition from Godsend also came to the top 10 competition. However, on this day, not long after the TNC match ended, Wang Xian stayed in the room practicing Tian Yuan swordsmanship. Help the body of the Void Dragon to comprehend. Father, Father! Suddenly, an extremely anxious voice came from outside. Wang Xian opened his eyes, with a look of astonishment on his face. With a wave of his arm, he opened the door. Outside the door, TNC's face was extremely anxious, and his eyes were slightly red. Father, father, my mother is injured, very seriously. TNC said to Wang Xian with a face full of panic, her voice choked with sobs. What's the situation? Wang Xian focused his eyes and asked TNC. Mu Li Yinner has already been eliminated from the competition. Here in the dungeon, any fighting, and fighting is prohibited. How could Mu Li Yinner get injured? I don't know the specific situation. Mom is seriously injured. Foster father, come and show mom. Tianxi took Wang Xian's arm and said anxiously. 
It's okay, don't worry, there is a foster father. Wang Xian patted Tian Si's arm, and said to him. Uh huh. Tian Si nodded, he knew the identity of his adoptive father and some methods. As long as it is not completely destroyed, it can be treated. Wang Xian followed Tian Si to a room not far away. In the room, Mu Li Yinner's parents and several older brothers were all inside. Grandpa, let foster father see mom, let foster father see. Tian Si led Wang Xian inside, and said loudly to his grandfather. Um. At this moment, in front of the bed, Tian Si's grandfather nodded with a gloomy face. Although the injury is a bit serious, but fortunately there is no life threatening. Tian Si's grandfather glanced at Wang Xian and said. Let me help her heal. Wang Xian nodded, walked to the bed, and sensed Mu Li Yinner's injury. Buzz. Wang Xian sat beside Mu Li Yinner's bed, and his palms fell on his body. The energy circulated, entered her body, and healed the injuries in her body. Mu Li Yinner's injuries were serious, almost life-threatening. But Mu Li Yinner's father is also a strong man in the fifth order realm of the universe ruler. Saved her life with energy. As long as Mu Li Yinner is still alive, the treatment will be much easier. Mu Li Yinner recovered from her injuries at a terrifying speed. The vitality is getting stronger and stronger. It didn't take long for the injuries in his body to fully recover. After all, Wang Xian's strength is placed here, and it is easy to heal a universe venerable. Father, mother, does she have anything to do? Tian Si stood aside nervously, seeing Wang Xian withdrawing his arm, asked anxiously. It's ready, don't worry. Wang Xian patted his shoulder and stood up. Um. Mu Li Yinner twitched her eyebrows, and her complexion completely returned to ruddy. She looked at the crowd around her and sat up quickly. Mom, are you okay? Tian Si hurriedly asked with concern. It's okay, all the injuries on my body have disappeared. Mulai Yinner sensed it, shook her head, and looked at Wang Xian who was at the side, Thank you, Mr. Wang Xian, for your treatment. It's just a small problem. Wang Xian shook his head, you are seriously injured. The other party wants to completely destroy you. Fighting and fighting are prohibited in the dungeon. I don't know. Wang Xian asked, and Mu Li Yinner's father and elder brother were also staring at him angrily. They sensed Mu Li Yinner's injury just now. Very serious. It can almost be said that there is only one breath left. Moreover, Mu Li Yinner was sent here by someone and they didn't know the specific situation. It was me who was dueling with someone in the ring, and I was injured so badly. Mu Li Yinner sat up, her face changed slightly. Yinner, who are you dueling with and why are you fighting against someone? Mu Li Yinner's mother asked hastily. Mom, it's, a member of the Suinta tribe. Mu Li Yinner said in a low voice. Little sister, you are talking about that guy Liao Fiyu. That guy has been pestering you every day during this time, and now he even hurts you. It's really unreasonable. One of Mulai Yinner's elder brothers said angrily. It's not him, it's his sister, forget it. Mu Li Yinner shook her head and said. Mom, you can't forget it like this. They dare to beat you. I want to find justice for you. Tian Si who was standing aside, said with an angry face. Forget it, this is a duel in the arena, and the opponent is the Suinta tribe. Mu Li Yinner shook her head towards him, then looked at her parents and elder brother again, Mom and Dad, I don't have anything to do right now, so forget it. This. Mu Li Yinner's father's expression changed. Tian Si, I'm fine. You should practice hard recently and try to win the first place. Mu Li Yinner stood up, patted Tian Si's head and said. Okay, mom. Seeing that his mother didn't want to tell him anything, Tian Si could only nod helplessly. Come on, let your mother rest for a while. Wang Xian patted Tian Si and said to him. Um. Tian Si nodded, lowered his head and followed Wang Xian away. 
Father, my mother's affairs can't just be left alone. Walking out of the room, Tian Si looked at Wang Xian, with a firm look in his eyes, and said. Of course it can't be done like that. Wang Xian looked at him, your mother was hurt so badly by others, this revenge, of course, must be avenged, not only to avenge, but also to make him pay a terrible price, remember what I once told you? We don't provoke others, but if someone provokes us or our relatives, we will have to pay ten times and a hundred times the price. Tian Si took the words, clenched his fists and said. That's right. Wang Xian nodded, I have asked Lin Yu to investigate this matter, and there will be news soon. Thank you foster father. Tian Si said gratefully to Wang Xian. No, the days of peace are numbered. Wang Xian looked at him and said something. Tian Si was slightly taken aback when he heard his words, and looked at Wang Xian with some doubts. Lin Niu is back, let's go, go to my room. Wang Xian didn't tell Tian Si the specific situation, and led him towards his room. Although Wang Xian and the others have been staying in the dungeon, he still knows a little about the outside world. Especially, Wang Xian got a piece of news before. The news comes from other heavenly creation powerhouses in Zhuyuan universe. In the group chats of other Tianyuan good fortune experts, they talked about the treasure of Tianyuan good fortune in the current six universes. Now, there is news that Tianyuan fortune treasure is located in the soil of the six universes. After Wang Xian got the news, he had some guesses in his heart. This news must have come from the bright and bright man of good fortune. As for the purpose, I am afraid it is also a gift from God. So, TNC doesn't have much time for peace now. I'm afraid it won't be long before it will be completely exposed. Boss. Entering the room, Lin Niu was already waiting there. What's the specific situation? Wang Xian asked. Boss, it's like this. During this period of time, a young man named Liao Fei from the Suintu tribe fell in love with TNC's mother but was rejected by his mother many times. The news was known to Liao Fei's sister, who also knew the identity of Tian Si's mother. And the situation, because he was very dissatisfied with him, he asked for trouble twice, and this time he was even more aggressive to enter the ring and severely injured him. Reported by Linia Y. A proud young man from the Suintu tribe fell in love with Mulai Yinner, but was rejected by Mulai Yinner, and then became a bit of a stalker. After being discovered by her sister, she was very unhappy and dissatisfied when she learned of Mulai Yinner's identity and situation. He angrily scolded him as a vixen, not worthy of his younger brother. That's why Mulai Yinner was taught a lesson and severely injured. My mother didn't provoke them for anything, yet they went too far. When Tian Si heard it, he immediately became furious, and said loudly with a cold face. Liao Fei's older sister is called Liao Fei'an. They are all ranked in the Tian Jiao group of the Six Dao Conference. At present, they have entered the top ten. The realm of both of them is at the peak of the universe venerable. Lin Niu continued to introduce. When Wang Xian heard the specific situation, he nodded slightly. The strength of the universe venerable at its peak. When Tian Si heard it, his eyes narrowed slightly. In addition to this, the Suintu tribe is divided into four major clans, and the Liao clan is one of them. Their elders are also the strongest among the Liao clan, and they have great rights. Lin Niu added a sentence. Father, how about I take action and sneak attack them? Tian Si looked at Wang Xian when he heard Lin Yu's words. The enemy who bullied his mother was stronger than God send. Unless it is said that Tian Si lifted the restriction in his body. However, even if he was relieved, he could defeat and even behead his mother's enemies, but the Suintu tribe would definitely retaliate and even punish him. What will he do then? Therefore, if he wants to take revenge himself, unless he secretly retaliates. On the surface, he is not qualified yet. At least if his adoptive father doesn't act. Your mother is being bullied. As a son, you have to take action yourself. This is your responsibility and responsibility, 
a man's spirit, but if your identity can be revealed later, your life can be more peaceful. Wang Xian looked at him and said, Father, my mother gave birth to me and raised me. She is my closest person and the one I will protect all my life. Now that she is injured, even if it is not peaceful in the future, I will vent my anger for my mother. Tianxi looked at Wang Xian and said firmly, I also want you to live a more ordinary life. Wang Xian looked at him and said lightly, Once your identity is exposed, you must leave here with me, leave the six universes, and go to another universe. In this case, your life will be greatly affected after all. You are still young. Some I haven't seen some things in life yet, and my adoptive father doesn't want you to grow up too fast. For nearly 100 million years, watching TNC grow up, he has regarded TNC as his own son. Although parents hope that their son can grow up as soon as possible. But parents want to see their son grow up happily every day. Can't, let him follow him directly into the chaos to find treasures before enjoying too much prosperity, right? Let it live hundreds of millions of years in the chaos. As parents, we naturally don't want our children to live this kind of life. Especially when it's small. The foster father, I, what should I do? TNC looked at Wang Xian, opened his mouth and asked. Time is running out. If you can delay it, just delay it. I also have some things to look at. Next, I will raise your water attribute strength to the peak of the universe lord. When the time comes, you can go to the ring as well. Way to take revenge. Wang Xian said to Tianxi. Hey? Yufu, can you directly raise my strength to the peak of the universe venerable? When Tianxi heard Wang Xian's words, his eyes widened, and his face was full of disbelief. Of course you can, especially since your wood attribute has reached the fourth level of the universe ruler. With the foundation of the wood attribute, I can even help you raise your wood attribute to the fourth level of the universe ruler. Of course, this is because my stepfather also has the wood attribute. Other Tianyu and good fortune experts want to forcibly promote a person, they need to have this attribute. Wang Xian said to TNC. Then. I have worked so hard to cultivate to the fifth level of universe venerable. If I have the help of foster father, wouldn't I not need to practice, and the level will be directly improved. TNC said slightly speechless. Yes, but such a life would not be complete. Wang Xian said with a smile, those who should practice should still practice. Okay. Foster father, you are doing it for my own good, so do whatever you say. Tianxi's face changed, and he said helplessly. Next, I'll help you upgrade to the peak strength of the universe venerable, so that you have the strength to take revenge. Challenge in the ring, if you can delay it for a while, just delay it. Wang Xian said to him finally. Immediately afterwards, he put his palm on Tianxi's body and a majestic water attribute energy entered his body. Tianxi's aura rapidly increased. Tian Yuan created the strong and can help the weak break through. All Tian Yuan fortune tellers can do it. In the Jiuyuan universe, if a strong man at the peak of the universe venerable has been stuck in this state, the strong Tian Yuan fortune can help him break through easily. Of course, helping him to break through the shackles is still somewhat costly, and this cost needs to be made up for by self-cultivation. Those who are strong in Tian Yuan will generally not do this kind of thing often. But now that Wang Xian has the ancestral tree, his resilience is terrifying, and helping the weak break through the shackles, although there is consumption, but it is much faster and easier to recover. When the energy poured into Tian Xi's body, his realm also began to climb rapidly. In particular, its wood attribute realm has reached the fourth order realm of the master of the universe, so it is very easy to absorb and accept these energies. In just a few hours, the strength bestowed by God has reached the peak of the universe venerable. The speed of this increase is terrifying. Well, the strength of the supreme master of the universe is at its peak. After a little adaptation, you can basically become invincible below the master of the universe. Wang Xian said to Tianxi, 
as for how you will avenge your mother next, you can decide for yourself. Thank you foster father, foster father, you are so kind to me, thank you foster father. TNC felt the power in his body, opened his mouth, and couldn't help but said excitedly to Wang Xian. Wang Xian patted his head and signaled him to hurry up. TNC came out of the room, his eyes sparkling, thinking about how to avenge his mother next. This matter is not a trivial matter for anyone who is a child. If it wasn't for his adoptive father, if it wasn't for his adoptive father, he would be a strong man. Then his mother, if she wants to fully recover, it may take hundreds of millions of years. After all, it is impossible for their Mulai tribe to consume a lot of treasures for a disciple of the universe venerable realm. With such a serious injury, one can imagine how cruel the other party is. It is completely to destroy the opponent completely. Fortunately, there is a foster father. If not, what else can he do? But now that he has strength and has a adoptive father behind him, he will make the guy who hurt his mother pay ten times and a hundred times the price. Liao Fiyian, Liao Fiyu. TNC murmured coldly. As soon as he moved, he immediately flew towards the competition ring. The competition belonging to their potential dragon and young phoenix group has just ended. And the competition that is going on now is the Tian Jiao group. Liao Fiyian and Liao Fiyu are now in the arena. The opponent hurt his mother in the ring. Then he will return it. It seems that we should be going back soon. In the room, Wang Xian looked through the wall, looked at the figure of TNC, and muttered in his mouth. God send this time, with a little luck, he might be able to hide it for hundreds of thousands of years. If you are unlucky, you will be exposed. Expose it, then expose it, I'm here. Wang Xian smiled and stood up. Liao Fiyian's words completely ignited God's anger. Everything was obviously Liao Fiyian pestering his mother, but here, she said it was her mother pestering his younger brother. This made his heart burn with anger, and his eyes were filled with chills. Oh! Located around Liao Fiyian, the top ten disciples of the Tian Jiao group raised their brows watching this scene. They moved and flew out of the ring. Among them, Liao Fiyu's face was a little embarrassed, and it kept changing there. There seems to be some gossip. Liao Fiyu? What's the situation? And why is Liao Fiyu called Mulai TNC bastard? Around the position, the strong disciples of all the tribes looked at this scene, their eyes were full of doubt and curiosity. Gossip is very attractive anywhere. I need to turn right and wrong, a without a father. I will give you a second to disappear before my eyes, otherwise don't blame me for bullying the little." Liao Fiyian stared at TNC with disdain, and said coldly. Listening to her vicious words, TNC's body trembled slightly. He raised his head slowly, and a water attribute sword appeared in his palm. He stared at Liao Fiyian, his eyes filled with violent killing intent. Wow! In the next moment, Without the slightest hesitation, he went straight to kill Liao Fiyian. Looking for death, a boy who has cultivated for less than 100 million years dares to challenge Sister Fiyian, it is simply reckless. This little guy named Mulai TNC really doesn't know how to live or die. He thinks that he is very strong in the Qianlongcha Feng group, so he wants to challenge the strong in the Tian Jiao group. Is this kid a without a father? It's really interesting. From this point of view, Liao Fiyu shouldn't bother a woman with a child. That's natural. Liao Fiyu is the top talent in our six universes. How could he pursue such a woman? It should be that woman who tried to seduce Liao Fiyu failed and was discovered by Liao Fiyian. A little thing, dare to challenge our Suintu tribe's Tian Jiao disciples. The moment Tian Si moved, the surrounding positions, some strong disciples of the tribe were discussing. Especially the strong disciples of the Suintu tribe watched this scene with cold and disdainful faces. A disciple of a small tribe, even courting death, dared to challenge the elite of their Suintu tribe. It's purely life or death. Oops. 
Seeing this scene, the elders and strong disciples of the Mulai tribe changed their expressions drastically. They swept towards the ring with worried faces, and quickly looked around. Young Master Wang Xian, God gave him. An elder anxiously flew to Wang Xian's side and spoke to him. Don't worry. Wang Xian waved his hand, interrupted his words, and watched all this calmly. But. The elder of the Mulai tribe opened his mouth, his face extremely embarrassed. In their Mulai tribe, it was not easy for them to have a disciple who was astonishingly talented and dazzling in ancient and modern times. If something happened, their Mulai tribe would also suffer a huge loss. Boom! But at this moment, a huge roar suddenly appeared at the position of the ring. The elders of the Mulai tribe hurriedly looked forward. All the strong disciples around are also closely watching the position of the ring. What? How is this possible? However, in the next moment, shocking exclamations sounded from around. In the seat of the seat, a group of strong disciples from the Suintu tribe and the dead tribe watched this scene in shock. How can this be? The location of the arena, TNC was standing in the center, in front of him, was a headless corpse, her head was not far from the side. The head of the corpse still had its eyes wide open at this moment, full of incredible expressions. At this moment, Liao Fiyin didn't react at all. After TNC made a move, she still had a contemptuous attitude. She didn't react until she sensed that TNC's speed was terrifying, beyond her expectation. However, it was too late. The strength bestowed by God is now at the peak of the universe venerable. And the strength of his body has actually reached the fourth level of universe master. He has a reaction force far beyond the same level, sensing power. In this case, he still has the swordsmanship that Wang Xian taught him. Tian Yuan Swordsmanship The most top swordsmanship in the universe. In addition, there are Wang Xian's teachings for nearly 100 million years. In itself, God Send has invincible strength at the same level. Now that Liao Fiyin completely underestimated the enemy, she didn't react at all. So, this is the result today. Whoosh! When everyone around is in shock, the referee above is also in shock. TNC waved the sharp sword in his hand, and slashed at Liao Fiyin's head and corpse again. A strong man at the peak of the universe venerable will not die immediately if his head is taken away. On the ring stage, beheading of the opponent is also not allowed. Otherwise, you will be severely punished. However, TNC did not want to completely destroy the other party. But if he doesn't destroy it, he will make the other party pay a terrible price. As the sharp sword swept across, Liao Fiyin's body instantly annihilated and collapsed, completely turning into lifeless flesh and blood. The sword light swept over her head, her eyes, tongue, ears, and most of the vitality were all wiped out. There is only a trace of vitality. If it is said that Mu Li Yinner's injury will take hundreds of millions of years to recover, or even a lifetime to recover. Liao Fiyin's injury is basically incurable without the treatment of top-level treasures and the intervention of a strong Tian Yuan fortune. The injury was ten times more serious. This is God's revenge. And that's just the beginning. Tian Si decided that if he had the opportunity, if he could really step into the realm of Tian Yuan fortune, he would come again. He would come and take her life himself. He himself can be insulted, but his mother must not be hurt. His mother and adoptive father were the ones he would never allow anyone to hurt in his life. Stop! At the position above, the old referee saw this scene, his expression changed drastically, his eyes widened, and he looked at TNC in disbelief. He landed in front of Liao Fiyin's remaining head in an instant, and a wave of energy protected it. In response, his expression sank. There is only a glimmer of hope, without treatment, he will die in a short time. Senior referee, I won. The shot was a bit heavy. I'm sorry, but I didn't kill him completely. I'm still young and vigorous. TNC glanced at Liao Fiyin's head, then his eyes fell on the referee's old man, bowed to him, and said. 
TNC also knew that he could not kill him yet. Whether it is the words of the adoptive father or the reasons of the Mulai tribe, they cannot kill her. But he is very satisfied with the result so far. Hiss, this. Stupid, completely dumbfounded. The sudden battle on the ring made everyone look a little confused. They looked at TNC standing on the ring with shock and disbelief. What did they see? What did you see? A young man from the Dragon and Young Phoenix group, a young man who had not cultivated for hundreds of millions of years, unexpectedly defeated Liao Fiyian, who was in the top ten of the Tian Jiao group. And it's still an instant kill. Liao Fiyian is a powerhouse at the peak of the universe venerable. The pinnacle of the venerable universe, the top arrogance of the six universes. As for Mulai TNC, although he ranks top in the Qianlong and Young Phoenix group, there is a huge gap among them. The top teenagers of the Qianlong Chifeng group, the highest realm is no more than the fifth order realm of the universe venerable. Now, Mu Li TNC actually killed Liao Fiyian instantly. This? How is this possible? How is this possible? How could this Mulai TNC possess such terrifying strength? How long has he only been practicing? Insta-kill Liao Fiyian, the strength he just exploded? Such strength at such an age, is this true or not? It's not true, is it? He must have borrowed some treasure, isn't it true? All the strong disciples around the ring were in an uproar. All feel incredible. In the entire history of the Six Paths universe, no one can possess such terrifying strength at such an age. This is completely against the sky. Sister. Liao Fiyu looked at this scene, a little dazed, came back to his senses, and immediately flew towards Liao Fiyian, looking at the head with only a glimmer of life left with an extremely embarrassing expression. This. The seat of the seat, the Suinta tribe, all the strong disciples of the Liao family watched this scene, and their expressions changed drastically. The scene in front of me exceeded everyone's expectations. The youngster of Qianlongcha Feng group killed the top ten disciples of Tian Jiao group in seconds. Unbelievable. The most important thing is that Liao Fiyian is an elite disciple of their Suinta tribe. This is a bit of a slap in the face of their Suinta tribe. You, you court death. Liao Fiyu looked at his serious sister, his expression changed, he stared at TNC and roared in a low voice. I'm looking for death? Liao Fiyu, you pestered my mother some time ago, and then your sister scolded my mother, took her to the ring to compete, beat her seriously, and now she is still accusing her of pestering you? You insulted my mother insult me. For a vicious woman like your sister, this kind of fate is still light. You despicable guys have to pay the price. Why, if you want to avenge your sister, well, we will compete in the arena, but even if you don't challenge me, I will challenge you, let your despicable shameless guy, pay the price. When TNC heard Liao Fiyu's words, he stared at him with a cold expression on his face. Liao Fiyian insulted him and his mother just now, which filled TNC with anger. Looking at this Liao Fiyu now, his eyes are full of killing intent. Come on, if you are still a man, we will have a decisive battle. TNC stared at Liao Fiyu and continued to speak. Liao Fiyu's face changed drastically when he heard TNC's words. His strength is stronger than his elder sister, but his strength is limited. Now that his sister is killed in seconds, it is difficult for him to be a match for Godsend. Once defeated, with the level of Mulai TNC's attack just now, he will definitely suffer a serious injury. What? My sister was seriously injured, and you and I are at the same level, so I dare not fight, ha ha ha, is this the proud son of the Suinta tribe? This is the top ten disciples of the Tian Jiao group of the six universes, right? Don't even dare, what a coward. A coward like you dares to pester my mother, trash. Seeing that Liao Fiyu didn't answer, TNC sneered coldly. His face was full of disdain. Today, he must make Liao Fiyu pay a terrible price. Today, if he doesn't fight, he will fight. 
I'm going, this is to force Liao Fiyu to fight. Who made Mulai Tian Si young, and this time he was venting his anger for his mother, if Liao Fiyu refused to fight, it would be a shame. How did Mulai Tian Si cultivate? How could he be so strong? Now Liao Fiyu can't get off the table. This time, it's a big shame. If he really pestered Mulai Tian Si's mother, it would be even more shameless. The strong disciples of all the surrounding tribes were shocked when they saw Tian Si's powerful appearance. Who would have thought that this scene would happen today? Who would have thought that Mulai Tian Si would hide his strength? Tian Si Mulai, the majesty of our Suintu tribe cannot be challenged. In the seat of the seated person, a strong man from the Suintu tribe's universe master realm frowned and looked at Tian Si, and said coldly. I didn't provoke the majestic to Jiang Tong brothers of the Suintu tribe. They are all very good people, but when a tribe grows large, there will always be some scum and waste. The Suintu tribe can investigate my mother's matter. If it is my mother I am willing to punish them, but if it is their reason, will the Suintu tribe deal with it fairly? When Tian Si heard the words of the powerful master of the Suintu tribe's universe, he looked over and responded calmly. Neither humble nor overbearing. Hearing what he said, the strong man in the realm of masters of the universe from the Suintu tribe raised his brows slightly, a little surprised at his God-given courage. Neither humble nor overbearing, deliberately concealing one's own strength and acting in a low-key manner, this is a gift from Mulai, and if there is no accident in the future, he will definitely be a strong one. Indeed, if it wasn't for his mother's business, I'm afraid he wouldn't have exposed his strength. The powerhouses of the major tribes around looked at Mulai Tian Si standing proudly on the ring, and commented in a low voice. My Suintu tribe is not a tribe that oppresses people with power. Since you have grievances, let's settle them in the arena, regardless of life or death. Suddenly, an old man looked at all this coldly at the seat of the Suintu tribe, and said. His words made Liao Fiyu's pupils shrink slightly. Okay, thank you Suintu tribe for being fair. When Tian Si heard it, his eyes were fixed, and he cupped his hands and said loudly. Fiyu, bring your sister's body here and prepare to fight. Let's settle the grievances between you and this arena. The location of the Suintu tribe is located in front of the talking old man, another old man said lightly. Yes. Liao Fiyu's expression was uncertain, and he flew over immediately holding his sister's head. Grandpa, I. Liao Fiyu came to the old man, opened his mouth, and spoke. The majesty of the Suintu tribe cannot be provoked, and our Liao family is not something that a reckless little guy can provoke kill him. The old man in front of him looked at him and sent a sound transmission to him. Grandpa, his strength is very strong. Liao Fiyu echoed with embarrassment when he heard his grandfather's words. With the strength Mulai Tian Si showed just now, he might not be the opponent. Kill him, go. The old man looked at his grandson, frowned slightly, patted his shoulder, and said. At the same time, in his palm, blood red light entered Liao Fiyu's body. Liao Fiyu instantly sensed a surge of majestic energy entering his body. Immediately afterwards, he saw a cocky soil hammer enter his blood. The soil hammer contained a powerful force, as if it was going to explode his body. He felt a steady stream of energy coming from the soil hammer. This. Sensing the energy in his body, his eyes glowed. This is their Liao family's blood weapon. The so-called blood weapon, as the name suggests, is a weapon that can only be used by their Liao family blood. In their Liao family, there are only a dozen or so weapons of this kind. Each one is in the hands of Liao's top powerhouses. Liao Fiyu's grandfather, officially a strong man of the Liao clan of the Suintu tribe, a strong man in the ninth order realm of the universe ruler. In the future, it is expected to reach the pinnacle of universe domination. Because this kind of weapon belongs to the bloodline weapon, as the bloodline of the Liao family, he can use it directly without having to conceive. Even if you can only borrow a little bit of energy, it is enough. 
The powerful blood weapon can even make him fight against the existence of the First Order realm of the Master of the Universe. With this weapon, he is 100% sure to kill that arrogant kid. Go! Around the location, some strong men from the Liao clan of the Suintu tribe looked at Liao Fiyu and said lightly. Grandpa, I will definitely destroy this guy who dares to hurt my sister, kill him, and let him know the fate of despising our Suintu tribe. Liao Fiyu said with murderous intent on his face. Next to it, several strong men of the Suintu tribe who were at the pinnacle of the universe ruled all this, and there was a smile on their faces. Although it is said that Mulai's talent is more evil. But if they dared to hurt the top Tianjiao of their Suintu tribe, they would have to pay a terrible price. The Suintu tribe are very defensive. It's been a long time since anyone dared to challenge them. Tianjiao, evildoer, so what? Still the same sentence, all the arrogant and evildoers who have not grown up are weak. They don't need to care. Um. At this moment, at the side of the arena. Wang Xian sat on a chair, looked at the position of the Suintu tribe, raised his eyebrows slightly, and a icy look flashed in his eyes. All of them, Wang Xian saw in his eyes. Although it is said that Grandpa Liao Fiyu's actions are very secretive, so secret that, except for the nearest strongman from the Suintu tribe, no other strongman has discovered it. But all of this can't be hidden from Wang Xian. Including his body, a powerful weapon suddenly appeared. I want to kill TNC, humph, I really thought that you are the only ones with cards and backing. Wang Xian murmured softly, and a book appeared under his feet. The books turned into water and disappeared immediately. At the same time, TNC, who was on the ring, suddenly sensed a wave of energy entering his body. The guys on the other side want to cheat and gave him a powerful weapon. It seems that they want to use their trump cards and backing to overwhelm you. Hee <laughs> hee, sense this book of mine. The treasure in your body has my breath, the book will accept you, God given you can mobilize the energy above. They wanted to kill you, so they killed Liao Fiyu directly. I want to see how shameless this Suintu tribe can be. Immediately afterwards, TNC heard Wang Xian's voice transmission. When hearing the news, TNC's face also changed slightly. Just now, the strong man of the Suintu tribe said that he would not overwhelm others with power, and he thought that the other party was very fair. As a result, he secretly gave Liao Fiyu a powerful treasure to kill himself. This is the Suintu tribe? This is justice. TNC's eyes became colder and colder. If he didn't have an adoptive father, what could he do? Expose your wood attribute strength? Even if they were exposed, if the Suintu tribe wanted to kill themselves, it would be very easy. At this moment, he felt his own weakness. However, Liao Fiyu has his own grandfather and his own backer. He Mulai TNC also has a backer. He has an adoptive father. Boy, you dare to hurt my sister. Today, I will take your head. I want you to know the fate of hurting my sister. At this time, Liao Fiyu's cold voice came. With a movement of his figure, he returned to the ring again in an instant, staring at TNC with a murderous expression on his face. Well, today I want to see if it's you or me. TNC stared at Liao Fiyu and said with a cold face. I'm going, is this really going to be a life and death battle? The Suintu tribe didn't stop it and both sides are going to fight a life and death battle, so this is a life and death battle. Then Mulai TNC was able to instantly kill Liao Fiyi in just now, will Liao Fiyi be this Mulai TNC's opponent? Who would have thought that the youngsters of the Qianlongcha Feng group would have to fight to the death with the Tianjiao of the Tianjiao group? This is not at the same level at all. Age is not at the same level, but strength is at the same level, and judging from just now, Mulai TNC is even stronger. The strong disciples from the major tribes around kept discussing, their eyes fixed on the ring. At the same time, the news about the arena spread crazily to other parts of the dungeon and other tribes. Mulai TNC of Qianlongcha Feng group challenged Liao Fiyin, 
the top 10 talent of Tian Jiao group because of her mother's humiliation, and instantly killed her. Later, he fought with Liao Fiyu in a life and death battle in the arena. This news spread wildly in the dungeon. When everyone saw the news, they were all dumbfounded and full of shock. Bump! Sister, it's not good, brother-in-law is going to fight Liao Fiyu to the death. Located inside the earth cave where the Juhi tribe lived. A teenager knocked a room door, shouting with shock and disbelief on his face. In the room, Gong Cheng sat cross-legged in the room, when he suddenly heard his brother's voice outside, with a look of astonishment on his face. With a wave of her arm, she opened the door. Sister, something serious has happened, brother-in-law has something serious happen. The moment the door opened, the boy rushed over and shouted loudly. God sent him what happened. At this moment, Gong Cheng Miao Miao didn't care about his younger brother's title of TNC, he stood up quickly, staring at him closely with surprise in his heart. Brother-in-law is going to fight Liao Fiyu to the death because of his mother's affairs. Now the battle is about to start. This matter has spread crazy in the dungeon. At the place where the Juhi tribe lived, a young man pointed at Gong Cheng and reported loudly, his face full of anxiety. When Gong Cheng on the opposite side heard this, his expression was a little dazed. TNC wants to fight Liao Fiyu to the death? Liao Fiyu? Liao Fiyu knew that she was the top Tian Jiao in the Tian Jiao group. In the six universes, among the generation of Tian Jiao, they are the favorites to win the championship. How could TNC want to fight to the death with Liao Fiyu? No, no. I want to stop him immediately, TNC is no match for Liao Fiyu at all, I have to stop him immediately. Gong Cheng looked at his face full of panic, and hurriedly ran outside. Hey, sister, don't worry, my brother-in-law killed Liao Fiyu's sister Liao Fiyin in seconds just now. Liao Fiyin is a powerhouse at the peak of the universe venerable, and he was killed in seconds by brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, he has hidden his strength and his strength is also at the peak of the Supreme Master of the Universe. He is extremely terrifying. Fuck, the news is now boiling in the entire dungeon. Brother-in-law, he has not practiced for 100 million years, and he has such a terrifying power. His strength is simply against the sky. Seeing his sister's flustered and anxious expression, the boy quickly followed behind and said loudly. He got this news from the chat group of their Qianlongcha Feng group. When he heard the news, he was also stunned, full of disbelief. Now, the strong disciples of all the tribes have come to watch this life and death battle. They all came to see, that young man who had cultivated for less than 100 million years, but possessed the peak realm of the supreme master of the universe. This can also be said to be unprecedented in the entire Six Path universe. What? When Gong Cheng heard these words, his body froze slightly, but he didn't ask any further questions, and immediately flew outside. Outside the cave where they lived was the arena. When he flew out, he saw two figures standing on the ring. Around, densely packed disciples of strong men rushed towards this side quickly. Fuck, how is this possible, Brother TNC has the strength of the peak of the universe venerable. Gong Cheng came to the edge of the ring and heard two Jiangtong's shocked roar. The strong disciples who just arrived around were also discussing in shock. Are you ready to die? On the ring, Liao Fiyu stared at TNC with a cold face, full of violent killing intent and confidence. Today, Mulai TNC made him lose face, and he wanted to make him pay with his life. Damn it, it's you. When TNC heard Liao Fiyu's words, his face was filled with a cold expression. He moved his palm, held the sharp sword in his hand, and attacked directly. Heavenly gift, be careful. From the position in the audience, Gong Cheng glanced at the outbreak of the war, and shouted with anxiety and concern on his face. Act recklessly. Liao Fiyu saw TNC actively attacking him, his face was also full of coldness. With a movement of his palm, a shield and a spear appeared in his hands. He swung his spear and stabbed directly at TNC. 
boom. With one move, the arena split open, and a burst of earth attribute energy rushed towards TNC. With a wave of TNC's arm, a sharp sword of water attribute flew towards the surroundings. Immediately, it quickly hovered above his head, forming a sword array. The sword formation directly faced Liao Fiyu's attack. Bump, bump. Sword array attack, a sharp sword carrying a powerful force, directly broke through Liao Fiyu's attack. Immediately afterwards, the sword formation attacked Liao Fiyu with undiminished power. Earth, Ching Tian. Liao Fiyu felt the power of the attack from God, his eyes fixed, and he directly raised his shield. The surrounding soil spread towards the shield, directly forming a huge and thick defense. Water, clone. Water, sword tomb. When Tianxi saw this scene, his eyes were fixed, and his body directly turned into dozens. Each avatar holds a water sword in its hand and stands in a fixed position. Dozens of clones attacked Liao Fiyu at the same time. Snort. When Liao Fiyu saw this scene, his expression was a little ugly. He didn't use the blood weapon in his body right away. If you use such a weapon from the very beginning, you will be despised by others. Ha! Huh. He shouted loudly, and the surrounding mud rushed towards him. His whole body began to grow rapidly, and soon became a giant with the size of a hundred meters. The spear in his hand also became ten times bigger under the cover of soil. Liao Fiyu stared at Tianxi's figure in contempt, and the spear in his hand swept away with a terrifying power. Sword 21 When Tianxi saw this scene, his expression remained unchanged. His 21 clones suddenly turned into water energy and poured directly into the water sword in his hand. The water sword instantly burst into light, and a stream of light flashed across it. 21 sharp swords are connected together carrying a sharp edge, directly facing the spear. Bump, bump. There was a violent collision sound. Everyone around could see that the spear in Liao Fiyu's hand slowly turned into mud and fell to the ground. The water sword turned into a stream of water, attached to the spear, and instantly attacked his huge giant arm. Damn it, what kind of weird attack is this? Seeing this scene, Liao Fiyu's expression changed drastically, and he quickly avoided it. An arm of his giant body was directly broken. However, it was not injured. This? Liao Fiyu was actually suppressed by Mulai TNC, and Mulai TNC's methods are so strong. Liao Fiyu is at a disadvantage, what kind of sword technique is Mulai TNC, so strong? Hiss, I can't even imagine it. This Mulai TNC is too monstrous, isn't it? Around the position, all the strong disciples saw that Mulai TNC completely suppressed Liao Fiyu, their eyes widened, and they talked one after another. Those teenagers in the Qianlongcha Feng group were even more confused. Among them, there is such a terrifying existence hidden? This? This gift from Mulai, what kind of opportunity did you get? The position of the seated person, as well as the powerhouses of some top tribes looked at Mulai TNC with flickering eyes, and their hearts were a little shaken. What kind of opportunity can make such a young boy possess such great strength? God sent. At the rear, at this moment, Mu Li Yinner flew over with a pale face when she received the news. When she saw the situation on the ring, she was also full of shock. Mu Li Yinner's parents and elder brother were also full of shock and disbelief. The boy in the ring, or their grandson? Nephew? It's just trash like you who came to harass my mother, you're courting death. On the ring, TNC fixed his eyes on Liao Fiyu coldly, with a look of disdain on his face. The discussions and exclamations around the ring did not reach his ears. He only had eyes on Liao Fiyu. When his voice fell, his attack continued. With a movement of his figure, dozens of clones appeared again, and each clone held a sharp sword in his hand. Dozens of clones quickly surrounded Liao Fiyu. Earth, heavy blow, shock, gravity suppression. Liao Fiyu stared at Wang Xian with a gloomy look on his face. 
With a low growl, the huge shield in his hand hit the ground directly. The ground began to collapse and tremble violently, like waves, and ripples spread towards the surroundings. At the same time, the entire space seemed to freeze. Strong gravity filled the entire arena. Ranged attack. Standing on the ring, TNC immediately sensed that the gravity below had increased to a terrifying level. His speed was directly reduced by half. TNC's face remained unchanged, and with a movement of his palm, streams of sea water appeared out of thin air, directly covering the ground. The sea water is getting higher and higher, submerging the god given figure. Whoosh! Located in the sea water, he continued to attack Liao Fiyu like a swimming fish. Roar! Liao Fiyu stared at him, let out a low growl, the spear in his hand became bigger again, threw it directly and shot towards TNC. Bump! TNC was in the water, and his figure flickered instantly. In the surrounding positions, each of them held a sharp sword, forming a sword formation. Rays of light connect sharp swords together. Integrating the formation into the sword technique, such a strong sword formation, if the sword formation is formed, then Liao Fi Yu is definitely not Mulai's match. Next to the arena, Beside Gong Cheng Mamao, several old men and middle aged people appeared, looking at everything on the arena in amazement. Grandpa! Grandpa, Dad! Seeing the sudden appearance of a group of figures, Gong Cheng's younger brother hurriedly shouted. This Mulai TNC either obtained a heaven defying opportunity, or was taught by a strong person behind him, otherwise, it is impossible to have such a state, such a powerful fighting method and experience. Gong Cheng took a look at their great grandpa and nodded, then continued talking. His gaze fell on her, Meow Meow, do you know about Mulai TNC? Grandpa, I, I didn't know he would be so powerful, Grandpa, will he be fine? Gong Cheng Meow Meow immediately shook his head, and couldn't help asking worriedly. No, his combat experience and reflexes are much stronger than Liao Fi Yu's. He won't lose. Gongchen's great-grandfather shook his head and said. That's good, that's good. Gongcheng Miao Miao heaved a sigh of relief, and continued to watch. He has such combat experience at such a young age, he should be taught by a strong man behind him. An old man next to Gongcheng Miao's grandfather made a judgment. The others nodded slightly in agreement. Heavenly sword, seal the demon. At this moment, the voice of TNC Lenjiu sounded from the ring. Located on the arena, a gigantic sword array was formed. The entire sword array shone with a sharp luster, and countless sharp swords were intertwined to form a huge pattern. The huge sword array completely surrounded Liao Fi Yu. A sharp sword is heading towards him with uninterrupted attacks. Bump, bump. Liao Fi Yu was holding a shield with an extremely ugly face resisting attacks one after another. Ka ka ka! On his incomparably huge shield, cracks appeared one after another. Damn it, how could this guy's attack be so strong? Liao Fi Yu had a cold face. He is not going to use the blood weapon immediately, he wants to rely on his own strength to kill TNC. Using blood weapons, even if he wins, others will know that he relied on powerful weapons to destroy them. But now, without using the blood weapon, he might not be the opponent. Hula! Whoosh whoosh! The moment he was thinking, the situation suddenly changed. Below him, a sharp sword suddenly penetrated the soil under his feet and shot towards him. What? Seeing this scene, Liao Fi Yu's face changed wildly. But at this time, he couldn't react. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. The strangulation of a sharp sword caused his body of a hundred meters to collapse quickly, and pieces of energy armor with earth attributes collapsed and fell. The huge impact made his heart tremble violently, and blood overflowed from his mouth. His body couldn't help but fly towards the sky. Then Liao Fi Yu is about to lose. It's a bit quick to lose. Defeating the opponent so quickly at the same level, the strength of Mulai's godsend is stronger than imagined, 
almost half a step to the realm of universe domination. Surrounding them, some strong men watched the battle on the ring and decided in their hearts. Snort. My lord, the location of the Suinta tribe. Liao Fiyu's father and grandfather looked at this scene with cold faces. Tian Si Mulai, don't try to defeat me, I said I would destroy you, so I will destroy you. Liao Fiyu vomited blood and flew towards the sky. The whole body is in great pain. His face was a little distorted, with a gloomy look on his face. Liao Fiyu slowly covered the position of his chest with his palm, and clawed hard. Buzz. A cocky hammer appeared in his hand, when the whole soil hammer appeared. Blooms directly to an earthy yellow luster. The water sword that was attacking him quickly collapsed and disappeared under the cocky light. It seems to have encountered a terrifying existence. Roll. Liao Fiyu's face was flushed, holding the soil hammer, and slammed it downwards vigorously. Boom. The cocky energy impacted down and the force of the impact covered the bottom. The phantom of the soil hammer covered the entire arena. Seeing this scene, Tian Si's face changed slightly, and all the clones around him gathered towards him. But in the next instant, each clone directly collapsed under this energy. Tian Si raised the sharp sword in his hand, the sword was divided into eight handles, and wrapped around him, forming a defense. Crack. But soon, this defense, under the blow of the soil hammer, still quickly collapsed. Fortunately, the earth hammer's attack also completely disappeared at this time. Is this his background? Is it the treasure given to him by the powerful Suinta tribe? Tian Si stared at the soil hammer and felt a threat of death from it. However, his complexion didn't change much. Liao Fiyu's foster father had already told him about this treasure. Feeling its terrifying power now, he didn't have any worries. For foster father, he has 100% confidence and trust. Boom. A roaring sound resounded on the ring, and terrifying energy fluctuations impacted the defenses around the ring. Liao Fiyu stood in the center with an earth hammer in his hand, and a sandstorm slowly formed around him. In the upper position, the phantom of an earth hammer condensed, exuding a powerful force. The sudden change, Liao Fiyu's sudden counterattack, slightly surprised the strong disciples of all the surrounding tribes. What is this? What a powerful treasure! In the Mulai tribe, a group of elders and strong men, the grandpas and seniors gifted by God, saw Liao Fiyu's sudden counterattack, and their expressions changed drastically. They stared nervously at the soil hammer in Liao Fiyu's hand. This weapon is not simple, no, this weapon is very strong, how can he, a mere disciple of the master of the universe, have such a powerful treasure? An elder of the Mulai tribe said with an embarrassed face. As existences at the master level of the universe, they can naturally sense good or bad treasures. The earth hammer in Liao Fiyu's hand contained terrifying energy and power, even if it was the most powerful treasure of the Mulai tribe, it was not as good as it. It shouldn't be, a disciple of such a state should not have such a powerful treasure, too bad. Another elder of the Mulai tribe said with a gloomy face. When Tian Si's grandfather heard it, his expression changed drastically, and his face was full of worry and anxiety. When Mu Li Yinner heard it, her heart trembled, and she hurriedly flew towards Wang Xian. Young Master Wang Xian, will God send him be in danger? Mu Li Yinner looked at Wang Xian, just clenched her fists, and asked. His own son suddenly showed such a powerful and heaven-defying strength. Even her strength that she doesn't know as a mother definitely has something to do with Wang Xian. Even if it is a gift from heaven, it is definitely because of Wang Xian's relationship to have such strength and combat experience. Otherwise, it would be impossible for such a powerful existence to be born. Don't worry, there will be no danger. Wang Xian looked at Mu Li Yinner, and smiled faintly at her. That's good, that's good. Hearing Wang Xian's words and seeing her smile, Mu Li Yinner felt completely relaxed. As for this mysterious young man who was rescued by herself, until today, 
she did not know the details of him. But the good thing is that she can see that Wang Xian is sincere to Tianxi and treats Tianxi as his own child. Next to them, Tianxi's grandfather and the elders and strong men of the Mulai tribe heard and looked at each other, and their eyes fell on the ring again. They have seen the mystery and power of this God-given foster father. Not to mention anything else, it is terrifying to be able to cultivate TNC into the peak of the universe venerable. Oops, how could that guy have such a powerful weapon? On the side of the Juhi tribe, Gong Cheng Mao Miao's younger brother exclaimed and stared nervously. Gong Cheng bit his lip, and stared intently. Blood weapon, this kind of weapon is the most powerful treasure in every clan of our Suinta tribe, right? Only the most top level seniors can have it. Godsend is going to be terrible. Seeing this scene, to Jiang Tong's face changed slightly, and he spoke in the seat of the seated superior. Although he has a good relationship with TNC, in this case, he can't help. He only has the strength of the fifth order realm of the venerable universe, and his strength is too weak. In addition, this matter is related to the Suinta tribe, and it is also related to the Liao family. Liao's affairs, how can he, a young man in the fifth order state of the Tushi tribe's universe venerable, be able to take care of it? Even looking for his father and grandfather is useless. Tisk tisk. Some strong men from the tribe of the dead looked at the clay hammer weapon and shook their heads lightly, with a tearful sarcasm. They naturally know this kind of treasure. It is not something that a disciple of the Supreme Master of the Universe can have. The powerhouses of the major tribes around have some understanding in their hearts. This is the Suinta tribe, this is the Liao family, we want to kill this evil boy. Little bastard, are you ready to die? Liao Fiyu stood there like an ancient of war, his eyes were gifted by God, and his face was full of arrogance and disdain. The powerful power made him feel that even a strong man who is in the first order realm of the master of the universe can fight against it. Around the arena, the other eight top ten disciples of Tian Jiao also frowned. They asked themselves, with Liao Fiyu holding such a powerful treasure, they couldn't compete at all. No, if you don't reach the realm of master of the universe, you won't be able to suppress Liao Fiyu at all. A Tian Jiao youth from the tribe of the dead said. A dead person can make you more arrogant. Tian Si stared at Liao Fiyu, his expression unchanged and his eyes were full of strong fighting spirit. I'm going to your limbs first, and then bury your head. Liao Fiyu had a cold look on his face when he heard Tianxi's words. He raised the earth hammer in his hand, lines of blood were connected. With a wave of his arm, an earth python condensed on the earth hammer and directly attacked Tianxi. The earth python carries invincible strength against the realm of the universe lord. Heavenly Gift be careful. From the position below, Gong Cheng glanced at this terrifying attack, his expression changed drastically, and he shouted at TNC on the ring. Do you think that only you have powerful treasures? TNC looked at the power of the earth python, his eyes fixed, and his body shook. A book slowly floated above his head. On the book, there is a big forbidden word. Ho ho! The earth python made a roaring sound, swayed its huge body, and entangled directly towards TNC. Buzz! When the earth python came to TNC's body and was about to wrap it around, the Book of Water Forbidden Curse emitted faint ripples. A ripple of water rushed towards the surroundings. The ripples acted as the past, and the earth python's attack stopped instantly, as if it had been frozen in time. Bump! Immediately afterwards, the earth python gradually became unreal and completely disappeared. Seeing this scene, TNC was also a little shocked in his heart. He just summoned this book and suspended it around him as a simple treasure, but it possessed such terrifying power. What level of treasure did the adoptive father give him? What? When Liao Fiyu saw this scene, his pupils shrank slightly, and he looked at the intact TNC in disbelief die. He fixed his eyes, raised the soil hammer in his hand, and directly bombarded TNC. In the sky above, the phantom of an earth hammer emerged. 
The entire soil hammer completely enveloped the gift of heaven, and there was no room to escape. He held the soil hammer with both hands, and smashed it down hard. Boom! A huge roar sounded, and Tianxi raised his head to look, and waves of water energy poured into the book of the water forbidden spell. Buzz! The energy in Tianxi's body poured into the book of water forbidden curse. The book of water forbidden curse trembled again, sending out a ripple. This ripple hit the huge soil hammer gathered in the sky. It is still a very simple ripple, and it is still an attack without the slightest powerful force. When the ripples rushed towards the earth hammer above, the earth hammer also seemed to become unreal, sending out ripples one after another. Immediately afterwards, the soil hammer formed by the condensed energy of the earth attribute dissipated directly. TNC looked up at this scene, with the corners of his mouth slightly raised. He stared at Liao Fiyu in front of him and walked towards him. At the foot of the river, a river appeared, Tianxi paced away, with a trace of chic, already a kind of contempt. So easy. No, no, how is this possible? This is the powerful blood weapon of our Liao family. How can you resist it? How is it possible? At this moment, Liao Fiyu was completely panicked when he saw that his attack was eliminated in an instant. He shook his head, roared loudly, raised the soil hammer in his hand, and threw it at TNC again. This, how is this possible? What kind of treasure is that that can withstand the attack of our Liao's blood weapon? In the upper seat, Liao Fiyu's grandfather, some top powerhouses of the Suinta tribe, stared at each other, couldn't help standing up immediately, staring at the position of the ring. Bloodline weapons are the top weapons of the Suinta tribe. The Suinta tribe has four major clans, and each clan has only three or four bloodline weapons. But every bloodline weapon is extremely powerful. It was built by gathering a large amount of treasures and resources from the entire Suinta tribe. And with such a powerful weapon and treasure, there is no way to face that young man? What kind of treasure is on that young man? What level? Hiss, that Mulei TNC actually has a treasure in his hand, and the treasure in his hand is extremely powerful, completely suppressing the treasure in Liao Fiyu's hand. Surrounding positions, the strong disciples of all the tribes saw this scene with shocked expressions on their faces. Many strong people know a little about the treasure in Liao Fiyu's hands. However, as the top treasure of the Suinta tribe, it was actually suppressed by a treasure in the hands of a young man? This? How can this be? This is. At the Nine Rivers tribe, Gong Cheng took aim at his grandfather and the others. The strong men of the Nine Rivers tribe stared at the Book of Water Forbidden Spells floating above Tianxi's head, their eyes widened, and their breathing was slightly short of breath. They can feel an extremely powerful water energy from it. This water energy is probably extremely pure. I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you. Liao Fiyu stared wide-eyed, gritted his teeth, and his face was full of madness. He watched Mulei Tianxi walking towards him, his eyes were full of anger. I was forced to such a point by a guy who was a generation younger than me. You are not his opponent? His eyes were bloodshot, and he raised the soil hammer in his hand. In the next moment, his body was enveloped by the earth attribute energy that exploded from the earth hammer. The soil hammer in his hand also rapidly grew in size. This time, he directly turned into a kilometer-sized giant. His huge body, with the blessing of the earth hammer, made his strength burst to the peak in an instant. Especially from the soil hammer in his hand, there was a faint roar of a giant beast. The earth hammer vibrated and smashed towards TNC in front of him. This hammer is earth shattering. It has reached the destructive power of the first order universe ruler. The surrounding positions, all the powerhouses in the realm of masters of the universe, looked at this scene, fixed their eyes, and said. In the Mulei tribe, everyone's faces were full of nervousness. A huge earth hammer fell from the sky. God sent on the ring looks insignificant. Like an ant that can be easily crushed to death. 
Tian Si felt the power of Liao Fiyu in front of him, and his face was full of dignity. He slowly stretched out his right hand, and put his palm on top of the Book of Water Forbidden Curse. Streams of water energy surged inside. The water energy poured into the Book of the Forbidden Water Curse, and there was only the slightest ripple. The entire Book of Water Forbidden Curse is still extremely calm. The Book of Water Forbidden Curse, after all, is too strong, a fragment of two-thirds of Tian Yuan fortune. A treasure of this level cannot be controlled by godsend at all. Even, in the entire Book of Water Forbidden Spells, Tian Si couldn't even open the attack on the first page. But there is no need for him to open it, even with the help of a little bit of power from this book, it is extremely terrifying. For such a treasure as the Book of Water Forbidden Curse, even if it is encountered by a strong Tian Yuan fortune, they will fight for it with all their strength. If this kind of treasure is in the hands of a strong man at the pinnacle of the universe, it will not be a good thing for him. Because he will be coveted by the strong Tian Yuan good fortune. The energy in Tian Si's body poured into the Book of Water Forbidden Curse. This time, the Book of Water Forbidden Curse only emitted a faint light. And at this time, the gigantic soil hammer has arrived at the position above. The attack of the earth hammer is like falling directly from the endless mountain range, which is extremely terrifying. Boom! Around, all the strong disciples stared at this scene. Tian Si raised his head and stared. In the next moment, the soil hammer landed on the top of the Book of Water Forbidden Curse. My treasure of the Liao family is invincible, die to me. Liao Fiyu let out a wild roar, bursting with energy. The roar sounded. On the Book of the Water Forbidden Curse, there is a gleam of luster. It's a bit high profile, I'm afraid the trip to the six universes is coming to an end. Wang Xian looked at this scene and shook his head. Using a powerful weapon to directly touch the Book of Water Forbidden Curse, this is something Wang Xian did not expect. He already has the combat power of the Supreme Master of the Universe at the peak, why do he need to fight in close combat? Isn't it good to directly attack from a distance? Do you have to hold weapons and hard steel? Wang Xian was slightly speechless. He looked at it, and everyone looked at it too. In sight, a huge earth hammer collided with a blue book. The areas of the two are not at the same level. But after the collision, the Book of the Water Forbidden Curse was attacked, and the cover of the entire book trembled slightly, as if it was about to be lifted. However, the force suffered by the Book of Water Banning spell is still not enough to make it open the first page. The Book of Forbidden Spells trembled, forming a ripple, and charged towards the soil hammer. The next moment, around the arena, under the eyes of billions of cosmic powerhouses and disciples, the huge earth hammer slowly began to collapse and dissipate. This time, what collapsed and dissipated was not just the condensed energy of the earth attribute. It's the blood weapon, the body of the soil hammer. How can a formidable weapon built the day after tomorrow be able to face head to head with Tian Yuan Fortune Supreme Treasure? Even if it's just fragments of Tian Yuan Fortune Supreme Treasure. Father, you can't let him go, you can't let him go. He destroyed the powerful bloodline treasure of our Suintu tribe, kill him, kill him. Liao Fiyu saw his father make a move, fixed his eyes on Tian Si, and roared with a ferocious expression. He was completely defeated, and the blood weapon was destroyed again. Made him lose his mind. You guys are too shameless, aren't you? The battle in the arena is fair and just. What does it mean for the strong in the realm of the universe to intervene now? If you do this, how can it be fair in the future? Gong Cheng glanced at the position below, and was also off. She couldn't help but shouted loudly. With a movement of his body, he wanted to fly towards the ring. Meow meow, come here, don't talk nonsense. Gong Cheng's grandpa, who was looking at her, changed his face slightly when he heard it and with a wave of his arm, a wave of energy wrapped around her body, pulling her back. Grandpa, I didn't talk nonsense, they are simply too shameless, they don't follow the rules at all, how can they be convincing in the future, how can? 
Gong Cheng Miao Miao continued to speak loudly, but before he finished speaking, he was completely blocked by a stream of water. Woo hoo! Gong Cheng opened his mouth and shouted, but couldn't make a sound. She looked at Mulai Tian Si, full of worry. I'm sorry to everyone in the Suinta tribe, I will take this kid away. Tian Si's grandfather said apologetically to Liao Fiyu's father again, and pulled him towards the position below the ring. Liao Fiyu's father looked at him with a gloomy and cold face, but he didn't do anything. He would not do anything unless he received an order from his own father, or from the strong men of the tribe. This matter, after all, they don't take reason. It's okay to kill the opponent if you are strong. But this will embarrass their Suinta tribe. It will have a bad effect on their reputation. There are many opportunities to kill this kid. Find an opportunity to kill him directly. It's easy. He secretly said in his heart. God sent. Tianxi's grandfather forcibly took him to the bottom of the ring. Mu Li Yinner and the others immediately flew over and looked at him with concern. Tianxi, let's forget about this matter. I will send you back to the tribe later. Tianxi's grandfather said to him, his face was also very embarrassing. Tianxi destroyed a powerful treasure of the Suinta tribe. He was worried that the Suinta tribe would retaliate. If they really retaliated, their Mulai tribe would not be able to stop them at all. Even, if they dare to resist, the Mulai tribe will suffer. Now, we can only let Tianxi go back to the tribe, and pray that the Suinta tribe will not pursue it. Tianxi looked at his relatives with a look of unwillingness on his face. Father, I am not reconciled. Tianxi looked at Wang Xian with a strong expression of unwillingness on his face. It's their fault, why are they still so arrogant? Why can they not obey the rules? Why can they break the rules? Why are they so shameless? He opened his mouth, gritted his teeth, and said angrily. Because they think they are superior. Wang Xian looked at him, and calmly replied, You are not reconciled, what can you do? However, you decide everything yourself. With the foster father around, there is nothing to worry about. Wang Xian looked at him and added another sentence. Father, I want to become stronger, become stronger as soon as possible. Tian Si looked at Wang Xian, gritted his teeth, and made a serious decision, I want them to pay the price. Okay, then continue. Wang Xian looked at Tian Si's decision and said calmly. Since Tian Si chooses to expose, let's expose. Anyway, I can't hide it for long. It is much better to choose actively than to be exposed passively. Tian Si listened to Wang Xian's words, nodded heavily, and looked towards the direction of the ring. In the surrounding positions, Mulai Yinner, Grandpa Tian Si, and the others looked at the conversation between Tian Si and Wang Xian with puzzled faces. What does it mean? What does their conversation mean? Mom, Grandpa, today I want to show you my true strength. Tian Si smiled sassily, raised his head slightly, and spoke. He looked in the direction Gong Cheng was aiming at again. Gong Cheng Miao Miao also stared at her closely. Miao Miao, today, I also want to show you the real Mulai Tian Si. Tian Si spoke loudly towards her, and turned his eyes to the position of the ring. Bump. In the next instant, the water attribute on his body disperses directly towards the outside. At the same time, a stream of wood attributed energy slowly began to erupt. Liao Fiyu, and Liao Fiyu's father, you think you are superior, but I was born to be extraordinary. I hit the young ones, and the old ones came. Well, today I will kill you all together. I want to see how shameless your Suinta tribe is, and see if you continue to send old guys up. Tian Si said, with a movement of his body, he returned to the ring again in an instant. His speed was terrifying, and he stood on the ring again almost in an instant. This speed is definitely not something that the universe venerable can possess. God sent. Mu Li Yinner and Tian Si's grandfather were a little dazed. How is this going? What is happening? 
TNC actually directly provoked the Suinta tribe, this. Don't worry, just watch it, today is the time for the universe to be famous, he he. Wang Xian smiled lightly, and said to them. Young master Wang Xian, what the hell? Mu Li Yinner looked at Wang Xian and then at her son in the ring, her face was full of surprise. But she also knew that Wang Xian would not harm her son. Um. Then Mu Li TNC is in the ring again, and he still wants to challenge Liao Xiang? Isn't he, is he crazy? This? Directly provoking the Suinta tribe, directly challenging Liao Fiyu's father, provoking a strong man who is the fifth order master of the universe, is this courting death? I don't know. This Mulai TNC is a bit reckless. What is the state of Liao Fiyu's father? How can he challenge it? Young and energetic, young and energetic, what's the use of being extraordinary? The cultivation talent bestowed by Mulai is indeed very evil, but how can it be the opponent of a fifth order master of the universe? In the surrounding positions, all the strong disciples of the tribe thought that this matter was over. Thinking that the Suinta tribe cherishes their feathers and will not continue to break the rules. But they didn't expect that Mulai TNC would take the initiative to go to the ring again, and wanted to beat the young ones and the old ones. To fight against a strong man who dominates the fifth level of the universe, this is simply a dead end. On the ring, Liao Fiyu's father, Liao Xiang, was also slightly taken aback. He let that kid go, but this kid actually came to fight him again? Challenge yourself? Continue to provoke their Suinta tribe? Um. When Mulai TNC came to the ring again, when Liao Fiyu and his father Liao Xiang heard his words, their expressions suddenly became gloomy. But the next moment, Liao Xiang's face was filled with a sinister smile. Just now, he cared about the Suinta tribe's face, and didn't kill Mulai TNC completely. But now, Chi Chi took the initiative to step into the arena to challenge himself, this is simply courting death. He <laughs> he, good, good, you want to challenge me. Liao Xiang had a cold smile, and his eyes shone brightly, just now, because of the rules, I let you live. If you are not rare now, then die. I want to kill you, it's no different from crushing an ant, go to hell. Liao Xiang said in his mouth, this time, without the slightest hesitation, he swung his arm and condensed into a soil arrow in front of him. The soil arrow instantly attacked TNC. Although this earthen arrow is not the strongest strike of a fifth order master of the universe, even a fourth order master of the universe must resist it with all his strength. The gap brought by the level is very large. Whoosh! Tijian came to TNC in an instant. TNC stared at this soil arrow without any change in expression. Under his feet, a tree grew rapidly, and the huge tree was full of branches and leaves. Whoosh whoosh! One by one, the branches condense into a huge vine, and meet the earth arrow. Bump! The sound of collision sounded again. Mulai's heaven-given realm is only the fourth order realm of the master of the universe, but after all, he has the power of the Tianyuan good fortune tree in his body. With the blessing of this power, it is not too easy to leapfrog to fight. A huge collision came, and the soil arrows slowly dissipated. And that huge rattan, like a huge python, still exudes a powerful force. Wood attribute. How is this possible? How does he have the wood attribute? At least the power of the wood attribute of the fifth order realm of the universe, how is this possible? At this moment, everyone around the ring was dumbfounded again. Yes, completely dumbfounded. They feel that the five thunders are coming and that everything in front of them is an illusion. A young man who has cultivated for less than 100 million years has the strength of the peak of the universe venerable, which has already made them feel enchanted and shocked. But now, this young man has shown at least the strength of the fifth order universe ruler. And this time it's not water attribute, but wood attribute. A boy who has practiced at the fifth level of universe ruler for less than 100 million years? This is fake right? Incredible. Any strong man, 
any disciple would feel a little dazed about the scene in front of him, the strength bestowed by Mulai. Mulai Yinner, the God-given grandfather, the strong men of the Mulai tribe, the same is true. This strength? Especially Tianxi's grandfather, his current strength is only at the fifth level of the master of the universe. However, the strength of his own grandson is not weaker than his own? In addition, how did he master the wood attribute? Yinner, what's the situation? God send, how can he still control the wood attribute? Still so strong. He couldn't help asking. But when he saw his daughter's confused look, he knew that his daughter didn't know about it either. Then everything. He looked at the ordinary Wang Xian, and felt that the Wang Xian at this moment was extremely mysterious. You resisted it, would attribute, your would attribute realm is so strong, how is this possible? Liao Xiang watched this scene, his eyes widened and he shouted in disbelief. My adoptive father said that I am not suitable for cultivating the water attribute, and the wood attribute is my real attribute. Ready to die. TNC stared at him with a calm expression. In the next moment, his eyes were fixed, and the branches of the towering giant tree behind him attacked Liao Xiang in an instant. The branches all over the sky, like giant pythons devouring the sky and the earth, devoured towards Liao Xiang. Damn it, earth explosion meteor. Liao Xiang's face changed wildly, and one hand directly turned into a giant's arm, blasting towards the ground. Boom! Boom! The ground cracked, and the clods of soil suspended and condensed into terrifying meteorites, directly facing the countless branch pythons. Boom! But those branch pythons instantly covered and drowned countless meteorites. The energies of the two seemed to be completely different. The terrifying branches continued to attack Liao Xiang. What? Seeing that his attack was easily annihilated, Liao Xiang shrank his pupils. He knew that Mulai Tianxi's strength was much stronger than his. I am not its opponent at all. Although it is unbelievable and unacceptable to him, it is the truth. Father! Help me! Liao Xiang hurriedly shouted for help. Where is this evildoer? Liao Xiang's father stood in the upper seat, staring at this scene with wide eyes, his face constantly changing. He gestured towards a middle-aged man beside him. The middle-aged man beside him nodded and flew directly towards the ring. Stop! The middle-aged man shouted loudly, waved his arm, and a butcher's knife condensed in the air. The butcher's knife is so huge that it can almost stand in the sky. Slash directly in the direction of Godsend. An attack belonging to the powerhouse of the 8th level master of the universe. And it's still a strong attack. He he he, what an irony. This is your Suinta tribe. After beating the young ones, the old ones will be beaten, and the older ones will come after beating the old ones. You really are despicable and shameless. The moment the middle-aged made a move, TNC had already sensed it. He looked at it his face was full of sarcasm and disdain. And this mocking voice spread throughout the arena. It's Liao Mingdao, he made a move. This is indeed a bit despicable and shameless. The young ones can't beat them, but the old ones come, and the old ones can't beat them, and then come stronger ones? What's the point of this? This Suinta tribe is too shameless, isn't it? Why don't we just send a strong man to kill Mulai Tianxi? Liao Fiyu is the son of Tian Jiao in the top 10 of the Tian Jiao group, Liao Xiang has also entered the top 20 of the Tian Bang group, and this Liao Mingdao is even stronger. He is a strong contender for the first place in the God of War group this time. This one it's too shameless to come out. At this moment, the strong disciples of the surrounding tribes saw that the Suinta tribe actually sent Liao Mingdao to attack, and they couldn't help but said. This series of operations. How shameless. Hit God. When TNC saw Liao Mingdao's attack, his body shook, and three clones appeared around him. The three avatars held a branch, and at the same time, TNC also had an extra branch in his hand. The main body and the three clones waved their branches neatly, 
towards the huge butcher knife. Bump! The sound of violent collision came again. The phantoms of the four notes landed on the butcher's knife. Butcher knife, slowly began to collapse. The treasure of Tian Yuan good fortune is out. Four hitting trees fell on the butcher's knife, causing the butcher's knife to completely collapse. And at the position below, the countless branches were still attacking Liao Xiang. Liao Mingdao thought that after he shot and killed Mulai Tian Si, his attack would lose energy. But he never thought that his own attack would be blocked. His eyes widened, numb. Yes, today's shock has already made him feel a little numb. Help me. He only reacted when the terrified cries for help continued to sound from below. He lowered his head and quickly flew towards Liao Ziyang to rescue him. Papa Papa! But at this time, he heard a sound like a wicker whipping, followed by four terrifying branches appearing around him. These four branches seemed to annihilate him. This made his scalp tingle, and he quickly resisted. Ah! At this time, the sound of screams came from the position below. The countless dense branches directly penetrated Liao Ziyang's body, and the branches tore apart, completely annihilating every drop of his flesh and blood. Liao Ziyang, dead. Liao Mingdao's complexion changed drastically. Father. From the rear position, Liao Fei was completely froze watching all this. His father was actually killed. He was directly beheaded by that Mulai TNC. Hiss. At this time, the sound of air conditioning all around rang out. What did they see? Fuck. Even those powerhouses who were at the pinnacle of universe dominance couldn't help rubbing their eyes. Are you dreaming? That boy? Or normal human? Or are they humans from the six universes? How could there be such a strong strength? Impossible. Hey? This, this is? This is the breath of the Tian Yuan Supreme Treasure, this is definitely the breath of the Tian Yuan Fortune Supreme Treasure. At the same time, in a room outside the dungeon, seven figures gathered inside, a little crowded, and the aura of their bodies was concealed to the extreme. The seven of them are the seven Tian Yuan Fortune Tellers of Bake Fusion. During this period of time, they continued to move forward cautiously, and finally entered the dungeon. Even in order to prevent being discovered, they had to hide in this small room. When they were discussing how to go deep inside, they suddenly sensed the fluctuation of Tian Yuan's fortune. This made the seven of them widen their eyes instantly. It's the breath of Tian Yuan's best fortune, it's the breath of that Tian Yuan's best fortune. A fiery gleam bloomed in the eyes of Bei Fu Sheng, and he roared with some excitement. But soon his expression changed. No. The aura of Tian Yuan Fortune's Supreme Treasure has been leaked, and Tian Yuan's Fortune Supreme Treasure is going to be exposed, we must act immediately, we must act immediately. Bai Bei Fusion said anxiously. Go, rush straight over. Go straight, don't worry about being exposed, just go straight. The other six Tian Yuan Fortune Tellers also spoke a little crazy. Boom. In the next moment, their bodies moved and flew directly towards the direction of Tian Yuan's fortune-telling treasure. Their speed is very fast. The aura of Tian Yuan's fortune-telling treasure was suddenly exposed, which gave them a bad premonition. Because the Tian Yuan fortune-tellers of the six universes are also looking for the Tian Yuan fortune-telling treasure. The exposure of this breath may attract the heavenly creation of the six universes. Once they pass, they will be very difficult to fight for. Speed, must be fast. The seven figures used almost all their strength. According to their calculations, within a minute, they can rush over. Hey? What is this breath? And at this time, it was located in a void around the dungeon. In Tuyuan, there is information about Tian Yuan's fortune-telling treasure, and it has been thoroughly spread. A large number of strong fortune-tellers entered the soil. Naturally, the three Tian Yuan fortune tellers from the six universes already knew this news. In addition, they held the Six Paths Conference in the Six Paths universe, and the three Tian Yuan fortune tellers have always been here in Tuyuan. 
the metal cheetah like Tian Yu and good luck expert was not far from the dungeon. Suddenly, he sensed a powerful, extremely pure, and extremely powerful force. This force is the power of Tian Yuan's fortune. And with this pure power, this is definitely not the fragment of Tian Yuan Fortune's supreme treasure. Could it be that Tian Yuan Fortune's supreme treasure is really in Tian Yuan, or is it in the dungeon? The eyes of the cheetah-shaped Tian Yuan Fortune-telling powerhouse burst into brilliance. Boom! In an instant, his speed reached a terrifying level, and he flew towards the dungeon. The treasure of Tian Yuan Good Fortune is out. The strong man of Tian Yuan Fortune has a feeling. The location of the dungeon arena. The strong disciples of all the tribes looked at Liao Ziyang, who was sent by God to kill Liao Ziyang, who was in the fifth order realm of the master of the universe. Watch him fight against the Liao Mingdao who is in the eighth level realm of the master of the universe. In the upper seat, Liao Fiyu's grandfather saw his son being killed, and his eyes instantly revealed a violent murderous intent. He fixed his gaze on Tian Si, ready to directly suppress it. He didn't believe that such a young boy could possess such great strength. Boom! Boom! However, at this time, it was located in the center of the powerhouses of the Suintu tribe. It is located in the center of all the strong men in the tribe of the dead. The two powerhouses who were at the pinnacle of universe dominance suddenly rose with a powerful force. They stared at the Shenmue branch in Tianxi's hands, their eyes widened, full of shock and fiery expressions. Tian Yuan Fortune Treasure Tian Yuan Fortune Treasure Roaring voices came from their mouths. Tian Yuan is a treasure of good fortune. At this time, they also recognized Tian Yuan's treasure of good fortune. As the core of the Suintu tribe and the dead tribe, they are the closest to the Tian Yuan fortune powerhouse, and they know much more than other powerhouses. Among them is the news about their six universes, Tian Yuan, the treasure of good fortune. They have a detailed understanding of Tian Yuan's fortune-telling treasure, and they also have treasures in their hands to investigate Tian Yuan's fortune-telling treasure. Tian Si couldn't sense it when he didn't use the power of Tian Yuan's treasure. But now, they sensed it. Um. In the surrounding positions, the disciples of the strong men of all tribes looked over in shock when they saw the two strong men who were at the peak of the universe master suddenly rising to all their power. Today, there are too many shocks for them. A boy against heaven. Now it is spit out from the mouths of two masters who are at the pinnacle of the universe. Tian Yuan is the most precious treasure of good fortune. What's the situation? The aura belonging to the powerhouse at the pinnacle of the ruler of the universe swept across the entire arena, making everyone feel extremely depressed. All tribes can feel that the sky seems to be changing. It seems that something big is going to happen. Whoosh whoosh. Whoosh whoosh. The sky above the arena of the Six Paths competition is surging. The universe rulers of the Suintu tribe and the dead tribe, who were at the pinnacle of the universe, quickly came to the ring, and they stared at Tian Si. Staring at the Shenmue branch in Tian Si's hand. On it, they sensed the pure treasure information of Tian Yu and good fortune. Tian Si looked at them with a calm look on his face. Tian Yu and fortune supreme treasure, is Tian Yu and fortune supreme treasure in your hand. An ancestor of the Suintu tribe stared at Tian Si tremblingly, and roared in a low voice. I didn't expect, I didn't expect that the powerful Tian Yuan fortune from other universes invaded, and the Tian Yuan fortune treasure that we were looking for in the entire Six Path universe was in your hands, it was in your hands. The strong man from the tribe of the dead trembled, and his eyes were full of fiery expressions. One caused the entire Six universes to vibrate and a treasure of Tian Yuan fortune that many strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers were looking for and chased appeared in front of their eyes. This made him short of breath. What? The treasure that caused other powerful men from the universe to invade our universe, the treasure that our six universes have been searching for for hundreds of millions of years, is in the hands of Mulai Tian Si. Tian Yuan fortune telling treasure? Is it because of the Tian Yuan fortune-telling treasure that Mulai was promoted to such a terrifying realm at such a young age? My God! At this moment, 
the strong disciples of all the surrounding tribes also felt stagnant for breathing. Nearly 100 million years is the most chaotic year in the six universes. It is also the most dangerous year for all tribal powerhouses. The strong fortune tellers from other universes invaded. Later, those Tian Yu and good fortune experts even sent their own subordinates to enter their universe. For this reason, the three Tian Yu and fortune tellers from the six universes even issued an order to form a special team to hunt down the intruders. The source of all the invasions of other universe powerhouses is that a heavenly treasure is about to be born in their six universes. Now, this piece of heavenly origin fortune treasure is actually in the hands of a young man. The treasure of good fortune is not in my hands, but has always belonged to me and has always been one with me. My mother was pregnant and gave birth to me because the treasure of good fortune was born in my mother's body. Tian Si looked at them calmly and said. What? The powerhouses of the Suintu tribe and the dead tribe's universe rulers at the pinnacle widened their eyes slightly when they heard the words of God send. Around the arena, Mu Li Yinner opened her mouth wide when she heard the news. Mu Li Yinner is a clean and self-contained person. When she suddenly became pregnant, she was also a little dazed and couldn't understand it at all. Later, my father guessed that some strong man controlled her body and defiled her, making him pregnant. This is also the most reasonable and likely scenario. Even she accepted the answer. But now, I have not been defiled by others, I am pregnant, and I was born a gift from God, because of the treasure of Tian Yuan. Tian Yuan, the treasure of good fortune, was born in his own body? This? Mu Li Yinner was in a daze. The strong disciples around were also shocked. No wonder, no wonder there are countless powerhouses in other universes, the three adults of our universe and all the tribes have exhausted all their efforts to find the treasure of heaven and earth, but they have not found it. It fit together perfectly. A strong man at the pinnacle of universe murmured. In the past 100 million years, almost the entire universe of the six realms has been searched over and over again, but the treasure of Tian Yuan good fortune has not been found. Everything as it turned out. Tian Yuan Fortune Treasure However, located around the arena, disciples of some strong tribes looked at the center of the arena, their eyes widened slightly. Their eyes flickered slightly, and they took out communicators, treasures, and some special scrolls in their hands, and passed some news out. And those who received the information were all Tian Yuan fortune tellers from other universes. A group of strong Tian Yuan good fortune entered the universe of the Six Realms. In the past 100 million years, their invasion of the universe of the Six Realms has been very deep. Their subordinates will be suppressed by the Six Universes. Then they can develop the subordinates of the Six Universes. Whether it's coercion or temptation, for a strong Tian Yuan good fortune, it is not too easy to control some strong disciples of the Six Universes. Even among the major tribes, there are their dark lines. And their secret line is for the news of Tian Yuan's creation treasure. In particular, it was rumored that the treasure of Tian Yuan creation appeared here in Tu Yuan, and all the strong Tian Yuan fortune naturally concentrated some dark threads on Tu Yuan. Here in the dungeon, there are many around the arena. Now after these dark threads get this news, they will immediately pass on this information. Tian Yuan the treasure of good fortune, appears. There were even some dark lines, scanning around vigilantly, and took out an altar-like item. Teleportation Formation It can make the strong Tian Yuan good fortune teleport over in an instant. Take away the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune. A master of the universe at the pinnacle of the Suintu tribe focused his eyes, and immediately decided to send a sound transmission to his companion beside him. Beside him, there are three powerhouses who are at the pinnacle of universe domination. They are the strong ones watching the game from the upper seat. Similarly, they are also staying here to prevent other space invaders from coming and massacring the elites and strong men of their six universes. Now that the Tian Yuan Supreme Treasure appeared, they knew the importance of the Tian Yuan Supreme Treasure. You must get it, even if you pay a terrible price. Boom. The moment they were about to make a move, 
a powerful force from the side also rushed towards them. On the side, the four powerhouses who are at the pinnacle of universe masters from the tribe of the dead are also preparing to attack TNC at the same time. This time, the two sides have no scruples at all. Even if it is a battle, it will not hesitate. Even, the three strong men from the tribe of the dead, who were at the pinnacle of universe dominance, had already attacked the four strong men from the Suinta tribe. Obviously, they want to fight for a chance to make a move for a companion. The sudden change caused a huge change in everyone's expressions. The powerhouses of the Suinta tribe and the dead tribe actually fought directly. This? Let's do it, that day's treasure of good fortune belongs to us. However, the moment they struck, at the entrance of the arena, seven figures flew towards them at a terrifying speed. Their eyes locked on TNC in unison, their eyes were full of excitement, passion, and greed. The energy emanating from them made the faces of all the experts around the ring change dramatically. Boom! Just when everyone thought that the Suinta tribe and the dead tribe started fighting. A breath that made everyone feel desperate came suddenly. This terrifying aura covered the sky and the sun. It far surpassed the power of the powerhouses of the Suinta tribe and the dead tribe on the ring. Get down, get down. Surrounding the arena, the strong men of all the tribes sensed this terrifying power, and shouted loudly with horror on their faces. This terrifying energy coercion, the existence of the universe lord level, will be directly crushed to death. Fortunately, the strong men of the major tribes supported the defense, so that the disciples below the master of the universe survived. Even so, those strong men in the realm of masters of the universe are short of breath, and their foreheads are covered with cold sweat. What kind of enemy is this? It's the heavenly creation powerhouse from other universes. Fight them! Seeing the seven figures flying over, the powerhouses of the Suinta tribe and the dead tribe, who were at the pinnacle of the universe ruler, changed their expressions drastically, and shouted loudly. At this time, they unanimously gave up the confrontation between the two sides, and unanimously spoke out. Facing foreign enemies, they did not hesitate at all. Center of the earth, open. A strong man of the Suinta tribe who was at the pinnacle of the universe ruler did not hesitate at all, and directly took out a treasure, put it on the ground, and punched it. Boom! In the next moment, an extremely huge defense rose directly above the ring, forming an extremely strong defense. Break the defense. The figures that flew over were naturally Bibi Fushin and the other seven Tianyuan fortune tellers. Seeing the rising defense at this moment, their eyes were fixed, and weapons appeared in their hands one by one. Boom! Boom boom boom! Immediately afterwards, Various attacks bombarded the top of the geocentric defense. Ka ka ka! When the attack fell on it, the geocentric defense did not immediately collapse. But even so, huge cracks instantly appeared in the entire circular defensive cover covering the entire playing field. The entire defense can sustain at most two attacks from the opponent. Oops! The seven of them are all heavenly creation powerhouses from other universes, all powerhouses who are at the pinnacle of universe dominance, resist. Seeing this scene, the strong man who ruled the peak realm of the Suinta tribe changed his expression drastically, and immediately shouted loudly. This defense to the center of the earth was laid down by the powerful man of Tianyuan fortune of their Suinta tribe. Now it was hit by the opponent and a huge crack appeared. This scene shocked them. Resist. All the strong in the Dominion realm resist. The strong man at the pinnacle who ruled the tribe of the dead also roared sharply. There are hundreds of millions of disciples of the strong tribes around the arena, and among them, there are more than a dozen other tribes besides the two tribes who are the masters of the universe. These dozen or so are top powerhouses from other tribes. Facing the orders of the Suinta tribe and the dead tribe, they did not refuse. At present, the orders of the Tianyuan Fortune Powerhouse are unanimous to the outside world. Facing the invaders from other universes, they must unite the front to fight. Boom boom boom! 
a top-notch powerhouse was instantly suspended in the sky, holding a weapon, staring at the seven heavenly fortune powerhouses outside. Everything is in an instant. Tianxi's identity is exposed. With the attack of the strong men from the Suintu tribe and the dead tribe, seven powerful invaders arrived. Everything, in an instant. Looking at this scene, Tianxi's pupils shrank slightly. It was only at this moment that he realized how fatally attractive he was to other strong men. Even the powerhouses of their six universes wanted to attack him. This made him look a little embarrassed. Suintu tribe, tribe of the dead, I have merged with the Tianyuan Supreme Treasure, are you going to kill me and take the Tianyuan Fortune Supreme Treasure? Tianxi looked at the peak masters of the Suintu tribe and the dead tribe, and asked with a somewhat unsightly expression. For the strong in the same universe to kill him to seize the treasure of heaven and earth, this made him feel a little uncomfortable. Six universes, or his universe. Your life belongs to the six universes. The three adults will make a decision. Stand there and don't move, or I will kill you immediately. A peak ruler of the Suintu tribe glanced at TNC, and said with a sullen face. After finishing speaking, he looked at the seven Tianyuan fortune experts in front of him, and quickly passed the news here to their master Tianyuan fortune of the Suintu tribe. TNC was very embarrassed when he heard the words of the strong man from the Suintu tribe. This is the answer given to him by the powerhouse of the six universes. As long as he dares to act recklessly, he will be killed directly. His face was full of bitterness. And at this time, the disciples of the strong men of all the tribes in the surrounding positions also reacted a little bit. They watched this sudden scene, and their hearts were a little shocked. Are you going to kill TNC? Wang Xian, who had been standing in front of the ring, watched this scene without the slightest surprise. However, when he heard the words of the powerful man at the peak of the universe master from the Suintu tribe, he raised his eyebrows slightly. He opened his mouth and spoke lightly, and his figure disappeared at the same time, appearing beside the peak powerhouse who ruled the universe. Before the strong man who ruled the peak realm could react, he saw a figure suddenly appear beside him, which made him a little stunned. Act recklessly. Wang Xian stared at him with cold eyes and killing intent. In the next moment, he waved his arm, and his palm directly turned into a dragon's claw, holding it in his hand. There is no vitality in an instant. Spike. Then, as if nothing happened, he quietly landed on the ring. A change, a sudden change, once again stunned everyone. Especially the group of powerhouses around the peak master of the Suintu tribe, the dead tribe and other peak masters. Before they could react, a strong man of the same level was wiped out just like that. This made their faces full of horror. What kind of existence is this? You are also a strong creation of heaven and earth in other universes. A strong man who ruled the pinnacle of the tribe of the dead shouted loudly with a face full of horror. Nearly twenty strong men who ruled the peak realm hurriedly approached each other, staring at Wang Xian, their faces full of horror. Let me introduce myself, Zhuyuan Universe, Dragon King of Dragon Palace. Wang Xian looked at them and said calmly. Zhuyuan Universe, Dragon Palace Dragon King. At this time, in the Mulai tribe, Mulai Yinner, her father and brother, and all the strong disciples of the Mulai tribe, there seemed to be a flash of thunder in their minds. He he. Muli Yinner was a little tongue-tied and couldn't believe it. The young man he rescued turned out to be a strong man from another universe. Tian Yuan Good Luck Powerhouse. The strong disciples of the Mulai tribe were a little dazed. Mu Li Yinner's parents felt a little unbelievable. The young man who was rescued by his own daughter. The young man who lived in their family for a long time and stayed in their Mulai tribe for nearly 100 million years, teaching TNC cultivation, turned out to be the top powerhouse in another universe. It is the kind of existence that can compete with the three adults of their six universes. This. The strong disciples of all the surrounding tribes were also stunned. That day, there is a strong man of Tianyuan fortune next to the young man who is the ultimate treasure of Yuan Yuan, 
so do your best, don't delay any longer. Beifushan saw that the Earth Core Shield had resisted their attack, and when he saw Wang Xian's figure, his eyes turned red, and he immediately roared loudly. Now, every second they stay here, their crisis will increase. We must make a quick decision and take away the treasure of Tianyuan fortune. This time he recruited six strong men just for a quick victory. Even if there were two or three Tianyuan fortune experts by the side of the most treasured youth, they could still fight quickly. Good. Don't keep it, use your cards. The other six Tianyuan fortune tellers fixed their gazes and immediately shouted loudly. They are attacking towards the center of the earth again. This time, they used their powerful cards at the same time. A terrifying energy was brewing in the sky above. Resist, resist. In the sky above the arena, a dozen or twenty powerhouses who were at the pinnacle of universe masters saw the terrifying power of the seven heavenly creation powerhouses. They looked extremely embarrassed. A strong man at the pinnacle of the dead tribe immediately roared loudly. At this moment, they couldn't care about Wang Xian's side at all. Moreover, the peak masters of them also know that this Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse from the Zhuyuan universe is not trying to compete for the treasure of Tianyuan fortune-telling. Even if it kills one of their peak masters, but at this time, resisting the outside is the best choice. In addition, all the powerhouses in the realm of masters of the universe around them also moved one after another, laying down layers of powerful defensive shields, trying to help the powerhouses of the pinnacle masters to resist. Ka ka ka. Ka ka ka. However, when they faced the seven strong Tianyuan fortune tellers who were fighting with all their strength, they realized what despair is. What is a strong Tianyuan good fortune? The terrifying and weird energy directly fell on the center of the earth. A stream of energy directly collapsed the defense of the earth's core. The defenses of the other peak masters and a large number of masters in the realm of dominance quickly collapsed and dissipated under their attack. All the strong disciples of the six universes were full of horror. Under the suppression of our six-path universe, their strength is still so terrifying. Is this the Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse? Our Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse, when will we come? A master at the pinnacle couldn't help shouting loudly. They stared straight ahead. The seven Tianyuan fortune tellers broke through their defenses, but fortunately, the other party's attacks were completely dissipated. However, they only resisted one attack from the other side. The seven Tianyuan fortune tellers are still attacking them at a terrifying speed. Resist together, otherwise, Mulai Tianxi will be beheaded by them. A peak ruler who ruled the tribe of the dead looked at the desperate scene in front of him lowered his head and shouted loudly towards Wang Xian on the ring below. At this moment, only Wang Xian and them can block the attack for a little longer. This time, we are bound to win the treasure of Tianyuan fortune. Guys from Zhuyuan Universe, you wait for me. I will avenge the last revenge. Bibai Fushin glanced at Wang Xian, and roared in a low voice with a murderous look on his face. He <laughs> he. Wang Xian stood on the ring ignoring the words of the powerhouse of the dead tribe. When he heard the words of Beifushan, there was a sneer on his face, and he stood there with his hands behind his back, want to take revenge. After the calamity comes, I will I went to your universe for a stroll. Snort. Beifushan's face darkened when he heard Wang Xian's words, and he didn't dare to continue to speak louder. He has seen the strength of Wang Xian's side, which is enough to kill him. Unless he can obtain the treasure of heaven and earth, he will not be able to resist. He locked his eyes on TNC again, and his speed suddenly accelerated. We can't resist it at all. Seeing Wang Xian standing there, a peak master had no intention of making a move, his face changed drastically, and he shouted loudly. How could it be possible to resist the seven Tianyuan fortune tellers by being so close to them? Tian Yuan Fortune's supreme treasure is ours. Seeing this scene, a strong man of Tian Yuan Fortune showed a fiery look in his eyes. Tian Yuan, the treasure of good fortune, is close at hand. It's within your reach. Buzz. Buzz. Hey. 
Tianyuan's treasure of good fortune is here. Do it. Presumptuous, you dare to the treasure in our six universes, you will die. However, when Bai Fushin and the others flew towards TNC. In the surrounding positions, those who passed through the teleportation formation and treasures of the Dark Line suddenly appeared. There are a total of five Tianyuan Creation Supreme treasures that arrived in this way. The moment they appeared, they immediately locked on the location of TNC, and attacked at the same speed. Their sudden attack once again caught everyone off guard. Including Encyclopedia ST them. This made their faces extremely embarrassing. At the last moment, not only did five more Tianyuan fortune tellers come. The Golden Leopard, the strong man of Tianyuan fortune from the Six Paths universe, also rushed over. He looked at the situation here from afar, and roared with murderous intent on his face. With a wave of his arm, a metal chain attacked a strong man named Tianyuan Fortune. Our Lord Tianyuan Good Fortune has come, that's great. When a group of strong disciples from the six universes saw the arrival of one of their strong Tianyuan creatures, their faces showed excitement and relief. Damn it! Seeing this scene, Bibai Fushin couldn't help roaring. Troubled, now troubled. They never thought that the powerhouse from the Six Paths universe would come so quickly. Moreover, other Tianyuan fortune tellers also came so quickly. Next, it will be very difficult to obtain the Tianyuan good fortune supreme treasure. Clatter. The terrifying metal chains attacked a strong man named Tianyuan good fortune. This made a strong man named Tianyuan good fortune have to resist. Their strength has been weakened, and they are no longer able to compete with the strong Tianyuan good fortune of the six universes. If they don't resist, they will be easily killed. Good chance. However, among them, there are also two strong fortune tellers with radiance in their eyes. Of the twelve celestial beings, none of them dared to take the attack of the six universes celestial beings. They have to dodge or resist. However, it is still very easy for the twelve Tianyuan fortune tellers to resist the Golden Leopard. Although their strength has been greatly suppressed. However, it is still possible for ten strong Tianyuan fortune tellers to fight against a Tianyuan fortune teller from the six universes. A Tianyuan fortune telling expert who was with Bei Fushin, and a Tianyuan fortune telling expert who was later transmitted through his own dark line. Their eyes fixed and their figures moved. A figure was illusory and disappeared in an instant. A body froze there, like a puppet. They instantly used their whole cards and powerful treasures. They knew that the longer they waited, the slower their chances of obtaining the Tianyuan fortune treasure would be. At this time, we must fight. The metal chain passed through the two figures. The other ten Tianyuan fortune tellers immediately dodged or resisted the attack of the chains. Buzz. The changes around the arena were extremely drastic. Wang Xian stood quietly on the ring, and Tian Si stood beside him. When Wang Xian saw the reappearance of the five Tianyuan fortune tellers, his eyes flickered slightly. Especially one of the huge figures shrouded in mist. Inside the human-shaped mist, there is not one figure, but twelve. Twelve familiar figures. Twelve ancestral witches. They are here too. The twelve ancestral witches obviously also noticed Wang Xian, and there was a hint of doubt on their faces. Um. Suddenly, at this moment, Wang Xian sensed two figures attacking him. A figure is located in an underground location. Another phantom, with a terrifying speed, flew towards this side in a special state. The special phantom is in front, and the figure in the ground is obviously a little scrupulous. The latter knew of Wang Xian's existence. The treasure of Tianyuan good fortune is mine now. With the treasure in my hand, as long as I can get it, I can immediately return to my own universe. Shuisha locked on TNC, and the energy in his body reached the limit. He is a strong man of heaven and earth with water attribute. Also in order to find the treasure of Tianyuan, he stayed in the six universes for hundreds of millions of years. This time, it was the first time that he came into close contact with Tianyuan fortune treasure. Must get. As long as he gets it, 
with his secret method, he can instantly return to his own universe. Um. However, when he came tens of meters away from TNC in an instant, he was suddenly startled. Under his induction, he instantly realized that Wang Xian was a strong man of heavenly creation. Boom. He didn't even hesitate for a moment, even if he sensed that there was a strong Tianyuan fortune beside the young man who was hiding the Tianyuan treasure, he didn't pause at all. Still attacking towards TNC. The Earth attribute Tianyuan good fortune expert who came with Beifushan from the underground did not make a move. Because he knew the existence of Wang Xian. Know the power of Wang Xian. Wow. The shots of the strong Tianyuan good fortune are all in an instant. On the ring, a palm formed by condensed water appeared in front of TNC. Similarly, existences like water snakes attacked Wang Xian directly. Do it. Seeing this scene, Wang Xian focused his eyes and shook his body, completely ignoring the attacks of the water snakes. At the same time, Lin Niu's figure appeared instantly, and attacked Mazusa Yin at the same time. Around Wang Xian's body, the Tai Chi dragon disc was spinning, directly breaking through the water snake. Lin Niu's attack also destroyed the palm that was grabbing towards TNC. The distance between the two sides was too close for a powerhouse of their level. This is completely equivalent to a melee fight. Tai Chi Dragon Pan broke through, relying on Tai Chi Dragon Pan, Wang Xian completely ignored any attack from the opponent. Wang Xian wanted to instantly kill him. It is comparable to the old brand's first entry into Tianyuan Fortune, plus the old Tianyuan Fortune of Lin Yu. In addition, there is Taiji Dragon Pan and Five Elements Grinding Mill. With such a short distance, Wang Xian is confident that he can instantly kill the opponent. There is also a strong Tianyuan fortune. How can there be two strong Tianyuan fortune beside this young man who possesses the most precious treasure of Tianyuan? Seeing Wang Xian defeating his attack in an instant, and seeing Lin Niu's sudden appearance, Mazusa Yin's face changed drastically. Damn! What's going on? His expression changed drastically and he wanted to retreat. But at this time, Wang Xian is not going to let him withdraw. Wang Xian rushed over, his arms turned into dragon claws, and hugged him directly. Nine attribute energies directly block the space around him. Court death. Shui Shayan saw that Wang Xian wanted to keep him, and there was a cold and ruthless look in his eyes. With a movement of his palm, a gun appeared in front of him. With a movement of his body, he instantly merged into the body of the gun, and shot straight towards the rear. Once you stop him, you will definitely be penetrated by the sharp gun. Water attribute, penetrating power is very scary. Come on, don't go. Wang Xian snorted coldly, completely ignoring the penetration of the sharp gun, covering it. At the same time, the fragments of the star field rotated above his head, blocking the space. A root hair penetrated towards the water sand and invisible body. Roots grow from the same root. This is a root that Wang Xian took recently from Tianxi's body, where the treasure of good fortune and good fortune was not damaged. The same root grows roots, enters the enemy's body, and can perfectly control it. Wang Xianling made Tongan take root and enter his body not to control him, but to prevent the other party from using powerful treasures to escape. Similarly, the locking of the star fragments is also to prevent them from escaping. Bump! The moment everything was used, the sharp spear pierced into the top of the Tai Chi dragon plate in an instant. The terrifying collision sound came instantly. What? What kind of treasure is this? Seeing that his attack was completely blocked, Mazusa Yin showed a shocked expression on his face. His escape move is not only fast, but also extremely difficult to stop. Especially when Wang Xian wants to resist with his own body. The penetration of water attribute can make him easily penetrate the body of any enemy. But this time, it was resisted. Break it! Shui Shayan's eyes were fixed, and the powerful water energy surged all over his body and the sharp spearhead began to spin, trying to break through the defense of the Tai Chi dragon plate. 
as a veteran who has just entered Tian Yuan fortune, his strength is still very terrifying. The Tai Chi Dragon Pan couldn't bear his attack a little bit. A hole appeared, and the sharp spear continued to penetrate Wang Xian's body. Puff! The sharp spear pierced Wang Xian's body, but Wang Xian didn't move at all. The ancestral tree that was about to reach maturity gave Wang Xian a terrifying effect in terms of recovery. The sharp spear penetrated Wang Xian's body, continuously strangling the vitality in his body. And the flesh and blood in Wang Xian's body grew crazily under the healing of the ancestor tree. Resilience has reached an extremely terrifying level. If Wang Xian wanted to quickly kill a strong man with similar strength to his own, unless Lin Niu took action, using the five elements Great Mill and Tai Chi Dragon Pan, he also needed to fight. Fight regardless of injuries. Wang Xian, Lin Niu, five elements grinding machine, Tai Chi Dragon Pan, the combined combat power is enough to kill an existence of the same strength as Wang Xian. Xu Xian is at this level. After fighting, Wang Xian and the others can kill it. But it is very difficult to kill in a short time, or even instantly. But Wang Xian also has a way now, that is to exchange injuries for injuries and desperately keep him. With powerful treasures, he cannot use the treasures to escape in an instant. This guy wants to keep me, wants to kill me instantly. Shui Xian saw through Wang Xian's thoughts, and his face changed drastically. With his body attached to the sharp gun, he slowly stretched out a palm and grabbed Wang Xian's penetrated body. Although Wang Xian's body was pierced by the Divine Spear, the Divine Spear did not completely penetrate it. But at this time, Ruyuo Mizusha Yin's palm penetrated into Wang Xian's body, and could explode his body. Roar! But just as he was about to make a move, Lin Niu had already rushed over. The weird devil symbols on his body all went straight into the sharp gun one by one. The symbols containing terrifying erosion, destruction, and tearing immediately made the entire sharpshooter tremble violently. Mizusa Yin also changed his face wildly, frantically preventing the symbol from invading. Buzz. However, at this time, at the position above Wang Xian's head, a wave of annihilated energy descended from the great grinding of the five elements, also charged towards the sharp spear. Wang Xian stretched out his hands, holding the sharp gun tightly, and waves of energy rushed in. Oops! Shui Shayan's face changed wildly. Without the slightest hesitation, he moved his palm, which was attached to the gun, and took out a piece of special leather. A drop of water energy drops into the cortex. He wants to escape from here. Buzz! However, just when he thought he was about to escape, a tree root suddenly appeared in the cortex in his hand, a verdant tree root. Immediately afterwards, he felt that his spirit was in a trance. A surge of energy, wanting to control his body. This made him terrified, and his face was full of horror. No. He roared crazily, his voice full of unwillingness. Linneo's attack entered his body and the annihilating force of the great grinding of the five elements destroyed his vitality. Wang Xian also attacked him. The roots growing from the same root prevented him from escaping in an instant. Death comes. Puff. Mizusa Yin's vitality completely disappeared, and his body came out of the gun and fell directly to the ground beside him. Wang Xian pulled out the sharp spear that was inserted into his body, and the wound on his body healed quickly. He looked calmly at the position on the ground in front of him. There, there is also a strong Tian Yuan fortune hidden. The Tian Yuan good fortune expert who was with Bibi Fusion noticed Wang Xian's gaze, and saw the corpse beside him, his body shook violently. He felt his scalp tingling, and hurriedly fled towards the rear, returning to the side of the six of them in Bibi Fusion. Hiss. But at this time, the sudden death of a strong Tian Yuan fortune made the entire ring and the entire battlefield a little silent. Even the Golden Leopard from the Six Paths universe froze slightly. In the past 100 million years, a large number of heavenly creation powerhouses have entered their six universes. They have been chasing and hunting them for hundreds of millions of years. 
the 100 million years of chasing and hunting made them understand that none of the powerful heavenly creatures who can enter their six universes is simply. The opponent wants to escape, even if they use their whole cards, it will be difficult to keep them. It's too difficult to kill a strong Tian Yuan fortune. However, here, a strong Tian Yuan fortune was killed in a short time. The one who made the move turned out to be a strong Tian Yuan good fortune from other universes. Is it a Dao level existence? The death of a strong man of Tian Yuan brought the surrounding battles to a standstill. A Tian Yuan good luck expert stared at Wang Xian with fear on his face, and roared in a low voice. No, it's just two novice level Tian Yuan fortune tellers, but they have a lot of cards. Bibai Fuxian stared at Wang Xian, seeing a strong Tian Yuan fortune so quickly died in Wang Xian's hands, his face was full of fear. He was killed once by Wang Xian. But last time I struggled for a while at least, but this time, the strong Tian Yuan fortune was killed so quickly. When he killed himself, he didn't use all his whole cards. God-given father, actually beheaded a strong Tian Yuan good fortune from another universe, my god, so strong. The strong disciples of the Mulai tribe watched this scene with wide-eyed eyes, full of shock. That pet, no, isn't that Lord Divine Beast, on Tian Si's birthday, his adoptive father asked him to follow Tian Si? This Lord Divine Beast has been following Tian Si for more than 90 million years. I thought it was just a pet, I didn't expect this to be an adult at the level of Tian Yuan creation. One of Mulai Yinner's older brothers looked at Lin Niu and couldn't help exclaiming. The one-horned cow who has been following Tian Si all the time, they also have a pet given to Tian Si by their adoptive father. Result? The existence of Tian Yuan fortune-telling level. Supreme existence. What? Around, the strong disciples of a group of tribes were a little dazed when they heard this sentence. Especially those who know TNC and those who have seen Linnea can't believe it. It's no wonder Mulai TNC is so strong, such a monstrosity, possessing the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune, and an adoptive father who is in the realm of Tian Yuan fortune, and there is also a master and beast in the realm of Tian Yuan fortune who has been guarding him all the time. At the Juhi tribe, Gongchen's grandpa was stunned. What kind of fairy brother in law is this? Gong Chang took aim at his younger brother, his eyes widening. Today, he feels that he has learned a lot. I haven't seen you for a few days, Dragon King, you have become stronger again, but what is the situation, the treasure of heaven and earth is right beside you, Dragon King, why don't you take it away? The twelve ancestral witches looked at Wang Xian instantly beheading a strong Tian Yuan fortune, and looked at each other with shock in their eyes. They knew that it hadn't been long for Wang Xian to break through. However, they were able to kill Tian Yu in good fortune so easily now. They couldn't do this record. The current Dragon King and the others are afraid of even the Twelve Ancestral Witches. The Twelve Ancestral Witches looked at Wang Xian with endless curiosity on their faces. Nowadays, a large number of strong Tian Yu in good fortunes have entered the Six Universes, and even all the strong Tian Yuan good fortunes have arrived in the Jiuyuan universe. The falling shadow demon emperor at the Dao level all died here once. Now Tian Yuan good fortune supreme treasure is within reach for Wang Xian, why not take it away? Because of some special reasons. When Wang Xian heard the words of the twelve ancestral witches, he said with a smile on his face. Senior twelve ancestral witches, I want to protect him and I also ask the seniors not to participate. He will not be obtained by other Tian Yuan fortune tellers. He said very politely to the twelve ancestral witches. After he finished speaking, he raised his eyebrows slightly and looked towards the distance. He saw the familiar figure coming again. In a short period of time, all the great fortune tellers of heaven and earth have already rushed towards this side. You want to keep him, have you asked us? You are the most stupid Tian Yuan fortune-telling powerhouse I have ever seen. Just because his mother saved you and didn't let your body die, you gave up Tian Yuan fortune-telling treasure. To protect him, is really a foolish kindness. Bibai Fuxian stared at Wang Xian, sensing that another strong man was flying over from behind, and roared angrily. 
now, the longer the time drags on, the more powerful ones will come. His chances of obtaining the Tianyuan fortune treasure are getting slimmer. All because of this guy. I do things, but I still need you to teach. I just need to have a clear conscience. Wang Xian looked at Baek Fushin and said calmly. It turned out to be the reason, Dragon King, I admire you. When the Twelve Ancestral Witch heard this answer, his face was full of surprise. Because his mother saved his life, he didn't even want the treasure of heaven and earth. Now I have to protect him and let him grow up. This kind of behavior is very stupid for many strong people. Those who can become the strongest of Tianyuan fortune, which one does not have blood on their hands? Which one didn't kill hundreds of millions of lives? But at the same time, the twelve ancestral witches admired Wang Xian's behavior very much. This kind of person can be made friends with. Otherwise, how could I, Lin Yu, willingly follow the boss? Lin Yu opened his mouth when he heard the words of the twelve ancestral witches, and said slightly proudly. This. When Mulai Yinner heard this answer, her eyes were a little dazed. Thinking back one hundred million years ago, because she was pregnant and was ridiculed and discussed by the whole tribe, she was in a bad mood and took her maid out to relax. Unexpectedly, he rescued the dying Wang Xian. At that time, she also said that it was to accumulate blessings for her son. A casual move actually created the current scene. A powerful celestial being, a top existence in another universe, took action to protect her son. This made her feel mixed feelings. In the sky above, Jin Bao also looked at Wang Xian with a face full of surprise, and his heart was also extremely surprised. He didn't expect that this situation would happen today. A strong man with heavenly origin from another universe actually protects the treasure of their six universes. Buzz. At this moment, in front of the arena, an extremely huge treasure flew over. The surrounding space vibrates. Jin Bao looked at it and frowned slightly. I advise everyone, get out of our six universes immediately, otherwise, I will let you hear. The golden leopard growled in a low voice with murderous intent on its face. Crack. The treasure flying over opened a gate, and four figures stood there. The flying arcana is the void tower. As for those four figures, two of them were very familiar figures to Wang Xian. Void Universe Void Dynasty Zhen Guo Gong Tianmen Gong and Xining Gong. Tianmen Gong and the others glanced at the Golden Leopard, their eyes were full of vigilance, and then they scanned the surrounding Tianyuan fortune experts. In the end, they set their eyes on TNC, with a fiery look in their eyes. However, when they saw Wang Xian beside TNC, their eyes froze slightly. It's you, the Dragon King of the Nine Origin Universe Dragon Palace. Tianmen Gong stared at Wang Xian, his eyes were full of murderous intent. He <laughs> he, long time no see. When Wang Xian saw them, a smile appeared on his face. If he hadn't been chased and wounded by them, Wang Xian might not have met Mu Li Yinner. I didn't kill you last time, it seems that I will kill you this time. Tianmen Gong said with a murderous look on his face. Oh? Is it only you four guys who come to your void universe? If that's the case, I'm afraid there will be a few of you left. Before Wang Xian could speak, the twelve ancestral witches looked at them and said calmly. Facing the void universe, the Tianyuan fortune tellers of the Zhuyuan universe have always maintained a united front. If they dared to attack Wang Xian, the twelve ancestral witches would do the same. Guys from Zhuyuan universe, do you really think we are afraid of you? The Duke of Xining stared at the twelve ancestral witches, and said with a gloomy face. You talk too much nonsense. Wang Xian looked at the four Tianyuan fortune tellers in the void universe, and said coldly. Everyone, don't delay any longer. The longer you delay, more and more powerful people will rush over. There is only one Tianyuan good fortune from the six universes here. With our strength, we can completely compete with it. Tianyuan good fortune is the ultimate treasure. We are more capable. Beverly glanced around, and said loudly. There are seven people on their side, 
still occupying the superiority in numbers. After the stalemate, their chances will be smaller. It's just that there are more than a dozen Tian Yu and fortune tellers around, even if their strength is suppressed, it is easy to fight against the Golden Leopard. After all, there is no weak person who can come here. Even among them, there are quite a few strong people who control the level. There is no problem in suppressing the Golden Leopard. Around, the eyes of the rest of the Tian Yu and fortune telling powerhouses flickered slightly when they heard this sentence. Do it. A strong Tian Yuan fortune roared, and with a wave of his arm, a wave of energy directly attacked the Golden Leopard. Attack! Seeing this scene, the other Tian Yuan fortune tellers also knew that they could not hesitate. They attacked at the same time, heading towards the Golden Leopard in the sky. More than a dozen Tian Yuan fortune tellers attacked at the same time, causing Jin Leopard's expression to change slightly. He can't resist the opponent's attack. He can withstand at most ten strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers in their early years. You guys, it. The Golden Leopard's figure flashed, and it directly dodged to the side. However, the opponent's attack covers a very large area. Once he dodges, the opponent is likely to away the treasure of heaven and fortune that belongs to their six universes. Even at this time, you can't count on the Dragon King of the Dragon Palace of Juyuan Universe. After all, there are too many opponents. Whoosh! With a wave of his arm, he took out a powerful chassis and threw it towards the ring. Buzz! Facing the attack of more than a dozen Tian Yuan fortune tellers, the Golden Leopard quickly evaded. However, he also knew that the main target of the other party was Tian Yuan, the supreme treasure of good fortune. With a wave of his arm, a golden hood covered the ring at a terrifying speed. The golden cover fell into the arena and quickly began to grow bigger. Enveloped the entire arena and the disciples of the six universes around it. Bump, bump. A strong man named Tian Yuan Fortune flew towards the bottom of the ring, and when he saw the golden cover covering the entire ring, his eyes were fixed. Attack one by one, trying to break through this defensive cover. However, this golden cover is also a trump card of the golden leopard after all. Without the suppression of the power of the universe, the defense is very terrifying. A series of attacks landed on it, only making the golden mask tremble. You guys are really damned. Jin Bao stared at him, his eyes full of awe. His eyes fixed on a figure who was also metallic, and a golden light shot out from his whole body, attacking that strong man with metallic celestial origin. Damn it, this golden leopard locked on me. Seeing this scene, the metallic Tian Yuan strong man changed his face slightly, attack this golden leopard, he wants to defeat us one by one. He roared loudly, and hurriedly moved to the side to dodge. Seeing this scene, all the strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers around frowned slightly. They hesitated for a moment and did not help the strong man. Time is running out now, and the most important thing is to get the Tian Yuan good fortune supreme treasure. Once time drags on, and the strong men from the Tian Yuan fortune realm come back from the Six Paths universe, their chances of obtaining the treasure will become even slimmer. Boom boom boom. A strong man named Tian Yuan fortune continued to blast towards the golden mask. The terrifying attack made the golden mask start to tremble. Attack. On the Void Tower, four strong fortune tellers from the Void universe also attacked the golden mask. Master Tianmen, I have a way to pass through this golden mask directly. Seeing that his attack landed on the golden mask, a strong man from the Void Universe frowned slightly, causing only a slight ripple. No, that guy from Zhuyuan Universe is inside, he's not weak. Lord Tianmen shook his head, and glanced at the situation inside the golden mask. He hastily scanned his surroundings. Located on the side, the Golden Leopard wanted to break down one by one, and was chasing and killing the strong metal Tian Yuan Good Fortune. The Tian Yuan Good Fortune expert didn't hesitate at all, and fled directly to the distance. Under such circumstances, the Golden Leopard didn't dare to continue chasing deeply, and could only target the second Tian Yuan creation powerhouse. The defense of this Golden Mask is very strong, 
let's attack one point of the golden mask together, hurry up. Tianmen Gong roared loudly, and a force of space circled a dot on the top of the golden mask. The power of space cutting is attacking towards the golden mask. Duke Xining and the other two Tianyuan fortune tellers also attacked that point. Attack! Attack! Around the location, a group of Tianyuan fortune tellers also attacked that point. This blow almost penetrated the entire world. Various energies attacked towards the inside. Inside the golden mask, all the strong disciples of the shrouded six universes watched this step and felt an endless chill. If the defense is breached, we may die just under the pressure of these strong men. A strong man in the realm of master of the universe swallowed a mouthful of spit, and said with a face full of horror. Horrible. More than a dozen strong heavenly creatures from other universes, this endless power made them feel terrified. Father. Can this golden mask withstand their attacks? Will they kill the people around them if they break through the defense? Standing on the ring, TNC was shocked to see the scene. These strong men are all here for him. At this time, he was a little worried about the Mulai tribe, and some worried about whether his relatives and tribe members would be affected. This is just the beginning. Once the golden mask is broken, just this coercion will be able to kill the weak and strong in the realm of masters of the universe. For the Mulai tribe, I will let Linyu take care of it. Wang Xian said to TNC. Wang Xian, my lord, is this, is this just the beginning? This. How many heavenly creation powerhouses are there? At the rear, Mulai TNC's grandfather trembled when he heard these words, and asked in shock. There are a total of sixteen Tianyu and fortune tellers around here. Sixteen. There are only three of them in the entire universe. I don't know either. Wang Xian shook his head and glanced around, I know, in our Zhuyuan universe, besides Lin Niu and I, the twelve ancestral witches who have arrived, there are seven Tianyu and fortune tellers who have not come, but we should hurry up here you go. As he spoke, he sensed the position in front of him and a powerful energy came from him. Another Tianyuan good fortune has arrived. Wang Xian spoke, and looked at the position of the golden mask again. There, a crack appeared. Whoosh whoosh! In the sky above the dungeon, this time there are more than a dozen celestial beings flying over. Golden Leopard, kill them all, kill them all! Behind these dozens of figures, there was an extremely angry voice. The lowest all over the sky will slowly swallow the entire dungeon. There are too many enemies, how long will it take for the undead to come over? When Jin Bao saw the Shachin coming, his eyes shone brightly, but when he sensed the dozen or so figures that Ta Shachin was chasing, his expression sank again. When Tisha City was rushing towards this side, he found a dozen or so Tianyuan fortune tellers rushing towards the dungeon halfway. This made him angry for a while and immediately launched an attack. However, the dozen or so strong Tianyuan fortune tellers tacitly fought back together. While counter-attacking, he flew towards the dungeon. According to the news of their group of Tianyuan fortune tellers, a large number of Tianyuan fortune tellers are now gathered here in Tuyuan. They have already learned that the treasure of good fortune of Tianyuan appeared in the dungeon. Next, they will definitely rush over as quickly as possible. As more and more powerful people gather, the chances of obtaining the Tianyuan fortune treasure become smaller. At this time, all the Tianyuan fortune tellers joined forces tacitly. Already on the way, coming soon, wait for the undead to arrive, kill them all, and expel them all. Tashachin roared angrily. Only by entanglement with the two guys from the six universes, can we obtain the treasure of Tianyuan good fortune, attack them the treasure of Tianyuan good fortune, each according to his ability and chance. A Tianyuan fortune treasure who was being pursued by Tisha City roared loudly. The second Tianyuan fortune telling powerhouse of the six universes who rushed over. More than a dozen Tianyuan fortune tellers rushed over. This made the whole scene extremely chaotic. In the sky above, a strong Tianyuan fortune maker from other universes is constantly attacking the two strong men from the six universes. 
There are also some strong Tianyuan fortune tellers who attack the golden mask below from time to time. Crack appears. All the strong disciples of the six universes watched this scene tremblingly. Thirty people, nearly thirty Tianyuan fortune tellers have arrived. Any one of them is an existence that can wipe out tribes with a wave of their hands. Today, there are thirty of them here. They feel like they are in now. Especially some strong disciples who are relatively close to Wang Xian, combined with what Wang Xian said just now. They tremble. At this moment, they felt that they were no different from ants. Young Master Wang Xian, will God send him be in danger? Mu Li Yin's body trembled slightly, she gritted her teeth and flew to Wang Xian's side, grabbed Tian Si's hand, and asked. Don't worry, I'm here. Wang Xian looked at Mu Li Yin and nodded with a smile. This scene did not exceed his expectations. Looking over, Wang Xian found that there were two more familiar figures. Tisha City, we are defending above the ring, we cannot let them approach. At this time, on the battlefield, Golden Leopard sensed a crack in the golden mask, his expression changed slightly, and he immediately yelled at Tisha Chen. Just now, he didn't dare to stick to the top of the ring. Now that Tisha City has arrived, he has this information. Tisha City is a strong Tianyuan fortune of Earth attribute, and in terms of defense, it is far superior to a strong Tianyuan fortune of the same level. In contrast, his attack power is weaker. Good. Ho ho. With a roar from Tisha Chen, the whole person turned into a gigantic giant standing between heaven and earth. He flew directly towards the sky above the golden mask, and stood in the position above. The golden leopard flew to Tisha Chen's body immediately. Attack them, break through this defensive cover and the treasure of Tianyuan fortune is inside. Bake Fushin saw so many strong Tianyuan fortune has arrived, and roared with blood-red eyes. Attack! The strong man in the Void Universe also focused his eyes, and attacked the Sand City and the Golden Leopard in the six universes. Surrounding them, nearly thirty Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouses all attacked Tisha City and the Golden Leopard together. They took a deep breath when they saw the horrific attack. The center of heaven and earth is wholly outside the law. Tishachin let out a low growl, and the surrounding soil covered him, forming a gigantic extrajudicial giant. This giant is comparable to the size of half a dungeon. The golden leopard used offense instead of defense, and attacked one after another in front of it. A golden cheetah figure, devouring the sky and the earth. Boom boom boom. The figure of the extrajudicial giant was covered by the attack making a violent roar. Dirt filled the sky. We can't last long. Tisha City was under the attack of nearly thirty Tianyuan fortune tellers, its face changed slightly, and it roared in a low voice. The dead are coming. Jin Bao took out a treasure, checked it out, and roared in a low voice. But the next moment, his pupils shrank slightly. On the treasure in his hand, it not only shows the location of the undead, but also has more than 40 red dots. Each red dot represents a strong Tianyuan good fortune. Damn it, there are so many strong Tianyuan creatures entering our universe. Jin Bao's heart sank. Boom boom boom. Boom. In the surrounding positions, nearly 30 strong Tianyuan fortune tellers continued to attack them. Once they dodge, the golden mask below will be instantly defeated. Even all the strong disciples around the ring will be wiped out instantly. And here, there are most of the elite disciples of their six universes. Hand over the treasure of Tian Yuan, otherwise, all the strong disciples here in your six universes will die. Seeing the two Tian Yuan fortune tellers resisting their attack, Bei Fushin roared angrily. Six Paths Universe, don't try to occupy the most precious treasure of heaven and earth. It is a crime to conceive by. I advise you not to seek your own death, otherwise, your Six Paths universe will burn all lives." Another Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse opened his mouth to threaten. This made Tisha Chen and Jin Bao extremely embarrassed. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Dead, war spirit. At this time, on the horizon not far away, 
three colossal coffins appeared out of thin air between the sky and the earth. The coffin was quickly opened, and three terrifying figures flew out from inside. Do you really think that our six universes are easy to bully? War. Between heaven and earth, a chilling aura quickly formed. Even the surrounding yellow sand quickly disappeared. Undead, let's work together to kill them, even if we don't want the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune, we must keep a dozen of them. Seeing the undead appearing and seeing the undead in front of them fighting with more than 40 Tian Yuan fortune tellers, Jin Bao roared angrily. At this moment, their hearts are also full of anger. This is completely bullying them to the point of bullying. Well, killing them is also a huge resource. The undead responded loudly. Hey! Six universes are not as weak as imagined. Wang Xian, who was standing in the center of the ring, saw the arrival of the three Tian Yuan fortune tellers from the six universes, and saw the strength of the undead Tian Yuan fortune teller, with a look of astonishment on his face. The strength of the Golden Leopard and Natusha City of the Six Universes has just stepped into the level of Tian Yuan fortune. Not as strong as him. And this undead is very strong. Summon three strong fortune tellers who have just entered Tian Yuan, and his own strength is comparable to the existence of the control level. Father, will the three adults of our Six Universes be their opponents? Tian Si on the side saw the arrival of the last strong man from the universe of Six Realms, and couldn't help asking. The strength of your six universes is stronger than I expected. Whether you can resist it depends on the cards of both sides, as well as other strong players. If you are reluctant to show your cards, generally speaking, you are still at a disadvantage. Wang Xian said. Looking at it now, the six universes are equivalent to seven strong men who have just entered the Tian Yuan fortune-making level. And there are more than 70 Tian Yuan fortune tellers in other universes now. In this case, the combat effectiveness is barely equal. However, if one of the more than 70 Tian Yuan fortune tellers uses a strong whole card, the three Tian Yuan fortune tellers from the six universes are still no match. Because the whole cards of their three powerhouses are definitely not as many as those of the more than 70 Tian Yuan fortune tellers. Buzz. In the upper sky, a strong Tian Yuan fortune wants to control the queen given by Tian Yuan. In the next ten seconds, fluctuations of various energies penetrated through the defenses of Golden Leopard and Tisha City, and landed around Tian Si. But this time, all the energy fluctuations were resisted by Wang Xian. This made some Tian Yuan fortune tellers in the sky furrow their brows. They didn't doubt Wang Xian who was on the side. Even if they know that Wang Xian is also a strong man of heaven and earth. It seems that the treasure of heavenly origin has special energy. They attributed the failure of their abilities to the treasure of heavenly fortune in Tianxi's body. The battle continues. The terrifying battle made the faces of the strong disciples of the major tribes in the six universes below full of fear and horror. They wanted to escape from here, but they couldn't escape at all. The terrifying energy fluctuations around them made them realize that they couldn't mobilize the energy around them even if they wanted to. Even some treasures that can make them teleport directly fail because of powerful energy interference. They seem to be in the center of hell. Pray that the fire of will not fall on them. All the powerhouses at the pinnacle of universe dominance gather together to support their energy, ready to defend and protect themselves at any time. Um. But at this time, it was located at the place of a group of strong men who ruled the universe at the pinnacle. The eyes of the strong men from the tribe of the dead froze slightly. They looked at Wang Xian and Tian Si's position, and flew over immediately. Greetings to Lord Dragon King of the Dragon Palace. The three powerhouses who ruled the pinnacle of the tribe of the dead flew to Wang Xian's side and bowed respectfully. Seeing them flying over, Wang Xian frowned slightly and looked at them lightly. Master Dragon King of the Dragon Palace, we have sent all the information here to our Master of the Undead. We adults said that they will not be able to resist for long. Do you have a backup, Dragon King of the Dragon Palace, and can you keep the treasure of Tian Yuan good fortune? The ancestor of the tribe in the tribe of the dead continued to talk to Wang Xian. 
Tell the undead that the treasure of Tianyu and good fortune belongs to my adoptive son Mulai, and it belongs to him by nature. Wang Xian looked at them and said. It's Lord Dragon King. The three peak masters who ruled the tribe of the dead immediately responded respectfully. Facing the Dragon King from the Nine Origin Universe in front of them, they dare not be presumptuous in the slightest. The master of the Suintu tribe, the peak powerhouse, will kill as soon as he wants, so what can the Suintu tribe do? Even, this strong man directly suppressed and killed a Tianyu in fortune-making existence just now. When they talk to them, their hearts are beating violently, so be careful. The three strong men of the tribe of the dead immediately sent messages to the undead through their special methods. In the sky above, the undead received a message from his subordinates, his eyes shining brightly. Today's situation, he thought about it. But he never thought of Wang Xian's existence anyway. Unexpectedly, there was a strong Tianyu and good fortune from another universe who did not take the Tianyu and good fortune treasure, but instead helped the young man who had the Tianyu and good fortune treasure grow up, and instead protected him. This is something he never thought of. But the current situation, this situation, is a good thing for their six universes. The treasure of Tianyu and good fortune belongs to the disciples of their six universes, and it always belongs to their six universes. The only pity is that it wasn't the Tianyu and fortune treasure they obtained. If this is not the case today, even the disciples who belong to their six universes with the treasure of heaven and earth, he will make it hand over. Even kill it and take away the treasure of heaven and earth. But now, the situation is different. Moreover, he also had a guess in his heart that the Dragon King of the Dragon Palace should have left behind, otherwise, he should have taken the boy away long ago. What a lucky boy, he was born to be a strong man of heaven. He was slightly envious, and immediately sent a voice transmission, tell the Dragon King of Dragon Palace that his adopted son Mulai TNC is a disciple of our six universes, and also our disciple. Tian Yuan, the treasure of good fortune, belongs to him from birth, and will belong to him in the future. We we will protect him from growing up to the realm of Tian Yuan fortune, and in the future, we will have a rich reward. Lord Dragon King, our Lord Lord of the Undead said that Mulai TNC is a disciple of our six universes, and a disciple of Lord Lord of the Undead. Naturally, the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune belongs to him, and the adults will protect him in the future to grow into Tian Yuan fortune. Realm, and you will be rewarded generously for the adults. The three strong men from the tribe of the dead reported to Wang Xianhui with some shock in their hearts. In the surrounding positions, the strong disciples of all the tribes were shocked when they heard the words of the tribe of the dead. They looked at TNC in unison, their eyes shining brightly. What does it mean? That is, Mulai was gifted by God, and in the future they will be the strong fortune tellers of their six universes. Will be one of the top powerhouses in their universe. It is the existence they need to kneel down to. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't care about the promises of your six universes. If you have any bad intentions, I will destroy all the creatures in your six universes, and let the undead resist as much as they can. The current situation is still under control. In addition, God send this time because of the incident of the Suintu tribe, let me give you an explanation. Wang Xian smiled faintly, and continued talking to them. In the current situation, everything is still under control. In the other six universes, Wang Xian is not very worried. Not to mention that God-given death can be resurrected. In the future, as long as he shows his strength, he will not dare to pay attention to the six universes. Once they dare to pay attention, with the power of Dragon Palace in the future, they can make the entire six universes miserable. Even, as long as Wang Xian is given some more time, all living beings in the universe of the six realms will be wiped out. This is his confidence. When the three strong men from the tribe of the dead heard Wang Xian's words, cold sweat broke out on their foreheads. Conversing with such a strong man who can destroy a cosmic creature makes them a little frightened. They nodded and immediately passed the information to the undead. Hearing Wang Xian's message, the undead frowned slightly. 
he also didn't doubt whether Wang Xian was talking big. He knew that Zhuyuan universe was a powerful universe with Dao level existence. It is not comparable to their six universes at all. Maybe the other party really has this strength to make their six universes suffer. He wasn't angry at the threat in the slightest. The other party wanted their disciple from the Six Paths universe to become a strong Tianyuan fortune and possess the most precious treasure of Tianyuan fortune, even if this disciple was his adopted son. But after all, they are people from the Six Universes. His roots are always in the Six Universes. This is a matter of great fortune for the entire universe. That's enough. Master Dragon King of the Dragon Palace our Lord of the Undead said that we will become friendly friends with you in the future, Lord Dragon King. As for the matter of someone bullying the future Tianyuan fortune maker, we will naturally have to pay a terrible price. The Liao family of the Suintu tribe has all been exterminated. Are you satisfied, Lord Dragon King of the Dragon Palace and Lord Mulai Tianxi? Facing Wang Xian's words, the Undead directly passed the news to the three peak rulers of the Undead tribe and asked them to pass it on to Wang Xian. This is the explanation from the undead to Wang Xian and the others. This is also the best way for the six universes at present. As for Liao Fei, the Liao clan of the Suintu tribe, they are looking for death on their own. Relying on his own identity and strength, he wants to bully others. In general, they do have this capital. But this time, they hit the iron plate. What? At this time, when the voices of the three peak rulers of the dead tribe fell. At the side, from the Suintu tribe, there was an exclamation. Liao Fiyu, Liao Fiyu's grandfather, who was the master of the Liao family at the pinnacle, trembled violently when they heard this. Lord Lord of the Undead. We are disciples of the Suintu tribe, we do not belong to the Lord of the Dead, we. Liao Fiyu's grandfather stared wide-eyed and said with a little horror on his face. Dare to attack and kill the future Tianyuan fortune powerhouse, no one can save you. The strong man who ruled the pinnacle of the tribe of the dead said with a cold face. No, no, why do you want to kill us, you can't kill us, elder, elder, you can't kill us. Liao Fiyu looked at the tribal elders beside him in horror, and shouted in horror. This matter obviously has nothing to do with us, it is the behavior of Liao Fiyu and his family, why should our entire Liao family be responsible? Some strong men from the Liao family of the Suintu tribe said in horror and unwillingness. This is the words of our Lord Lord of the Undead, Lord Tu will not refuse, and even if Lord Mulai Tianxi wants to destroy your Suintu tribe, I think Lord Tu will not refuse. The three masters at the peak of the tribe of the dead looked over and said coldly. In the current situation, it is obvious that Lord Undead has a request from the Dragon King of the Dragon Palace. As for what to ask, it is also very obvious. Now they are resisting more than 70 Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouses, and they are obviously unable to resist. And once they can't resist, the strong disciples of all tribes in the six universes will die here. Even, there may be even more terrifying things. So what is the sacrifice of the Liao family of the Suintu tribe? What's more, Mulai Tianxi now has a foster father at the level of Tianyuan good fortune and has a strong background. In the future, I will definitely be able to become a strong person in Tianyuan. The Liao family will offend him now, and in the future, when he breaks through the Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouse, will the Suintu tribe be better off? Coupled with the fact that he has the treasure of heaven and earth on his body, even Lord Tishachin will not be an opponent in the future. If we don't destroy you now, who will we destroy? Not destroying the entire Suintu tribe is considered good. All the strong disciples of the Suintu tribe changed their faces when they heard this sentence. Especially the strong disciples of the Liao family, their faces were full of despair and ashes. They never thought that Liao Fiyu would bring them a catastrophe. All the strong disciples of the Liao clan of the Suintu tribe, cut themselves off. In the Suintu tribe, a strong man who ruled the peak state changed his face violently, and said, Just now, our master Tianyuan good fortune also issued this order. 
The words of the strong man from the Suinta tribe once again made all the strong disciples of the Liao clan tremble violently. Father, forget it. Among the Liao family of the Suinta tribe, only Liao Fiyu and the others have enmity with me, and the others have not provoked me. Seeing this scene, Mulai Tianxi frowned violently. This is the first time he has encountered such an act of destroying a clan at every turn. This made him a little unprepared and a little uncomfortable. A strong man should not be merciful to the enemy. The wildfire will never stop and the spring breeze will blow again, but you can decide this matter yourself. Yu Fu respects your choice. When Wang Xian heard Tian Si's words, he looked at him and said, Father, maybe I still need to get used to it, except for Liao Fi Yu and the others, forget it. Tian Si nodded, pondered for a while, and continued talking to Wang Xian. Good. Wang Xian nodded. Thank you Lord Mulai Tian Si, why don't you thank Lord Mulai Tian Si soon? Hearing Tian Si's words, the master of the Suinta tribe at the peak heaved a sigh of relief, and quickly thanked Tian Si, and scolded all the strong disciples of the Liao family. Thank you Mulai for the grace of not killing you. A group of strong disciples of the Liao family quickly lowered their heads and thanked loudly. Looking at this scene, Tian Si felt a little dazed. The Liao family who wanted to kill him just now, and the strong man who bullied him, now want to thank him for not killing him. In the surrounding positions, the strong disciples of all the tribes were also a little shocked and dazed when they saw this scene. Who could have imagined that the battle between Mulai Tianxi and the Liao family of Suinta tribe would cause so many great changes? Such will be the result. They looked at the slightly immature boy, their eyes flickered slightly. Now that today's affairs can be passed safely, this young man overlooks their existence. And they will also worship it. My lord, the Dragon King of the Dragon Palace, there is news from our Lord of the Undead that a group of Tianyuan fortune tellers are starting to use their whole cards, and they will soon be unable to stop so many experts. At this moment, the three peak rulers of the dead tribe beside him spoke hastily. They can resist as much as they can. Wang Xian said to them. It's adults. The three masters at the peak responded immediately. Breakthrough, first get the treasure of Tianyuan fortune, and then kill the guy from Zhuyuan universe. When Wang Xian's voice just fell, two figures were flying towards this side in the sky above. Tianmen Gong of the Void Universe, and another strong man of Tianyuan fortune, broke through the defense of the Golden Leopard and the others in Tisha City, and teleported over in an instant. Boom! When they rushed over, on the left side, there were also two figures flying over in a strange way. In addition, Wang Xian also sensed a cloud of earth and sand coming from the underground. The Tianyuan fortune tellers with special abilities couldn't bear it any longer. They used special means to attack Tian Si. Lin Niu, do it. Sensing this scene, Wang Xian narrowed his eyes slightly. Buzz. The moment Wang Xian spoke to Lin Niu, the same root was connected to Lin Niu's body. The whole same root grows roots, connecting Wang Xian, Tian Si, and Lin Yu. In addition, the Tai Chi Dragon Plate and the Five Elements Great Mill in Wang Xian's hands are also not connected with the root. The suppression from the universe of the Six Realms is gone. Boom! Wang Xian stepped lightly towards the ground, and a terrifying earth attribute energy formed a cage, attacking the shadow covered in earth and sand on the ground. He raised his head waved his arm, and the fragments of the star field shrouded the surroundings, quickly growing in size, and turning into a planet. A strong suction force sucked all the strong disciples of the surrounding six universe tribes into it. Ah! The sound of exclamation sounded, and countless strong disciples from the six universes were sucked onto the planet, including Tian Si, who also stood on top of the planet. The planet was suspended in the sky behind Wang Xian, and he stared at the rushing Tianmen Gong and another strong man from the Void Universe. Want to stop us? Looking for dead things. When Tianmen Gong saw Wang Xian making a move, his eyes showed a cold expression. With a movement of his hand, a small knife appeared in his hand. The knife cut directly in Wang Xian's direction. 
whizzing. Tian Mengong and another Void Universe powerhouse directly speed up. In the surrounding area, among the two figures, one of them took out a swamp-like treasure and threw it towards Linyu. Wait for them to approach. Seeing their attack, Wang Xian immediately sent a sound transmission to Lin Niu. Lin Niu nodded with flickering eyes. Just now, the power Wang Xian used did not exceed the realm of Tian Yuan creation. Just waiting for them to approach. In the face of a strong man of this level, even if Wang Xian and the others have lost the suppression of the power of the universe, they still have to be fully sure. The space attribute knife came to Wang Xian's side in an instant, and Wang Xian quickly avoided and resisted. There is a distance between the body and the planet behind it. The unicorn's horn burst into brilliance, releasing a burst of energy to meet the swamp-like treasure. He only used a few tenths of his power. Tian Yuan good fortune treasure is mine. In an instant, the four Tian Yuan fortune tellers broke through the defense line of Wang Xian and Lin Niu. Whizzing. And from the position on the ground, another figure flew out, also attacking the godsend on the planet. Ha ha ha, the treasure of heavenly fortune belongs to my old devil. When all the strong tribes on the planet watched all this with horror. Among the strong men of the tribe, suddenly a figure exploded directly, and a strong man with a terrifying aura emerged from his body. This strong man, with his deep black claws, grabbed at TNC. In addition, a tribal disciple's face changed directly, and he also attacked TNC at a terrifying speed. The disciples of the strong tribe around him were instantly wiped out by the terrifying energy fluctuations. In an instant, two strong fortune tellers appeared, appearing from the bodies of disciples of the strong disciples of the six universe tribes. This strange and powerful method was beyond Wang Xian's expectation. However, Seven Tian Yuan fortune tellers attacked TNC, Wang Xian didn't panic in the slightest, instead there was a smile on his face. The seven strong fortune tellers of Tian Yuan are already very close to TNC. The distance between Wang Xian and them is also very close. Boom! His mind was shocked, and the planet formed by the fragments of the entire star field burst into a cloud of fog in an instant. Lost Planet this is a special planet in the fragments of the star field. Able to create a powerful environment. Once the weak are hit, they will get lost in the illusion. In addition, the strong in the realm of illusion may suffer fatal attacks from outside. This lost planet does not have much effect on those who are strong in Tian Yuan. However, the suppressed strength of these seven Tian Yuan fortune tellers in the six universes is already below that of Tian Yuan fortune telling. In addition, Wang Xian has the strength of heavenly creation. One person can fight and even kill a dozen of them. Under such circumstances, Wang Xian manipulated the lost planet, instantly causing the seven Tian Yuan fortune tellers to feel a change in the surrounding scene. The surroundings have all turned into mirrors. There is his own face in the mirror, and there are countless mirrors around him, and there are countless disciples. What's the situation? The sudden change made the seven Tian Yuan fortune tellers slightly startled, their faces full of astonishment. Tianmen Gong also shrank his pupils slightly, and his eyes quickly scanned his surroundings. In his sight, the companion beside him has disappeared. There are mirrors all around, and the mirrors are all about yourself. Illusion? Special treasure? Spatial shock? With a low growl? the power of space rushed towards the surroundings. Ah! When the space shock attacked the surroundings, a familiar scream came. Hee <laughs> hee! Seeing that the trap he set up was successful, Wang Xian showed a smile on his face. Tianmen Gong and his companions were not separated, they were still adjacent to each other. His range attack directly landed on his companion. The powerful attack made his companion let out a scream. With the movement of Wang Xian's figure, the speed was comparable to their teleportation, and he came to the Void Universe, a strong man of heaven and earth. With the movement of his palm, the huge dragon claw directly enveloped it. The terrifying power of death instantly overwhelmed his body, beheading him completely. What? When Tian Mengong heard this scream, 
his face changed drastically. He hastily protected his body with energy, scanning his surroundings vigilantly. Ka ka ka! In the next second, he felt that all the mirrors around him were shattered, and a terrifying claw covered them. The claws contain the energy to block everything, and contain the threat of death. His heart was beating violently, and he wanted to escape. However, there is a huge gap between his current strength and Wang Xian's. A branch was passed into his body, preventing him from fleeing with a special treasure. Immediately following, Wang Xian shook his hand. Ah! The sound of screams sounded, and the vitality of Tianmen Gong disappeared instantly. A strong space attribute man with the strength to control the level was easily beheaded by Wang Xian. The suppression of the universe, the sudden sneak attack, and the two void universe powerhouses caught off guard. The combination of various conditions made Wang Xian behead two Tianyu and fortune tellers one after another. Puff! On the side, Lin Yu also launched a fatal attack on several other Tianyu and fortune tellers. In the current situation, this is like the strong man of Tianyu and fortune secretly attacking the strong man who dominates the peak realm. How to resist when he didn't react? I can't resist it at all. Puff! Puff! Mighty Horn, Terrifying Claws When Wang Xian attacked the two heavenly creation powerhouses in the Void Universe, Lin Niu also launched an attack. The sudden attack completely caught the two Tianyu and fortune tellers by surprise. On the other side, the Great Mill of the Five Elements and the Tai Chi Dragon Pan also launched an attack. Above the Great Mill of the Five Elements, five divine dragons gather together to form a multicolored divine dragon, which directly attacks a strong Tian Yuan fortune. The Tai Chi dragon plate turned into a Yin Yang dragon, and it also attacked. Simultaneous attack. A deadly attack. However, when the Tai Chi dragon pan's attack landed on the old man who was only one meter tall, the old man's skin cracked directly, directly resisting the Tai Chi dragon pan's attack. Immediately afterwards, with the old man's face full of horror, his figure quickly disappeared. A ray of light makes it pass through the sky. But even so, the attacks from Wang Xian Lin Niu and Tai Chi Dragon Pan were all successful. Five Tian Yuan fortune tellers were instantly beheaded by them. The sound of screams sounded. There are a total of seven people who came to attack and kill Tian Si through special means, and wanted to obtain the most precious treasure of Tian Yuan fortune. Hearing this terrifying voice, the last Tian Yuan creator shrank his pupils slightly and showed a horrified look on his face. Without the slightest hesitation, he directly used his whole card to escape, and also escaped here instantly. Wang Xian looked at the Tian Yuan good luck expert, and did not pursue any pursuit. The Tian Yuan fortune tellers who can come here all have powerful trump cards. If they wanted to escape, it would be very difficult for Wang Xian to pursue them. Therefore, the seventh Tian Yuan fortune telling powerhouse escaped as soon as he escaped. He looked at the corpses of the five Tian Yuan fortune tellers, with a look of excitement on his face. These corpses together are worth more than a corpse with a complete Tian Yuan fortune. In particular, the corpses of two of them were the corpses of Tian Yuan fortune telling powerhouses at the control level. Wang Xian waved his arm and put it away, the corners of his mouth slightly raised. Um. This is. On the other side of the fragmented planet of the star field, all the powerful disciples of the six universes saw this scene, and their eyes widened one by one. The energy emanating from the lost planet has not affected the people on the lost planet. They only saw the bodies of the seven Tian Yuan fortune tellers who were attacking towards Mulai Tian Si suddenly stagnate. Immediately afterwards, Mulai Tian Si's adoptive father, that Lord Dragon King, they began to attack and kill quickly. Five Tian Yuan fortune tellers were killed, and two escaped. This shocked them immensely. During this period of time, none of the three adults from the Six Paths universe could kill a single heavenly origin creator. And this Dragon King of the Dragon Palace has already killed six people. Mulai Tian Si's adoptive father and the others are so strong, they are simply too strong. Yet, yeah, I didn't expect 
I really didn't expect Mulai Tianxi to have such good luck, not only Tianyuan's good fortune and treasure, but also such a powerful foster father to protect him. It's because Mulai Yinar is more kind. If she hadn't saved the injured Lord Dragon King of the Dragon Palace, Mulai Tianxi would have been killed long ago without the protection of a strong person. The main reason is that the Lord Dragon King of the Dragon Palace respects love and righteousness. The powerhouses of this level all have resurrection treasures, but because of this kindness, the Dragon King of the Dragon Palace gave up the powerful Tianyuan fortune treasure. It is really admirable. Dragon Palace Dragon King and the others are too strong, Mulai Tianxi should not be in any danger this time. On the Lost Planet, disciples of strong men from various major tribes kept discussing. One by one deliberately loudly praised the Dragon King of the Dragon Palace and Mu Lion ER. Everyone understands the situation in front of them. The Dragon King of the Dragon Palace once again beheaded five strong Tianyuan fortune tellers. With this terrifying strength, there should be no big problem in protecting Mu Lai Tianxi. Then in the future, Mu Lai Tianxi will be the master Tianyuan good fortune of their six universes. At this time, it is natural to please. What? And when the seven strong Tianyuan fortune tellers suddenly passed through the undead in Tisha city and their defenses, they attacked towards the treasure of Tianyuan fortune. The surrounding Tianyuan fortune tellers were a little impatient and stared closely at him. But when they saw that five Tianyuan fortune tellers were suddenly killed and two Tianyuan fortune tellers fled directly, they were slightly startled, with incredulous expressions on their faces. Five Tianyuan fortune tellers were attacked, these are five. Among them are even two strong heavenly creatures from the Void Universe. What's the situation? Damn Dragon Palace Dragon King, you can unleash all your strength, but you can't be suppressed by the six universes. Lord Xining stared at Wang Xian's position, saw that Lord Tianmen and another companion had been beheaded, his expression changed drastically, and he shouted in shock and anger. It is extremely difficult for them to kill them, even if they are in the six universes. Just like Wang Xian back then, after being hunted down for so long, he still escaped. However, now that the five Tianyuan fortune tellers are killed, there is only one possibility. The Tianyuan fortune tellers with real power will carry out a sneak attack and instantly kill them. Make all the cards in the hole unusable, otherwise, there is no second possibility. Um. Lord Xining's words made all the Tianyuan fortune tellers around him stare slightly. Dragon King, do you want to keep this treasure of good fortune? Do you want to keep that boy? Among the group of strong fortune tellers, the Nine Origins Cosmic Elf Queen, Hishan Saint, Phoenix Emperor, and Suan Mu Patriarch are all among them. They didn't step back like the Twelve Ancestral Witches did. They still have some ideas about Tianyuan fortune treasure. Seeing that Wang Xian was able to unleash the true strength of a Tianyuan good luck expert, they frowned slightly, and immediately sent a sound transmission to Wang Xian. Yes, everyone, stop fighting, you won't get it. Wang Xian glanced at them and said confidently. Afterwards, his eyes fell on the undead and the others, and the corners of his mouth slightly raised, you can send ten Tianyuan fortune tellers over here, and let them it. Good. The undead looked at Wang Xian flickeringly, and his eyes were also full of surprise. The Dragon King of the Dragon Palace cannot be suppressed by the six universes, although it is not known what method it uses. But this also means that Dragon Palace Dragon King and the others can really compete with them. Can easily wreak havoc in their six universes. This kind of existence must not be an enemy. Everyone who is strong in Tianyuan fortune, which ten of you want to obtain the treasure of Tianyuan fortune, I don't have to stop you. The undead glanced at the group of Tianyuan fortune tellers, and said lightly. Everyone who is strong in Tianyuan fortune, which ten of you want to obtain the treasure of Tianyuan fortune, I don't have to stop you. The voice of the undead resounded above the dungeon. He glanced at the crowd of heavenly fortune experts around him, the corners of his mouth were slightly raised, and his face was full of sarcasm. Around, more than sixty Tianyuan good fortune experts heard this sentence, their faces sank. 
99% of the Dragon Palace Dragon King is not suppressed by the six universes. Although the scene where he shot and killed was blocked by the mirror image, they couldn't see the inside. However, the strong man with heavenly origin next to him should not be suppressed by the six universes. Under such circumstances, ten Tian Yuan fortune tellers face two unsuppressed Tian Yuan fortune tellers? This can't be beat at all. Not an opponent at all. Twenty strong fortune tellers of Tian Yuan can contend with it. Here is another problem, now there are only more than sixty Tian Yuan fortune tellers, and they are already at a disadvantage. In the past twenty Tian Yuan good fortune experts, the remaining forty or so were no match for the three Tian Yuan good fortune experts from the six universes. Everyone has searched the six universes for one hundred million years. If you give up at this time, no one will be reconciled. Everyone will use all their cards. Otherwise, it is impossible to obtain the treasure of heaven and fortune. Take out the whole cards and fight. Beifushin looked at this scene with a face full of unwillingness. With a movement of his palm, a bright picture scroll appeared above him, exuding terrifying power. This is one of his strong cards. Since he said such a thing, he must be the first to show his whole card. Take out the strongest attack and give it a try. The eyes of all the strong Tian Yuan fortune tellers around flickered slightly, and there was a look of hesitation on their faces. They also hesitated. They believe that if all the strong players show their powerful cards, they will still be able to fight. Even there is still great hope. But also just hope. The whole cards of some Tian Yuan fortune tellers are one off. It depends on whether you are willing or not. Lin Yu, you protect Tian Si, attack and kill more Tian Yuan fortune tellers. However, as soon as Bibi Fushin's voice fell, Wang Xian roared and immediately attacked Bibi Fushin. Be the first to attack. The various attacks of the group of Tian Yuan fortune tellers are very strange. Wang Xian didn't want to defend passively. If you attack first, if you can kill a few more Tian Yuan fortune tellers, then this trip to the six universes will be a big profit. Ho ho ho! When Wang Xian flew out, he immediately turned into the body of a dragon. The incomparably huge body reveals endless sacred majesty. Dragon chant, resounding through the sky of the six universes. The five elements are grinding on the top of the head, and the Tai Chi dragon disc is spinning all over the body. The roar of the dragon sounded for the first time in the six universes. Attack, kill them. Dare to act presumptuously in our six-path universe, and pay the price. When the undead saw that Wang Xian was about to go to war and hunt the Tian Yuan good luck powerhouse, his eyes were fixed and he roared loudly. For nearly 100 million years, the heavenly creation powerhouses from other universes wantonly entered their domain, which made their hearts already burning with anger. Now, it's time for them to fight back. The three Tian Yuan fortune tellers from the six universes launched an attack in an instant. Those two guys hunting the void universe, the Dragon King of the Dragon Palace has been following the boy with the treasure of heaven and earth for nearly 100 million years, and he is absolutely 100% prepared. It is basically impossible to obtain the treasure of heaven and earth, so do void universe. The twelve ancestral witches looked at this scene, their eyes flickered slightly, and they looked at the other heavenly creation powerhouses of the Jiuyuan universe, and immediately transmitted the voice. The Queen of Elf, the Patriarch of Suan Yu, the Sage of Hishan, and all the other heavenly creatures who were strong in creation heard the words of the twelve ancestral witches, and there was a hint of thought on their faces. Damn it, Dragon Palace will have another Tian Yuan good luck expert. The Emperor of Phoenix looked at this scene with a very embarrassing expression on his face. Nowadays, the grievances between Dragon Palace and Phoenix Clan are difficult to resolve. The stronger Dragon Palace is, the more dangerous their Phoenix Clan will be. Now the Dragon King has a young man who is 100% able to step into the realm of Tian Yuan Fortune, and also possesses the most precious treasure of Tian Yuan Fortune. This is a huge crisis for the Phoenix family. However, he had no choice. The current Dragon King of the Dragon Palace is no weaker than him, and if his younger brother is added, he is no match at all. 
do it. At this moment, the Saint Hishan, the Patriarch Suan Yu, the Emperor of Angels, and the Empress of Elf looked at each other with the twelve ancestral witches at the side, and attacked Duke Xining and the others in the Void Universe. Damn it, you from Zhuyuan Universe didn't come to attack us without snatching Tian Yuan's treasure. Seeing the twelve ancestral witches and the others attacking him, Duke Xining's expression changed drastically, and he roared angrily. Once all the celestial creations from Zhuyuan Universe attacked them, they would definitely not be able to get the treasure of celestial creations today. The guys from Zhuyuan Universe gave up, and we lack a few powerful teammates. Oops, Zhuyuan Universe and the others want to kill the two from the Void Universe, and we need nearly ten less experts here. The surrounding Tian Yuan fortune tellers saw that the strong man from the Zhuyuan universe gave up the treasure and directly started to attack the strong man from the Void universe, their expressions were extremely embarrassing. Now the chances of obtaining the Tian Yuan fortune treasure are very slim, and this happens again. Even if they took out all their whole cards, it would be difficult for them to deal with the three powerhouses and the Dragon King of the Six Paths universe. Dragon King of the Dragon Palace if it weren't for you, the treasure of heaven and earth would belong to me. Seeing Wang Xian attacking him, Bibai Fushin roared extremely angrily. However, seeing Wang Xian attacking him, he didn't hesitate at all, and quickly fled towards the distance. The strength that Wang Xian has displayed now can completely kill him in seconds. The star domain is locked. With a wave of Wang Xian's arm, the fragments of the star field flew in front of him, locking onto the figure of Bibai Fushin. At the same time, he swayed his huge dragon tail, and attacked the Tian Yuan creation powerhouses around Bei Fushin. Surrounding him are the six companions he called. Seeing the huge dragon tail sweeping towards him, his expression was extremely ugly. Should we just run away like this? The six Tian Yuan fortune tellers shouted unwillingly. Obviously they were the first to discover the treasure of Tian Yuan fortune, but in the end they got nothing, instead they had to consume the treasure to escape. Buzz. However, among them, two Tian Yuan fortune tellers took out their treasures without the slightest hesitation, wanting to escape. I sacrifice my blood to the vast land, the land of the six realms, sleepy, even if I pay some price today, I will keep some of you guys here. At this time, above the ring, Tisha City suddenly roared. I sacrifice my blood to the boundless earth. This is a powerful ability of Tisha City. It needs to pay a considerable price to form an extremely powerful defense with its own blood. Blood sacrifices to the pale earth, and the earth is psychic. Form a special land space domain. In this space domain, it can interfere with all escape abilities and skills. Just like the teleportation of space attributes, in my world, the distance of teleportation cannot exceed the limit of this world. Of course, this ability of Tisha City is not invincible, and this kind of restraint can only last for a short time. But even if it is a short time, in his opinion, it is enough. The Lois all over the sky forms special patterns one by one. There is a blood red vein in the Lois. The entire dungeon was covered by this move. All the powerful beings of Tian Yuan were all shrouded in it. Buzz. By Fushin, who was about to flee, and a group of strong heavenly creatures, when they took out their treasures. The treasure is temporarily invalid. This made their faces change slightly. The complexions of those Tian Yuan fortune tellers who were about to flee also changed slightly. Damn six universes, do it. Resist this Dragon King, with our strength, we can completely resist it for a while. Beifushin sensed that he was locked, and sensed that the strange earth attribute energy around him prevented them from escaping, and his face was extremely gloomy. He yelled loudly towards the six Tian Yuan fortune tellers around him. Oops, now I can't escape if I want to escape in a short time. Seeing this scene, the faces of the six Tian Yuan fortune tellers around Bei Fushin changed wildly. They gritted their teeth as they looked at Wang Xian who was attacking. Good. Wang Xian looked at this scene, his eyes glowed. The powerhouses of the six universes have some useful trump cards. 
Although it can only trap these strong men for more than ten seconds, it is enough. He locked his eyes on the seven powerhouses of Bayfushin and the others, and the dragon tail continued to sweep. Attack! Attack! The seven Tianyuan fortune tellers of Bayfushin let out a roar, and immediately broke out an extremely powerful attack. The war broke out completely. Surrounding them, dozens of Tianyuan fortune tellers frowned slightly when they saw the earth and sand city trapping them. Seeing the three Tianyuan fortune tellers from the six universes who came to kill them, their faces were a little ugly. Duke Zining of Void Cosmos and the others were even more dark faced. Hastily withstood the attacks of the twelve ancestral witches. Boom boom boom. It was on Wang Xian's side, when Wang Xian was going to kill Bibifushan and their seven Tianyuan fortune telling powerhouses. The surrounding Tianyuan fortune tellers naturally wouldn't participate in it and hurriedly avoided it. Bake Fusion and the others immediately resisted. There was a roaring sound, and the seven Tianyuan fortune tellers quickly flew backwards under Wang Xian's dragon tail. The faces of the seven Tianyuan fortune tellers were a little gloomy. For more than ten seconds, the blockade of that guy from the Six Paths universe can only last for more than ten seconds. A strong Tianyuan fortune said with a sullen face. Ten seconds is not a big problem, everyone, don't hold back. Another Tianyuan good luck expert roared loudly. Ho ho! Wang Xian stared at them, roared, and flew directly towards them. His incomparably huge body moved towards them, trying to restrain them all. Zhu Yuan Long Gaihu display. Boom! The energy of nine attributes filled the entire space. Completely enveloped Bibifushan and their seven Tianyuan creation powerhouses. The shock of energy poured into their bodies. Consecration. Bifushan roared, a ball appeared in the palm of his hand, and he opened it directly. The divine power of light enveloped them all. The other six Tianyuan fortune tellers also defended with all their strength. Can you stop it? Wang Xian's dragon body surrounded them in the center. He reached out the dragon claws, and grabbed the position directly below. At the same time, the great mill of the five elements above him directly turned into a five-element dragon. The Tai Chi dragon disc surrounding the body also turned into a yin and yang dragon. They all attacked Bibi Fusion and their seven Tianyuan fortune-telling powerhouses below. Boom! Wang Xian's dragon claws hit their defenses. To Wang Xian's surprise, he broke through layers of defenses, and the last layer of defense still resisted him. However, it is useless to just resist his attack. Ho ho! Bump! The dragon horn of the five elements dragon directly hit the last line of defense. This caused the faces of the seven Tianyuan fortune tellers who were below Bayfushan to change wildly. No, the treasure in his hand can even ignore the suppression of the six universes. Bai Beifushin roared with horror on his face. Ga, I'm here to resist, and the rest of the resistance is up to you. An extremely painful expression appeared on the face of a strong Tianyuan fortune. With a wave of his arm, a strip of cloth directly met the attack of the five elements great mill. Bump! The dragon's horn hit the top of this cloth strip, but was blocked by the cloth strip full of strange patterns. Immediately afterwards, the strips of cloth slowly began to collapse, falling downwards. Roar! However, before they were happy, before they continued to defend, the attack of the Yin Yang Divine Dragon transformed from the Tai Chi Dragon Pan had arrived. Why are there more? When the Yin Yang Divine Dragon attacked them with an attack power that was comparable to that of a strong Tian Yuan, all the strong Tian Yuan had a look of despair on their faces. Generally speaking, when they are suppressed in the six universes, ten suppressed powerhouses can resist one unsuppressed Tianyuan good fortune powerhouse. Seven of them faced Wang Xian with one, and they were already at a disadvantage. In addition to the five elements great grinding, they may be able to last for more than ten seconds by using their whole cards. But now there is a third existence comparable to Tianyuan good fortune. This makes them how to fight. Boom! The power of yin and yang rotated, annihilating all energy, and covered them. Buzz! 
Before the strong man named Tian Yuan Fortune had no reaction, the energy swept across their bodies, killing them instantly. Crack! The body of one of the Tian Yuan fortune tellers split open like porcelain, leaving behind a fake corpse. And his body appeared on the side of the blockade of the vast land of the blood sacrifice in Tisha City. His forehead was full of cold sweat, and he swept towards Wang Xian in horror. Buzz! With a wave of his arm, Wang Xian put the six corpses away. In the next moment, his eyes were fixed, and he locked on to the two heavenly creation powerhouses in the void universe. Get rid of them! Wang Xian yelled at the twelve ancestral witches and the others, and directly attacked them. Not good! When Duke Xining heard Wang Xian's voice and saw him attacking the two of them, his heart sank. He glanced away, startled one after another. Beside Wang Xian, there are two terrifying dragons on the left and right, one with five elements and one with yin and yang. The two divine dragons of yin and yang and five elements exude a strength that is not weaker than that of Tian Yuan's good fortune. This is... The Dragon King's own strength is not weaker than the control level. The Elf Queen and the others looked at her, their pupils shrank slightly, and their faces were full of shock. This Dragon Palace Dragon King has grown up really fast. Even the ancestor of Suan Yu said in amazement. It wasn't long before Wang Xian possessed the strength of Tian Yuan Fortune Realm, but now he is comparable to a control level existence. 